he was very very eager so he bought it before we all got our discount vouchers so that's one side sewn on so i'll just do the other yeah, side brilliant. And, that's, and that's the head i'll just do the front seam and then that's the head done i'll move on to the body fantastic so it's actually not that complicated it's not a complicated one at all is it it's not it's just um getting those patches in for the face yeah So you're going to have to do a visit to Chester Zoo to decide on the next one. Well, I've got the next one nearly done. Oh, have you? It's, yeah. Oh, it's, she's not saying. No, I don't think. No. Well, just in case I can't get. The fur. The fur, yeah. Or the fabric I need. You doing any Christmas ones this year? Well, this is oh, oh, a Christmas one. Right, okay. And then bring the front of the face together and sew from the neck edge up to the tip of the nose and right. the nose foam forms like a pointy cone. Yeah. But that's fine. Yeah, because you did in the past, you haven't you done a, a chubby reindeer or chubby robin or something? What are your Christmas ones that you've had in the past? Um, I've done a fox and a Christmas jumper, um, a fawn. What was one of them called a chubby robin? Or a chubby chub robin, oh, yeah. Oh yeah, chubby robin, there you go. Um, what else? I've done some Christmas tree decorations and things. What, as animals? Um, there was a Christmas pudding and a snowman. Oh, OK. OK, so that's the face. Done, yeah. so I'll move that to one side. And the body, I just d duck casually. OK, duck <laughs> casually to the body. Twenty nine <laughs> ninety nine. this is. Joe Carter's Roddy the Red Panda toy. Over a third of the stock has gone. Beautiful, isn't he? Right, yeah. Right, right, try and keep the body really simple because there's quite a bit going on with the head. Mm -hmm. So this is the stomach, and I'll, I'll close the dart at the bottom of the stomach first. Lovely. That's one that looks like a pair of pants in your pattern. It, it does. And then the legs the it doesn't leg. matter which side the opening goes on i tend to keep it on the outside just because right it makes it marginally easier maybe when you close them yeah so then base the legs into position on the stomach in right. between the notches so they're both exactly the same they're symmetrical they haven't got a, a, a right and a left or a no bend or anything like that in them a knee joint totally or the anything. same We do have a trip to Chester Zoo though, sort of planned. I need to go as well. I pass it every time I go to Mike and Julie's house, I pass the sign for it and I'm like, oh, I should really go in and see. I haven't been for years, I haven't been since my niece's nephews were like little, little in prams and on yeah. tricycles and things. We went for the lantern parade oh, uh, yeah. Christmas one year and it was brilliant. Oh, well, maybe I'll try, are they going to do that again this year? Yeah, I think they do it every yeah, year. Now. I, I went to Blenheim Palace Christmas decorations and I was so cold because you walk around the lake and everything outside and I hadn't dressed appropriately. <laughs> right, so you basted the legs on. And then move the legs up like that and yeah. then sew the front of the base, so this side of the base, and there's notches to correspond with where the legs are and the centre to make keeping it on track easier. Brilliant. And then sew that along the bottom of the stomach and that'll fully sandwich the legs in place. Uh -huh. And if, it's always a good idea, um, arms and legs and things, when they're sewn directly into the seam, to go over them. Once you've done the seam, go back and just, and you're happy with the placement. Yeah, go just back reinforce and just over -sew the seam. Them, over sew them, yeah, just to really make sure they're not gonna come out. So have you got a whole room full of all the toys that you've made? Where do, where do you keep them all? Um, do you want me to oh. spoil the magic? No, okay, they're all on <laughs> lovely shelves, all displayed they in are. your studio. And where are the other ones then? They're all, I've got so many, yeah. they're all in, they're hanging up in my studio but in a big bag. Oh. <laughs> Two big bags actually. Yeah. 
Well, you've done it. You've done soft toys for years now, haven't you? Because you worked for a company that made them to start with, didn't you? Before you went yeah. freelance and things. I've got some really, really old ones I did for work as well. Yeah. This is work. It is work. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Yeah. Right, so the base is on. Yeah. And then the next job is to sew a side body piece on. And there's a, um, a pivot point at the bottom here. So when you sew this piece on, pivot, and the pivot point corresponds with the seam between the base and the stomach. And right. that's when you turn oh, okay. to do, so it's at the, the, the back of the base. Uh -huh. I feel I'm stumbling over my words today. It's an early start. Yeah. I bet you have neat knives, have you? I have. Oh, I've heard yeah, <laughs> I have for once. What yeah. time did you leave home this morning then? Half past five. Oh, same time as me. Roy's here, everyone. Roy's come to visit. All right, Roy. Oh, we've got a box for me. Oh, she's out there. Susie's in the... In the in. She's meant to be going to Aldi to get us all drinks. So I'm at the pivot point. So lift the press the foot, pivot things round. And it can be a good idea, instead of going straight round, just do one or two stitches just yeah. to help. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. How are we for time? Uh, we've got about five minutes left. Right, OK. Oh. I'm enjoying just sitting here watching you work. Yeah, nice and relaxing. A bit of a chat. Normally, yeah. I don't have anyone, you know, just have a podcast on. It's nice to have someone to talk to. <laughs> So that's one side body on. Yeah. And do the same with the other side body. Right. Until you've got this. And then... God, you really have got every single stage though. I know, I really went for it this time. Yeah. Um, base the arms into position. So they go over the side seams. There's notches on either side to get right. those into the right place. Right. And then baste the tail to one side of the body as well. Right. I'm joining the head on because we've got the arms which are a little chunky and then there's lots of seams there which yeah. can obscure the edge it's a really good idea and I do this as well I, um, it's not a step I skip I hand base the head just on. long stitches the head in position just yeah. making sure that all the notches line up and it's centered just before machine stitching because it's it just makes that so much easier yeah, yeah. to do that Right, and I've got one. Hang on, when did the tail go in? Has the tail not gone in yet, though? The tail goes in, um, you just baste it on. So put the arms in. Um, attach the head so you're not messing around with yeah, the tail yeah. as well. And then right at the end, baste oh, okay. the tail yeah. to one side. Before you sew up the back seam. And then when you sew the back up, just right. sew, sew the bit with the tail, just to really sandwich the tail in place. And then the opening is just above the tail. Brilliant. So I've got a completed one here. Oh, oh no, that's not it. I've just got so many bits of red panda. Uh, uh. <laughs> just move those there. So the opening is from just above the tail. So right. the tail is machine sewn in place, so it's yeah. extra secure. And then from basically the neck seam up. Right. Uh, so the head. So you complete that seam that was started before. And then the nose, before you do any stuffing, the nose is a cone shape. Right. So. Well, you we, found a needle. I did, I did, I found one. Um, it's threaded up. Use coordinating thread. I'm using um, cream just so it, it's visible. Right. So I've knotted the end, but the knot's underneath, so it'll be hidden anyway. Yeah. So I'm just going to do a few stitches through the nose just to secure the thread. Yeah. And then fold the nose over and stitch the tip to the bottom of the nose here. Right. Oh, it's creating nostrils. So it creates like a little animal sort of nostril nose. Yeah. But at the same time, oh, it's they, yeah. a lot easier to sew in this sort of nose than trying to do a small triangular yeah, of piece. of course, yeah. But it gives it a bit of depth 
and I think I think a really nice look. Yeah, no, it's lovely. But is easier as well. Yeah. Double whammy. Double bubble. So stitch that down with a few stitches. And then I'm just going to make a small stitch there and thread the needle through. And I'll do this a couple of times just to re really secure the end. Brilliant. Nope. Oh. A bit too aggressive. <laughs> and then just so this tail of thread is left inside. You can try and thread it live on top. Oh. oh. Almost. So close. It's not going to work, is it? Yeah. So I'll just pull the threads. Pull. Oh, I can actually come out the back of his neck. Yeah, but I just clip the extra off and then you do that and the, uh, the threads are hidden okay. inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the little nose. And then stuff the head. We'll really make sure um, to round out the cheeks to get that sort of chubby cheek yeah. look. And then if you want, you can add some face shaping. So go in, thread your needle. Before I stuff the head, leave the body open, and then I use a big needle and I go in through the opening in the back yeah. and bring the needle out here, just at the base of the snout. Am I in there? No, you're in the right place, that's fine. And so then the knot is hidden inside. Right. Make a few sm small stitches to secure the thread and then go from there, take the needle in and bring it out just underneath oh, eye. one eye. Yeah. So then bring that through and back again. So you've got an internal shaping stitch. Right. And then make another one and then just pull on the thread just to pull. Is it looking my a bit friend, No, no, aggressive? my friend Jackie had that done for real to, to have her That's face lifted. They have thread things where they put it in through there to there and they pull it all up. Do you, is that how it's done? And the thread's inside your face, yeah. Because that is how I do it. <laughs> yeah, well, that's how, well, not to human beings. No, no, not to human beings. I shan't tell you that was Jackie who ran the, the phone in room at this morning, but I won't tell you that. Well, I didn't know that's how yeah. it was done. Yeah. I said, what happens if they pull the thread tighter on one side than the other? You know? <laughs> and it looked good. Winking good. at people. Um, oh, and hang then... on, breaking news. Who? Oh, Ben's going to Festival of Cuts. Not that excited. Ben's going to Festival of Cuts afternoon. Right. And then you can do a little bit of shaping just to pull the eyes inwards a little yeah. bit. Although, actually, sometimes you think it doesn't really need it. Yeah. Um, and then. Stuff the legs and seal. And do you do a ladder stitch. stitch on the side? But yeah, ladder stitch. And this fabric, I mean, it really does disappear in yeah, you. Yeah, exactly. See it. It's a really lovely soft fabric. And that's and, it. And that's it. Brilliant. So I'll just run through the kit again. In the box, you do get uh, the instructions, which are very, very, very thorough with all the pack pieces and everything, all the right size. You don't have to blow them up or anything like that. You get the badge, you get the free badge, you get the eyes, then you get all the different fluffy furs here. You get the black for the nose, the soft white is for his, his snout, then you get the fluffy white for his ears and the outside of his cheeks. You get the beigey minky colour for the middle of his cheeks and that gorgeous rusty red there uh, for his body. $29.99, all you'll need, I'll put that through in a minute, all you'll need is some toy stuffing. So let me put that back in there, that back in there. Right? Toy stuffing coming in here. This is the recycled, I used to be a plastic bottle one. Oh, I haven't got no one. Uh, £4.99 for your toy stuffing. One bag would be enough, wouldn't it? Yes. One yeah. bag would be enough. And something we didn't use today, which is brilliant for stuffing, are your, uh, they call them uh, needle grippers, but they're also known as hemostats. What's the matter? Eight ninety nine. I thought you were describing these earlier. Eight ninety nine. Easy quilting needle grip. I use it to get you. If you can't get your stuffing in right up into his nose or right up into the corner of his face, then just use those to stuff it with. Eight ninety nine. Joe, it's been lovely to see you. Lovely Have to a see safe you journey home. Thank you very much. Uh, when do we see you next? Oh, we don't know yet, do we? September sometime. Yeah. But yes. September sometime. Be near the end. Because I'm not in at the beginning. Okay, be near the end. Be near the end. <laughs> All right, thank you ever so much. Right oh, now, you, you check out your baskets and uh, don't go anywhere because I've got uh, Cindy back with some more, some beautiful brand new Riley Blake fabric. We'll see you in full. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. 
You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals, and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals, and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day.
Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Cindy's back and we're both on one side. This is very unusual. We don't normally do this, but when we did our prep this morning, I said, so you're here, Cindy, and I'm everything. She went, what, all the way over there? Why aren't you here? Because we, we're just still getting over the COVID and all that kind of rubbish. Not rubbish, it's not rubbish, but all that trauma and everything like that. Right, this hour, uh, we've got a uh, new, uh, we've got lots of Riley Blake fabric. Gorgeous panel, really, really beautiful Isn't panel. Isn't that fun? And we've got panel. three bundles to go with it. So if we just put the graphics of one of the bundles in, I've got the blue one first. Then let's talk, before I show you it, let's talk about who's the designer, what's it all about? So this is called Little Women, right. which is, of course refers to the book. And Jill Howarth is one of our designers that specializes in children's fabrics oh, okay and she is a graphic artist she lives on the east coast in massachusetts close to boston and she designs book covers for all the major book brands oh wow so you might have seen her work on little women like she does work on these scholastic books oh right so really beautiful this is her i believe it's like her 10th collection with us she's done neverland which is peter uh, Peter Pan. Yeah, Peter Pan. Then we have uh, Beauty and the Beast, uh, Sleeping Beauty. We're just coming out next spring with, um, oh, Alice in Wonderland. So this is just kind of in the series. Her fabrics have become very collectible. Oh, okay. And once people know who she is, they just love her imagery and they collect all of them. So how did the connection happen then? If she's a book illustrator and you're a fabric house, how did it, how did it originally come together? You know, together? I was introduced to her uh, by someone, it was actually on Instagram, and when I saw what she did, she's on Instagram, she's Zippy Burrow, Z-I-P-P-Y-B-O-R-O. -O. Okay. You can see her fabulous illustrations. Oh, she's wow. designing all the time. She's a freelancer, and, um, you know, we just corresponded, and you know, the magic happens. So, so she's an illustrator, she's not, and nothing to do with fabrics nothing normally. To do with so fabric. it's only your collaboration that's created this yes. collection. Yes. And you say it must work because it's the 10th one. Yes. It must oh, work really, really well. She's very popular, very popular. Right. And she always does a panel. Okay. So, so this is um, with all her, you know, fairy tales. She always does a panel, so this is... Okay, so let's put the panel graphics in. Sorry, Ben, let's put the panel graphics in. So we've got this to start with. The thing is, you say it's for children. I kind of quite like, I kind of like the rustic kind of simplicity of it. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, well, it doesn't have to be for children. No, Don't no, not at all. we always love our uh, childhood rhyme books exactly. and our children's books? And it, it is a beloved story. And um, interesting enough, it was based in Massachusetts, where she lives. Oh, so, right. so it's not far from where she lives, but we have all the main characters in there. We've got Meg, Joe, Beth, Amy, of course, Marmy and Laurie, Laurel, Laurie, I think it's Laurie. So um, all the great characters in here. Easy to make 
put borders on this and have a quick quilt. Yeah. Or you can choose to piece it up and have a little more sold out. Design. It's sold out already. <laughs> what I love as well is as well as the little story going on here in the house. Yes. You've also got a block sweet? and mm -hmm. you've got like an applique block and you've got all the other bits of bobs going on. But yes, you say use it as the center of a quilt or just quilt that as yes. a child, yes. a child play yes. mat. You could just quilt that, couldn't you? But that sold out. That's sold out. So we've got the blue bundle, first of all, which is what we just had in the graph. So 48.93. You're getting three and a half meters of fabric. So seven different fabrics. Now, these are already cut, right? So if you order two of these, they're already cut into half meter pieces. In a second, once we've shown, we've shown you the bundles, we will be doing them by the half meter as well. So if you want to make a child's dress out of them, or if you want more than half a meter to create borders and everything like that, then obviously you can do that in a second. So in this bundle, we've got all, oh, look. They're just gorgeous. This is what we're calling the blue bundle. And we'll have a good look at them in a second. Let me just get them all out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I love that one. I know. It's oh, and just, look. It's just excellent. All the design, it, it's just well designed and it all coordinates together. Doesn't and it? So we've, so we've got lovely. like wallpaper print here. Yes. Uh -huh. Then we've got all their portraits looking there. Then their clothes. <laughs> that, that, when I was little, they used to be able to get cardboard dolls and then clothes that were cardboard as well and they had little flaps on them you just put them over yeah. their shoulder at their waist and everything to hold them in place then you've got the garden then you've got all the icons the umbrella the flowers the paint all their interests are all going there the sewing yeah, knitting exactly. or crochet Very crochet yes. then look at this we'll go through all these when we do them um by the half meter we'll go through all of them and talk about them more look that's just gorgeous isn't it and then this one here which is like a map of where they all live. Mm -hmm. So I actually visited uh, Marie Alcott's home and it is in Massachusetts. It's just a historic home and so it's reminiscent. It's what inspired the book and it's very reminiscent oh, of the Oh, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Because you've got the parish church there, you've got Moffitt House there, you've got the Lawrence's home there, mm -hmm. March House, mm -hmm. Aunt March there, Town Hall. I saw Omega and John's house there. Yeah. You, it's just beautiful, yeah, isn't it? Just, you get to vision and vision of what it was like in the town yeah exactly where they grew up. brilliant so that's the blue bundle for 48.93 mm -hmm. what color would you like to do now ben green next so again you've got the green map do you know a lot of this fabric is sold out in, in the u.s oh is it yes so well, I can't imagine it's it. going to be around for long here. So we've got the green so flowers, the green icon. So it's the same styles, the same designs but in different colorway. Green, all the little ladies there. You've got your wallpaper. And then I love that one, the little framed one there. Laurie, it is, yeah. So 48.93 for that, three and, uh, <coughs> three and a half meters, seven different fabrics. Gorgeous. And then we also have it in the pink. So there's your map. There's your portraits, there's your little ladies, there's your icons, there's your clothes. I'm calling that one wallpaper, it's just a beautiful, beautiful print. And there's your flowers. So 48.93 for that bundle. Gorgeous. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go through them all by the half meter. So this is when you buy these, you've, they're cut at half meter. We're now going to go through them where we cut them off the bolt for you. So which one would you like to start with? Which is your favourite? Have you got a favourite? Um, I really love the, the portrait one. Right, let's do the portrait yeah. in the three different and colours. And I love, then. we'll do the... Yeah, so do that one first. We'll open that one out. So I'll just find the one in the blue. Right. All the characters. So I... Um, yes, R-I-Y, sorry, R-I-Y-V-84. I, I, I met someone who has four daughters of her own, so she's like, this book is really special oh. to her. So she was making quilts out of this. And then I've met people who make quilts out of this style, and then they'll read the book with their daughter or granddaughter. And oh, and have the quilt. Child, yes. yes. And have the quilt on their lap. So it's but you a see, special memory. You're talking quilting. But I think a little dress out of that would be really cute, wouldn't really it? Sweet. Very different yes. and unusual, wouldn't Very it? Very sweet. So are your fabrics, do you, how am I trying to put this? You're known more for quilting than you are dressmaking, or have you got a dressmaking yes. section as well? Um, 
mainly for quilting, but yeah, yeah. people, you know, it's such high quality fabric. Oh, no, no, that's can, what I'm saying. This would make the most yes, exquisite dress. But you're, and you're, if you come to Riley Beck's shop, may, mm -hmm. most people be quilters, but then we'd buy the fabric made to make dresses. And yes, like but that. if you follow us on like you know, social media, we feature a lot of clothing, especially children's clothing. Yeah. And because it just really lends itself to children's well, colors. And also clothing. not just children's clothing, because you, you said you made a dress out of one of the collections from before. Yes. But you see, yes. a, an adult could wear this, I think. <laughs> It'd be like a gorgeous little summer dress, wouldn't it? Not just for a child, but for an adult as well. And also, I want to know why it's only six ninety nine. Our fabrics aren't six ninety nine. They're more expensive than this, our fabrics normally. So it's 100% cotton, 44 inches <laughs> wide, quilting price. weight. It's a brilliant <laughs> price for half a metre, isn't it? Yes, it is. 6.99 for half a metre. Right, yeah. so that's the one in the, in the creamy apricot colour. We've also got it in the blue, which is ZDYV30. It's kind of a periwinkle. It's a yes. lovely colour. Yeah. Be uh, to be interested to see what colour we, because we don't always follow the designer's colour, and sometimes it's a bit, um, oh, we just called it blue. There you go. But it is like a periwinkle. But I love all the different hairdos look and everything on there. Gorgeous, isn't it? So this is Little Women Cameo on Blue. 6 dollars for half a metre, 44 inches wide, machine washable. Quick. What I love is you've... If, oh, it's only two and a half metres, that one left. There's only two and a half metres left of that one. You that better one's gonna, grab it. Yeah, you better grab it. <laughs> exactly, that one's going to sell out. Then we also have it in the... Now, I would call that teal. What I, would, I would call it teal as brilliant. well. Brilliant, let's see what we've called it. We'll have called it green. Oh, sorry. The only other one you've got left. WJYV82. Teal. There we go. Teal. teal. Brilliant. Yeah. See, that's beautiful, isn't it? So the blue is the most popular. The periwinkle is the most popular. But that colour is, is just lovely, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, the teal's lovely too. That'd be lovely as a, if you were going to make a quilt as one of your borders, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. To get all your little uh, portraits in there. Six ninety nine for half a metre. Remember, you're buying it off the bolt now, so you can have whatever length you want. Beautiful, beautiful. Right now, next fabric is. Let's do the wallpaper next. So there's that one, that one. It's it won't be nice. called wallpaper. Um, let's do the green one first, which is um, N O Y V thirty two. You see, this is gorgeous. I love this. It's, it's just, not called wallpaper. It's just a simple pattern, but it gives you a place and I, to, your for your eye to rest in a quilt. So yeah, so you'd use this as one of your blenders, but it's also again for dressmaking. Make the most beautiful skirt or top or something mm -hmm. like that, wouldn't it? Six or or man's waistcoat, back of a man's waistcoat, be beautiful in that. Six ninety nine for half a meter. What colour have we called it? Oh, sweet pea. Nice. Sweet pea. <laughs> Sweet pea, but it's called wallpaper. I didn't realise it was called that. That's beautiful, isn't it? Then we move on to the blue, which is XTYV87. And if you look in the panel, we have... Oh, it is! It look! Is. The wallpaper. <laughs> oh, and that one's wallpaper as well, look. Yes. <laughs> anyway, so it's the blue one. You see, this is lovely, this colour. Cravat, I can see a cravat out of that. Whoever it's wears cravats now. Got a little now. bit of green in there. Yeah, because you've got your little dots of green in there as well. Everything's thought through. So, so would when you do a collaboration, she would draw her drawings. Would you say, oh, that one's lovely, but can we have a speck of green in it? Or you and your design team? You don't yes. just take it as... Um, a lot of times designers will, you know, design colours and um, oh, that inspire them. And then we just work together if it looks good. But usually we are tweaking together, enhancing, taking away, just getting it just where we well, want. Well, also, you know what your customers want. Yes, so if you're, yes. you're, you know your customers will appreciate a little bit of speck of green mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. the green one in there sort of thing. That's lovely, isn't it? Six ninety nine for half a metre, that one. Uh, then we've got it in the pink, which is just... The pink is the most beautiful kind of antique court sort of um, dark rose bubble gum. We've got... I just called it pink. Yeah, it's but that day because you rich. can see it better on here because it's a bigger yeah. version on here. Isn't it? You've got the little yellow or little cream dot in there as well. Six ninety nine for half a metre. It's gorgeous. I think that's beautiful. Lovely. Oh, that's the most favourite. That's the most favourite in in the wallpaper. Right now, let's do the the little ladies. That sounded patronising. I don't mean it to be at all, but you know what I mean. Yes. Um, so lovely. Isn't it beautiful? So do the green one first, which you've got there. Oh, 
turn it around. It's because it's, it's the nice. cabinets are our way. Uh, B R Y V O six. This. Oh, look at them! They're all. So it's what they're doing. See what they're doing here? Yes. Oh it's, no, hang it on. It shows all their favorites. You know. Yes. Yeah. It shows Joe reading a book. Let's. Uh, let, that's Amy painting. Right. Who's playing the piano then? Uh, I think that was Beth. Beth. Yeah, Beth's playing the piano. There's Marmy. What's Marmy? Oh, to? someone's singing. That must be. Let's see. That must be Meg. Meg must be singing. And then we have Laurie. Yeah. Coming to visit. He always wanted to hang out with the <coughs> the sisters. They were lovely check trousers and everything. <laughs> <coughs> it's gorgeous, isn't it? Absolutely lovely. This one's called Little Women Maine. So so when you put say Maine, is this the signature of the of the of the of yeah, the, it's um, the main collection? Print. So when we're designing a fabric collection, we usually start with the main. Right. And then we work from that main collection. We usually have, you know, florals complementing it. And of a, we call it a wallpaper print, yep. a geometric, and just kind of bring the collection together and go with the direction, taking cues from the main print. Oh, wow. Yeah, because a lot of the time when we have a big floral print from you, one of them just says floral main and everything. Yeah. So that means yeah. that's where it's all started, where yes. it starts its mm -hmm. journey. It's fascinating, isn't it? So that's the green one. Let's do the pale blue one now, which is at 16. And a lot of times you'll just see fabric collections in three colorways. Yes, so we oh can, yes. We can divide them up from the mill in three colorways, and sometimes we'll just do two, but generally you see collections There's three, in three, three different colors. colors, yeah. But also, just because we put them in bundles of green, blue, and pink, don't think you can't mix them. You could put the blue little ladies with one of the other colors Absolutely. left in. They all work together, they all work beautifully together. This one's called Dusk, they've called this color. What I love is the attention to detail. So it's not just a girl on a piano. There's, you know, like a, a fireplace with the lamp, or the top, that's the top of your piano, isn't it, with the vase there. And then the artist here, she's got swag drapes in the background, and there's the fireplace there. It's, it's not just, oh, let's just draw little figures on a thing. It's, it's actual thought, you know, just the staircase and things like that. And the window behind there, it's just lovely, all the attention to detail. I love Jill for that. She really does notice the little things and I think people appreciate that. Yeah, oh yes, totally, totally. And also, if you got this and you were cutting this up for half square triangles and everything, it's gonna look lovely because you're gonna get little mm -hmm. snippets of life in all mm -hmm. your different half square triangles, aren't you? So that's the one in dusk. Then we've got it in like a apricotty color, 91. Yeah, very soft. Yeah, very delicate that one, isn't it? We've called it blush, blush. So it's the same print, it's the same design, but just in a different colorway. Uh, the, the, the actual figurines or the figures are all the same colors. It's just mm -hmm. the background that changes. Yes, exactly. And sometimes that's the easiest thing to do is just switch out yeah, the Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I also find some fabrics, all you have to do is change the background color and it looks Very completely, different. completely different, doesn't it? Right, now let's do the town, the map one which will, I'm sure be very popular. So let's do green first, that's 91. So this is like the old fashioned town where they all live. Oh, there we go. I love it that you've got the parish church, the town hall, the Moffat very House. New England. Very what? New England. New England, yeah. yeah. The duck pond. Yeah. The shape excellent. of the houses. You've got one that I absolutely adore with barns. On it, and they're the barns that go like that. We don't have barn shapes like that. And it's got oh. ducks and the pond and everything. I can't remember which one range it is now. And I, oh, and I have to think about did that. It in a navy blue. It's got, it's got little sheep on it and lo lots of little white flowers and everything. It's beautiful. But I just love all the attention. I mean, the amount of time it must take to do. You know, we just think, oh, that's a pretty fabric. But actually, if you look at all the attention to detail, all the little bits. Oh, there you go. There's the shape of the barn I was talking about. There you go. You don't have those kinds. Here. Yeah, we that's, don't have those yeah. here. Because I said to begin we with, we have lots of amazing barns across our country. It's uh, yeah. very beautiful. I'm a big fan of different barns. Oh, yeah. yeah, no animals on this one though. No, no. <laughs> it's well, lovely, isn't and, it? And Jill does about two collections a year for us. So yeah, you can think about the whole, the time and effort it takes. Mm -hmm. So when you're looking at fabric, look at the design. It really takes these designers 
a lot of time to create it. So just appreciate the amount of effort that goes into art. And then you can understand we're using, you know, beautiful original designs, high quality fabric. That's what you're paying for. Mm. You're paying for, you know, you're supporting artists, independent artists, you know, independent fabric companies like we're not a big corporation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are a family business. Yes, I was yes. only joking earlier when I said it's like a tall building with all <laughs> mirrored glass and everything. It really yeah. is a family run business, isn't it? But um, it's just, and also, uh, people, I don't think people realize how long it takes for uh, from original drawing or from original meeting mm -hmm. to buy the time it actually arrives on your shelves in the fabric. At least a year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. the ones you're working on now, or the ones that are about to be released next, you were working on a year ago, yes. sort of thing. And I suppose the pandemic threw it all into yes. chaos as well, didn't it? We but were trying uh, to get way ahead because yeah. the shipping was so difficult. But yes, we're working on designs for August of 2023 right now. I know, it's like the fashion industry, isn't it? But the fabric mm -hmm. industry is exactly the same. So here's the same fabric again now on cream. It's really a multicolor. Yes. Very nice. Yeah, that's lovely, that one. I think that might be my favourite one of the, these um, ones. Because you've got all the different kind of trees in there. I just think it's... A, and also, I, I, I'm going I'm to harp back now to Devil Wears Prada. I don't know why, but it's true. It's like those colours, it's not just a whim. They've all been thought through. They've all been decided that they're all going to go together. It's not... You see, that could have been any colour of like mm -hmm. a greeny, a khaki colour, couldn't it? But it has to be exactly right color and we look at it we don't think of it but if it was wrong it would jar yeah so you only notice it when it's wrong don't you it's kind of like so if that green wasn't right it would be jarring with the rest of the fabric and everything so it takes an awful lot of work to go into just designing something we think of as a simple range of fabric as it were and then we've got the Jill blue is one. very particular on color oh is so, she yeah so um we we discuss color a lot with her and she's good with color yeah well, I suppose if it's her, if her job mm -hmm. as an illustrator, as a, yeah. an artist, then she will be, wouldn't it? It's not like that somebody coming and going, oh, I just want pink flowers. She knows what she wants with it and everything. But then I suppose when she first drew these up, she'd have drawn these up in her one colour way, wouldn't she? You know what I mean? Her original we, drawing. What we get very first are pencil drawings. Oh, so no colour at all. No colour at all. And then we approve the pencil drawings because it's much easier to get the scale of the design right in pencil. And then we, we approve each step of the way. And so she's not putting in effort. Yes. Uh, so it'd be awful things. if she came to you with a whole color range and went, no, we're not doing that color. It's and she gives us uh, swatches of color. So pencil drawings. This is what I'm thinking for this right. range. Yeah. So we see this swatch of color and then she fills it in. And then what would happen, not, not saying necessarily, but if she came with her pencil drawings, which you loved, and then she, I'm thinking these colors and you were like, oh no no we really don't want that color are they quite accommodating when you just go actually no they're not the right colors for us um yes but usually the designers we work with are generally pretty good on so color. you're picking yeah they're most yeah. probably of the same but thinking we, we sometimes will say oh, why don't you try this and that yeah. and on, in particular i think we did um strengthen some of the colors i think they were a little bit more washed out initially and we added stronger colors to this oh okay okay yeah but then you see if that if it's a, an illustrator she could get away with like the more washed out colors for her mm. book covers yes, and everything yes. but for fabric you wouldn't want it because then it'd be a whole range of like washed outness yes. and you, yeah, okay mm -hmm. every now and then you want to washed out one but not all the time because this is beautiful this periwinkle is beautiful let's do that one first duiv62 so this is is this just all their outfits then yep yeah, multi-directional as well yeah and it's uh, yeah it flips back and forth and so that's a nice aspect to this but only so to make a cute little handbag oh or, yeah <laughs> i mean that, that this would just be cute or uh, like a makeup bag or something yes, like that would be beautiful exactly. wouldn't it only the girls dresses though no boys clothes on there no boys clothes it's all about the girls oh but again look at the attention to detail where are we the attention to detail here right Look at the little flowers on their dresses. They're, like, they're minuscule. So when the original drawings arrive, are they bigger? They're to scale. They're, a lot of times to, to So scale. would she have drawn little dresses like this? Or she, you'll have gone, yes. I want lots of little dresses. No, she usually does it to scale. Oh, beca wow. Because um, you want to draw it to scale so she's not changing scale. Right. When, you know, 
the drawings yeah. completed. And sometimes you see a fabric, that's if she did this one to scale like little and you said, oh, I want, you can then say to her, would oh, you draw yes. a bigger one with uh -huh. bigger dresses yep. and things like that mm -hmm. on. It's fascinating, isn't it? Because we just think, oh, somebody comes in, draws it and they print it. It's not like that at no. all, is it? it Let's do the so um, orangey one. Effort. Oh no, absolutely. But lovely that you work as a, t it's a team effort. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? You just don't go to somebody and go, I'll buy that from you. You work together. So every single fabric you're invested in. Oh, hang on, which one do you want then? Oh, three, oh, three. Okay. Oh no, I haven't got no three. No, you've, you've put floral in, yeah. So take that, take that one out. We're not, yeah. Okay, oh, okay, you jump into the florals then. <laughs> okay, okay. They're telling us to move Yeah, that's along. what we're going to Let's get rid of that one. This one is um, DRYV51. There you go. Shell, they've called this one. Shell. That looks like uh, like evening sky. To, you know, like the, mm -hmm. those, um, when the sun has really been quite strong and the sky is that lovely orangey colour at night time. Again, really cute. All the little different dresses there. Six ninety nine. If you want to fussy cut, they're about an inch, if that, if an inch big. Six ninety nine, and then we've got it on the cream as well. I love Strong, this one. Strong multicolor. Yeah. yeah, gorgeous. That's my favourite in this one. We're not loud favourites. This is my favourite. <laughs> but it's just there's just something really special about, it, isn't there? It's so sweet and the little flowers. In between, and, yeah. yeah. It's very sweet. Be interesting to see, actually, you should go and have a look, because it'd be interesting to see if her style in illustrating is always the same as this, or some, if she's one of those consistent. artists who can suddenly do something oh, that's yes. completely different. No, um, you look at her stuff and people can call it out. She right. has a distinct yeah. style, for sure. Yeah. And she, um, she wanted to do Little Women prior to her others, but we, you know, it's... It's been really popular, but we're like, oh, let's start with something a little more well-known, like Sleeping Beauty, Little Red Riding Hood. And so when this came, they're like, okay, we're ready for this. Oh, <laughs> yes. Sometimes if they do if their first one, it not puts people off, but it's like, oh, that's not for me. Whereas yeah. this way, she's now got a following from all yeah, her other she's ones. she's got a big following. Right. So let's do that pink one that you just saw then, the 03 one. And you see now... On the big panel, that's a wallpaper print as well, but we just called it floral pink on this one. It's just lovely, isn't it? See, that could be used at, with this. That could be used in conjunction with other fabrics, whether you've got in your stash and things yeah. like that, couldn't it? That lovely, beautiful, Excellent. whimsical almost. That it's got a lovely flow to it, and mm -hmm. like a diagonal stripe almost going across it. Yeah. 6.99, half a metre, lovely. Then we've got it in the green, which is 43. I love this green. It gives you a nice punch of color. Yes. It's just very bright and happy. Apple. I call that apple green. Oh, sweet pea again. Sweet pea, that one. Isn't it lovely? It's so pretty. Gorgeous. Compared with some of the peachy apricots. Yes. It's nice. And then again, the attention to detail, the little yellow droplets all around as well. They're just stunning. It's a really, really lovely fabric. That one's $6.99. Also comes in the uh, blue. Yeah, the little girls' dresses. You yeah, just gorgeous, so wouldn't it? I love this one because it's like an old-fashioned blue. It's like the pink we had earlier. It's like a, an antique blue. So we just called it blue, but it's got, like you say, it's a periwinkle, but it's a lovely kind of antique-looking colour there. Jill tends to design with this colour a lot. Oh, does she? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, we used it in Netherland, which is the Peter Pan uh, collection. Uh -huh. It just looks so excellent it's, it's beautiful the thing is you know she knows what she likes but you also know what your customers like mm -hmm. as well and um you're not going to put out something out there that your customers aren't going to like i mean try and be a bit oh our screens have gone off by the way a bit risky or something like that right this one again comes in three different colors let's do the green one this is 06 so this is all the um things that they do in their life the reading the singing the little glove look the cup, mm -hmm. having tea 6.99 or gifts this one's called gifts um ice skaters ice skating boots yeah that's part of the book part Mira. of the story of the book yeah crochet yeah lots of and music no is that that beautiful isn't it? what's that one there oh like little leaves that's really cute isn't it i love See, the little painters 
I, yeah, I'm, I'm seeing things for like a, a, a child's bedroom now, you know, kind yeah, of little storage so boxes sweet. for a child's yeah. bedroom and things. That one's uh, gifts on green, that one. Then we've got gifts on the pale uh, 38, the pale pinky, shelly, blushy. I can't remember what it's called now, this one. <laughs> so many different colours. Since it's cute, that background really makes those different things pop out, doesn't it? That, that's mm -hmm. making the, the kind of rusty ones really pop out, isn't it? There it is, blush. That was it, blush. Yeah, we changed the colours a little bit. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Look, because the wool on that one was blue, mm -hmm. or the yarn on that one was blue. Very nice. Yellow, now, will that have been because when you looked at it on the printed up, the blue didn't work? Or was it yeah, just that? We just switched it up a little bit. Sometimes, you know, we will just change grounds out, but if we want a different look for this one, yeah, um, yeah, because don't change th it. Yeah. Those are a different color as well. So these are screen printed, so you can look on the side of your fabrics and it can tell you how many different colors you have. Mm -hmm. So if you're like, what is that color? You can kind of get a clue from oh, the side. Yes. But um, the screens are all the same for each print. So whatever screen of color is that, it has to be switched out for all the pieces in that print. Right, okay. And is it true the more, the more colors you have, the more expensive it's supposed to be? Those are old fashioned, am I still old, well, in old fashioned they, style? They do. Uh, every one of those little icons is a screen, so it does cost yes. more money, but it kind of all levels out in a. Oh, in all, yes, so, so the others one wouldn't be. But yes, like you're yeah. saying, so on that one, all the, the yarns, are, all the balls of yeah, yarn are one. All, 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 yeah. all the different colours yes. are different screens. Yeah, those are all the same screen, so when you have to switch it out for others uh, yes, it yes, has yeah. to be consistent oh my word you see that we so don't have to we pay don't. attention to that no but also people <laughs> think oh you just draw it on a computer and get and send yeah, off the no. printer like we do photocopy you have to arrange the artwork and, and screens of color unless you're digitally printing and i think no that was screen printing yeah yeah oh i love this <coughs> beautiful love one this. this is probably one of my favorites oh there we go <laughs> then this is the last one of the range so, so this is your gifts in dusk that is cute. It's really, really cute. cute, isn't it? Yeah. Beautiful. So that's the new range that we had today. Uh, now we've got a couple of other ranges to show. You may have seen them before. You may not have done. The which one? Heart song. Is that that one? Is no. that heart song? No. Oh, yeah. Orange. This that's one. Right. This one. That's this right. one. This one. This one. Right. So this is a mega bundle. So now, who's designed this? Who's the, who's the, who's Gabriella this Neal. Right. She is Australian, but she's also spent time in the UK. So she oh, lived here. Okay. She lived abroad for a while. I think she's back in Australia now. She's a graphic artist um, that says she's loved all art all her life. So she's on the younger side. So some of her prints are very contemporary. Yes. Yes. Well, some of the colours she uses are yeah. very. Um, uh, not not on, traditional, not yeah. traditional. Yeah, yeah so. but they're on trend and yes, and um, just she has a nice hand and you know an excellent artist. Yeah, and her, her draw and presume all these start off as pencil drawings as well. Yes. Then these lovely exactly. flowers here. Okay, okay, so let's show you this one. There's this bundle yet five meters, ten different fabric there for seventy four ninety nine. So there's that one in a different colorway. That is stunning, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Then we go to your little sprig flowers. Then we've got go to seagulls. Then are they seagulls or are they albatrosses? I think they're seagulls. I'm saying just, but just don't you love the butterscotch? Yes, lovely just, colour. Yeah. I don't know what we called it, but yeah. Then now that you see that you, you, how does the brain? No, I'm, that <laughs> sounds wrong now. But you think oh floral, floral nature birds, and they go yeah. to lace blocks. Yeah. Again, it's a little more contemporary and a little eclectic. Yeah. So it just, for someone who wants to make a quilt, that doesn't, it's not just so simple, all blendy. Yes. It's like, gives you interesting Interesting design. points to look yeah. at. That's what I love about quilts is I, the ones on my bed, every now and then you think, oh, I've seen that. You know, it, I like it when you mm -hmm. discover something new. Because then we go back to that one. Then we have the little sprig in pink from the pink there. Mm -hmm. And then suddenly... Yeah, we have this stripe that's very modern and kind yes. of almost has a southwest feel a little yeah. bit, but it's just fun. Oh, no, no, completely, completely. So uh, you've got your 10 fabrics there, seven, £74.90, or 
we can do them on their own. We'll run through these quite quickly because otherwise we're not going to get time to do anything. So a quick rush through. We'll have a look at this one here. Oh, great. This would make beautiful handbags. Yeah, oh yes. This Just is uh, 42, UFYV 42. That is, uh, that's my favorite, that one. So now this is just called uh, floral pink, but look at the work again that's gone into there. The attention to detail with the edge of the petals, mm -hmm. the flowers and everything like that, the little you flowers there. You can tell this is hand drawn. Like yes. Originally sketched out. Definitely, yeah. definitely. So that's the one in the pink. We also have now, what color would you call this? I would call that butterscotch. I don't know what we call it. Well, I love butterscotch. We won't have called it butterscotch because <laughs> it's uh, not a money. Gold. Gold. Gold, we called that one. Yeah, I could see you in a shirt. And this that. one? Yeah, it would look very nice. Thank you. you. Or you can read that with you next time okay, when you come yeah, back. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just whip that up. <laughs> um, right, okay, that's, that's that one. Let's go. I'll go to my favorite one now. Let's do these, the kind of quilted ones or the block ones. I've got it in pale pink, first of all, which is yeah, it gives you 67. Nice little medallions in there. I know it's lovely though. So now, does this designer is that taken from? Do you think you've seen an old quilt, or is it from flowers, or you have suggested that, or? You know, I'm not sure what ex inspired this particular print, but yeah, she gives us a lot of interesting prints. In fact, this designer is an excellent graphic artist. She gives us so many prints to choose from we have to pair them down. oh okay so we're like okay that one didn't make it but yeah yeah those are good beautiful isn't it they've called it heart song in pink just pattern in pink and then we've got that in the other colorway which i can't i like both of them actually that, that one's at 56. Mm -hmm. oh this one's in the lead of the two beautiful isn't it coral they called that one yeah nice yeah color in there but again, you could fussy cut. You could imagine that as a, as a binding as well. If you cut that mm -hmm. as a, bind, oh, a binding, thinking of a dressmaking binding then as well. But mm -hmm. binding would be lovely, you wouldn't it? You could do it on the bias. Like yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. By auto, whenever I think of binding, I was because I'm a dressmaker, I always do bias binding. They forget the quilts are done on the straight, aren't they? Right, let's do the original one with the um, that lots of hand drawing and more hand drawing in it. This one is uh, 35. Yeah, that's a really beautiful. This one's got a lot of work in this one. Mm -hmm. I know, I'm racing, I'm racing. <laughs> He's telling you to move along. Yeah, £7.49 for half a metre. It's gorgeous again in the a gold, yeah, yeah, gold. Then we've got that with the white background, which I think, you see, it looks completely different, doesn't it, when you've got your white mm -hmm. background? Oh, do you want the number? Yeah. Beautiful, look at all that. This is almost like, uh, there's a lady that appears on our uh, sister channel next door and she's called Santangle. And it's all about drawing lines like this, Sandra she's mm. called. And they're all about drawing lots and lots of little lines like that. Beautiful. Then we've got the sprigs of flowers in pink. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, that's lovely, isn't it? Hearts on rock roses they are, rock roses. Now is that multi-directional? is it all one way? That's no, all one way, that one. Beautiful. I'm going fast because we've got two other complete other ranges to get through, which I doubt we will do, but there you go. Gold. See, that's lovely. Oh, very nice. See, I, I, I think that would look lovely with the navy blue. You know, kind of oh, really, really make it pop, really wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. Gold. Uh, there are the seagulls. Got to do the seagulls, do you haven't we? that's we? our state bird in Utah. It's what? It's our state bird because we have the Great Salt Lake. We have seagulls. Oh! Even though we're not in the middle of the country and <laughs> yeah, we're not by the ocean. That that's our state. How country. weird! <laughs> I didn't know that. Uh, so this is seagulls in gold. Beautiful. I know it's your national bird. And then very oh, it, quickly, it's our state bird. State bird. State yeah. bird. Sorry, not national bird. Yeah. <laughs> Eagle is our. Yes, bird. I knew that. Uh, 05 is this one. It's the last one of the range. Uh, stripes in rust it is stripes in rust that one again very different now i'm seeing kind of um, native american kind mm -hmm. of i guess maybe it could be aborigine from yeah. oh, Aust Australia. Australia. Yeah. yes yeah yes that i'm seeing something of, that southwest yes of, yeah the absolutely. kind of very like history of a, mm -hmm. a, a, a a civilization sort of thing yeah gorgeous right which one next now, we won't be able to do that with all the others we'll, we'll just talk we'll about the, the florals because you think know, this one or that one. Well, that one. That one. You know why? Because I've never seen 
quill and fabric and we put it these sweet little quill and fabric have you ever seen a quill and fabric? no and when i saw <laughs> this the first time i was saying what have they drawn on their heads oh they're coat hangers they're coat hangers and everyone's like so we looked up and we didn't realize that quails had that little do you not have quails here yeah but i don't think they've got little little oh they do the mill oh right no we don't have them running around i mean yes. i live in the countryside if i haven't seen quails running around let me just show you what i mean i have quails i love this house. range you've got look 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 so you see here now they don't look like that they're not this color they're very colorful yes but yeah, that's I, what threw me i but... love little baby quails in fact I have a, a family of quills that come out, and in the spring we have the teeniest little babies. Oh, so adorable! So I. But they're not that color. No. They're not oh, that that's color. a shame. <laughs> right. Okay. This is a bundle, seventy-four pound ninety. So you got the quails. You've got bumblebees. Who's who's designed this? Who designed this? This one? is Echo Park. This is one of our scrapbook companies. You right. That their you know their designs translate so well to fabric. So they have beautiful paper designs, and this is one of their paper designs. It's that just really translated to I work. think this pattern here is one of my favorite like ever the black. The, but this pattern oh. and we and we've used this quite a lot in kits and everything like that we've oh, made nice. at purses and handbags and things like that and these two appear an awful lot and I absolutely yeah. love these the two. little wildflower yeah. yeah it's really sweet but then we go into the big flowers as well and I love painted so yes. you can tell the painterly look of this. Yes, exactly. And also, I love the fact that on the black and the white, they look completely different. But on the black, I always put, I always like a quilt with a black background, a dark background, because I think it's like a black opal, because it really makes yes, the colours really... pop out of there, doesn't it? Yeah. So there you go. You got ten fabrics again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, it's nine, got ten. A beautiful day, and you can make a beautiful quilt on yes. a beautiful day. It's been very, very, very popular that one. So now, where does this lady live? Do you say? Well, it's a, a scrapbook company. Oh, a scrapbook company, of course. And they is. were launched about the same time as Riley Blake Designs. So we've been working with them probably the last five years. Right. And this is probably one of their 12th collections with us. But um, yeah, so you might have, if you're a scrapbooker or buy paper crafts or do paper crafts, you yep. might have seen this on paper. Ah, it's gorgeous, isn't it? It's translated so well as well, isn't it? But it's, again, an eclectic mix. It's obviously all countryside, but you've got mm -hmm. the painterly flowers. Then you've got the sweet little spring flowers. Then you've got little fat bumblebees. And then your favourite little quails. They're yes. not a steak bird yes. as well, are they? No. I okay. only know quail's eggs, you see. When you go to posh dinner parties, you have quail's <laughs> eggs. Oh, do you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. didn't know that. 74.90. Right, now, if you want any of those, if you want me to show you any of those fabrics, message in. Uh, to Ben now, or if you just want to go and buy something by the half meter, pop onto the website Under, underneath at the moment. They're on pre order. Ben will put them over to show deals in the makes of thing, but they're beautiful, aren't they? But if you want me to waft any of them, just let me know and we'll waft them for you. Waft. Oh, hang on. There's a which one? This one. This one. Okay. So that one is GPYV92. There you go. We'll show that for someone there, 740 on Echo Park Paper Co. Beautiful day, sea glass. Yeah, that's definitely sea glass. But you can really see. So now, when, the, when they've created this, they've got somebody to get their paint, paint box out, mm -hmm. haven't they? And they've painted these. These haven't come from pencil drawings at all. You can see that these are original. Like You can just see the artist with the splodgy paints. I don't know what the technical term is, but like the splodgy paints, the painterly look and everything. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yes, it looks really nice on this so now so they they'll have sold they'll have done this design paper yes well their papers have been different colors and you, they've sometimes, come to you sometimes. and you've gone yeah we love it but we'd like it in a different yes. color and we usually they usually don't have three colorways so oh they, they might have had it on that yeah color. or I, they'll definitely have had or, it on that yes, won't they? Yes. and then you've most probably gone so usually we are filling in the gaps of okay we want one more colorway but they usually have enough color in the main print to pull the rest of the collection. Yeah. Again, Must we're be, working from the main to pull it all. Must together. be fascinating to do your job because you're not just sitting there going, oh, today I'm going to design some fabrics. You're, now, is there a Cindy collection? Have you got your own collection? I, well, a lot of our basics we work on as a team. Right. So if you see Riley Blake Designs Basics, that's a team effort. 
Um, I we have done like uh, I do a collection Anna Green Gables. Right. Oh yes, yes, yes. We had that. I work on that with graphic artists. Right. I'm not a graphic artist, but I oversee that. So um, you can see design. in here mm -hmm. what you want it to be, but then you tell somebody else to yes, physically yes. do it. Nothing. And a lot of times I will um, buy antique fabrics and then work with the graphic artists and say I like one of our collections. I have beautiful antique bird from one fabric and a floral from the other and we combined it all together so that's really great we've got two graphic artists to work with us and that's yes. what they do for us they kind of create we go in like yeah. you know when we do the delphine i did the buddha with delphine delphine sort of draws it and then they do the whole thing um and oh it's got another question there anyway we'll come back to it come back to, oh i know what you can say because the range we only see this much of a range of riley blake because you go from absolute traditional traditional mm -hmm, traditional mm -hmm. to super super modern contemporary yes. and everything mm -hmm. in between don't yes. you you haven't got you can't just uh, open a book and go oh that must be riley blake because you the, the, the variety of stuff that you do is vast isn't and it and we're just launching batiks oh October. you're not yes. well, we have to have those so. uh, we love a batik don't we <laughs> well our batiks are really beautiful so oh, i hope you'll bring them in <laughs> yeah definitely <laughs> definitely lovely. right let's very quickly you've got five minutes left let's just do this one then so now this design this again here at jobs again you must like the australian designers because she is australian oh right so uh, she is a mother of two girls. Uh -huh. She lives out in the countryside in Australia, and her husband is a cattle rancher. Oh, wow. This is her fifth collection um, with Riley Blake Designs. I, I, I think it was like Elegant Romance. Yes. Uh, the thing about this, completely different colors. That You know what yes. I mean? You don't stick, you don't go, oh, we're Riley Blake, we don't do this burgundy or whatever, this puce. No. You, no. You've got... This is a completely and utterly different colorway. The flowers somewhat, you could look at that and go, oh, I've sort of seen something a bit like that, but then not in that colorway and not with that mix of fabric with mm -hmm. the writing and mm -hmm. the little love heart. 82.39 is for your yeah, five, five and a half meters, 11 fabrics there. Uh, love these colors. I, I don't think I've ever seen this range. I've seen this one and this one. So but the I don't pinks think I've seen are a these. little bit on the cool side. Yes. You said the warm apricot pinks. These are on the cool side. Yep. And they just work very well with this kind of, you know, deep, I don't know what yes. you call that, purple or not quite purple. It's, it's not quite purple. You see, uh, I'd call it puce, but I, uh, somebody told me off the other day for using the word puce because it comes from bad <laughs> I source. I think of the color that we called it, but <laughs> it's really nice, isn't it? Yeah, beautiful. What, do we, what color do we call this one? Let's just put this one through. It's um, EGYV35. You see, I think that's exquisite. It's and like I love. Very colored. It, but it, oh, they called it what? Raspberry. Raspberry. Mm, okay. Um, but I love the way the colors kind of, um, I don't know how to describe it, they kind of wash across mm -hmm. this way, mm -hmm. don't they? So you, and also colors that you wouldn't necessarily, if you went into a shop and they had solids, mm -hmm. you wouldn't necessarily put that color, that color, that color, and that color yeah. together, would you? And yet it, I think, also let me just put it across it's there. It's a very interesting piece. And what's so interesting is look at the fine artwork. Yes. All that detail. And that is a screen of, you know, print of ink printing on fabric. And it's just, remarkable how you get that level of detail yeah because in the old days that would be done by a wood block or something that somebody yes, carved yes, out beautifully yes. wouldn't it and yet that's a screen now which another again another artist is you it's all very well you saying we want this we want this and the designer wants this and this. someone's then got to go and make the screens and do exactly. the actual screen printing and things yeah it's quite remarkable what they can do the the mills that we work with are artisans in their own yes. right. Oh, no, totally. And that's what's brilliant about Riley Baker is you don't take any shortcuts. Because nope. a lot of people in this day and age will take a shortcut to make a bigger, bigger buck, as they say, you know what I mean? Like make more, make more money out of it. Whereas you don't let your standards drop. You don't let the quality of your fabric drop. Because some no, big houses, excellent. you can you can now feel. You can tell a difference. Yes. But we, we really believe the quilts that you're making will last far beyond your yes. lifetime and but we think they will stand the test of time exactly also i find sewing with a better fabric is easier to sew exactly. do you know what i mean if you've got a, a, a lesser an inferior quality i find it maybe it's just my brain but i find you pick one of these up and you just run through the machine and you just absolutely yeah, love it they're they're so nice to work with we work with the best mills in yes. korea 
So what are your plans? You're at Festival of Quilts, are you? Yeah, t uh, I go back to Festival of Quilts. I gave a lecture yesterday. Oh, did you? Talking about Jane Austen, Carol Was Quilts. it in the theatre? Did you yes. do it in the theatre? <laughs> I do mine on Sunday, oh, and oh. I've got no idea what I'm going to talk about yet. It's a oh, bit frightening. Well, I'm sorry to have missed it, but oh, no. I'm, I'm just here a couple of days. The festival has been amazing. There's so many beautiful quilts. Yeah. Oh, I'm just so inspired. And also, they've kept it like as it was with COVID. The, the aisles are really wide, aren't mm -hmm. they? So mm -hmm. if you are going, don't pass. If you remember in 2019, we were like this, weren't we? Everybody walked yes. away, couldn't see anything. But now the aisles are so wide, it's really, really comfortable to go and see. No matter how busy it gets, there's always plenty of space and everything. Yeah. Uh, so then you're going home, are you? Yeah. Oh, well, no. Oh, oh don't tell us <laughs> if it's a secret. No, I, we're going on a Mediterranean cruise. My husband and two of my boys, two of my older boys. Yeah. So oh, I'm doing that for a week, so... That's why I can't Are you taking off from here? Taking off uh, from we're flying to Italy, leaving for Italy. We're going to Croatia and um, uh, where else? Who do we know? So we know somebody's just come back from Croatia on their holidays. So they've just had the best time. Greece. That's oh, where we're going. lovely. So it's kind of a dream come true. I've never taken a Mediterranean cruise. Have you I'm not? very excited. Oh, very excited. a friend of mine works, he runs a shopping channel, do cruises, and he keeps saying, oh, you should go, you'll love it, you'll love it, you love it. So yeah. let me know how it is. Yeah, it should be amazing. Anyway, it's been so lovely. Well, oh, I don't want to crush yes. your arm. It's been so, so <laughs> lovely oh, to see you after I all this love time. To come. Oh, brilliant. And well, you have to come so more often now. Yes, you can, we can travel. Yes. When you finish your cruise and you bring out yep. some more fabric, you must come back. <laughs> have a lovely time. Hey, thank I'll see you when so I come much. to visit you. Okay. Uh, you invited anytime. Uh, uh, thank you. I can't wait. Right, I love America. I lived in New York for a year. And I just, it was the best. Well, I, I've done films. When I was in films, I did New Orleans, I did San Francisco, and everything like that. Just love America, but yeah, I live. Yeah, a huge country. Oh, massive, massive. Uh, but it's like Hannah, my, our producer Hannah, who's not in today, she got a flight for years ago when she first started travelling, and she thought going across America would be like going across England. No. So she got on the airplane, hungry, with no money, and everything like this, and then they said, oh, yes, we're landing in six hours. You should, what do you mean six hours? I thought I was only going across the country. And like, yes, ma'am. But anyway, it's been so <laughs> lovely to see you. Uh, I'll see you back here in four minutes from now, but keep an eye out for, so you're at Festival Quilts today. Yes, and just for a short time. And not tomorrow? Not tomorrow. Oh, all right then. Will you take care of yourself, okay. and I'll see you in Thank four you. minutes from now. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the home page, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the home page, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Spring Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competition.
competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Town Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere. Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the home page, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the home page, type in your email address, click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere. Browse all our recently played items the pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day.
If you're a sewing street or yarn lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. If you're a sewing street or yarn lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Welcome to John Scott's Emporium. We are starting off with this beautiful uh, bundle of Liberty fabric. It's all Wiltshire shadow and it is stunning. It is gorgeous. Now it is, um, um, it is a considered purchase. I'm not, not messing around. It is a considered purchase. Oh, excuse me. It will go on split pay, 67.41. Uh, that'll be four times, four, six, three times, three times, three times, three times. Uh, you get, oh, excuse me, you get a metre free. I tried to eat a gluten-free muffin in the break and Ian was talking to me and I was drinking my water and they're giving me the hiccups now. You're saving £14.98. pence. 14 pounds and 98 pence you're saving now look at all the colors you get these beautiful colors they're not uh, on their own we're not sending them on their own it's just a bundle a rainbow bundle of wiltshire shadow ultimate liberty wiltshire shadow collection there are 29 fabrics 14 and a half meters it's a new launch apparently when they're gone, they're gone. We've done one very similar to this in the past, but not with this many in. Beautiful, aren't they? Absolutely stunning. Um, and also, the other thing I need you to say, can we work out how much that is per metre, please? Or per half metre? Carry on looking at the gorgeous colours. Green. Beautiful. That's a lovely colour, that one, isn't it? I don't think it says the colours on the selfish, does it? It doesn't say the names of the colours. Gorgeous. Look at that dark teal one there. Silver. Well, not silver, because they actually do do a silver, silver one, don't they? Then you've got your mid-grey one. How much? No. Are you sure? £6.97 for half a metre. Yeah, 29 Oh, it's because we're giving away. Of course, because we're giving you two for free, aren't we? Six nine seven. So what's that? Twelve thirty fourteen. So it's just shy of fourteen pounds a meter. Right? Try getting it at Liberty for fourteen pounds a meter. Liberty, the actual store, at two hundred and two pounds and twenty three pence. Now the other day, these uh, they sold so many of these the other day. When these, when these have gone, they've gone. There's only twelve left. There's twelve left, and when they've go, gone, we're not doing them again. Two hundred and two pounds and twenty-three pence. What would you make? You could make a gorgeous bargello with that, couldn't you? Or just have it in your stash and use it as and when you need it. Just have it in your stash and stroke it. Oops. At two o two twenty-three. Oh, I, see what you're doing. I, thought, I thought you were feeding me a line. Then I was going to say that is Liberty Fabric. Yeah, they're making something going, oh, what'll go nice with this? some Liberty Fabric? Well, I've got some in the cupboard. Beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. That print is just iconic. And I'll take the black one off so you can see the print better. There you go. At 202, I understand it's considered purchase, but look what you're getting. 29, 14 and a half metres. I love that dark teal. 
That one's beautiful as well, isn't it? Bright apple green, golden yellow, soft lemon, apricot, dark red. Then you've got your pink, your bright pink there. Then you've got your more subtle pink. And then you, oh, that's a lovely colour. I don't know what colour that one is. Beautiful. Then you've got the really, really delicate pink there. Then you've got your washed out. That was a pink. Then you've got your burgundy. Then we're going to the blues. They're lovely, aren't they? Absolutely stunning. Gorgeous. 100% cotton, 44 inches wide, machine washable. Oh, now remember, this is quilting weight. This is not Tana Lawn. This is quilting weight fabric. Just stunning, isn't it? I'm surprised Kate hasn't come to get one of these. Beautiful, aren't they? Absolutely lovely. There you go, through the blues. All 29 of them. 29 different, oh look, 29 different fabrics. Beautiful. Biggest rainbow you'll ever see. Well done if you get that. Well done. There are only 12 left. There's only 12 left. Have all gone in baskets? Nobody's checked out yet? Oh, yeah. One checkout. One checkout. There you go. Beautiful. Well, I'll put that to one side. I'll come back to that before the end of the show. Let, I'll tell you what. That can live up there. Right. Can you see it there? Oh, no. I have to stand here. Right. Next. K Facet book that we launched yesterday. Now, we had the TV launch of this book. Not on pre-order. It's not on pre-order. We've got it in the warehouse. It's ready to go. So many of you came in and got it yesterday. I think they've got it. I think they have this for sale on the stand in the, um, uh, uh, the Festival of Quilts, but I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, they do. They do. They do. Okay, we can't, I haven't got any graphics, so I can't show you. I'll show you through the book then. It's £25 anyway. It's £25 if you want it. So there's Kate and Brandon around the castle. There's a lovely bedroom in this castle. Hang on, I've gone, oh, look, look at this. It's just exquisite. All their, uh, their quilts draped around the castle. Look, look at that. That wasn't the bed. That wasn't the picture I was thinking of. There was another picture of it, isn't there? Hang on. Out in the gardens. Beautiful. In the pulpit there. That was the quilt yesterday, remember? We showed you that quilt yesterday. Did that, that's lavender and sage that we did yesterday. There we go, 25 pounds, 25 pounds, 25. That one's called Toast and Marmalade. But now what it is, is the first half of the book there is all pictures of all the quilts all hanging around the castle. Then the second half of the book is all your patterns and instructions for so many of all, there's the checkerboard, the checkerboards that we had yesterday. Um, now, um, also, the, while I'm not talking about this book, we also had a really beautiful quilt in our eight o'clock show today. I don't know if there's any of those left. It's a William Morris quilt. We might get that back out for you. If there's a couple left, we'll get that box back out for you. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. 25 pounds TV launch it was yesterday. Stunning, 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 stunning. Make sure you check out, make sure you check out on that. Now, I'll put that on the shelf here. Now, John Scott Garden Collection, right? This is my newest range of threads with Aurofil. Um, they're supposed to be £53, right? £52.99 they're supposed to be. Then as a special introductory price, we took £5 off, right? Which took it to £47.95, whatever it was, right? Then, I don't know what quite happened. So at the, at the cheapest, this should be, oh look. At the cheapest, this should be £48 apparently. £47.99 is where it should be. They've, for some reason, they've taken it to £43. Have no idea why. It won't stay at that price. When they man, when they realise, when they realise what they've done, right? Yeah, there, there's prob there'll be problems because they shouldn't have gone to that price. Look, you get three variegated, you get taffy, you get Marrakesh, and you get Tremonto Ozagliagli. 
Then you get your pale yellow, your paprika, and your dark turquoise. 43 pounds. Now we worked out yesterday, it works out at 51p for 100 meters, or 57p, 57p for 100 meters. Where on earth can you get thread 57p for 100 meters? And it's Egyptian cotton taken all the way to uh, Milan to be made, well, the Aurifil are based in Italy. So they're taken all the way there to be created into this. They only use the best threads. They don't use any secondary threads. And it's beautiful. And there's 1,300 metres on each spool. 1,300 metres. And it's 50 weight. 50 weight. You can use it for quilting, uh, for, for um, patching, for dressmaking, for just your general uh, quilting. 43 pounds. I chose those especially, especially for that box. 43 hand picked they were 43 pounds they should be 47.99 well no they should be 52.99 because if you go to buy my original collection on its own they're 52.99 then we took five pounds off for my birthday show right there you go someone's taken another five pounds off 43 pounds well no it'll be a, a managerial mistake beautiful Keep going through, keep going through, keep going through for those. But I'm down to single figures on the Liberty Bundle now. Single figures on the Liberty Bundle. I'll show you that again before the end of the hour. Yeah, okay. Uh, no, no, cause it, uh, it's not switched on or anything. So I'll get that prepped in a minute. I'll do this next. If you're watching at 8 o'clock this morning... We did Morris Mountains, which is a um, really, really beautiful. Now, uh, you might recognize the pattern because it's the same as Lavender and Sage, the pattern, but it's done in the most exquisite William Morris fabrics. Now, so many of these went to eight slots. There was no demo, but it's a very, they call it an intermediate one, but actually it's just squares. You cut three different size squares, right? Most of the squares just get sewn together and then the middle size square, uh, square gets cut in half to make the triangles around there and then two squares are cut for the corner pieces there and that's it that's absolutely it um i feel sorry for cat because I've, um, I've made her pack this up and now i'm going to unpack it again 169.99 i'll try and keep it as neat as i can for her look beautifully packaged Aren't they just stunning? I won't take them out. I'll just, I'll just show you them like this. Look. All those exquisite William Morris fabrics. Beautiful, beautiful. That's your binding. The blue dots are your binding there. And then you have a couple of contrast um, sections. One with the willow in the beige. And then the blue one there. Right. There are more people got that in their basket now than we've got left in stock. So if you want it, please check it out. You can check out at any time, but you never leave. What was it? Hotel California. There you go. Right. Check out, check out, check out, because that's going to sell out. That's going to sell out. People are going to miss out on that one now. Good luck for that. Thank you, Cat. Right. Now, I know you're sick of you seeing this. <gasps> we've not got a new cotton press. Don't tell me. It's sold out. They've obviously sold out because everything of Jill Rep sold out the other day. Right, Bruce, are you ready? Right, very quickly. I'll only do it quickly. I'll do it quickly, but Bruce has got some lovely slides to show. Look at the price. They've taken, oh, I said earlier, taken seven pounds off. Taken eight pounds off. Taken, well, seven ninety nine. Seven ninety nine. Are we ready, Bruce? Here we go. This is the Liso Iron. Now, remember, we've taken seven ninety nine off that price. First slide, please. On the base. Uh, you've got your two inch detailing clip, you've got your auto lifter, you've got your powerful even steam distribution. I'll go through all this with you in a minute. Durable smooth gliding ceramic service, easy clean when using fusibles, large fat pressing area e with even edge to edge heat. Next slide, please. There's, look at that, that's brilliant. The detailing for when you're doing shirts or pockets, everything, it slides underneath so you can get a really, really good finish. Next. Look at that. Eliminates wrinkles with ease. Uh, I'm just checking I've put water in it. Yep, that's right. Powerful burst, vertical and horizontal. Uh, a zero drip system. 
then there we go now this is the only thing i don't agree with it it's not a digital fabric selector it's a little thing that you push across right you got steam control no steam little steam medium steam full steam then you've got extra steam <coughs> and you've also got cold fine spray button and the led light there that goes on when it's ready to work and there's this one here which is the easy fill side opening which if you're watching yesterday i filled it while we were using it yesterday large tank 12.07 ounces 375 millilitres then here you go touch handle this is its magic isn't it touch handle to lower and let go uh, well basically i'll show you that in a minute it's got a 30 minute shut off so when you have um if you walk away from it switches off after half an hour and it's got the auto lift right are you ready here we go so you're busy ironing away da, 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 da. And you finish, you finish um, your ironing, you let go, it lifts. Your doorbell rings, you go downstairs. Oh, hello, Marjorie, how are you? Oh, I've been so busy, blah, blah, blah. Half an hour later, the machine, the iron has switched itself off. However, replay, so ironing away, finish ironing, lifts up. Marjorie, what are you doing here? And a cat jumps on the ironing board and knocks over. 30 seconds later, it switches off. It switched off after 30 seconds, right? There is your easy lift. So look, this is what it does, right? Oh, did it without me touching them. Right, press it, goes down. I'm not pushing it down, you just have to touch it and it goes down, but lifts up off the, off the thing. That is the magic of this iron. So if you're busy ironing away, as soon as you finish, let go and it lifts itself off the board. The trouble is I haven't got one of these, right? I haven't got one of these at home, but I've got so used to demonstrating this one that I iron my shirt and then I'll just put it flat down like that. It obviously doesn't lift up. Right, so that was that. Let me show you the front of, oh, hang on, let me get it in the right place. The front here, this is what they call their digital. It's not a digital at all. You just turn the, the knob like that and it goes to wool and silk, synthetic, off. So it's gone red look, so it's gone red, there you go. Then we've got synthetic, wool and silk, and linen this here is your steam so you just push that across no steam little steam medium steam big steam this one is your spritzer your cold water spritzer this one here is your extra can you see that look and you can do it vertical as well vertical as well as horizontal on the base of the iron <coughs> excuse me they are your automatic lifters in there then you've got your uh, steam look at how amount of steam holes you've got it gets hot from corn right from the corner top bottom edge edge it's hot all the way across there's your two inch detailing there you know when you're doing your pockets and your um and your buttons and everything like that um and uh, oh this is what ben likes here it's got this left or right handed because it the ball and socket wire it's got a huge three and a half meter cable plugs in like a normal one and was there anything i've missed oh no the side the side opening to put the water in there's the side opening to put the water in there there you go 155 pounds now i don't know how long that's lasting that price because it's meant to be 162.99 right so at the moment it's 155 pounds 51.66 on split pay well, it, it, until they, I don't know if it's well stock or until they decide not to, um, not to do that price anymore. It might just be a festival of quilt things. No one's actually told me. Pardon? Not our stand. Okay, Ian, that's Ian, right? So it's a festival of quilts for over £160 on someone else's stand. No, but Ian, is that just till the end of festival of quilts then? Yeah, just till, so it's just till Sunday night then, that price. Oh, so this is the last time you'll see it with me at that price because I'm not in on Saturday and Sunday. In fact, I don't think I'm in now till Tuesday. I'll get Ben to check. I think I'm in next Tuesday. Right. So I've done that, done that. Oh, and this is how your iron will arrive, obviously, all beautifully packaged. Okay, so I'll put that there, put that there, put that there. Right, where are we going now then? Okay, then now, this is a, quite an eclectic mix, these bundles. Do not laugh. Yeah, now you, you, this gives you an idea of what's going on in Ben's mind. Okay, denim delight. It's not denim. It's uh, chambray, but it's... Oh, no, 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 that one's a denim. I'll take that back. That one that one's a denim there. So what, what it makes a denim is when you weave a denim, you have white going one way, and then you have the colour 
of whatever you're dealing with, like the blue, the red, the black, anything going the other way. 21.96. This is very, very, it's more of a chambray than a denim. They're not heavy weights at all. They're shirtings, I'd say. Half a metre of each, £21.96. pence. You've got the bird one, you've got the striped one, you've got the floral one, and you've got the plaid one. Very popular. Do what? £21.96. pence. I thought you said 25 had gone then. Keep going through for that, 21 96. Now remember, if you buy two... They can't, they're already cut, so you'll get two of those, two of those, two of those, two of those. You won't get a metre, you'll get a metre in total, but you won't get a metre piece. £21.96. There we go, look. Nine in baskets. Oh, excuse me, hiccup. Nine in baskets now. Oh, let me unfold the whole thing and then I'll move on. No, 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 it's fine. I'll, I'll just pass it to Kat. Oh, I can't throw it at you. It's got a hands full. Right, next. Stained glass. I'm presuming that's this one, is it? I've never seen this before. Is it, was it the fabric actually called stained glass or have you made that up? Oh, okay. So it's not... It's not called stained glass, the fabric. It's Ben's artistic. So you get that. And you get, I'd say it was little mosaic tiles myself. There you go. Look, you get half a metre of the blue and the yellow. I've never seen this fabric before. Half a metre of the blue and the yellow. Half a metre of the um, caramel. Beautiful, £13.98 a metre of fabric. 100% cotton, machine washable, quilting weight. Now think. No, it's 44. Oh, it feels a little bit wider than 44 inches. I might be wrong. I often am. Yeah, 54. Oh, no, no. That's me measuring it wrong then. I was wrong that time. Yeah, 44 inches wide. Felt wider. Anyway, so you get half a metre of the blue and yellow and green. Half a metre of the caramel and gold, molten lava. Beautiful. Give that one to Kat now. Thank you, Kat. Oh, we it's a hive. In the hive. It'll be that one. It'll be that one. Right, OK, now. You've got different weights of fabric in this one, right? So you've got your half a metre of your bumblebees. This is 60 inches wide. Now, this is canvas. This is 80% cotton, 20% polyester, right? So that's your, that's your canvas. Then you've got quilting weight cotton. Let me just put that down like that. Then you've got quilting weight cotton in the white with the honeycomb. And... Your little flowers on rust. There you go. In the high fabric bundle, one and a half metres, £18.47. Oh, um, £14.99. £14.99. The colour of love, this fabric's called. Got your big bumblebees on your, uh, on your cotton and polyester canvas there. Then you've got your either your hexes or your honeycomb on that one. £14.99. Gorgeous. Moving on. Country floral. I'm imagining it's that one. Oh, no, it could be. It's what? Hang on, let you show me a picture. I can't figure out which one he's chosen. Yeah, I was right. There, are, there is another one that it could be as well. Right, so this is a bundle here, country floral, wide side. Now, I don't think it's extra wide, is it? It's just the name of it, wide side. Why have you called it wide side? Country floral collection by Nakamura. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know why it's called wide side. 
It's lovely. It's very essence of liberty, I have to say. It's a cotton poplin. This is cotton poplin, this. Same fabric, just in two different colours, look. Why? Is your three months up yet? <laughs> £14.98. pence. What I didn't realise is, you know, Charlie, Charlie, direct Charlie, who's not here this weekend. Um, I said, we, I was talking to him and I said, about, I saw you've passed your probation. He went, I've got my secondary probation. I didn't know you did a secondary probation as well. No, well, I've never done a probation. I've never lasted three months anywhere, I don't think. £14 and that, that's lovely, that one. We've no idea where wide, wide side comes from. Yeah, beautiful though. It's very, very nice, that one. Here we go. You know you're making Ben's day by buying these bundles. Oh, God. Rainbow Stars, that's that one. This is Ben on a Saturday night. So you get rainbows in red. You get rainbows in blue. You get multi-star striped in the... Are these different? Hang on, hang on, hang on. There you go. Oh, now. They're very close. Oh, one's on navy blue and one's on royal blue. And then you've got your two rainbows there. Cos is that what you called it? Oh, no. Cosmic Voyage, no. Rainbow, rainbow, star, star. It's lovely, isn't it? I do like that one, I have to say. And especially as I've seen these fabrics. Where have you got these fabrics from? Lewis and Irene over the rainbow. What season here? No. Oh, yeah, they are. Yeah, you didn't know that, though. There you go. I've never seen them, I don't think, before, do you? Somewhere over the rainbow. Aren't they lovely? So you've got your rainbows and your stars, half a metre of each, £27.96. Excuse me, hiccup. <laughs> yeah, now this is how it goes a little bit peculiar. Even Cat went, what's he put this in here for? Right, so I'll just explain what you've got. You've got your lovely pink and white striped poplin. I think that's extra white, but I'll have a look in a minute. Then you've got your lovely poplin in your blue dots. Then you've got stretch jersey. And then you've got your quilting weight cotton there and your stripes. The thing is, right, oh, thank you, Bruce. Bruce is so protective of, of uh, Ben. Right, look. Oh, it might not be wider. That fit. I thought that was wider, that um, poplin. Forty-four. No, it's 44 inches. Right. So that is, it is poplin, though. So you've got your spot poplin. You've got your pink stripes poplin. You've got your stretch jersey. Now, I think it's even Terry Towel back, this one. There you go, look. Stretch jersey, half a metre. And then you've got this one here, which I don't know what this is. Riley Blake, roses and violets. Miss Rose's sister. That's your quilting weight. So you've got one quilting weight, two poplins and a stretch jersey. Right, he's embarrassed now, so he's going to reduce the price. Well, hardly. 18 99 18 pounds and 99 pence. Oh, I'll buy one if it'll make you happy. Moving on. <laughs> Rightio, next one. Okay. It's a what? What colour is it? Oh, Anna Maria Horner! It's not 70s at all, it's terribly contemporary. Right, peace and love. Well, Anna Maria, now, has anyone, has anyone seen Anna Maria at Festival of Quilts? Because she's in Scotland at the moment. And I thought, well, she was last week and I thought she must be over to go to Festival of Quilts. Anyway, look, so here you go. 
Beautiful. So it's all from folk hearts, this. That's lovely, isn't it? You get half a metre of that, half a metre of that, half a metre of that, which is the same as that different colourway. Oh, I had this five fabrics in here, two and a half metres. Half a metre of this. And then half a metre of that fabric bit in a turquoise. So five fabrics in total. Thirty-seven pounds and forty-five pence. It's what? Well. Hang on, hang on. One, two, three, four, five. No. Lovely. Sorry, cats. I'm just going to fold that one up like that. Next. Perfect purples. That's got to be that one, hasn't it? Right. It's, uh, here we go. Now, I don't recognise these either. Perfect purple. Oh, okay. Is it scoff or stoff? I think you've, pre you've pressed the wrong thingy there. Stoff, yeah. It's stoff fabrics. No. So you get half a metre of each, the purples, as they say in Liverpool. So you've got the dark purple with the splodge with the leaves on it. You've got the lighter purple with the splodge with the stars on it. You've got the la lavender with the little dots on it. And then lots of little lines on that one. £27.96. Did Ian bring you lots of information down? Oh, he's going to it. Have you got next door's um, menu yet? Oh, you have today. Blimey. me. Beautiful. Twenty-seven pounds and ninety-six pence. Is it cat on today? Oh, there you go. Then we've got popping pink. Would be that red one, will it? Okay. Popping, oh, uh, which one is it? Is it this one? Yeah, okay. 100% cotton. There are core fabrics. Oh, it's a bit blurdy. Sorry, I can't show There you go. So you get half a metre of bright red in the popping pinks. Half a metre of pink and half a metre of pink. Eleven pounds and thirty-seven pence. That one. Oh, we can move it on. That. Okay. Right again. We've got a mixture of weights in this fabric bundle. So you've got your um, dragonflies on rust. Beautiful. I'm just checking. Can you check where, where this where, what fabric that what fabric that's from? And then this one here. I think this one here. Yes, Yoko Sato. How's that got muddled up with other fabrics? So that's Yoko Sato, right? Then this is heavyweight koi carp. It's beautiful, but it's a heavy, much heavier weight fabric, and it's got a. Um, slub in it you know it's kind of a, a thicker um almost feels like a canvas but it is to canvas you've got that in the blue that in the black you got yoga solo, and then i don't know where that one's come from but anyway mix of fabrics there mix of designers oh don't worry don't worry don't worry i don't think this is yoko sano could no it well, can't be because it would have a name on the um yeah you got that one there that is Yeah, there you go. It's what? Good. £33.46. pence. got loads still. Oh, sorry, cat. I didn't mean to throw it off the table. Organza Fabric Bundle. Okay, so this is if you're doing... Uh, one of Delphine's applique, and you want to applique this onto top 
of your um, on top of your uh, design right do not iron this no matter what they say do not iron it it will melt on the bottom of your iron meter fabric look at the price 578 so there you go Five, oh, here you go so there's your purple with a green tinge and there's your aqua also with a green tinge we used to call this twinkle chiffon when I used to go to Borovix to do my shopping. Lovely, isn't it? It's for embellishments and things like that. Or doing text, of course it's popular, textile art and things like that. We had that lovely book, didn't we, all about textile art and they, they um, did all the layers with that. But the more, more recently it's been on Delphine's um, not Hornet, what's it called? What's well, Dragonfly? Dragonfly design and Bumblebee design. And, oh, I know it's also from. It's from our Buddha design. It's out of our Buddha design as well, isn't it? £5.78. Yeah, a metre, half a metre of each. They're already cut. Lovely. Next. I've got six left now. Monochrome. No, hang on, I've got a monochrome cotton canvas. That's the only one. Oh no, there you go. <laughs> so monochrome means black, white, and grey, right? This monochrome's got yellow, green, pink, orange in it. Oh, is it wrong then? Is that the wrong one? Okay, on the web image it looks black and white. They're both cotton canvases, so they're both the same weight. That's your, that's your black one with the olives on. And then, it's a different black as well. This one's a more of a bluey black, this one. There you go. So maybe use them in different projects. Monochrome magic, cotton canvas, half a metre of each, £13.98. pence. Yeah, next one. Is it the cotton lawn? Okay, right. Uh, so this is cotton lawn. Very, very fine, beautiful cotton lawn. Right? This one here is also a very, very fine cotton lawn. Look beautiful, very drapeable. Do not use those for quilting unless you're doing a cotton lawn quilt. And then this is a heavyweight cotton. Right, don't mix these fabrics. You can mix those two, but don't mix them with this. What was going through your, your brain when you put this one together then? It was late and he was tired. The thing is, right, the thing about buns, I know I'm taking the mickey out of bed. You can use them, you don't have to use them together. I'm just telling you that that's two lawns and a cotton weight. That you might love all three of those, but want to use them in different projects because you might not necessarily put that and that together, but they're the same weight of fabric. That's a heavier weight fabric and a different kind of style of print. But you can just use them as half meters in your bundle, can't you? Yeah, that's what he was thinking. Beautiful. You see, look at that. The cotton ones are beautiful. They're so drapey. I've got four more. Right. Every day what? Grey. Oh, that must be that one. Oh, I haven't got one with tan in it. Let me see the picture. That one there. <laughs> so this is Bruce's, uh, not Bruce, this is Ben's idea of tan. No wonder he goes and go on holiday. Lempad 37, there you go. They're all our core cottons, 100% cotton, 44 inches wide. So you get white, pastel pink and a sort of soft coral or an apricot there. 
11.37, Everyday Essentials. Beautiful. Lovely. Hang on. Right, I've got bold blues. Because it's all blues. Here you go. Bold blues. You've got the bright turquoise, the uh, chambre and the candy. Lempan 37. Gorgeous. Two left. Right, that'll be the, uh, oh. Okay, I've got one with two canvases and a cotton with ducks and with pheasants and with coffee. And then I've got little flowers. One with shutters, one with orange. Hand drawn, he's called this one. 15 pounds and 98 pence for a metre of fabric there. Beautiful, isn't it? But we're not having 15.98. Yeah, go on then. That's more like it. 12.99. Afternoon, John. Love the shirt. Just to let you know, I've had my Lisso, the same one over for over three years now, and it's still going great. Thank you, Donald. Is that Donald and Sue? Beautiful. Last bundle now. Now this is uh, two cotton canvases. Well, they're cotton polyester mix. So you've got pheasants and you've got the mallards. Right? And then you've got the coffee and the baguette. This is not cotton canvas. That's just a cotton weight, quilting weight. 1897. Oh, it is Donald and Syria. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. Thank you for visiting Ben's brain. He won't be doing that again for a while. Right, he's on the next two days, so he might be. Have you not got any bundles in the next two days? Right. Very quickly, the Liberty Bundle. Lots of you coming in for this now. I'm down to single figures. Now, I know it is a considered purchase. 20223. Get it on split paper. You are getting 29 different fabrics. Well, not all different. They're all the same design, different coloured fabric. You are getting two for free, so you're saving £14.98. Now, you see, even at our original price, right, you pay £16 a metre at least at Liberties for this, right? And we, we've taken a metre off, and ours is £14.98. So how are we even cheaper than the actual shop that they come from? Anyway... You get 29 pieces of half a metre. The 44 inches wide. I'll show you what one looks like open. We cannot recreate this bundle again. When they're gone, they're gone. Beautiful. I love Wiltshire Shadow. It's such a gorgeous... If you've got it in your stash and you just think, oh, I just need a little tinge of pale blue or lemon or whatever you've got all the colors here we'll just go through them so you've got the pale blue the mid blue the cornflower blue the lavender blue the raf blue teal uh, heading towards navy but it's not navy then we've got the purples lavenders then we've got the burgundies then we've got the cream then we've got the pale pink We've got the deep pink, we've got the luscious bubblegum pink, we've got the fuchsia pink, we've got the dark red, we've then got the pale apricot, the pale lemon, the bright sunshine, lovely apple green, um, oh I don't know what green that is but it's gorgeous, uh, teal green, then you've got your soft grey, dove grey, battleship grey and black. All of those colours for 20223 message got mine i'll be oh, i told you didn't i tell you got mine i'll be mixing it with my emily bell bundle and everything else yeah when you get around to sewing that is kate i thought you'd i thought you'd like this 
202.23. Get it on split. Pay 6741. It is, it, how many have we got left? Okay. Single figures. Single figures we've got of that. It's beautiful. Let me just turn it up to the camera light so you see all the colours. Gorgeous. It is. Ultimate Liberty Wiltshire Shadow. Right, now, if you think you're going to Festival Quilts, I haven't got today, so they're there now today. Uh, for the next two days, because I'm not in here again. Am I back on Tuesday? Can you just check for me? Right, so, here is meet and greet for Saturday at the Sewing Street Lounge. So we've got K Facet book signing at 10.30. I'll be wandering around all the all stalls by then. 11.15, John Scott and Delphine Brooks. Oh, I didn't know I was on with Delphine tomorrow. 12.15, John Scott and Stuart Hillard. One o'clock, where's my lunch break? John Scott and Jenny Jackson at one o'clock. And then two o'clock, John Scott and Susie Duncan. That's tomorrow, that's Saturday. Then on Sunday, we've got <laughs> me on my own at 11 o'clock Billy no mates at 11 o'clock on a Sunday morning right now the 12 o'clock one with Becky Alexander Frost I'll only be there for half an hour because I've got to go to the theatre and do my show in the theatre which I've got to kind of formulate tonight what I'm going to do uh, then at one o'clock Adam Brooks and Jenny J oh I'm not even there one oh no because I'm on the stage at one o'clock oh I'm not there again and then two o'clock Alison Marion oh that's nice I'll just wander around on Sunday afternoon that'd be nice Ben's going to Festival of Quilts now. What stall are we on, please? Did he not bring that down? That's a bit... Oh, of course, I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. Is that live, John? What do you mean, Sue, is that live? I'll be there at tomorrow. Not, no, no, they're not, it's not being shown here. I'll be at Festival of Quilts in the Sewing Street Lounge at those times tomorrow and, and Sunday. There you go. So, look, at 10.30 tomorrow, it's Kay Fassett uh, doing his book signing. 11.15, me and Delphine. 12.15, me and Stuart. 1 o'clock. Uh, oh, Stuart's only doing 45 minutes, look. Uh, me and Jenny Jackson. And 2 o'clock, me and Susie Duncan. That's tomorrow. It's just us in the, in the lounge. We're not doing anything. We're just there. You can, and then on Sunday... It's uh, me on my own at 11 o'clock, me with Becky Alexander Frost at 12 till half past, then Adam Brooks and Jenny Jackson at one, and then Alice and Marion at two. Hall six, J49 is where you'll find us, and we're next to Mandy Shaw. We're right next door to Mandy Shaw. So that's good, so come along and see us. Uh, now there's a little lounge where you can sit down and have a chat, look at the quilt that you were your made, you know, the 12 winners, that's there. There's a television screen. I don't know what's on it though, because um, it might be the live show, it might not be. Uh, there'll be other people there. There'll be somebody from marketing, somebody from the office there tomorrow. Um, and what else do you want me to tell you? That was it, I think. That was it, I think. Okay, there's loads of stuff from this hour that we haven't played. Uh, it'll all be put across to show deals as well, as long as the other things from the last hour. There it is. So these are all on pre-order at the moment, but they will, after the show, they will all move across to show deals. Going very slowly. Doesn't feel like five hours ago we were just doing that with the start of the show, does it? Are you not taking a cam with you? No, Donald, I'm not. I might do a, a, live, a bit of a live stream on my phone, but I don't think there'll be Wi-Fi, will there? So I'll have to use all my own data, won't I, if I, if I do a Facebook Live? There won't be Wi-Fi for 40,000 people. They won't give free Wi-Fi, though, I don't think. Oh! I don't quite know what happened then. I do apologise for you sitting on your sofa in front of the telly. Shall we do our menu for tomorrow, though? Here's our menu for tomorrow. So, Anna Maria, welcome home fabric collection. She's not on, is she? No, she's not coming on, is she? Let's get scrappy with Sandy. Oh, it's like it's some Sandy chocolate chip cookie. I can't, Mini really Chip Master Tochichi. She's back, she's lovely. She's really lovely. Then we've got Amber Makes Totally Totes. That must be Rebecca Reed. Is it Rebecca Reed tomorrow? Oh, it's Rebecca Reed tomorrow. Then 11 o'clock, Hunter Star Cushion with Sandy again. And then Quilt Kits. Oh, you love fun at 12 o'clock. Quilt Kits at 12 o'clock. Hang on. So where are they doing the wadding again tomorrow then? Which hour is that in? Yeah. Um, and then if you're staying on the channel watching, straight after us is Hobby Maker. They've got Crafter's Companion, Violet Studio, 
Ant Home for Christmas Collection with Michelle. Essential Tools from Personal Impressions with Mandy Taylor. Knitwit Home Body and Kindly Thoughts Collection from Crafter's Companion. Four o'clock, pardon? Oh, it does have Wi-Fi. Oh, brilliant. More Absolute Essentials from Personal Impressions. Oh, hang on. Personal what? Impersions? What are they? Personal Impersions. And then Crafter's Companions Vintage Snowman collection with Michelle. Right, is it me on Tuesday? Did you check? I'm back in on Tuesday. Is it Christmas next week? Or is that the next week? Yeah, I'm back on Christmas. I don't think there's going to be any Christmas decorations unless Ian pops down on Sunday night to do the Christmas decorations. Anyway, I've got to go, I've got to go, I've got to go. Uh, make sure you watch Hobby Maker. I'll see you on Tuesday. Rebecca Reed's here on Saturday. Stuart's here on Sunday. And I'll see you at Festival Quilts tomorrow or the day after. Uh, I'm there on Sunday. Bye. Festival of Quilts Week! Do you know what? When I woke up this morning, right, I tell you, I've only had two, how many days off? Right? Three. I've been, I've, I've come two, two or three days off, right? When I was in work last time, when the alarm went off, it was still kind of uh, daybreak outside. This morning, the alarm went off, opened the curtains like that, pitch black. At, how's that happened in three days? I know, I know, I know, I know. Anyway, never mind. I'm here now for two days, uh, fr Thursday and Friday. Thursday and Friday. Uh, so, should we do today's early bed? Tweet, tweet, tweet. Right, now, you'll, re you'll recognise this, this starter kit. Now, I always say, I always say, oh, it's already reduced. It's already reduced, look, 19.99. Already been reduced, look. So, you get, what you get is you get the, you get the cutting mat, you get the ruler, and you get the rotate, uh, rotary cutter. Words aren't coming out this morning, right? For 19.99, I'll show you one open, right? Because if you're going to, I don't know, the caravan on holiday classes, you don't want to take all the great big ones with you, do you? These could be your spares. Now, I have to tell you that I made, you know, the quilts, the, the quilt that you're going to be able to see at, at, at the Festival of Quilts, you're the one with the competition. I made my block using these using these three pieces the 45 millimeter rotary cutter the ruler and the uh, the cut the mat the mat the mat the cutting mat right but look inches centimeters centimeters inches at 19 pounds and 99 pence no it's not a fifteen ninety nine, fifteen pounds. Like now, there's only till midnight today. If you th think Christmas presents, I know it's only August, but Christmas presents, Christmas present draw. Plan ahead. If you've got somebody you know is going to start quilting or uh, doing any sort of crafting, this would be fantastic, wouldn't it? Fifteen ninety nine. And remember, once you've checked out on this, that's your P and P paid for for the day. Ah, oh, no, ruler, cutting mat, and rotary cutter, forty five millimeter rotary cutter. At fifteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. What's the matter, Ben? What did you just say to me? Oh, already? Oh, we've got such a busy day. We're going to the menu. What? Got so much scramming. I can't hear you again, by the way, Ben. It's very quiet. There you go. That's better. Uh, anyway, 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 anyway. Keep going through. Keep going through. Keep going through for that. Fifteen ninety-nine. Now, before I do the menu, I need to tell you about two special treats we've got today. Professional here. Thank you. Uh, right, so uh, if you buy the Elna 720 uh, between today and Sunday, you get an extra treat. Look, you get, can I have it on the big screen, please? You, I still can't read it on there. Quilt Show Special, Elna Excellent 720 Plus Sewing Machine with five year warranty, free five year warranty and a free Metler thread set, right? Now it'll always cost you £1,799, but if you buy it between now and Sunday, you get a five year warranty. And you get a lovely thread set. Here it is. No, I haven't got it. I haven't got it. Nobody sent it to me. Not that bitter and twisted, but nobody sent it to me. So that's the 720. Now you'll also, the next machine, you'll see Victoria Carrington using this later. It's the 780. 
the Elner 780. Again, you get a five year warranty and you get a free Meta set. Can't search you yet because he hasn't sent it to me yet. Uh, there you go. I just thought I'd let you know. I just thought I'd look at the split pay on that one. That's brilliant, isn't it? Five split pay. So hang on, we're we still in August. August, September, October, November, December. You'll have just finished paying for it in time for Christmas. I don't know. £2,789, £557, 80 pence on uh, split pay. Right now, today's menu is the menu. Coming up today, at 8 o'clock, we've got k Fasic quilts and quilting tools. Actually, that's uh, rubbish. That's rubbish, right? I've got a K-Facet book in Wales. Oh, no, TV launch. TV launch of the book. There it is. Well done, Becky. That's three of them. You only get one, obviously. Right, OK. And uh, so what else did you say for that hour? Because I haven't got any quilts. I've got the book and I've got some K-Facet fabric in the first hour. Then at nine o'clock, we've got the K-Facet checkerboard quilt with Victoria Carrington. That's this one. No, 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 that's not that one. Charlie. There you go, that's that one. And we'll show you Ian and Barry holding it in a minute. Then at 10 o'clock, we've got, uh, at 10 o'clock, we've got Wendy Orlando, Noughts and Crosses. That's this one. That's that one. There it is in a draped over our garden on a sunny day. Then at 11 o'clock, we've got K Facet School, Victorian County. Now, I've not got a picture of those, but it's two of them. They're called uh, Lavender and Sage and Bobbly. They're the same quilt, but they're in different colourways. But I've got no pictures yet because they're at uh, Festival of Quilts. And then at 12 o'clock, we've got Quilt As You Go with Wendy Orlando. She is now, it's not a pattern of, of actually what to make, right? So you see this picture. The pattern isn't for that. She's just going to show you different techniques. She's just going to show you different techniques of quilt as you go. Right, there are three ways you can get in touch. The first way is by email. Studio at sewingstreet.com. Studio at sewingstreet.com. The second way is by Facebook Live. And I've not shouted any of them out, so I'll do that now. So, Julie Vaughan says morning. Off to Festival Quilts today. Anne says good morning. Pauline says good morning. Marie says good morning. Jan says good morning. I'm coming from having a very stubborn tooth out yesterday. Ooh, that's the other Jan. Lo, sat in the hairdressers. Uh, uh, Claire says morning, John. Off to do the dreaded school shoe shopping today. Wish me luck. Sue says good morning. Loving lovely to see you this morning carol says good morning margaret says morning raining here but you've brought some sunshine to the day laurie says morning john team what a great week love your shirt see you soon uh, sue says two fabulous guests today i love them both uh, pauline says we wanted to meet you and the same street team festival quilts but because the rail strike we can't come now and lo says say hi to the very lovely richard my hairdresser hello richard the hairdresser hello rich hairdresser and the third way is by going to the website www.sewingstreet.com you click on watch the show live and uh, there's on the right hand side there's a box there on the right hand side uh, that says yes right now if you scroll down the page in a minute there will be two columns oh no there are two columns there's today's show deals that's everything we've shown so far and on the right hand side is pre-order this is everything we have for the next five hours there's quilts in Wales bada da and then here we go, uh, all sorts of goodies in that hour. Okay, now some things, there might be crash prices, I can't promise you that. Then, 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 that's still the same first hour, first hour. Then, there is the k Fasted checkerboard, the checkerboard quilt, oh, you're going straight past it, 199.99. There, 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 get down there. Click on it so it's a picture. There you go. Lovely. So Victoria County is going to show you how to make that. Then we'll carry on down the page. There's the tools she's going to be using, some of the tools she's going to be using. Then, of course, we've got uh, Wendy Orlando's Hour. There they are. The uh, Noughts and Crosses in three different colours. And the pattern on its own. It's foundation paper piecing. So there's your foundation paper piecing. You add a quarter ruler, your glue. So that's her first hour. Then there's the two quilts. Now I'll, I'll click on those and I'll show you those, right? So there's lavender and sage. Oh, look. Lavender and sage. Lavender and sage. And bubbly. Which one do you like best? So they're both. Uh, uh, I've just got to ask Charlie, can you stop the screens next door? I've got swirling jewellery. Can you they just put me off a little bit? Can you just switch those off for me? Right, okay, carry on down the, the, the um, 
uh, what's, what's, what's on today's show? The uh, website, look, there, there's, oh, now. There's Wendy's second hour now. That's right, there's Wendy's second hour. That's 12 o'clock. We've got a few of our other patterns here as well. Oh, 505 spray, quilting gloves, broad web, fusible fleece, everything you need to know. Right, now, let's start at the very beginning. It's a very good place to start. We're not, not that. That's going. Because we've got TV launch of Kay Fassett's Quilts in Wales, Bodada, designs inspired by a Welsh castle. Right, we haven't put, we haven't put the graphics in yet, and 10% of the stock has gone already. Are you ready? Are you steady? Go. 25 pounds. Oh look, no dot, dot, naught, naught or anything. 25 pounds. It is the TV launch. Bada, oh, we go. Ibexa says, Bada da chi e gid. Collecting my new car today. Eh? Well, it's new to me. Patricia says, Good morning, love you. June says, Morning, love you, love your shirt. A tree says, Morning, Sewing Street family, have a beautiful day. Viv says, Morning, watching a damp caravan. Right. Oh, God, what's that say? Morning, what a glorious shirt. So excited for Professor Quilt in the UK. Wearing my cave trousers to celebrate. See you Saturday. That's Susie. That's our Susie. She'll be there. She'll be there. One more message on bottom, then I'll show you the book. Morning, John. Fabulous shirt. Have a great day from Vanessa. Thank you, Vanessa. Right, are you ready? Let me move those out of the way a little bit so I can see this. Oh, right, this is the first time we've opened it, right? This is it. This is the TV exclusive, £25. Hmm? No, look. Oh, look. I was waiting for someone else to notice. Should we come in a bit closer? I know. I found my ring. So Lowe's at the hairdressers, maybe a new one, right? But I found the old one. I told you, didn't I, that I'd not lost it? Right, okay, I'm gonna blame Crazy Lorraine. Don't think she's watching yet, but I'm gonna blame Crazy Lorraine. Crazy Lorraine, very quickly, made me this peg bag a few years ago out of gorgeous Tula fabric, but I haven't got a washing line. So it's no good. So what I do is at the bottom of the stairs, I've got my um, thermostat, you know, for the, um, the central heating control. It hangs over there, and what I do is whenever I have receipts, because I move my office from downstairs to upstairs, I put everything inside, all the receipts go inside this peg bag. Now you have to put your hand, it's like a, a, a cylinder, like that, put your hand in the hole. I'd obviously put my hand in, the ring had pulled off as I came out. And then I was, I was doing my accounts this week, and I pulled, the, pulled all the receipts out, and there it was at the bottom. So I've got two now. So I won't wear, I've just put two of them on to see today. So I found the old one and Lo made me a new one. Owen P. Silver. Right, let's do the book. Let's do the book. Let's do the book. Quilts in Wales, bada da. Right, here we go. So, which castle is it? It looks like Harlick. Oh, no, Powys. Powys Castle. Oh, oh, look, first page and I'm in love already. Look. Beautiful. Debbie Patterson. Oh, look. That's my bedroom. That looks like my bedroom. That does, it doesn't at all. <laughs> oh, my way. Oh, Brandon. Case, look, case busy working. Brandon just standing by. Oh, my word. Oh, my. Well, look, there's Charlie. Look, 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 look. I'm not going to spoil I'm not going to do the whole book because obviously I don't want to spoil it for you for when you get, get it home. Oh. <gasps> Aren't they just as Brandon again? Look, cave. Obviously, they're not just outside. They're not just in the castle, are they? Because that's a little Tudor building there. The library. That's lovely, isn't it? That one there. Beautiful. Oh, look at that. That's fantastic. What's that one called? Stripe, strippy strips. Stripey strips. You see, I thought stripey had a knee in it. Oh, look. That, that, now, that there, that there is after these two have been prepping it. Look, hang on. That one there, look. So Brandon just standing by. He leans on the door. The door opens. The puts there. Oh, look, aren't they just beautiful? The thing about these, they're not only informative, but they're also like coffee table books, aren't they? 
so then uh, what you also see here look is at the back you have all the patterns and which fabrics they've used so hang on let me get to the start of the patterns here you go oh it's low now there's low normally there's just a couple in the back but this one's got loads of patterns in it oh my word look 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 here we go so it's got your toast and marmalade what what fabrics you've got in there and how to make it then you've got your vintage library then you've got your uh, that's your vintage library still cold frames where they make the cucumbers hot frames where they make the tomatoes Mar oh that's nice marble tiles topiary golden squares sassy baby how many patterns are in here sweet baby plums and ginger oh i'm loving plums at the moment and then we've got the saturated red we've got the oh hang on is that all still saturated red or this one out no jumping jacks beautiful then we've got blue tiles from the toilet obviously turquoise dream i had funny dreams last night cobweb what i love is the fact they tell you how to make it all the fabrics is used as well look bubbly oh bubbly lavender and sage checkerboard of checkerboards then we've got the uh, sunflower checkerboard oh that's rather lovely isn't it there's so many how much would you pay for a cave pattern well if you think about it quilt patterns are like the cheapest 9.99 aren't they right now would you call that stripey strips or strippy strips because it was strippy it would have two p's in it wouldn't it i thought stripey would have an e in it as well oh look you've even got the template for the marble tiles and then look patchwork and quilting know-how in the back that's brilliant <laughs> branded on that one. Oh my word oh look and there you go there's conway castle carnarvon castle so conway castle i know that because that's where my friends live carnarvon castle is when i filmed prince valiant never been to powis never been to Caffilly, and i've never been to fishguard or pembroke you see chester where i grew up is just up here isn't it just up there you see oh my word what a gorgeous book 25 pounds 25 pounds tv launch and it'll be sent out to you we've got the look as you can see we've got them so as soon as you buy it the, the process of you buying them will happen from midnight tonight when we take the money off your credit card 25 pounds and if you if you want the early bird there's no more pmp to pay or if you buy this that's your pmp done for the day whether you buy a sewing machine whether you buy a quilt kit or anything at 25 pounds beautiful designs inspired by a welsh castle 25 pounds gorgeous book oh stripey it's, it is stripey we've looked it up apparently it can be spelled both ways beautiful book let's see what else he's got to say in it shall we where's the word there's so many patterns i can't believe how many patterns they put in lovely isn't it beautiful it's kind of contemporary quilts in a very very classic setting isn't it love that bedroom i've got a bed a bit like that but it's in the downstairs bedroom now no no the downstairs bedroom's a reading room now it's all cozy it's got red not red lights in, but in orange indian lights in it yeah beautiful look at that gorgeous 25 pounds keep going through keep going through keep going through for that lots of you coming in oh right okay good morning Sane street i want the cave new book oh i want i so want the book oh, cat get it get it sue says yeah you found it oh my gosh you found this pauline 
You wear them both so well, says Lo. Sandy says, morning, John. Love to see you this morning. Your shirt is gorgeous. Lovely cave book. Super photography, says Julie. Oh, my goodness, John. You've bought, you found your needle ring. Have Jill, indeed. Good morning, John. I love the cave books. I met him and Brenda at Quilt Festival a couple of years ago. And he was, lo what, lovely people. Well, you'll be at festival. You'll be at festival of Quilts this week. I don't know what day. I know he's definitely there tomorrow because Rebecca Reed's interviewing him tomorrow. Not pre-order, it's ready to go. It's ready to go. If you go and Google it or Yahoo or Bing it, it's all on pre-order. It's a TV launch. I've got a favourite. Oh, no, I don't know. Okay, let's have a look then. I like that, the, the one in the bedroom, the pictures in the bedroom. But then I did like the quilt hanging over the... Um, Oh, it's very loud. What's all that noise? Keep the noise down, ladies. It's just beautiful, isn't it? £25. I'm just trying to find it now. I like that one. Lots in baskets. Make sure you... Oh, that nicey. That would go nice in my house, wouldn't it? Um... Lots in baskets, make sure you check out, check out, check out. And now, what's that? There's a big thing going on on Facebook at the moment. Apparently, when I go, you can check out any time, right? Uh, it's a song, apparently. I oh, know. No, no, no. It's a famous song where they say you can check out any time. I don't think I... Oh! That's nice. You're going to see that later, actually. And you're going to see that one later as well. Yeah, Ben. Ben's going to do his own book, Quilts in Redditch. He won't need quite so many, I don't think. His lounge is looking very nice, though. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Keep going through, keep going through. Right, I'll come back to that in a minute. I'll come back to that in a minute. But a £25 TV launch. I know. Quilts in Wales. If you've already got, if you're collecting all of them, you know what I mean? That'd be a nice uh, added one to, uh, one to add to your collection now, wouldn't it? It's beautiful. Coffee table book as well as, uh, as um, instructional. Right. We've got some cave thingies here. Oh, a design role. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. Okay. Are they available on their own as well? Right. Okay. So, I've only got Neptune on its own, but we've got a special deal going on. Special deal going on here. So, oh, I wish I wouldn't have that thing across the bottom. It's driving me mad. 89.98 you get two oh 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 what happened then 89.98 not our price today 10 pounds off if you buy both of them this bundle you buy bx6648 at 79.98 10 pounds off 10 pounds off 10 now this is how yours will arrive let me show you what you're gonna get so this is your uh, red one. So this is Mars. Oh, look at these gorgeous colours, look. Stunning, aren't they? Rainbows, flowers, military ties, grandma. Now I think these are succulent flowers, but someone else said they thought were a dahlia. So you get that one, and let me keep that together. You get this one as well. It's both of them, one of each, £10 off, £79.98. Look, oh, 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 beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. £10 off you buy this bundle. Hotel California by the Eagles, it is apparently. You can check out, you can never leave. It was a bit like this place then. Oh, Shelley's not coming to Festival of Quilts this year. She's been poorly, she's very, very poorly. Um, oh yeah, Hotel California, Hotel California, Hotel California. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Right, both of those for seventy-nine pounds and ninety-eight pence. Ten pounds off until midnight tonight. Celebrating Festival of Quilts. 
Yay! Who's going? I'll be there on Saturday and Sunday. We were going to do a competition if you spot Bruce, he was going to give things away, but... We forgot. 79.98 for the two. So I've now not got Mars on its own, but I have got Neptune on its own. So let me take that one out. And then have the Neptune one, which is the blue one. There you go, that's what yours will look like when it arrives. 44.99 normally. Not today. Oh, hang on. He's taking £10 off. He was supposed to take £5 off. He's taking £10 off. He'll get into trouble for that. There's Crazy Lorraine. There's Crazy Lorraine after me telling the story about Crazy Lorraine this morning. Needs to sell out those a genuine area. Because well, you only got £10 off the double, didn't you? So you're not supposed to get £10 off the single. Oh, Crazy Rain's not coming to Festival of Quilts. Oh, no. Dawn's coming on Sunday. Coming to see you, courtesy of Emma Bradford. Oh, that's nice, Dawn. She paid for your ticket. £34.99, that's £10 off. £10 off. Oh, it's brilliant. It is brilliant. Do you know what you should do? You should buy two of those. Because then you're going to save... £20, whereas if you buy the bundle of the red one, the blue one, you only save £10. Oh, it's sold out. Oh, there's one not checked out. One, one not checked out, bad sell out. He said scratching his ear. My ears were so hairy yesterday when I went to have my shave, I can't tell you. Sold out, sold out, sold out. Brilliant. No, you'll get into so much trouble for doing that, but there you go. Right, are we going to do this then next? K facet design wall, two inch square fabric grid, 115 by 150 centimetres, that's 45 by 60. And you're saying, well, what on earth is this K facet design wall? I've got no idea what you're talking about. They've obviously been stuck on afterwards, haven't they? Right, here it is. You don't get the five inch squares. They're there just to show you what happens, right? So if you're, you're going to see this being used when Victoria Carrington does her second show, her 11 o'clock show, because she's going to use this design wall during that hour. But literally, see, these aren't pinned, right? These are just my five inch. So if you're thinking, oh, I just want to set up um, a four patch. Will they look nice together? Of course, I should do it straight, shouldn't I? Come on, John. So look, you just do it like that. And put like that, like that. So you can just place them because the flannel fabric just allows you just to put things up like that. Right? And you can step back, right? And look at it, we'll take that one out of the way. And then you can just step back. Beautiful. Which one, Ben? It, right, okay. Beautiful. So if you don't want that, you think, well, that's not quite right. I want to change that one for that one. You literally can just do that, 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 and that. And they just, and so basically you can build up your quilt using different shapes. If you want to do a half square triangle, you can cut them in half, whatever. You just build up your qu quilt as, as you want to make it. See how it's going to look? Without pinning, without that one, it's not going to go that side up. You see, basically, it's better. Roberta, my friend Roberta, she just hangs hers over the back of the um, kitchen dresser with hers. But if you can just pin it to a wall like this, it works better than leaving it flailing around sort of thing. But it's just so easy. No pins, no glue. But there you go. How brilliant is that? I think it's fantastic. Yeah, you want to, be able to step back and look at it to walk across the room, have a look at it. Oh, there's the other one. I knew there was another one. Well, 
What are you trying to say, Charlie? Oh, yeah, look at the different angles. Go outside, look at it through the window. Do anything you want to. I learned that from Stuart, actually. So, um, so basically, it's quite good to because you can't always make a decision. And also, if you make a snap decision, once you've cut it and everything and sewn it together, you're like, oh, I wish I hadn't put that there. $27.99. Yeah, yeah, go away, have a cup of tea, think about it. Then go back. Does, does, are any of those jarring for you at the moment? Yeah, it might not be working in 10 minutes, might it? So £27.99. You don't get, obviously, you don't get these. It's just the board. It's just the, um, not the board, you don't get the board, the, the uh, design wall. There you go. Yeah. Well, it's flannel, you see. It's a flannel, so it's got a kind of nice kind of um, fluffy edge to it and everything. Just leave it hanging there the whole time. You could pin it to the wall. You know what I'd do? I'd, I'd make a baton. And I put it on my wall, but what I would do is I would attach ribbons. So then when you're not using it, you could, you could put, I put a baton on the bottom, you could roll it up, so it or just says like a Venetian black, like a Roman blind at the top there. And then once you use it, just let it down again. Because you might not want that on your wall the whole time, might you? You might be doing dressmaking for a few days, and you don't need that for dressmaking. That's the box there. Twenty-seven pounds and ninety-nine pence. K facet design wall. It is like an adult version of fuzzy felt, but not. Oh no, Trace says hopefully going to get there, but the train and ferry strikes are conspiring against me. He's looking away from it, though, isn't it? It's behind him. Yeah, he's thinking about it, you see. £27.99. pence. The which one? Yeah, this one here. It's a layer cake, this one. Or a 10-inch stacker. So, this is what yours will look like when you get it home. Oh, we've called it a charm pack in there. I see, what, I see why you're calling it a charm pack now. £44.99. pence. These are 10-inch squares, remember? Oh! Oh, I didn't know this was happening. Hang on, what's happening now? £39.99. So, he's taken £5... Uh, £39.44. Yep, yeah, £5 he's taken off there. Right, this is what you're going to get in this one here. So you get the beautiful flowers on purple. Purple. You get Kaif. Oh, let's see if we can find it. Yep, there it is. I'll turn it the other way. There you go, Kaif. Then you get your oranges in blue. On pink. Not confusing at all. Then you got your flowers on fishnet. Right, can we find it again? Oh, you found it already? There. And there. Beautiful. Then what else we got here? Then you've got your fishes on masoni like esque background. Then you get your leaves. It's quite dramatic, aren't they? Then you get your, oh, look, that's night. Nice. Your pink flowers at night time. No, it's definitely black, that one. Oh, my hands, are, uh, you see, this is it. When I'm not here, I don't moisturise my hands because they're in my makeup bag, right? And my hands are all a bit rough today. I do apologise. Look at that one. Love it. Beautiful, that's that one in the different colourway. More leaves in different colours. Then you've got your geraniums. Then you've got your big dog roses, I'm going to call those. And then you've got your oranges. Oranges on magenta. Yeah, I'll put it in the notes. Yeah, uh, Charlie and Kat came out. 
Charlie and Hack, not Cat. Charlie and Hack came around yesterday to look at the house, you see, because they're obviously going to move in while I'm on my holidays. I didn't realise it was so close. I can't wait. Uh, now, this features in one of the quilts that Victoria Carrington's doing later. I love that one. Look at that yellow background. Beautiful, isn't it? Then you've got your big daisies slash sunflowers. Oh, that's what Kat used to say all the time. Beautiful. What else have we got in here? Oh, now that one's the one where if you get that fabric by the half meter, it goes in rows across like a folk art um, drawing, isn't it? Then you got more leaves. Oh, here you go. You can see the more stripes on that one more. Oh, hang on. No, hang on. Let me open that one. See there? So what happens, you see, that goes there like that when it's a half meter and then it kind of goes across like in stripes. And then you've got your fishes on Miss Sony-esque background again. And then we've got more pink flowers on the black background. I've already done it once today, but I will do. Thank you. Top. I'm just going to put some uh, seams moisturiser on my hands. Yeah, you've, um, it's on the website, it's on the website. But I'll be able to put it on my hands and then pick the fabric up straight away because it absorbs straight away. I'm not doing it today, I'm just telling you. 39 Uh Hang on, lucky you. Oh, Dawn's got, oh, I've done that one. Lucky you, says Crazy Lorraine. Crazy Lorraine, did you miss the story about how I found my ring? I'm missing it's your fault. Yep, yeah, right, okay, quick flick through the book. There you go. Okay, facet quilts in Wales. Oh, well, I'm not saying that because it's a surprise. Oh, she's what? Okay, uh, so Charlie's uh, taking um, his girlfriend hat to on a, a secret she knows she's going away but she doesn't know where she's going i'm not going to say just in case she happens to switch the telly on as i'm saying it um but they're off to it there tomorrow because it's just their anniversary but he's working on the actual anniversary so they're going tomorrow so you've got lovely presents to surprise them with all day all weekend then yeah a couple Gemma says good morning cheryl says good morning it's just what the fact she wakes up and sees you in the morning that's a present enough 25 pounds this is tv launch beautiful book it's got so many patterns in here yeah and also i said tat how are you gonna get to work while you're staying at my house she went oh i'm taking two weeks off she's gonna be like the lady of leisure in the house i hope it's nice weather for you beautiful look at this book it's stunning that one You see, that looks like a house in Lavenham, that one. Or it could be in Stratford, yeah. It doesn't say where it is. Gorgeous book, fabulous But Look at that bedroom. I think I could sleep quite happily in there. Now, I don't think you have to jump over the rail. I think there's, there'll be an opening bit around there. £25, brand new TV launch. Half the stock is gone. Half the stock is gone. It's only half an hour since I showed it to you. £25. Now, 
we wanted this to be an hour of artistic geniuses. So we've got Kaif. What else have I got down here? Oh, yes. John Scott's Threads. Who's he? Right, now, there's a bundle, first of all, where you can buy my original collection and my latest collection. The latest collections are signed. Now, if you bought both these together, it would be £100 and 98 pence. Right? Actually, actually... I'm just trying to work that out now. Anyway, if you bought them both together, it would be £100 and 98 pence. Now, I know it sounds like a lot of money for them threads, but it works out at 61p for 100 metres. You see, now that's a brilliant price, isn't it? But watch what we're going to do now. No, don't make a mistake. We are going to take some money off it. £90.98, and right? £90.98. and pence. Right, now we've got to do some maths now, haven't we, right? So, we need to do 12 times 1,300. So, you're getting 15,600 metres of thread for that much money. So, you need to div... What, what? Oh, it's in the graphics, Ben. Right, OK. So, now you need to divide that by 15,600. No, that's not right, is it? You need to divide 90.98 by 15,600. Works out at 58p now for 100 metres. 58p for 100 metres, that works out. No, 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 but then that's only for one metre, so then you multiply it by 100. Yeah. You see, so, fifth, what was it, 57? 50, 58p for 100 metres now. Where can you buy 100 metres of thread, uh, cotton thread for 100 metres? Aurifil, it's Egyptian cotton, taken all the way to Italy. Now, I've got one of these open somewhere. Yeah, I've got this one here. Right, so this is the garden collection. This is the latest collection. Yeah, so now, what's the thing about this? You can keep the cover. You can slide the cover off. Not all of them can do that. And then you can... Oh, a bit of sellotape. Right, here are the colours. So what I chose was... I chose three variegated. And then I... So that is um, Pink Taffy, Marrakesh and Tramonto Azoagli, and then I chose colours to go with them. So I chose the paprika, the dark turquoise, and the pale yellow. So these are the ones that Delphine used to quilt. Remember on my birthday show, we did the Buddha. We did the Buddha um, quilt. Well, that's what she used. She, that's what she used to, uh, to quilt that with. Oh, what's the matter? Oh, you missed the story. Right, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you again in a minute. I'll tell you in a minute. Right, so that's those, right? So that's our studio sample. Now, I haven't got one of my original open, so I'm going to open this one here. This is the original that I did first of all, which were hugely popular. This was the second, you don't call it reprint, the second run. We, we sold them, sold out. Oh, I can't open Am I opening it from the wrong end? There could be a way. Yeah, there we go. So the colours in here were all just my favourite, favourite colours, right? These have still got the cellophanes on them, obviously. So you've got your silver and your beige to do your piecing with. Then I added pink, blue, green and yellow, right? That was my original collection there. And then uh, with it, you also then get... This collection, I don't know if they're all going to fit in, are they? There you go. So that is all of them now. That's what you get for your £90.98. and pence. Well, it's 15,600 metres of thread. Well, now which ones was in which? Right, so that one, that one, and 
that one go in there, that one goes in there, that one goes in there, that one goes in there, and then these three go in there. Beautiful, keep going through for those. That's the John Scott collection and the John Scott garden. Now I have got them individually, if you want them individually, it's okay. So these are now both staying here, Becky, both staying here. Right, so which one should we do first? The original. Right, now here's the original ones. Now these are not signed, these are not signed. That is how much this box costs, 52 99 52 pounds and 99 pence for the original box. There's your colours in there. Oh, hang on. I can do it in the overhead. Okay, do it that way up there. Yeah. There you go. There's your colours. Well, they do. They do. That's why I was asking. They do add up because that one's 52.99. Okay. The other one. This one's already got money off it from my birthday. So that's your garden one there. So 50, oh no, you're right. That's not supposed to be 43. Right, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Right, okay, this one is meant to be 47. We reduced it from the 52 to 47, which will have made the 100 pounds. But this one's now got an extra saving on it. So you're right, whoever messaged in, you're right. So if you buy them on any other day, so they've reduced this one. So we'll need to make a note, Ben, because we'll have to tell them upstairs if they do this again, that the price of the big one's not right. For 43 pounds, that one is now. Now that's incredible, that shouldn't be 43. I think somebody's made a mistake there. I think what's happened is somebody said, take five pounds off John's threads, but they've taken another five pounds off it to 43 pounds. Because these should be 52.99, the same as those, you see. These should be 52.99 like that. Right, okay, so let's just work out now. So 43, right, so divide 7, uh, 43 by 7,800. 55p for 100 metres, that works out at. Where, tell me where you can buy 100 metres of thread for 55p. Here, obviously today, but not normally. That's not normal. Oh, hang on. So here we go. Morning, John. I've both set threads. I love the colours. I use them all the time, but I've barely made a dent in them. Great value. Gorgeous from Katie. Most said, see, that's the thing. There's 1,300 metres on each pool. So they're going to last and last and last and last, aren't they? Yeah, 1,300 metres on each pool. £43. That's wrong. These should be... Well, no, exactly. These should be 52 99 53 pounds, right? They've taken five pounds off originally. Haley's obviously said, oh, we'll do the five pounds for Festival of Quilts as well. And someone else has taken another five pounds off. And it wasn't Ben this time. But you're right. If you add 43 and, 50, and 52 together, it doesn't make the 108, but it will do if they're not at the normal price. Oh, loads of kids got it in baskets. Loads of people got it in baskets. Very, very popular, this one. I'm not surprised. At £43. On the birthday show, we told 250 of these on the birthday show at the full price. At £43. Oh, no. Tell your friends, tell your friends, tell your friends. And actually, because Ben didn't crash the price. Oh no, they'll most probably put it back up because they'll realise they've made a mistake. I was going to say, because he didn't crash the price, it won't go back up at midnight. But I think when management find out, it will be amended. Something will happen. Keep going through, keep going through, keep going through. Make sure you check out. You can check out any time. You can never leave whatever they say in that song. Uh, I guess I could do. Keep going through for these. Keep going through. Right. I've got seven more in baskets. Are you going to check out? Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Ow, ow. 
While I'm waiting for you to check it out, I'll just tell you the story about, the, about my ring very quickly, right? So I thought I'd, I'd lost one of the rings, hadn't I? And I kept saying, I know it's in the house, I know it's in the house. I was doing my accounts this week. Crazy Lorraine made me this gorgeous little peg bag, which is, I have no pegs, I haven't got a washing line. So I use it, uh, it hangs at the bottom of the stairs. And when I get receipts or anything, they need to go upstairs to the office, I put the receipts in. But to put the things in, you have to put your hand in the hole like that. So I'd obviously put my hand in the hole. And as I pulled it out, the ring had come off my finger. So it was in the bottom there. So I was doing my accounts this week, took all the receipts. I said, what's that in the bottom? There's my ring. So now I've got two. I won't wear two every day. There's too much for my finger, but I just thought I'd wear two today. And the first person to notice was Ben. Right, okay. Keep checking out on those. Keep checking out on those. I oh, know. Brilliant price. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant price. I'll recap that. Oh, I might not have time to recap, actually. Right, okay. So which one first? I've got Deluxe Large and Deluxe Sewing. Have we got one of the? Have we got these out or not? Have we only got them in the box? Oh, we used to have these out. Oh, I'll show you what they are. Look. Oh dear. I hope I haven't got to do any assembly. Oh, this must look, this looks like the studio sample already. Hang on. Right now, oh, I'll tell you what I've got. Right, I've got them in two sizes. Let me just show you. Right. Look, I've got it in the large. And I've got it in the not so large. What, have you got the measurements of the large there? Well, let's open the box. Thirty-three by fifty-nine by forty-seven. No, uh, hang on, and that, that was the outside and the internal. Twenty-seven by fifty-three. We should have thought this one through, boys. Hayley will go mad, she hates it when we open bags on there. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I've got to put it together now though, haven't I? Oh, you spoiled the surprise. Yeah, there you go, right, so what you get, look, there you go, now the trolley's brilliant, right there. There's your solid bottom for the inside. There's your padding for the inside. Oh no. And here's your bag. So what you do, oh, look at the size of this bag. Are you sure? This looks enormous. Look, so what you do is there's your bag. So when you're folding away, it folds away like that. This, this goes inside here like that to create the big bag, right? On the bag, you've got a little slidey thing like that because when you get your trolley like this, now, I don't know this, I've never done this before. There's a little button there, right? Press the button and that... <laughs> Watch your face when you do that. So that opens up like that. That opens up like that. And that's, right, that's it, I think. No, no, that needs, no, that doesn't need to go back down because what you do is you slide the bottom of the bag Right, there's a flap on the bottom of the bag, you're not going to see that, through there, and then you push that down so, it, so your bag is completely held onto the base, right? Then you can move the base around, but then look at this, right? Hang on, I need to work out how to make those go straight up. There you go, like that, they click into place. And then, so then there's also on the back of the bag, on the back of the bag, that one there slides over here like that. So the bag is completely and utterly fixed the trolley. So nobody's going to lift your bag off and carry off your bag or anything. And look at the wheels. Really lovely, sturdy wheel under there. I know. Brilliant, isn't it? Absolutely brilliant. Oh, you'll see loads of those festival quilts because people just fill them every day with their shopping and everything. So that for £74.99 brilliant 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 price right put your sewing machine well actually i'll show you on the box but they they put their sewing machine you see if you didn't put the, the thick wadi you fit even more fabric in there couldn't you that if you're going shopping shopping but look it's big now i'm sure it's big enough to put your 680 in there it is oh there you can see the picture there i don't think you'd fit in there then. are you that bendy 
Okay, it's got a huge zip on the front as well, look. Show you from the upstairs camera. Lovely big pocket on the front there. Really lovely webbing handles. So much space inside. Let me see, let me see if I can put that in there. Okay, we're going to test in the brake because Ben says he can fit in here. There you go. Hang on. Let's just put that in there. There you go. Look at the size. Look at the It's enormous. Look. Right, hang on. I've got a 680 here, I think. Look at this, 680. So much room in there. Where is the extension table? Doesn't matter. Fit the extension table, your boat, the foot, everything in there, couldn't you? Well, you're right, Victoria Carrington. She looks exhausted already. She's not even started yet. Seventy-four ninety-nine. This bag, right? That's the that's the large. That's the large. Now, I wouldn't call the other one small by any means, but it's slightly smaller. So what size is this one? 24 by 47 by 42 external. 18 by 41 by 35 internal. Right, let's just have a look at this one. Oh, this one definitely fit your um, your 550, 560, 570 or your, or your brother machining. Solid bottom, none like you, Victoria Carrington. <laughs> she's laughing, she's laughing, don't worry. Oh, hang on, now, that goes in first, actually, doesn't it? Goes together so easily, doesn't it? And then you slide that one in like that. There we go. Can you put, and the trolley's exactly the same as the one with the, the security thing on the bottom. Now, does it go as high? There you go, yeah. Whoa! That's just as high. What are you saying to me? No, the Duke you fit in the large one wouldn't fit in this one. But, um, oh, I'm going with the 550s. Oh, no, they're not here. Hang on. Oh, easy. This would easily fit in there, look. There we go. Easy. There's your 550. 550, 560. Uh, uh, no, hang on. 550, 560, 570. Or your brother could fit in there easily. Not your actual brother. Your brother sewing machine. Thank you very much indeed. Right, that's us done for the first hour. Straight after the break, Victoria Carrington's here. Now, I'm going to show you this before we go, right? I'd like to show you me, I'd like us to show the picture of how big the quilt is that Victoria's about to make. Because you're not going to, here you go, look. There's Ian, now you know Ian's over six foot tall. And there's Barry, the beautiful, bald, bashful book buyer. <laughs> on the other side. And then someone said just stay with biceps, and I went, hardly. Anyway, that's a festival of quilts because the quilt is at festival quilts. That's why we haven't got it here. So don't go anywhere. We will see you here in about four minutes from now. Hi, I'm Jo Carter and I'm a soft toy designer and a quilt as well. I've been sewing for as long as I can remember. My great grandma, my nana, my mum all sewed. And so it's something I grew up around. If I was to give some advice to a new sewer, somebody who wanted to try it, um, that would be to watch a few tutorials, but then to just give it a go. Um, and try not to focus on achieving the perfect end result. Instead, at first, oh, well, always focus on enjoying the process and learning a new skill. So sort of those perfect results will come in time. 
but developing a love for sewing, I think is a really great way to go. And a tip I've been given that I still use today is make sure you have plenty of seam rippers. It's frustrating enough if you have to remove some stitches, but then if you can't lay your hands on a seam ripper and you have to hunt around for one, that makes it doubly frustrating. Um, so yes, plenty of seam rippers would be my um, go-to tip. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere. Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Have you heard about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street? You can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. 
is exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Now, uh, it's more cave, more cave, more cave now, but Victoria Canton's here. Wave, say hello. Hello. That's your camera. Look at the it's camera. Fun. Nice top. Thanks. Did you make it yourself? Got it yesterday. Did you? Where's it from? Next. Next. Oh, it's very nice, isn't it? I used to be the face of the corporate face of Next. Did you? Back when I was famous, yeah. 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 Oh, I know. I met Tom Jones. At their Christmas party. Tom Jones sang at their Christmas party. Really? Yeah. Anyway. Uh, now, normally, behind Victoria, we'd have today's quilt hanging, wouldn't we? But, because it's so brand new, and because it's just being launched and everything like that, it is on at Festival Quilts right now. So let's have a look at some pictures of it before I show you the box. There's Ian and Barry. Hold, look at the size of it. Oh, no, no, don't look at the size of it. Look at the colours. That's a bit wobbly. Who's done that? No, that was, I think, Hayley on her phone yesterday. There it is. There's the whole quilt. Oh, more, more. There's more. There's more. The same shot, but from further away. Does she not really like she meant to do it from a different angle? Oh, there you go. Here you go. <laughs> it's like it's done like, you know, like, what was, oh, what was that, um, in the woods, something project, film, Blair Witch Project was a cook. Right, it's like that, isn't it? Anyway, this is what you'll be getting. Right, let's put the graphics in. Um, this is what you will be getting for your $199.99. It's an enormous K okay, facet quilt, 218 by 218. Now, it's for the front and the binding. Front and the binding, right? Split pay, 6666. So that'll be three times, yeah, three times there. Three times, so August, September, October, paid for by October, before you've even finished making it. Right, so in here, we've got 22 fabrics, over 11 and a half meters of fabric and complete instructions. So let's have a look in here. I love opening these boxes. Yeah. Right, there you go. There, now it's not difficult this, is it? It's not a no, difficult one. No, Not a difficult one, but looks so dramatic, doesn't it? So here's your, oh, I've got no overhead, don't I? Ugh. So there's your instructions. All the fabrics you've got in there, all your cutting instructions, and then your placement of piecing and things like that. Mind you, I imagine you can put those squares wherever you want to put them, really, yep. can't you? Yeah. Really? Because it's all, they're all nine patches, aren't they? Right, in the box. Where's it what? Yeah. Here we go. Oh, you can tell there's loads of fabric in it. It's absolutely... Oh. Right, if you love your blues, you're going to love this, aren't you? So look, all these different fabrics. Now, you do have to cut out on the cutting instructions. Don't think, oh, I'm going to swap that one for that one because these will all be... Well, we'll have a look in a minute. They'll yeah. all be different amounts that you're getting. So there's, all, there's four there of your different blues. Oh, now... That's one we haven't seen. Is that one of his woven collection? I think that's from his woven collection, that one. Feels Where does that different. one appear? Is that in the squares as well? Yeah. Then you've got, you've, you've seen these and you've seen your ties. Here's your oranges in purple on black. But then another stripe. Then we've got the big snails. Then we've got grandma's garden. 
Actually, do you know what? I can tell you the real, the real, the real names for them, can't I? Flower Dot, that's called, not Grandma's Garden, Flower Dot. Right? Now, that one was orange. What do they call the snail one? 12. Spiral shells. Uh, I've got stripes. Narrow. That's oranges. Now, that one's called military ties, I think that one, isn't it? Hang on. At uh, number 10. Regimental ties, not military, regimental ties. Right, number seven, shadow flower, wide stripes, and this leaf one here, unbelievable. As little Paul would say, that's number 11. That's called coleus. Then you've got that one there, which looks a bit like geodes, which is, oh, there you go, number 13. Agate, oh, very nice. Then we've got this one here, number eight. That one's called Regal Fans. Then that one there, which I adore this one. That one's called... Is that number two? Yeah. Cloison. Then we've got Damask, which I absolutely love. Hang on, where... Oh, yeah, number four. Damask flower, yep. Then we've got white stripes. I love those colours of the white stripes. Oh, these are beautiful, these. Now, these are fabrics we've not had before. Then you've got your uh, fans. Your regal fans. More stripes, more stripes in different colours. Chucking it all over the place. Oh, love that one. More stripes. Then we've got jumble. Number 22, yeah, jumble in aqua. Look, we're still going, still going. Then we've got narrow stripes. Well, they're not narrow, are they? We're called, um, oh yeah, narrow stripes. Then we've got uh, number seven, which is shadow flower again. Then we've got number two, which, oh no, hang on. That's not number two, it's number five. Charlotte. Oh, all those, plus your instructions, plus your cutting, plus your piecing, plus your layout. 199.99. Now it's huge. It's 218. Let's just show Ian and um, there they are again. Now remember, Ian's six foot tall, right? At 199.99. Checkerboard of checkerboards. It's beautiful, isn't it? Right. There you go. There it is. The full version of this. Now somebody holding that. Is that pinned up? That's not their phone, is it? <laughs> Oh, okay. Makes it look small if you think that's a phone. Anyway, 199.99 split pay of 66.66. Hello. Hello. How have you been? All right, thanks. Are you properly prepped this time? <laughs> Last yes. time I was on with Victoria, she's always properly prepped. Don't take me wrong. I was but properly prepped. I just had a, bit... a nightmare, didn't I? Yeah, yeah. So hopefully it won't happen this well, time. Well, keep our fingers crossed. But now, this isn't a difficult quilt to make, is no. it? No. It's dramatic and yeah. looks amazing. It's not difficult, is yeah. it? Yeah, I'd definitely say this was a beginner's. Now, isn't that funny? Right? I'd say the same. They've put intermediate on here. I wouldn't say that, would you? No. No. Committed beginner, Charlie says. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, I've got... Um, that's not good, is it, when you get speckles in your nail? I thought I'd got a bit of muffin on my nail. It's actually a oh. know, calcium spot. Anyway, let's start it, shall we? What okay. are we going to do? So, because I thought this was sort of a beginner's quilt, yeah. um, I thought we could go kind of back to basics and just go through some cutting and um, using the stripology ruler and things yeah. like that. Because cutting instructions are really simple because you're just literally cutting strips to make the squares right okay. um, and then your borders so there's nothing complicated involved in it so i right. thought we'd just touch on that again mm -hmm. I haven't got my heels on today so i'm a bit lower down so i might oh, be struggling a bit oh, this okay. desk okay so i've got an idea move out the way oh thank you if i double match you <laughs> that might make you a bit you. higher Oh, that's that better. better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, right. so when you, um, first of all, if you want to, say you fancied these fabrics and thought, I'll give quilting a go. Yeah. And um, the main things you need are your 24 and a half by six and a half inch ruler. Okay. Which is um, sort of the standard one that everybody starts yeah. with. Okay. And then as big a mat as you could possibly right, facilitate. Right, uh, are we doing graphics yet or not, Ben? 
Oh, getting back in now. All right then, we'll bring you the graphics in a minute. I want the graphic for the ruler, first of all, please. But, but, but don't, 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 Charlie, don't. <laughs> okay. Uh, the graphics for the mat, cutting mats. We've got the cutting mats especially for the hour as well. And we'll bring you the graphics in a second, but uh, we just need Ben to um, do something first. Right, okay. Okay. So, um, the first thing you need to do is make sure you press all of your fabrics first right okay it's very important because you can you can definitely be, mass be out if you're not pressing the fabric first if you're going over creases and yeah. things like that um so the way i tend to do it is i i so fabric so this is your this is classed as your width of fabric which is generally sort of 40 to 44 inches depending on the manufacturer yeah. um, and these are your selvages at the side okay yeah. so you'll always know that that's the width of the fabric and i judge the length of the fabric by where the center crease is that's how i remember how to measure it um one thing i'd say is with kits i would always um, go through each piece of fabric double check the measurements yeah i write for them and just um, label them up in terms of the numbers that correlate with the things and yeah. then you can make sure that if there's any discrepancy with one of them because you'll never once you've started cutting it you'll never know whether it's a discrepancy with fabric or this is just a general quilt thing quilt kit thing sorry that's me making all that noise um or whether it's something you've done yourself yeah so um so you press it so it comes will come folded so you press it and you want to press that center crease in don't open it up and try and press that out and cut it so you want it folded okay then what you do is you um, have it flat like that, make sure it's all nice and flat. And yeah. then you take your ruler, which goes the whole width of the half width of fabric. And then you line up one of the um, horizontal lines against the crease of your fabric. Right. And then just double check it looks right at the top, okay? Yeah. Um, and then you just take a slither off the edge and just make sure that that's not kind of underneath your ruler and that's sticking out. So yeah, you get make a nice sure you're straight leveling line. off both edges. Yeah. yeah. Right, so you take, you put your hand spread out as far as it will go here, just making sure that you're not having your thumb or anything too close to the edge. Okay, then you, um, so I've got the, have we got these in the show? No, we, I think we've got the, we haven't got that one in stock at the yeah. moment. I've got the clover. I'll put that in yeah. a minute when Ben comes back. Yeah. So you must always make sure that your blade is in unless you're cutting. So as soon as you put it down, you need to get into the habit of closing it. It's yeah. very important. Um, so what you do is you retract your blade, keep your fingers spread out, go up about a third. Okay, yeah. keep, the, keep the rotary cutter where it is, move your hand up to the middle, Okay, yeah. and then move it up to the end. Okay, and then you've got a nice clean cut. Yeah, the lady that was on with Stuart, you say his name, I can't remember, lady's from Canada. She, Rose Parr, uh, she said when they teach children quilting and using the ruler, they make a spider, Yeah. do your cutting, then make the spider move yeah. up. Then that's a good idea, yeah. yeah. Okay, because if you keep your hand just there, and then by the time you get into here and you're putting pressure on, your ruler can start moving at and, the top. And with every, you can all go yeah, wobbly, exactly. can't you? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So then, what I do is flip him over like that, making sure my edges are still level. Mm -hmm. And then, say if I wanted to cut a two and a half inch strip, then I'd use this edge of the ruler because this has got a half inch marker on it, which is useful if you're cutting half inches. Okay, right. and then you make sure your vertical line is exactly along that cut, um, cut line. And then again, move up the fabric, okay? Now what I tend to do is instead of moving this fabric then, so if I'm cutting another row, instead of moving this fabric, I'll move this fabric and then cut this row. Okay. Um, and then it stops, it makes sure that that edge stays straight, okay? So that's the first bit. So 
these rulers I, I use mine all the time this one and this uh -huh. is kind of the main what one that I, what you i'll get. do sorry victoria yeah. what i'll do is at the end i'll sum up all the tools that she's used just um because we're having a few issues with the graphics we can't change the graphics at the moment so as soon as we can i'll go through everything the the rotary cutter the ruler and the mat that we've talked about already okay so another brilliant tool to have is the stripology ruler yay so i use this all the time as well yeah you'll um, find all these on pre-order if you want to get yours now you can get it straight away that everything's on pre-order without me putting the graphics through yeah so this makes sure that your fabric stays where it is and you just literally cut so yeah. um so you can get the job done a lot quicker it's particularly good with this um quilt because you can um um you just cut in the same width strips the whole time so it's good for that right so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to take my fabric yeah. and i'm going to fold it like that right and so I'm you don't go right to the sure... edge with it then no i just make sure that i've got my selvages hanging over the edge just so i can see that it's kind of straight yeah and because if you put it like that say that's obviously an over exaggeration you're not going to get a straight strip yeah, yeah, yeah. if you if you're off okay so i just use the selvage as a guide uh-huh so I'm going to line my bottom edge of my stripology ruler marking up with this folded edge here. Okay. And which side are you working from now then? The, the, the cut edge that you've done, does it not matter if you haven't so squared it off? So it doesn't off? matter if you haven't squared oh, okay. it off. Okay, so you could do this right at the beginning. Yeah, and not, not yeah. you square wouldn't need to square the edge off yeah. with that ruler. You could just go straight for this one. Right, okay. okay. So on the zero mark here, I'm going to line that line up exactly along the fold of my fabric there right okay and i'm making sure i've got all my rough edges in right and i'm going to retract my open my blade and i'm just going to go up and i'm just going to go again because this rotary cutter has got a very sharp blade okay? and whose rotary cutter is it mine um right. so if i wanted to cut two and a half inch line um, inch strips can you see, can we see yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, you can see that. It's in the um, shot, yeah. So it's also useful. For, so for speed, you can just follow the two and a half inch cut. So these are represented by a square. Yeah. So there's a square for your first cut and then a square for each two and a half inch strip. So that's really good for cutting binding. So you can cut loads of strips at once. Okay. Yes, now uh, that is right. You, you always put the, the blade in on a slight angle, don't you, as well, when you're going? Yeah, yeah. So... So you retract it, put, and there's like um, teardrop shape. So yeah. you've got a good chance of hitting the uh, hitting the line when you get in there. Okay. Uh huh. So then, obviously, you can do. There's also one and a half inch markers. So you've got your stars across here. So if you want one and a half inch strips, you just cut along the where the stars are. Yeah. You can do full inches. You can do half inches, and there's also a quarter of an inch marker here. So you can do um, so you can do like one and a quarter inches or one and three quarter inches on it so yeah. it's really versatile so let me just cut but another if you two do and a half the three quarter uh, one you have to you have to move it each time you've cut don't you, you can't just keep going across can you no you have to but the advantage is that you, you keep your fabric completely still you're not yes, moving of course, it at yeah, all no, no, yeah, yeah. so um and then what you can do is so i've got my two strips cut there is you can then so if it were me at home, I'd turn my board round so yes. they were, and I had obviously wouldn't move the fabric then if I could just turn the board yeah. round. And then you can line that up with the bottom edge again and make sure that that edge is nice and level. And what are you doing now, cutting the squares? So I'm just going to cut squares now. So are all the squares for this, are you cutting them for this quilt? Uh, no, because they're oh, a bit okay, bigger this, for this okay, quilt. Okay, fine, but I was going to say. So, so then you cut all of those squares in no time at all. Brilliant. Okay? Yeah. So that's a really good tool. So, next job. If you make a block. Right. Uh, da, da, da. So now, are the instructions quite thorough? They tell you what yes. to cut. Yes, because it's because it's re a really simple one as well. It's it's it is e really easy to do. Right. 
um, and they obviously tell you what width strips to cut, um, how much you need to do for the border, all that sort of thing. So yeah, yeah it's really clear. So this is what, so this here in the center, so that's your block that you're making. So you right. make 16 of those, so it's four by four. Right. Okay, now um, they say. Hang on, the, the, the quilt itself are four by four, this is three by three. Yes. So, yeah. so you're making 16 of those to make, when you make the quilt, the 16 of them. Yeah. But the actual block, block you're making is, nine. is only nine. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay, so on your pattern here, so you've got, and it, you'll need to refer to this um, picture when you're putting all the bits together at the end, once you've cut all your, all your squares. Yeah. So um, they say to make sure that all your... Um, Stripe. stripey ones are horizontal and they all go in the same direction but you don't have to do that all you can you can do exactly what you want I wonder wanted. if they did that to make it oh no because when the border yeah the border goes across the bottom yeah isn't all I was gonna say maybe it's because all the stripes on the whole quilt all go the same mm. way but actually they're not are they because no. the ones on the border aren't no I'm I'd probably rotate every them. other one. Oh, would you so you'd yeah. still make the blocks so you'd still make the blocks with all your stripes going sideways yeah. but then tw twist them when you're sewing them together yeah 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 um so so you wouldn't sorry i'm interrupting again no, no. you wouldn't put some in one block like that one there you wouldn't do some up and down and some side you'd yeah make... you could do yeah do whatever you want just wondering if that might look well no what you can do is use the design wall yeah and put it exactly. out couldn't you really yeah. and then you can see couldn't you yeah 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 so right. yeah. um so this one is just like a, a mini sample that i've just yes, put the borders on so you obviously wouldn't put the borders on until the end of the big quilt unless you're making 16 unless you're making, big cushions yeah you could do that'd yeah, be good wouldn't it be lovely if you had um like a craft stall or something um you could make a load of cushions from it okay oh i was thinking of if you did a yoga class or something like that you could have all the six, 16 yeah. in the class everyone could have their own cushion posh posh <sighs> yoga class you have to make sure you wash them after that. Oh, yes, you? yeah. <laughs> I don't think you get very sweaty doing yoga, though, do you? It depends how you do it. Also, you could do hot box yoga. Do what? It's when you go into a room and they turn all the heat up and it's like boiling, boiling, oh. boiling hot, yeah. Right. So. Right. So the squares on this are bigger than the squares that you were just cutting, yeah. weren't they? So Can you still the do them on your stripology? Yeah, yeah. So they're um, they're a full unit rather than like two and a half inches or whatever. Yeah. They're they're a full unit. So I'm just going to position these. Which one am I? Which one am I making? <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> okay. So what you do is you uh, now another do your question. Block. You know yeah. that that uh, woven fabric. Yeah. Is is it easy to do the right side to the wrong side, or are they both the same? Oh. They look pretty. Well, they look pretty much the same to me. No, that's a lot. Because if it's woven, they will be, won't mm. they? So the threads, the coloured, the colour rather than them printing on the yeah, top. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, they're the same back and front, so you're all right. Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay, so you, you position your squares. Yeah. And then you take, oh, I should probably, oh, hang oh, on, what's John, hang on. I haven't set my machine up. Oh, honestly, <gasps> it's a long break. It's <sighs> quilt. It's because you have to turn it off to bring it yeah. in here, isn't it? What are you looking for? Are you looking for quilt I know, I know, I know. You got it. You go yeah. to quilt. Actually, I'll just do it on there. You sure? It doesn't matter, yeah. Okay, so you want to be using a quarter of an inch seam. Yeah. So on my, if you're a beginner, and um, a lot of people tend to use the standard foot on their machine and use like the one of the and like just coming into that guides as a quarter of an inch. There you go. So what, okay. Yeah. So some people would use the guide 
because there's like lots of different little grooves along here which you can alter your um, needle position um, to make it an accurate quarter of an inch but I, I struggle with that a little bit and I like the um, the foot that's got like a guide on the side of it yeah and um, so you literally just run your fabric down yeah. there following yeah. the edge of yeah. the metal bit. that's good if you're going uh, uh, down edges of fabric yeah but the guy one with the guide sometimes gets in the way doesn't it if you're doing a half square triangle you're going across and it's not on the edge of the fabric so if you're yeah. if you've got a line you've got so a quarter inch either side yeah. going diagonally sometimes gets away some machines have quarter inch feet that don't have the guide on as well yeah sort of thing. But, right but so use it by any means when you're using the side yeah the fabric, so on the straight you... edges but right. yeah if you were needed to sew for example across there yes then you wouldn't use that no, you'd exactly. use your straight stitch yeah. with or if your machine comes draw with a quarter inch foot yeah yeah okay so i'm going to take my first two squares yeah put them right sides together right before you do that victoria i've got an announcement to oh. make directly from the festival 19999 now loads of you checked out loads of you got in your basket already 179.99 thank you saving 20 pounds saving 20 pounds now look at the split pay 59.99 over three times ow 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 it's 179.99 make sure you check out now make sure you check out right okay so okay, back so, to the sewing so i've put those right sides together yeah and i'm going to stitch a quarter of an inch seam make sure you right set so the right seam well. down there yeah exactly yeah. um so you want to make sure they're nicely together so that edges are lined up because the thing is if you think oh that'll do and it'll look all right at the time but when you get further down the line of the project then it ends up becoming more difficult if you exactly. haven't done things accurately okay so we're going to stitch a quarter of an inch down there okay. now with patchwork you um you reduce your stitch length um so it's normally set on a standard of like 2.4 or yeah, something yeah, yeah. so you reduce it down to 1.8 so that makes sure that the stitches um don't come adrift at the edges because because you're doing so many patches you don't want to be back stitching and then yeah, forward exactly. stitching also that machine and my machine if you uh, set it to a quarter inch foot it automatically goes to 1.8 stitch yeah All right. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. So I'm just using the quilting foot with this, just so I don't have to change it later. But yeah, you yeah, could, yeah. you could use the quilting foot if you wanted. This is a nice machine. Do you isn't mean it? you mean um, uh, a walking foot? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. 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 Okay. Oh, it lifts itself up and everything, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. So I then position. I keep them positioned as I go course, just yeah. to make sure that I'm not going adrift yeah. okay and then I'd move that one onto there yeah Charlie um Charlie and Hattie are moving into my house when I go on holiday Charlie director Aww. and they came yesterday to have, you know have a look around to check everything and see the cats and everything and all, all he was interested is where's the sewing machines where the sewing machines Aww. where will the sewing machines be And then afterwards, like when we got home, we missed you go, oh, I forgot, <laughs> I forgot to ask, do we have to water the plants? Oh, I forgot to ask, do we have to lock the door? Oh, forgot. <laughs> so all he's interested, he only came out to the sewing machine. Where are you going? Huh? Where are you going? Oh, just Kefalonia. Oh, nice. Getting a few holidays this year, aren't you? Two. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so again, so I've done that line. I'm going to do the next line. Where did you get that big tin of 505 from? Is that ours or yours? Mine. Okay. We haven't got the big tin available today. That... Yeah, I've got the little tin coming up in there. Okay. And then again, I'm putting that one right sides together. Uh -huh. Although it doesn't really matter with the fabric. Oh yeah, one, one cat went out, which was in a bad mood yesterday, so he didn't even stay. 
he wasn't even around. And then um, Ghost, when we went up to see Ghost, Ghost just ran off. <laughs> it was a National Black Cat Day yesterday oh, as well. Oh, was it? Yeah. Aww. Black Cat Day. Do they lose a lot of hair? Or yeah, they... loads. Yeah. Norman and Nelly didn't really molt at all, so I never had an issue with it at all. Yeah. These two, it's like the, the other day, they slept on the end of the bed. It was like they slept there all night, and um, the next day I just had to change the sheets because yeah. they were just yeah. covered. Yeah, we've got a black Labrador, and he molts like you'll. Oh, is that black Labrador that you do your pictures of? That's yours, is it? Well, I've done lot, I've done a few black labs, so oh, yeah. Um, so yeah. But yeah, we we've got one. Okay, so I'm just doing exactly the same. So you can see how easy this is. Yeah, it's exactly. Just, um, and this is kind of a good project if you're a beginner, just to get your ac accuracy up. Yes. Um, and it's obviously nice and simple. Yeah. And kind of a bit of a confidence builder. Okay. Right. Okay. So in the instructions, it says to press um, rows one and three to the left, and yeah. then the centre one to that okay. side, and that enables you to match up these seams nicely. Okay. Okay. So when you, um, I'll move this onto here actually, yeah. so I can show you this. So when you're pressing seams, yeah, it's it's quite tempting just to go like that and yeah, we'll press try them to. that way. Yeah. Um, but what can happen then if you do that? You can get like um, I know. like a little pleat, mm. and it's impossible to get out. Right? Well, did you do you know the story about when we were at Stone Cold and we had to we used to have to press for you, didn't we back then? Yeah. And I did exactly that on a Joe Carter. Uh, quilt that she's then cutting things out of yeah and, and it literally folded over and, we did it, and then she cut it and of course when you cut it then it, it cut it cut a great big v yeah she couldn't yeah. use it or anything yeah 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 so so um, you set your seams first or yeah. Do you, yeah so um i'm going left left with this one aren't i oh got all disorientated okay so you, the first thing you do is set your seams so you use your iron and i use a dry iron mainly okay that's um, good. Uh, no Thank you. Um, so you set your seam, so that um, makes sure that the, the, the threads are nicely kind of knit together. Yeah. And then you put that outwards like that, and then we're going to press gently in that direction. Okay. But don't, obviously don't like push it, you're just pressing. Yeah. I just said this in the nice Thank steam. you. Okay. So you're pressing, not ironing. Okay, so again. <coughs> You have to lift it up. I don't know, but you know what I've started doing at home. I was ironing my shirt yesterday. I was it doing it lying down, going off and wandering. Thinking, What's that funny smell I've left? Because <laughs> I've got so used to this one now. <laughs> okay, so I'm taking my other piece, and again, I'm, oh, again, I'm setting the seam. Yeah. And then pressing it away from me. So now both of these seams are going in that yeah. direction. Don't worry. <sighs> okay. So I'll do that one with that. What am I doing? What, what? What am I doing? I don't know. You're the expert. <laughs> I'm not sure anymore. <laughs> okay. So setting the seam and pressing it in one direction. Okay, so my centre row now needs to go yeah. in the opposite direction. Okay. Obviously, it does, it, you could just turn them around. I don't know why I'm making yeah, such yeah. a big deal of that. Well, no, 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 you make a big deal of it because it, with this one, you could just turn around, but most of them, you can't just turn yeah, it around, yeah. can you? Because they're in order. Yeah. Okay. So, if I turn yeah, them over. Second, yeah. Because I, I know a lot of people know this already, but if you haven't done 
yeah, um, yeah, yeah. quilting before. Right, so these are going in this direction, that there, that there. So this enables you to, when you join them together, you can nestle the seeds. Nestle. They don't nest, they nestle. Okay, so yeah. you, you can they feel shouldn't it. say nest. It's, um, get rid of that orange writing, pink writing. Because we can't see, we can't see what Victoria's doing. If it, you know, anyway, go on, carry on. <laughs> so what you do you. is you can feel them joining together. Now you can pin it if you want, um, but I tend not to because I just prefer to have the maneuverability when it's on the machine. So what I'm going to do now is stitch a quarter of an inch across here. Yeah. Okay. Pedals a bit far away. Okay. And then when you get to where the seams um, meet, yeah, just make sure that your bottom seams aren't being pushed in the wrong direction because yeah. they need to be facing away from each other. Otherwise, you'll get like a bump, which makes it a bit more difficult to quilt. Mm -hmm. Okay. So once I've got past this seam here, I then make sure my second one's positioned correctly. Yeah. But the good thing about this quilt is you only have three at the most at any time. But it's not yeah. like you've got a long strip of those to match no. up. It's going to be three. So really good for practicing that um, matching and everything. Brilliant. Right, and then I'm going to press press these seams. They're going to go. I'm going. To, it doesn't say in the pattern, but I pressed mine in the same direction. Okay. And um, so that when when you um, uh, come to join these blocks to the other blocks. So if you've got all your seams going that way on that block, you can turn your other one so the seams are going in the opposite direction so you exactly for that the block, so you can them, then yeah. nettle the seams yeah, there. Brilliant. Okay, while you're doing that, let okay. me just run through the things that Victoria's used. Oh, I don't know what she's done with them. What you have to... Right, ruler, strip, I've got a strip on. So 24 and a half by six and a half inch ruler is what you saw first of all. You've got the non-slip grips on there, you've got your half inch on one side, quarter inch on the other side, you've got all your uh, angled lines on there and everything. We've not got that on the fix. Okay, stripology was the next thing you saw. This is a stripology squared, but they all do the same, the same job. This one you can square off your blocks afterwards with as well. 52.99. I've taken my glasses off, I wonder why everything's gone blurry. £52.99 and the other thing I was going to show you was the rotary cutter. £45. Million. This is not the one that Victoria is using but this one's the clove one. It can be left or right handed. You just swap that round. £12.99. Now I have got, we're not going to get time to show it but I have got a threaders. Um, it's called a... Uh, it's basically for doing your 45 degree uh, binding on. Well, let me move that out of the way. Maybe put it in, it was in a different hour. 6.99 that one, 6.99. Okay, so that's all of those for the time being. Go back to Victoria in a second. Because literally, what time is it? We've got 15 minutes. Let me just recap, while you're doing that, I'll just recap what you get in the quilt as well. So this should have been 199.99. We got a call from Festival of Quilts saying you can do 179.99 to celebrate Festival of Quilts. Checkerboard of checkerboards, it's called. You get an awful lot of fabric. Look at all these you get. Loads of fabrics. I like the fact you get all these woven straws in there as well. So you'll recognize all those from the cave collections. 
but then you've got your woven straws you know and you've got your damask you got your lovely woven straw in turquoise you've got the midnight you've got that lovely teal there you've got the um olive and then you've got your light aqua and pink and then you've got your regatta kind of colors there uh, and then all your other fabrics there. there's an, over 11 and a half meters of fabric in that bundle it's a huge quilt there the other boys holding it up 218 by 218 centimeters when you think about a double quilt that you buy like a continental quilt is 200 by two, the cover you buy normally is 200 by 200 isn't it for a double bed so this is 218 by 218 right okay so next please okay so um once you've got major 16 blocks and um, you then join them all together as we've talked about so i've pressed the seams all in this direction so right. the next time you put one onto it by the side of it you'll turn it you'll turn the other block that way so then you yeah. can do okay. the seams like that okay so and um, next thing you need to do once you've joined all those together you need to put your borders on but when you've joined all 16, all 16 blocks together and yeah. join them all together yeah, okay. yeah. um you then take your um what you call it border, border. This, is, this is an inner border this one isn't it yes there's is two it still borders. called the border even though it's not the outside I think it's one it's border one. Oh, border one okay <laughs> but i'm boarding you but you know <laughs> <laughs> um so what we do here now this is when i first started cutting, i went to i went to a lesson and i could not work out what if if this wasn't long enough and this was a different length how on earth i was going to get how how you would sew that onto there would be like so um because i've used quite a generous quarter of an inch seam here um so if you're using a generous one this might shrink in slightly right um because everybody's machine's different and if you find that this is longer than your quilt then you need to stretch this slight ease it we call it, ease it, not we? Ease it. it in to fit the length of your right strip. don't sew it on and cut the end off no the border. no so you don't want to be doing this so sewing it along like that and then cutting it off yeah because you won't get a square quilt yeah okay so we stick it we, we're putting the smaller borders onto the side are you yeah and then well, no, no, the way you're doing the side first, not the top and the bottom. Do you always do the side first? Or is it just uh, the... Yeah, the shorter ones tend to go on that on the sides. Yeah. Remember, this is this, you're not on doing it on the single block like this. You, yours will be on the uh, 16 blocks that you've sewn together. Yeah. I'm not taking my own advice there. Mm -hmm. So if, for instance, like I've done here, my block's slightly bigger than than my border then you just need to stretch your um border fabric yeah so basically you to need to make them fit yeah So then you, um, I could have probably done them both at the same time, but still. Okay, so then. Well, sorry, because in a minute we can jump to your. Um, the quilting one. One that you've made, the quilting yeah. part, yeah. Okay, so what you do then, so you set the seam again and then press outwards. Okay, so what we do is, so then you add your so you fix your other one on the other side yeah and then go top and bottom so by the time you've got your seams in there that will fit yeah as will that one yeah and then what you do for the outer border you've got like little fussy cut um cornerstones cornerstones yeah so you basically so make sure that because they're from this fabric oh yeah 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 um so you make sure you cut all your squares first and then what's left you then fussy cut your um flower out of okay so for example what i would do so if this is what i've got left i'd take my ruler because i think it's six inches you need to cut this yeah um so i take my ruler 
pick a flower and then just I'd look where my six inch mark was yeah put in pretty central cut around and then um, Twist. turn it yeah. round and obviously cut it that way yeah we had a message saying you put your gloves on first and you put your hat and shoes on afterwards <laughs> who's that from Oh, here we go. It's coming up now. It's from Lucy. Does this mean anything to you both? Put your gloves on first and your shoes and your hat. Yeah, exactly. Gloves, <laughs> shoes and hat. I put hat what? and shoes on. Do your two sides. You just said to oh. put your sides on first. Then you put your hat and your shoes on. Yeah, uh, that, yeah that's a good way of remembering it. You won't remember that. <laughs> I can't even remember to put the iron down properly. No, exactly. <laughs> right, so when you okay, made your so, whole quilt. Yeah, yeah so... Then you obviously. Oh so yeah, sorry, this, no, no, sorry no, I've no, just no, no. Oh, ignore the fact that I've just taken. Imagine your, your board, your second, your first borders on. Yeah. Okay. So then you position these all the way around. Now these four are the same lengths. Even though, okay. Because you're going to put your cornerstones right. on. Okay. So what you would do. You've got these across the top. Okay, uh, cornerstones. I couldn't fussy cut these. Oh, wait, you did little ones, yeah. 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 So, what you do is you attach your side borders first. Yeah, your gloves. Then you, um, then you stitch these onto yeah. the ends of that one. Yeah. And then you stitch that row like you've just yeah. done with your inner border Lovely. on there. Okay, so that's the. Lovely. That's the top pretty much okay. covered. Okay, so I'll do some quilting. Shift all this. Yeah, tidy up because you've got a lot to get off in the break. <laughs> okay then, so basically you then make your quilt sandwich. Right. So to do this, you need, well this is the way I do it is you have your backing slightly bigger. Yeah, now remember you don't get the backing in the no. quilt kit, you have to supply your own backing. But you do get the binding. Yes. Um, and then you have your wadding slightly bigger and then you've obviously got your quilt top. Right. So the way I would, the way I would do it is I lay my wadding down and then I get my backing fabric yeah. and lay it over the top so it should cover all of the wadding yeah and um, then i pull half of it back spray the wadding with 505 spray yeah and bring it down and smooth it okay we've got 505 spray like in that. the small tin and then smooth it down and then what i do then is go around the other side pull the backing back again spray the um wadding you spray your wadding rather than your fabric in case you get like a blob of it or anything right and then I turn it over and then apply the top in exactly the same way. So again, spray, put it down and the other way. Yeah. Okay, so that makes it nice and smooth. And then if I've got a big quilt, um, I would use um, curved safety pins. Oh, okay. Um, just to hold. But for example, if that was a solid block with solid We had those fabric, in the first day. You'll find them on pre-order. Pre oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, say that was a solid fabric block yeah i wouldn't poke any a uh, uh, pin through that i'd choose somewhere that's a bit busier because it just you can't notice because it does make a slight oh, okay right, right, um, right, right, right. Yeah, you can yeah. obviously just go like that and yeah. get it back but yeah just to be on the safe side now when it comes to quilting um there are lots of different ways you can do do this so um you could do echo quilting which is um, basically, you use your quarter of an inch seam guide, so you guide on your, on your foot, yeah. and you just follow this seam line and just stitch kind of a quarter of an inch inside Which is, I think, what they've the done on that one in there, isn't it, Charlie? I think they went diagonally on that one. It's right at the beginning. It's the first bit of filming you see the quilting on the... Um There you go, have a look here. There you go. So they've literally just gone round the edge, cut by a quarter of an inch, yeah? 
Is that what yeah, you were saying? Yeah, I think they've done that on the on the um, borders, haven't they? And then they've gone oh, diagonally. Oh, and they've gone diagonal across there. Across yeah, yeah, yeah. there. So, um, so I'll show you how you would do that. Okay. Now, which hair marker have you got there? The skinny got, one or the fat one? I've got, oh, you got both. One, I've got both. Yeah. Right. Okay. I've got two hair markers. Right. Do the chubby one first of all. This is the traditional hair marker. Now, in the old days, this was made out of whalebone. Obviously, it isn't anymore. It's made out of plastic now. And no, it's just the hair marker on its own. Oh, one. Right, right, that's 5 99 That's one you're gonna see uh, Victoria holding now. But we also do another one, which is a hair marker, but the other end is a pointy stick so that you use that for a plique. So this is your chubby one, which is just your, um, where you use, oh, sorry, I'll hold that still. You, you're, you've just got your marker there. Victoria's gonna show you in a second. Right, that's the traditional one. Then we've also got this one here, which is a slightly smaller, I'll wait for the graphic, there you go. Slightly smaller bit at the top, but it's also got a pointy stiletto in there, 6 99 because you've got two jobs. You can mark it and you can hold your applique and everything with that. Yeah, and that point's also useful, like to make sure your seams are pressed down yeah. nicely when you're using your sewing machine as yeah. well. Okay, so what I do, so with a hair marker, I would line up my points. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't matter if they don't line up exactly. Nobody's ever going to notice. You've got three minutes left. Victoria. Okay. And then I'm just going to score the fabric. Now that so doesn't I've got an ru ru ruin the fabric. Oh, that thing is driving me mad. What? That there, uh, that white thing keeps coming across the bottom because it keeps covering up what you're doing. <laughs> okay, okay, so you can clearly see. Well, I can. Yeah, no, no. Clearly we can. see that line there. Yeah. So I would do sort of a couple of lines at a time so you wouldn't want to do this over the whole quilt all at once because no, obviously the lines will disappear yeah. and then i do the same in Going the opposite way, yeah. direction okay now when you quilt you need to make sure that you've got some length on your on your thread yeah because we're going to pull through <sighs> We're going to pull through the threads to the back. Yeah, so don't use your thread cutter. No, no. So you want to make sure you've got like a good five, four, four inches yeah, there. Yeah. And then also when you stop, you need to make sure you've got four inches. Okay. So I'm going to put my needle in. Size of your stitch. Um. So good, good one. I'm going to use a three. I normally use about three point two. Okay. Um, so that, and also you need to use a quilting foot for this. Um, walking foot, walking, walking foot. foot. Yeah, um, because because you've got so many layers, otherwise they start to like mismatch yeah. kind of thing. So, um, oh God, I've got it all tangled. Oh. That was because I pulled that um, thread through like that, wasn't it? What's tangled? I've got a bit of nesting going on. Oh no. It's just because I hadn't pulled the thread through properly, I don't, I don't think. <laughs> we saw that, we were on your face then. <laughs> oh no. Show the picture, show the picture of the boys holding it. Go on, you're all right, you can do what you've got to do. While you, so I'm gonna go through the bundle of the, the quilt, right? Bundle of the quilt, right? So in the bundle for £179, you do get the instructions. She's freed it now, that's right. You get the instructions. This is what happens when we give a designer a brand new sewing machine that she's not had before. No. Uh, I don't worry, you're not going to have time to do it now, Victoria. Okay. Uh, so uh, you get the instructions, then you get all of this fabric. It's 11 and a half metres of gorgeous, 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 gorgeous fabrics, all in the blues and the lavenders and the magentas and things like that. So much fabric there, 179.99. It is enough for the front and your binding. Let's have a look at the finished thing so you can see what you're getting. Because I haven't got it here if you see it's enormous. It's 280. Look, there's Ian holding it up with Barry. Yeah, and then you see you've just got there's all the squares together. How did you say you can check in the next hour? Yeah, I could. Yeah. Yeah. Victoria wants to show you how to pull the threads through, but we've run out of time, that's all. 179.99, split pay 59.99 over three payments.
Gorgeous. There's just ten. There's ten seconds left of the. You see now. You see the cornerstones there. They're, they're fussy cut with the actual flowers on the corner there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. One hundred seventy nine ninety nine. Oh, yeah, I can see someone's foot in that one as well. Uh, anyway, 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 anyway. Please check out that. Lots you got to sit in your basket. Please check out on that. Uh, now, coming up after the break, we've got Wendy Orlando. Now, I haven't seen Wendy Orlando since we moved studios. So it's months and months and months. We've not seen her in the studio. She will be making her very own noughts and crosses one. That's coming up here. We'll just show you that one, Sat. That's no, not the graphics for it, obviously. Ignore those graphics for that one. That's what Wendy's going to be doing straight after the break. So don't go anywhere. We will see you back here in four minutes from now. Hello everyone, my name is Cara Ackerman and I'm absolutely delighted to be here at Sewing Street. Um, I actually originated from Hertfordshire, then went down to Hampshire and then it ended up in the East Midlands. I've been in the East Midlands for about 40 years now, which seems crazy. Um, but 36 of those I actually worked with DMC Creative World, um, which was wonderful. I really, really enjoyed that. And then um, I decided to go freelance and that's how I got introduced to Sewing Street. I love doing anything to do with um, textiles. So embroidery, cross stitch, patchwork, done a bit of quilting, bag making, toy making. Oh goodness, there's loads and loads of things. Um, what I love doing is just trying something new. And I think one of the tips is don't be frightened of trying something new. Um, you always learn from it. And you know, don't be scared of making mistakes either. We all learn from the mistakes that we make. Um, little bit about me that you might not know and that's a bit of a surprise um, I once went to the garden party down at Buckingham Palace the Queen's Garden Party for some work that I did with Marie Curie I was so so lucky to go there and just a wonderful time um, so I hope to see more of you on Sewing Street and I hope to try lots of new crafts with you so see you again soon bye bye Hi, it's Yvonne here. As you all know, I was born in Carrick, Fergus in Northern Ireland. And we're getting to that point in the year whenever I get to go home. From the 1st of September, the Stormont Hotel in Belfast becomes the home of Quilt Fair, which is an event that together with my friends, Margaret and Helen, we have reintroduced into the, North, into the island of Ireland. We are really looking forward to this, our second event. We have retained many of the features that you liked from last year's show. We have those nice wide aisles. We have all those expert traders and our free talks and demos in our schoolhouse. In addition, this year, we have added our creative workshops, which Sewing Street has so generously sponsored for us. So this year we have added in two exhibitions. One of them, Old Roots, New Roots, is from the Irish Hatchwork Society. And the other exhibition is the work from our traders. It's, it's entitled, This Is What We Do. So I really hope that I will see a lot of you there. We thank everyone for their continuing support in this venture that we have to create the best little quilt show in Ireland. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account, and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. 
And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Now, we thought they were separating us, didn't they? Because it's been months and months and months since we've been together. So we haven't been together in this studio. I know. And when did we move here? In March? March we moved here. No way has it yeah. been that long. But it's... you keep changing the days. I'm on with you and then no, you change. No, that was no. One. It wasn't me that changed it. They moved me. Anyway, welcome back, Wendy Orlando. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, now, it's a gorgeous Noughts and Crosses Foundation paper piece in quilt topper. Yeah. Not, why, why say one thing when you can say 100? Right. <laughs> So I've got three, do you have a look at the quilt that's on the wall first of all? There it is, there it is, there it is. So the finish size is uh, 42 and a half inch square, 42 and a half inch square, right? You'll see it hanging behind uh, Wendy. So this is the first one that we're doing here. So it's the one that's on the wall. So you get a meter and a half of the shutters. You get your white, which is one meter. You get your pink dot, which is one meter, and you get your floral, which is one meter. So you're getting four and a half meters of fabric in total, plus your instructions for 49.99. That is enough for the front and the binding. The front and the binding. So that one there is called Renaissance Garden. Okay, beautiful. That's the one's on the wall behind Wendy. The one that she's gonna be making is the black and white one. So again, this one you get the instructions, and then this one you get some, oh, this is nice. This is gonna look really dramatic. So you've got your uh, meter of your black fabric. This is Henry Glass Misty Morning. Then you've got your gray, one meter. Then you've got your plain white, one meter. And then you've got your black, a meter and a half. So I'm presuming that got the binding on it as well there. Okay, so that's your black and white one. That's the one you can see being made. And then the other one, is this one here again you get the instructions also sorry right but look you see now you get you get or oh, you get your um i don't know what we call that plan pattern template. Uh, template, template template right and all the instructions very very thorough everything you get in there right this one here is your moda so you've got your blue and gold flowers I love that one. paisley rose this one then you've got that beautiful one there now no white in this one you get like um is it cream a meter of your cream in there and then you get a meter and a half of your dark teal so that's very different again that one that's beautiful isn't it absolutely stunning uh you can get the pattern on its own so you might have your own color that you wanted to fit into something in your house i'm going to go through everything that is for sale in the hour and then I won't have to disturb Wendy quite so much as I would do normally. So there's 9.99 for that. Right now, we've also got the rotating cutting mat in blue. Ben's favorite one. 16.99, 16 pounds and 99 pence. Lovely the blue, isn't it? And we've almost sold out the blue, almost sold out. We've taken us months and months and months to get the blue and the pink one in. Pink one went ages ago. We've also got Carol Doak's foundation paper piecing paper, which you can photocopy on or you can print on. Eight and a half by 11, this one. Because obviously, how many times am I going to need to copy that print for the that template for this quilt? 36. 36 times. So you've got 100 sheets in there. 36 times you need to do that. We've also got uh, staples, for not staples, but basics that you need for... Uh, foundation paper piecing you've got your glue pen glue pen five five ninety nine at uh, 5.99 it's got a cartridge already in and it's got one spare doesn't matter what color they are because they all dry clear you've got the blue refill but it doesn't matter because the blue the yellow and the pink are all exactly the same strength and they all dry clear well, no, because you, you can't choose. If when you buy it, you could have a blue refill, a pink refill, a yellow refill, it doesn't matter. Right, then 
We've got our add the quarter ruler. Oh, you've got the one there, okay, right. Add the quarter ruler. We've just got the one, this one, the 12 inch size, this one. 17.99. Brilliant, you'll see where I went using all this during the hour. We've got this lovely little ruler here, which is your six and a half by 12 and a half by Creative Grids. 23.99. Gorgeous, got all the things you'd expect from a Creative Grids ruler. Rachel the ruler, I think Rachel the ruler designed that one actually. Oh, we've only got the name of the design on that one. Hasn't got there. And then the quilters multi mat in the stripe, right? In the stripe. Something's going wrong. Can't find the graphics for that one at the moment. Oh, is it sold out? Oh, well, we'll still use it, but anyway. Right, okay. So, Wendy, what's your inspiration behind this quilt? Well, as you know, when I first came here, two things I don't do, FPP or quilts. Right. And the first two projects I was sent was FPP and a quilt, and I'm completely hooked. Absolutely love it. The FPP is short for foundation paper piecing, and it's a technique where you use the paper as a foundation, and it gives you the most incredible intersections, joins, without having to do Y seams or anything like that. And for those of you that are a little bit, mm, I don't think I can do it, this block looks quite complicated, but it really isn't. And this quilt here is made from just one block. Right. And it's what you do with the block and how you position it that can change the look. Mm -hmm. So the one that I've designed here has got nine prominent, prominent noughts. Right. But if you twist it round, then you can make the crosses more prominent. So it depends how you want to do it, but it's just one. One. So once you've mastered one block, you just keep going and going. Perfect. And behind you, yeah. you've got a cushion. So if you don't what, want this to make... one you mean. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> um, so you can just use four and make yourself a cushion. Okay, we're just coming close on that one. Oh yes, yeah, so you've got your cross in the middle. I've got the cross more prominent there, yeah. but behind I've got the, the noughts. Yes, yes, of course. Um, and then you, if you put them all the same way, then they're neither a nought or a cross. So it depends if you have the blocks going all the same way. Have we got several, in a minute, where to put them together and have a look, brilliant. Thank you. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, yeah, so what I've done, I've actually made four. Now this one I haven't trimmed down yet because right, I want okay, to show yeah, you how yeah. to do that later. But yeah, just depending how you put the blocks together, um, <laughs> like... Yeah, so that's look. a knot. Oh, that's a knot. <laughs> right, hang on. Yeah. No, that's a cross, that's a cross. That's a cross. Yeah, so we've got a cross there. Yeah. And then we can yeah, put your glasses uh, on. <laughs> uh, well, I don't know what that, that's nothing, but see, I've already made, I've made another one yeah, now. Exactly, that's that's exactly. absolutely nothing. And then, oh, is that, that's... There's your noughts. <laughs> that's your noughts. That's your noughts. Um, so actually, I could have done this, couldn't I? In the instructions, oh, I've, given, <laughs> I've given you three. After now, all that. There are probably more than three, yeah. but you can choose which design that you want to. And you can see the noughts and crosses in all of them. But that one has four noughts, that one has six, and that one has nine. Right. So it depends how which one you want to be the most But it's the same amount of blocks, isn't exactly it? Exactly the same amount yeah, of yeah. blocks and just that one block. So as I say, for those of you who are a little bit scared of FPP. Well, it's because it goes against everything that as a traditional dressmaking sewist, sewer, it go, my brain, I can do it now, but when I first saw it, my brain wouldn't allow me to sew the wrong way round, as it were. Well, it's I mean? kind of the topsy-turvy of yes, sewing yeah, because yeah. you start one way, you turn it over, you start one way, you turn it over, but it's really logical. You can't go on to the next step without doing the previous exactly. step. Exactly, but so it's really important to stay in order, isn't it? It is, yeah. it is. Right, so shall we get started? Yes, please. You have got, on the back, you have got the uh, the template. Now, please don't use this. Hang on, don't move it. There you go, there you go. I was just gonna it's right, it. the upstairs camera's taking a while to oh, come in right. today, that's all. Right, and okay. faster than the camera, that's a first, isn't yeah. it? Um, so don't use this because you can't see through it. No, of course. Now the whole point of foundation paper piecing is that you can see what you're doing. So you can either scan this onto your photocopier 
and then print it on that the paper. Yeah, which, cow's oats paper. Yeah. To me, that's the best way. Yeah, of course, because yeah. it's the paper for the job. But if you do do that, when you scan it out, you just need to make sure that your printer is set so that it scans it the right size. Yeah, so do a test of one first. Yeah, to because make sure. sometimes printers think they know best yeah. and they just scan it. Or out. sometimes we just don't click because I've been yeah. printing all these things up on portrait recently, mm -hmm. and my printer. I went and went to do my oh my receipt for my parking or at Festival Quilts on, on Saturday and Sunday, and it started and it still stayed on landscape rather than portrait. And it, normally, it would just automatically do itself. So just check you've just checked check. all the right. Bits, and very yeah. often, it, I don't know why they they set themselves at ninety seven percent. Yeah, exactly. So you yeah. want it to yeah. be a yeah. hundred percent, but yeah. if. 100% might not be what you want. Print it off. Now, the thing is, if you do print it off and it's not quite the right size, as long as you print every single one the same, they're It'll going to be work. the same. Well, they will, I won't they? Yeah. Instead of being this size, it will just be a little bit smaller. But yeah. they all don't print out and then change your settings yeah, and print yeah, yeah. out. Because the whole point of foundation paper piecing is that they match exactly. Of course. Um, but if you are going to print it out on photocopier paper, get the cheapest, thinnest paper you can. Oh, yes. Because you want to be able to see through it. Yeah. Now, I have actually done it on the grease poof paper, the, but that was a little bit of a faff trying to get it through the machine. Right. So my, I would say use that paper as a first, yeah. if not have the thinnest paper you can. Okay. Brilliant. So that's the first thing that I did. I've printed lots of these out. Yeah. Now, what you want to do is... Just to save it, um, just so it's easier to work with, cut it out, but do not cut out close to the line. So I've just cut the top and the bottom off because the right. instructions are on there. So I'm just cutting them away. You can leave it completely as an A4 piece of paper, but it does follow you around. Yeah. And I don't, it's got my bin there. Um, but you don't want to be cutting so close to this because you will see with this one that I have done, it then gives me, when I cut it, when I trim it, it's going to be really sharp. Now, this is the fun bit. It, it is so much fun. Um, with the, I just want to say that with the fabric, you've got a metre and a half of one fabric. Yes. Now, I'm very fortunate that I have special software that tells me how much fabric I need. And it did tell me I only needed a metre of each. But when I came to make it, I made it like I was a beginner and cut them a little bit bigger. And I didn't quite have enough of that first which is fabric, your board which is your which is binding the one that, yeah. fabric yeah but for those of you that know what you're doing and that can get these port pieces really small you may find that mm. you will be able to to get it um you'll only need a meter of each yeah but i've made a cushion out of the rest yeah I had a little bit left over exactly exactly um uh, why are they a then have we got right. a b and a c and a d no oh, now okay. I've done this because I started my journey, as you know, when I first yeah. came here. Now, normally you just have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. But if you get used to your mind thinking that you've got a letter in front of it, when I bring the next ones that have two or three pieces to it. Oh, you're getting used to the I'm getting ABC. people okay. used to it. So yes, a lot of them would just say one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. But I've got a1, but you, you do only get one block. Yeah, yeah, so the next is I might have three different blocks, or four different blocks So you together. might have A, B, C, C D. D. Yeah. And, so it's and just getting our mindset. Yeah, in, it's like I don't want you to relearn the technique, whereas if I give it to you now like this, yeah. when we progress you on to okay. a little bit more difficult... I just difficult, don't want people to get at home going, oh, where's, ooh, B, where's B then? Exactly, the no, yeah. it's just the one. Okay. So the first thing you're going to do, now I've cut some pieces of fabric out. Um, I've told you in the instructions to cut strips out. Now, the reason I've done that, it's much easier to cut strips, but again, if you know the technique, then you'll know what you're doing and you'll be able to cut the smallest pieces possible. But the, what I've, the strips I've told you to cut, you'll have more than enough right, to, for the okay. width. What we need to do is we need to nick one of these from you because Charlie's learning all different techniques. We could, because this is quite a simple one to do, Charlie, you could do this one as your first foundation paper piece in. Yeah, okay. absolutely because the, the finished result looks really complicated yeah. but it's just one block yeah, yeah. and I haven't put any difficult angles in there for you right. so the first thing that we do you're quite right we have got an A there you, if you, can, you can ignore the A if yeah, you want yeah, to yeah. but we're looking for A1 now foundation paper piecing is very simple when you know the logic I need to sew on the lines, so I need to see the lines, which means I don't put my fabric on that side. Because yeah. if I put my fabric on the lines, I can't see them. So I need to turn it over and put my fabric on this side. Now, I'm looking for A1, I can see it. I know that it's probably gonna be quite difficult to pick up um, on camera. 
I'm also just going to show you, you're going to be impressed with this, John. Oh, yes. Yeah, my skills. What I've done, I printed two plain ones off and I've put the fabrics that I'm going to use. So that was the one that I've made. Right. So, don't laugh at my drawings. I'm not laughing, I'm laughing, I'm please. confused. Right, so I need to know where to place the fabric right. on here. Now, it does give you, in the instructions, it tells you where to place them. So on here, it tells you fabric A's here, fabric B's here. Right, okay, yeah. But I forget that. So I've actually put what fabrics. I've labelled okay. them. So that was fabric A, that's B, that's C, and that's D. Right, okay. But I've drawn a little picture. So two A's, you've got two A's then. As in, you've got A, one, two, three, four, and you've got fabric A. Oh, see, now I'm confusing people. Yeah. I know they'll know what they're doing because yeah. the instructions are very, very thorough. So the first thing I'm going to do is look for A1. Now, he's there upside down, back to front at the moment. Yeah. Now, the first piece of fabric that you put down is the only one that is the right side facing up. All the others are right side facing down. Now, as you can see, I have a strip here. Now, you can either work out roughly how much you need and then pre-cut them, or you can cut them and then trim them, or you can just cut them, sew them, and then cut them off after. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. Now, this, if you can put this in your basket, if they're still there, this is your friend with foundation paper piecing. Mm -hmm. Because although you can, can pin, oh, can't change the graphics. it does hold everything in place. So I'm looking for my A1. I've got my, um, I should have said that the dotted line is my quarter inch seam allowance. So I must make sure at every single point that my fabric goes beyond that. Oh, okay, not the solid line. You go as far as the, the, the solid, outside exactly. line. Exactly. The yeah. solid lines are stitch lines. Right. It, as I say, it, it does all say in the instructions. Yeah, and yeah, the yeah. dotted line is your quarter inch seam allowance. Yeah. If you go beyond that, then when you trim it off, it's going to be a really crisp yeah, edge. Exactly. So the first well, yeah, because it'd be awful if it was just that one eighth of an inch too short. And it, well, you know. I have done that on one of my blocks, and <laughs> it doesn't really matter as long as you are within the quarter yes, inch yes, seam allowance. But, but, but it looks, wanna, yeah, yeah, I like yeah, everything to be yeah. perfect. But I must have been having a funny five minutes. No, no, I love it. I love it. The bit where you trim it down to that final look, because it all look the edges all look a little bit fray and everything, and yeah. then you trim it down to that final thing. It's perfect, lovely, isn't, it? isn't it? It's perfect. So I'm looking for a one. Yeah. And I've got the line that, that goes between, I say, it's going to be difficult for you to see, but it's here. And then there's a line, which is my stitch line between A1 yeah. and A2. I want to place my fabric so it's a quarter of an inch above that line, because I'm going to sew on that line. If I put it on the line, when I sew, it won't catch it. Now, I'm going to put a bit of glue on that A1 yeah. and along the top with my quarter inch seam allowance. Yeah. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want to make sure that it stays and it doesn't go anywhere. Yeah. Now what you're looking for, and if I turn it over here, I'm looking for the fabric to go beyond that dotted line, mm -hmm. a quarter of an inch beyond there, yeah. and then more than quarter of an inch along here. Yeah. But I'm going to square this off because I just find it easier. So that's my first one. That's all done, my first one. As I've already made them, I can now revert to this rather than my little beautiful yeah. drawing. I can see what I'm doing here. So the next fabric I need is going to be this one, but I need it in the wider section because I've cut, as I say, you have different size widths so that you don't waste fabric. Yeah. So I'm going to place it on here. Now, a top tip to do this is to place, you want the whole of the fabric to be over this section. Uh -huh. Okay, so we place it on, we line it up on there, and we push it back, and then we check that it goes beyond that and beyond all the lines. Yeah. But if you do struggle, you can look at it from this way, just place it on there to see that it's all gonna go over there. Yeah. And then I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the quarter inch oh, okay. seam but never, never pull it across, just dot and dab and pull it away, push it away from the top. Okay. And then I'm going to place this down. And again, I can just double check because now the glue's holding in place. I can pull that back and I see that it fits all the mm -hmm. way. Now, I'm not a great pinner, but if you want to pin at this point, you can, but just make sure that it is well away from that stitch line. Yeah because you don't want to you don't want to be sewing over pins and at the moment and also with the paper in it it might buckle the whole thing that's why yeah. I don't like using it but yeah. you'll see in a moment that I do use it at the ends because now 
because I need to sew it, I can't sew it on there because I can't see the line, yeah. so I need to turn the paper over. Right. So it's very topsy-turvy, but it, it's also, you can't do one thing until you've done something yeah. else. And I'm going to stitch on the line between the two segments, I'm going to start a little bit beyond the dotted line, all the way on the line and finish a little bit beyond. Oh, so you go beyond, you go beyond, you don't stop if, at the line. If you don't go beyond, when I come to do this one, if I am a little bit squiggly and I miss it a bit and I miss it there, that's going to come undone. Right. So if you go a bit beyond, you okay. know that there, and that's where you get those really crisp mm -hmm. intersections. Now, you need to have your stitch length set really, really small for this. So I said 1.5 or below. Right. Um, because because you're working with paper, we need to get rid of the paper at the end, we need to tear it off. And the smaller the perforations, the easier it will be. If you do it too big, then you're going to put a lot of pressure on the stitches. Right. Don't do any um, locking stitches um, or, uh, sorry, don't do any reverse yeah. stitches because we don't want to create, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Bulk. That's the one. That Jared's is the word. <laughs> So you can see here, I've sewn on the line and I've gone beyond the line. Right. Now, if you've gone off slightly, no one's going to know. Where you want to have it really sharp is these points here, because these are going to join to the next one. Right. So when we've done that, and this, there's, there's a couple of things that I use. This is a must. It's sold out. Oh, it's not, is it? Mm. And have we not got them in any other colourways? Oh yeah, oh, might have been in other colourways, might, might we? Oh and the rotating mat. Yeah. Um, that comes in a little bit later, but certainly for this one now, so we open it up. Now I'm going to remove this and finger press that fabric back. Now you can use a roller if you want to. Right. Um, don't use a roller on the soft side because as you press down, you're gonna be stretching those stitches. If you're going to use a roller, use it on this side, but be gentle. Don't yeah. be too rough with it. Okay. Or what I like to do is I like to finger press it back and then press it with the iron. Right, so you haven't cut anything off or anything? I haven't done any trimming Not at the moment. Okay. Not at the moment. So this is now where it's self-explanatory. I need to put the next bit on, but that's not the right shape for me to be able to do that. Yeah. So I turn the paper back over. I'm looking for the next line. So it's always the next line. So that's A1, that's A2. Yeah. I've stitched that one. So now I need to stitch that one. Right. Now you can use a cereal box, or you can use a bit of card. Postcard, These yeah. are yeah. brilliant. Yeah. And you do need the long one because soon oh, we're going yes, to yes, be yes, doing yes, there. Yes, yes. So you, you offer it up against the next line and you pull the paper back. And then I like to take the ruler out and just press that yeah and I mean it's difficult because normally I wouldn't have a mat under me Underneath here them. so I, I'm tending to go for that and then you get your add a quarter and if you offer it up to here it will stop it will butt up against it yeah and then we're going to trim this off right using it oh yeah yes I'm using okay. uh, why, why are you are at me oh I didn't know we had those these are brilliant. Now, I'm a lefty. I was going to say? Yes, because it's set the other way, but I've had no problem using it. I've been, okay, I've been, that's why I was looking at thinking, it's yeah, why is the blade why that is way? The blade on my side? <laughs> because yeah. you can't put the blade the other way. Um, well, I couldn't. You might be able to do it for me. <laughs> you might be able to, but I couldn't. Oh, you, I should have a look. You can have a look at it. Right. <laughs> so I've now trimmed that off to a quarter of an inch. Uh, you're going to try and. Oh, let's see if you can do it. Now we've done that. Again, we need to do the next thing. So to do that, we have to open the paper and we must have to turn it over because I need to put it to the next piece of fabric, which is on the other side. So now I've got a really nice straight line here. So I'm looking for the next fabric that I need. And I'm going to place it on here, make sure that it fits. Dot the edge is with glue. Uh huh. This one is very bright, this yellow, isn't it? Very bright. I've got all three of them, so um, I just happened to pick this one up. Right. And then place it on there. And we're going to, that's going to fit. Now, you can, as I say, you can pin it just to hold it in place. I am going to be honest with you, sometimes 
the fabric has a mind of its own. Right. And as you go to put it under the machine, these bits flap around. So just make sure that they're down. Right. So now I need to sew. <laughs> now you know what your edge cuts are back. <laughs> no, no, I have got one, you're okay. I, t I turn it over and I'm going to stitch the next line right. again from the start. You're not listening, I know you're, I am, you're I am, concentrating. I am. From the beginning, before the dotted line and after the solid. And again, I've got that stitch length. It stays all the way through until I finish the block. So it stays at 1.5 or below. And we'll turn it over and it's just a repeat of the process so I'm going to finger press yeah. and pop it back and press that in place and once you get into the swing of it you can get a real wiggle on here but just remember if you've got one of these mats to change it each time so that you've got the mat or the pressing depending what you're doing yeah so I need to put the next one on but this one's not the right size so I need to turn it over to trim it mm -hmm. find the next line that has not been stitched so I've done these two I need to do this one and then trim off that edge and now I'm ready for the next piece mm -hmm. I know you're humming without listening to no, me. No, I am listening. No, I I'm you're intrigued not. by this. It's fine. Flipping. I know it's annoying you now, isn't it? So I'm going to cut that one off. So we need to put this one on. This is the colour. Oh, I nearly did it wrong then. I oh, nearly no. put I know. I, I would have been called up for it though, wouldn't I? Don't worry. Everyone out there is very eagle eyed. So they would have pulled me up. This is the central one. Now, I'm surprised you haven't mentioned something because you normally home in on things like That's this. I'm not watching. Go well, on, you haven't been paying attention. Well, this centre one is made up of two strips, but it's the same fabric. And I, I thought you were going to say, well, why haven't you made this centrepiece? Let one me have a look. Well, yeah, see, I'm surprised you haven't picked that up. Oh, yeah, why haven't you done that? Then? I knew you were going to say yeah. that. Well, that's because I want this block to be used and used and used and used for loads of other projects. Right. And it also works really well because the widest strip is two and a half inches, which you can use your jelly rolls with. Uh, so if I did a, a wider section oh, in there, see. it yeah. would have been too wide for a jelly roll. Yeah. There's normally method in my yeah, madness. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you hate waste, don't you? I don't like waste. I mean, I look like I'm being a little bit wasteful here, but I just want to make sure for the purpose of the demo that I have enough fabric. Yeah. But at home, you all have um, plenty of time to check this. Just checking it fits, which it does. Pinning it in place. So I need to stitch it. And to do that, I need to turn it over. Otherwise, I won't be able to see the lines. So starting beyond the dotted line where there is one, there won't always be a seam line. But they're not necessarily. Right. And going beyond the stitch line. Oh, that one was following me, that one was. Right, and this is where you do need to remember to change your mat because now I'm finger pressing this back and pressing it. How to keep a man quiet. Yeah, give him a toy. <laughs> I am listening, I promise. <laughs> Give him something to play with and he's well... Have you mended it? I don't think he can make it to a <laughs> left-handed one, but I think but it, it's because it the guard comes out, oh, not to the side, yes. the guard comes out at a straight well, it's line. It's kept you quiet, hasn't it, which is lovely. So now what we're going to do, um, I need to add the next one on. Yeah. But <laughs> he isn't listening, I promise I am you. listening now. Um, you need to add the next one on, but it's not prepared for me. So I turn it over and I'm going to prepare it. And you can see where you stitch, just follow the next one if you are following the line. Yeah. And I won't, I'm just looking at the time, so I won't do them all. Uh, Maria says, oh, morning, Wendy, morning, John. Thank you again, Wendy. Oh, what did you do for Maria? I don't, uh, oh, oh, I think what? it was the bag. Okay. Yes. And then Margaret says, Wendy and John together at last. <laughs> Well, I haven't been rude or anything? Not, not yet, no. not yet, but give it time. Because when I messaged and I went, oh, seven more sleeps, and you went, it's not the Christmas show yet. And I went, oh, right yeah. No, well, that was the other one, wasn't yeah. it? They, take, yeah, they took me off it, didn't they? Did. No, you, had to are, go to you asked. I know no, that you I asked ask to come off it. 
I know, and I got, I'm sorry to make you all jealous out there, I got a massive John hug this morning. Oh, don't worry, there'll be loads of them on offer for Saturday and Sunday oh, at Festival oh. of Quill. <laughs> I'm taking several shirts. Oh, are you? Well, it gets very hot and sweaty in there, doesn't it? And also, I've got to dress up for my talk on Sunday, haven't I? No, people don't mind what you're wearing. They just I want to. Even worked out they just want to see you. Now this time, yep. I'm going to throw it out there. I'm going to start from the centre. Why? Um, because, Why? Because I can. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> um, no, because I'll just show you that this one here. So this one that I'm going to stitch here doesn't start at the edge. So it's not always going to start on a seam. Sometimes you have to start inward. So I'm going to stitch beyond the yeah. line each side. Okay. Move that over then. <laughs> now it does take a bit longer because because you've got a short stitch length, it takes longer to get down the line. Yes, but that's exactly. fine. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. This, these are so much fun to do. And, you know, I really want to, to show people that actually FPP is not hard, but no. it gives you the most yeah. incredible results. Well, it, I, I was telling a story about my friend Shimoya Mary, who when I first, she used to buy jewellery from me when I worked at Roscoe, and then when I first went to the quarter, She's like, oh, I haven't, I'll watch, but I haven't sewn anything since, you know, I was at school. So she bought a couple of, like, kind of toy things, and they just didn't work, they ended up in the bin. And then we did the, um, the balloon quilt that um, Lucy Brennan did, you know, the balloon, uh, which was FPP and yeah. everything. She bought it, and her brain clicked into it straight away. And she now designs her own FPP yep. because she's got so into it. She absolutely adores it, sort of thing. Oh, it's so such it's, fun. Once you get your brain round... And but you're doing it the other way round, mm. then you can suddenly think and you get such precision. And you can do, you can do, there's not one on here, but you can do a minuscule mm. triangle that you'd never ever in a million never. years be able to piece. Never. But you get it and you get a, um uh, Jenny Smith does a, a, a like um I think it's a koala bear or something like that. Oh yes. And, and it's Jenny Smith, yeah. And it's just round the nose and everything like that. And it's the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest little triangle. No, because it's FBP. You can do like all next. Well, if you're going to festival quilts, go and look at the FBP quilts because you'll realise how incredible and precise they are. Because you actually think you can only, I mean, this is very angular. Yes. But you can get those curves by doing really, really oh, you tiny can get pieces. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful curves, yeah. But it is, it's just such fun because you can do one or two. I mean, I can make one of these in about 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the quicker you get at them. But also, it's like, like I say all the time, sometimes you want to come in and you think, I just want to do 10 minutes of sewing just yep. to get my brain back into cause going from work into getting the kids tea or whatever you're doing yep. or anything. And one of these blocks, if you've got all the fabric cut out and the block they're ready to go, you could just do one, then you've got your sewing bug out of the way for that yep. day and everything and you can carry on with everything else and before you know it you've actually got the whole yes. blocks done yeah. but you don't have to make a quilt out of it no. you can make um your favorite you can make bed runners out of it a bed runner yeah that's fine <laughs> um, cushions yeah you can make lots of cushions out of, of yeah. this because you would only need four mm -hmm. or you can make a big floor cushion with 16. yeah could so be. and once you've got the pattern you can do what you yeah. like with it really yeah. and that's you can see all it is is topsy-turvy yes and, and it, once you get going so after you've yeah. done the first two you'll be absolutely fine it's just that getting the first one the right way up and everything like that always it? remember that the first one always is right side of fabric facing up the remaining ones are always right side yeah. of fabric on top so once you've got that first one now fpp paper um doesn't like to be unpicked Right. So, um, just maybe you'll get away with it once, maybe twice. Yeah. Um, but try and be as accurate and sew on the line as you can. Um, sorry, I left my thing. That one didn't stitch. Back to her. I thought you were looking a bit bemused then. Oh, I'm always looking bemused. Um, Yes, I thought it was going to play up on me, but it, it's okay, it's behaved. We'll blame Mark, he used it last. I wouldn't do that. I did, I did take the thread out though, so I have, it's my, oh, okay. it's it's my fault, I threw thread it. Yeah. Lo says she can't get her head round FPP. Well, oh, give it a go, Lo. It's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Um, so again, I need to put the next one on. This one isn't the right size, so I have to turn the paper over in order to do that. 
I've got my next line. I fold it up against my ruler. Yeah. Get that crease mark. Put my add my quarter. Now you could do this with um, a normal uh, ruler, and it doesn't have to be exactly a quarter. Yeah. But these make it so much easier. And um, yes, no one is going to see the back of it because it's going to be against a quilt. But I know that they're there. Yeah, yeah. And I like it to look as neat as I can. Now I'm only going to show you a couple more. I just wanted to show you there is one section that has more than it goes across them and I just wanted to show you one of those right putting that last one on here but you could you could make so much with this you could make a nice mat to put your machine to stop mm -hmm. it making a noise uh, we have a question does it matter that you are oh not that that thing <laughs> just keeps coming up with its own thing does it matter if you put the iron over the glue pen? No, it doesn't at all because the, the, the glue pen, the glue is enclosed in the fabric and it's going to disappear anyway, but it just makes it a little bit softer, that's all. Um, yes, and it, it, it softens the glue, yeah. but you're right, it dries clear. Yeah. So even if it splidges out onto your fabric, you're not going to see it. You won't see it. I've never seen anyone glue. I've seen them glue the first one down. Right. I've not seen them glue the seam allowances together. The like reason that I, I've glued the seam allowance is because as you do your topsy-turvy, where you turn it and pop it under the machine, mm -hmm. so. the, you need to concentrate on these ends. If you don't get these ends flat, they're, they're going to buckle in here. I've done it so many times. Mm -hmm. So another added pressure is that I've had to pin the edge and you can't pin the edge because you need to sew on it. Yeah. So by putting the glue pen on there, you oh, just Oh yeah, yeah, no, I'm, not, I'm not saying it's wrong at all. I'm just Are not you telling saying me it's off? wrong. You're telling no, me not off. in the slightest. No, it's I, your first oh. show. I can't show first show in the new studio, so I, I can't know. shout at you. I know you can't shout. Not you can't shout those at me in today. The right order. Don't stop it. <laughs> yes. Because actually it's symmetrical, so you go up. And down. and down now this was the one these are the two that i wanted to show you now this is number nine if you don't do it in order if you think oh when you get to the end i forgot to do that one yeah it doesn't matter no but, uh, but a as gen a general rule you need to go one two three four yeah. now always do that but something that's sitting on his own all on his own yeah that's not going to matter try and do it in order because as i say i'm trying to teach you then right. to learn the process but i'm going to do this one not this one yeah purely because i want to show you what happens no no that's fine now so i've got all these horrible bits here so yeah. i'm going to turn it over and this is the line i'm going to stitch and do next right so i put my ruler along here and i fold the paper up but what you will see is all that fabric is trying to come and yeah. join the party and that, all that's because is I've sewn beyond the stitch line. Gently tease it down. Don't yank it because yeah, you yeah, don't yeah. want to compromise the paper at this time. So you pull it back, take the ruler out and fold it, nice fold. And then we put this, and this is where you need the large add a quarter yeah, because that covers that beautifully now. And when I get rid of all those, I've got the most gorgeous uh, line of edge. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, what colour is it next? This colour. So I'm just going to do this one, and I've I've suggested in the instructions that you cut them strip by strip. Don't cut loads and loads of strips out because you might find that actually you don't use them all. Yes. I, I promise you that once you've done two or three of these, you'll be confident with the cutting, you'll know the technique, and you'll be able to say fabric. Uh -huh. And I'm all for that. You yeah. know that. Uh, also, I need to tell you that the striping, the striping thong <laughs> has sold out, but we do have it in the blue dot. The, <gasps> I've have got, got that blue dotty one I've got there. the blue one at home. Yeah. I was going to use it this morning, and I thought, no, better not, because we haven't. No, no, we've got a blue dotty one That's now. That's my one I've got at home. Yeah, there's the blue dotty one. Yeah, that is my actual one that I have. Because only because the striped one sold out, that's all. I will. I do that. I love them all, though. <laughs> They're always open because I'm always using them. Right, let's put to you. Oh, that's like being at home now with this one then, John. Oh. Right. I'm going to pop this on here. Now, this is quite... A large section this is the largest section that you'll be stitching mm -hmm. and what I do for this one is I don't want these ends to go floppy I'm just securing that end there and then I do the same there and because I've glue penned 
the here that's not going anywhere yeah yeah and also as i say make sure you're well down because when you turn it over don't forget that that's a quarter of an inch yes, down from exactly. that top yeah Morning, Wendy and John. You make it look so easy. I can't get my head around it, says Rosina. Oh, I promise Louise you. Louise says, hello, John and Wendy. Do you need to use a particular sewing machine needle for FPP, please? Thank you from Louise in Dublin. Yes, you do. Oh, just well, you asked Louise because she wasn't going to tell you. The one that's in there. Oh, oh. <laughs> but, you, but then you change it after yes. you. Yes, yeah. The thing is, you are, I just use my universal one that I use all the time, but it's not going to have such a long shelf life because you're penetrating the paper. Yeah. But I don't use, no, I don't use a particular um, type of needle. Uh, Andy Lynn says, Morning John and Wendy, I've got that golden black rotary cutter. It's brilliant for my hands as I've got rheumatoid arthritis and my hands are, I feel safe with the guard there. So that's this one here that we just had I was on playing earlier. with it fine until you took it apart. That's no, fine now. No, I know you put it back together. This is the guard <laughs> she's talking about. Here, look, you see. Look. That's your guard there. So your finger never goes anywhere near the blade. That's not the graphics for that. It's got the lock on it and everything like that. How much is it? Yeah. Ten line gold rotary cutter. Sorry, Wendy. 12, oh, 12 that's good. That's, wow, good. that's really good. Very good price, that. Then, yeah. I was expecting it to be more than that, so actually. So was I. And I've been having a play out there, and as I say, I am a lefty. Yeah. And it, you, you're no, no, right. no, you're right. You can use it on left or right because the blade comes straight yes. down. It's not yeah. coming at an angle or anything. Yeah, yeah. brilliant. Yeah. Um, now, I'm, I'm not going to sew any more because you've got the concept. It's literally the topsy turvy. Right. But look at that. I would challenge anyone to do that without the foundation underneath. Yeah, 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 it's yeah, not yeah. going to look as crisp no. as that, is it? Brilliant. So, what you do, you keep adding and adding and adding until you get to this stage so this has had all its fabric added but at this this point mm -hmm. it hasn't been trimmed yes now i do have um, a little tip on trimming and the whole point of foundation paper piecing is that it's it fits it's a bit like a jigsaw puzzle it, it all fits together yeah so it's really important now that when you trim these that you cut you trim them in the same place now i found it easier if i look for the dotted line and just line it up so the line is right on the edge of my ruler. Right. If I try and go on the dotted line, it disappears and then I don't know if I'm on it exactly. Right. Whereas if I can just see it, then I know they're all going to be trimmed to the right. same size. Right, exactly the same. Now, this is where these are absolutely perfect. Rotating cutting mat? Yeah, because I'm always saying, aren't I, if you can keep your fabric in the same position and just move the mat, mm -hmm. then you're going to find it's much, much easier. The blue cutting mat graphics coming in. I like this one. I got the pink one. I like this one. Well, they all do the same thing, don't they? Uh-huh. I should really have one of each colour, shouldn't I? Ooh, need a new blade. 16, 99. And turn it round. And that's, uh, that's Margaret says she's going to do hers in plain black, white, and grey. Oh, lovely, yeah. beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Now, there's nothing to stop you doing every single segment a different colour. The only thing is, you're going to lose the effect of the noughts and yes, crosses. Yeah, yeah. And but what you could do is you could do four or oh, no. Well, yeah, no, you could. I know what you you're could, saying. You could, yes, you could draw it out. And you colour it in so you work out where the colours are going to be. But you could do, you can make all the crosses different colours. Exactly, to. that's what I was thinking. Yeah. Because, um, as I say, once you've made one um, or two, you'll know exactly where the fabrics are. And then do like I do, just do a little drawing. Yeah, then. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and that's, that is, that is it. I love it when and you, that's the bit easy. I love when you trim it down like but that. But how easy is yeah. that? And then you've got your your four pieces now i'm going to make this into a cushion okay. just because i can because i don't like waste right um so i've made that one into a cross right. so shall we make this one into a circle no that's a cross there we go so shall we make that one into a circle a circle a circle okay right now in the quilt um you, you see that to, sorry to interrupt but that would gorgeous in oranges and yellows like a sunburst wouldn't it be really uplifting oh as my a sunburst. goodness because you know what i mean like you do yeah i hadn't so even you, thought of that 
that when I saw that on camera then, because I can see the noughts and crosses on there, but as soon as you lay it down there, I thought, oh, that would be lovely. Start with red in the middle oh, and go wow. out in your yellows and then have your beautiful, like a gorgeous sunrise. Anyway, carry on. Well, no, now you've got me thinking. Yeah. Now I'm going to have to do that, aren't yeah. I? Because they'll be the rays of the sun, won't they? <coughs> yes, exactly. Right. So we're going to have a circle. Now, pretend that there's six in each row. But again, you may not want to make oh, the really whole question, quilt. Aren't we? we are. Yeah. But if you're oh, putting the okay. quilt together, then you're going to have them all in a row. Now, in the instructions, it, as I say, I showed you earlier, here, you choose which design you want. Right. Or the great thing about the viewers are their imagination is incredible. Mm. And the things that I see on the, the, the page, so someone might come up even with a different design. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so then you just, on here, as I say, it's a bit hard to see on screen, but it shows you the, the non-coloured in version. And you just, so you just follow. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is there. Yeah, yeah. Um, or you can just use the picture. Yeah. But lay them out first in their rows, and then you would join them in their rows. But I'm pretending that these are a row of six, but yeah. we're just going to join the first okay. two. Now, this is, this is where it just blows my mind, because as long as you've trimmed them together, you place the pieces of paper together. So at this point, you do not remove the paper. You right. leave the paper yeah. in situ. And because it's solid, then and you've got your stitch line, you don't even have to worry about um, your quarter inch seam allowance mm -hmm. because it's all done for you. You're drawing, you're saying on the line. Yes. Yeah. Now, what you can do if you want to is just to make sure you can put a pin through to check it comes out the other side. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, with that, I haven't done any of that. I just put the pieces of paper together. And if you look closely, there are a couple of points that are maybe off. Now that was because I faltered when I was sewing. I didn't quite sew on the line. Right. So, and I know that. I know that. But for me, it's all about just sewing. It's about having fun. And and the threads you, come out. I know. I know. I don't know what it's doing to me today. Um. Oh, my machine's had a right a workout this week. Goodness me. You've been busy. Oh yes. It's been hot as well, hasn't oh, it? Oh, yeah, it, it is very hot in my room, actually. But yeah. I would sew 24-7 if I could. Now, you can you can increase the stitch length slightly if you want to. No, it's just being silly. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's just... I know how it feels today. <laughs> I know how it feels. Now, I've said this before because um, machines have done this. If this happens, completely rethread it. Don't think, oh, well, it's just the top or it's just the bottom, because I've tried that, and whichever one I thought it was, it wasn't. Yeah, so yeah, exactly. I'm just going to rethread that now. Right, while you do that, yes. I'm just going to go through the three bundles, the three bundles of the quilts you've seen. The one on the wall, the one on the wall, which is your Renaissance Garden by Mary Jane Carey for Henry Glass. So you get a metre of the pink. Uh, floral you get a meter of the pink dot you get a meter of the plain white and a meter and a half of your green because that's also for your binding plus your instructions 49.99 49 four and a half meters of fabric plus your instructions 49.99 we've then got the one that we're doing there the black and white one which is in the lead at uh, 49.99 so you get a meter of your white you get a meter of your a pale gray swirl your paisley your black Swirl and then one and a half means you black because your black is also your binding plus your instructions 49.99 and then we've got the blue and gold version now this is lovely so you've got your teal meter and a half because that's for your binding then you've got your gorgeous Henry Glass flowers there I uh, know Moda Moda sorry Moda flowers there then you've got your lovely sprig flowers then you've got that beautiful cream colour plus your instructions 49.99 if you want the instructions on their own 9.99 Nine pounds and 99 pence. What's a great demo from Wendy. On top of that, my grandson has got his A-level results and he's Ooh. off to Salford University to, com to study computer uh, networking. A lovely day, says Maureen. Oh, Lynn says, I love this quilt. What's the finished block size? Well, the finished quilt is 42 and a half by 42 and a half. Uh, the block size looks like it'd be about, how big is that block? 14 and a half, 14 and a half. Yes, 14. Um, no, block. Oh, you mean... Oh, the, the, no, I, I think, do, do they not mean... Do, do you oh. mean the whole block, like the cushion, or do you mean one block, Ooh, like yes, an A block? Yes, yes. So the, 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 the blocks themselves 
are seven and a half oh, inches. Oh, they go seven and a half. Yeah, the blocks themselves. Yeah. Because uh, I, it kind of, to me, it makes me think that a block is like the four together. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Right. Now, you can see here that I just put the two pieces together and they've all lined up. Beautiful. And then you would do that all the way along the row. So right. you add the next one and the next one and the next one, making sure that you keep them in their right order. Yeah. Um, well, before you do that, on, let me just look at this. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I'm oh, rather liking that. I'm liking that, you know. Yes, I'm liking that because if you had them all down yeah, in the row. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, I just saw that. Oh, you've just... made another design. Yeah, there you go. Yes. Oh, I'm liking that as well. Yeah. Now, press the seams open. Right. And what, um, and I think Jenny said this as well the other day, what we're learning is if you take the paper away from just these bits here, it takes, it makes it easier when you come to take the whole of the paper. Yes, yeah. Because it is a bit of a challenge. Yes. Um, Louisa and, says that as well. Yes. Louisa always takes away just, just the little, little bits, bits around here. Where you're going to put yeah. the seam, yeah. Um, because you don't want to be taking it all away because the whole point of it is that you need to sew on the line. Yeah. And if you take that line away, you've got nothing to sew on. So I'm, reduced, I'm, I'm reducing the bulk here. Isn't it funny how you just can't think? I just couldn't think what I was trying to say, the word bulk. Yeah, no you got it now. Oh, no, no, you told me. That's why. You reminded me. It's because I can't, I'm sorry, I can't concentrate with you sitting there with your shorts on, John. I, I haven't got shorts that. on. <laughs> Who says it's better? It's it's got lovely for shorts, legs. It's lovely legs. Yeah, yes, and he's got his long. It's really his, weird because where does I wear trousers the other day? Oh, yeah. No, 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 because I've just worn shorts, const shorts constantly. Where did I have to go the other day? And, I was, and it was really weird having proper trousers Things on. Things your legs. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, did I have to go to a meeting? Oh. What was it, John? You know better than I do. <laughs> I love it, you don't even know where you've, you're going. No, it's nothing to do with the village. I wouldn't get dressed up for a village meeting. Where did I have to have proper trousers on this week? Oh, no, it wasn't a meeting. I went for lunch with Stuart. <laughs> I wore trousers, yeah. Because it was a business meeting. Oh, I say, was it? No. No, I didn't think it was. <laughs> um, yeah, so I've just taken away the paper um, it, uh, here. You don't have to, but it just makes it a little bit easier. Yeah. And I'm going to line those two centre ones up. Am I okay for time just to do this? You're all right, or? you're all right. You keep going. And then if I'd have taken the paper away from the whole of the edge, I wouldn't have any line. Yeah. Now, it's technically supposed to be a quarter of an yeah, inch. Yeah, no, no, but if you've got the line, yeah, use it. Yeah, exactly. That's what I say. Absolutely. Right. You know, when you start sewing and you think, oh, no, that sounds all right. Yeah. <laughs> that's okay. Oh, I've given my machine a right old clean and overhaul. I cleaned this one this morning as well. Oh, so. no, because... Um, oh, I did? No, hang on. Who was it in last week? Oh. Um, Oh, my brain, Lucy. Lucy yeah. came in last week and I thought, would you use the brother machine? She would love to. And then she was out there tutting. And I said, what's the matter with you? She went, this machine is filthy, oh. dirty. Just clean the whole machine. Well, this isn't filthy, dirty because it's all been That's cleaned. That's Mark's fault. It's my one. Ma Mark. <laughs> it's my one. Oh, you're one at home? <laughs> no. We share it. Yeah. Mark and I share yeah, someone it. Someone else uses it as well, don't Jenny Jackson uses it. Oh, yes, see, we all share. Adam brings his own in. Does he? Yeah. Oh, I, see, I wouldn't trust myself to carry it because I'd probably drop it. Yeah, more than um, likely. <laughs> now. Look. So. Oh, that. No, I like that colourway. Lovely. I isn't it? can't wait to see if anyone's bought the. Goldie, if they're all selling, but the goldy, goldy blue one. Oh, yeah. I haven't seen that. I'm okay, like, so I, if you've got this one. Yeah, if you please show the, me. If you bought the Moda one. The one with the teal, the flowers and the gold and the cream, we'd like to see. Obviously not this afternoon because you won't have received it. But no, when no, you no. have made it, please put it on the Facebook fan page and tag her in it. Tag her in I it. couldn't tag her the party it. company this morning. <laughs> tag her Just in Just wouldn't it. tag at all. Anyway. Um, <laughs> yeah, but, uh, but the, I mean, I have the beauty of actually being able to load the, so the fabric pictures in my software yeah so i can kind of see what it looks yeah, but like you want to see a real but one I want to see oh, a real they might one. place it a different way they might oh, do it a different yes. order and everything yeah. because when i put that in there it's like yeah i love that i, I yeah. want that one that would be on my bed but this one would have to be on my bed because my bedroom's gray now when say that again there are no paper pieces in the instructions what's in the instructions is the template yeah. you have to photocopy because it's not like epp it's fpp this one 
So you have to photocopy mm -hmm. that one 30. Six times. If you want to do this, some people might only want to make a cushion. Yeah, yeah, but if you're going to do the whole, yeah. if you bought that fabric, yeah. like the whole quilt, but you yeah. know, so it's 36 yeah. in the quilt. Now, and also what I would do, if it was me, I would make the topper with the kids and then I'd buy some extra fabric. Do that afterwards. And make that the centre of a, a yeah. big quilt. Yeah, So absolutely. plain edges, I wouldn't yeah. have that going all the way down. Exactly. So exactly. have I got time just to show you when you've done that? You've got one minute. Then you turn it over when this is the whole quilt is complete. Yeah. And then you take the paper out. Now, to take the paper out, always start close to the perforations. Yeah. Because you don't want to be yanking it away because you're going to stretch them. Um, now, I do say that when you've completed rows one and two, you can then take the paper out for row one. But you can't row two until row two is attached to row three. Yeah, so I wouldn't take any papers out till But the it would make it quite heavy. Yeah. Because you're working with like yeah. 36 pieces of. I did it without taking them out yeah, first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so that's all we do is take them all out and then give it a jolly good press. Yeah. And then you've got your. Go, top that's back. lovely, that it's, one, isn't it? That black and white works. I can't wait to see that one. So no, please exactly. tag me if anyone's exactly. bought that colour. Right, thank you so much. Thank now, you. we'll be back in an hour's time when she's doing, oh, really, um, uh, Quilts You Go. Now, it's not an actual project. It's how to do Quilts You Go. So she's going to show you lots of different ideas of things to do with Quilts You Go. But straight after the break, Victoria Carrington's up doing a really, really, really beautiful Kefasic quilt. We will see you, no, after, I said after. Four, we will see you straight after this four-minute break. Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. I've been part of the Sewing Street family now for over a year and it's been the most incredible journey so far. Some of you may already know that I like all things sewing, anything from quilting to toy making, needle felting and of course applique which is my favourite. The best thing about being part of the show is being able to share with you my imagination and bringing you new ideas and new designs and patterns and seeing how you interpret those designs and make your own work and then sharing your images of those is the most rewarding part for me. I'm currently working on lots of new ideas and exciting projects that I cannot wait to bring to the show and share with you all. But in the meantime, take care everyone and happy sewing. We have some exciting news. Sewing Street has been nominated in the Best of Craft Awards and the British Sewing Awards for 2022. We're so amazed that two years have flown since Sewing Street started and we couldn't have done it all without our Sewing Street family. Thanks to our presenters and guests for entertaining and inspiring us every day and for all of our viewers tuning in for all the fun. We've been lucky enough to be nominated for two awards this year, which are the most loved TV shopping channel at the Best of Crafts Awards and the best sewing social media account at the British Sewing Awards. To vote, please head to our website to find out all the details you need to get involved. Thank you for your support and votes. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Have you heard about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street? You can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too.
Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one P&P all day. Now, I've got a few, before we start this out, I've got a few things I've got to say. First of all, Phyllis. Phyllis is watching. She watches every day. She's a bit upset because she can't go to Festival Quilt this year. Phyllis, we're all sending you lots and lots and lots of love uh, uh, to you and to your daughter, because it was your daughter that messaged in. Did say, what's the daughter's name? Jenny. Jenny sent the message in, say, uh, that Phyllis is watching. So, she's a what? Oh, she's 88 years young and an avid quilter. Well, perfect day for you today, isn't it? Anyway, send you lots of love, Phyllis. Right, now the other thing I need to tell you, is, oh no, I've got, some, I've got to show you some pictures first of all, uh, from Festival of Quilt. Here you go, here's the first one. That's our lounge, that's our same street lounge there. And there are people crowding around looking at the quilt, the quilt that you all made. Yeah, where's John Scott? Why is it John Scott here? Who's on the stand? That's Kate. That's Kate who does the... She won't be watching. She makes all the mistakes on marketing, that one there. <laughs> I'm only joking. I'm only joking. She hates, it when I, she hates it when I point everything out to her. That's all. Her mum watches every day. Pip. And here's the last one. Who's that there, then? Oh, Victoria from the office. Yes. Oh, look. Oh, now, look. You see, right in the background, right, that's the back of Barry, right, and then the one facing him, that's Paul, the buyer, who refuses to come on telly or anything. Look, they've all got... Oh, no, Paul hasn't got his on. They've all got Sane Street T-shirts on. Look, look, because there's on the left-hand side, that's the back of Ian over there, isn't it? He's got no hair, look, has he? <laughs> anyway, I'll be there in that lounge on... And Mandy Shaw's opposite. Look, Mandy Shaw's completely opposite there. How brilliant. And there's, the, there's what? Yeah, the quilt that Maeve made, made in the middle and they've taken the lovely um, big star quilt to go on the wall at the back there. I hope they haven't got us on live because Kate will have heard everything I said. Sometimes they have us on live, don't they, on the telly. All right, Kate. It's what? Have they? Where's Barry is then? Oh, they have, they are watching us then. Anyway, 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 now, I've also got to do a quick recap. Eight o'clock this morning, we had Kate's brand new book, TV launch, TV launch, TV launch. Here we go, Quilts in Wales, Bonada. Uh, hang on, Cariad, Bonada Cariad. It means, hey, good morning, gorgeous. I think not gorgeous, carry out. My love, I love, that's what it is. 25 pounds, 25 pounds, 25 pounds. It's a beautiful, beautiful book. It's got loads and loads and loads of pictures there. And then look at all these patterns at the back. There are so many patterns in there. It's a TV launch and it's not pre-order. They are ready to go. They're in the warehouse now and ready to go. So as soon as the payments go through at midnight tonight, they'll start sending them out to you. K Facets Quilts in Wales book. Oh, Toby's around a lot today. Yep, yeah, right. Okay, now the other thing we did in the 8 o'clock hour, a uh, 9 o'clock hour, sorry, 9 o'clock hour, was Victoria did this. Now we've got a picture of Ian and Barry holding it to show you the size of it. It's called Checkerboard of Checkerboards. And Victoria uh, did that in the 9 o'clock hour. It should be £199, but because it's Festival of Quilts Week, and for today and today only, which, or well, it might not be only, but for today until midnight, it goes down to 179 99 split pay of 59.99. That was the quilt from this morning's 9 o'clock show. Uh, was there anything else I had to say before I do these? Nope. Right. Oh, now. Oh, have we? Have we? Let's have a look at the videos then. That's what these two are coming up now. We've got videos of them. Here you go. Got bubbly first. What's the little... Oh, it's... <laughs> Shh. What's all that noise? 
See you later, someone just said. Right, that's bubbly, that's bubbly, that's bubbly. Hang on, was that done on someone's phone, was it? Oh, that was a bit wobbly there. I do apologise if you're watching on a big telly at home. And then Lavender and Sage, it's exactly the same quilt. Ian filmed them. There is no sound with these. Hayley said sorry, but um, Ian filmed these. He doesn't understand, does he? That if you're watching that on a big telly at home, you've most probably just been sick with seasickness, haven't you? Anyway, 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 so I've got both those. I've got both those. So I'm going to show, I'm going to go the other way. I'm going to show you Lavender and Sage first, because we're not making that one. So I want to have a look what's in Lavender and Sage. 169.99. That's your price. That's your price. That's your price. So full on instructions which we'll go through in a second beautiful 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 and then in the box open the box take the money open the box only old people know what i'm talking about right look so look at the fabrics in this one how much fabric is that i'll tell you there are 13 fabrics over nine meters and the finish size is 211 by 211. So another big quilt. So you've got your flares. Oh, this is what we had earlier in the um, uh, Neptune, wasn't it? Is this Neptune, some of this, right? And then you've got your fishes on your um, zigzag. You've got your flowers on your fishnets. You've got your jumbles in a couple of colors there. That's a nice one there. That bright green one's lovely, isn't it? Oh, geranium on magenta, that's nice. Yeah. Then, oh, do you like that one? Yeah. Yeah, she likes that one. Then you've got your jumble, and you've got your flowers at night time, then you've got your apple, no, oranges, which are actually green. Oh, look at the geranium. I love this fabric. Look at that. That's nice. That must be a border, is it? Oh, there's no, no border. Well, it's a border made of triangles, isn't it, then? Yeah. It's beautiful, isn't it? And then you've got your jumbles there on the green lot of that one and then you've got your grey flowers on fishnet so that one there is your lavender and sage they're both the same pattern just different colorways so it's like warm and cool isn't it that's like the cool that cool i'd say that was a cool version obviously cool uh, you're anything but cool ben. <laughs> <laughs> right here then we've got bubbly which is the same design but in pink Oh, I love that. I don't know which ones. I don't know which one I've had. Right, so this is this one. I think everybody thinks that this is the one. Oh, I've never seen jumbles. It can be ripping it open like it's present. For me, uh, look, look, look. <laughs> I've never seen jumble in that colour before. Right, so we've got the geranium look in the reds and pinks. Jumble in black and pink. Oh, this is lovely. Then we've got the Missoni fish. We've got the flowers with the purple background. We've got the flowers with the black background. We've got the fish in, uh, the flowers in fishnets. We've got oranges in orange. We've got the la feathers. Uh, oh, in two colours. The feathers in red, the feathers in orange. Then we've got oranges in blue. Nice. Then we've got the flowers in fishnets in blue. Oh, that's nice. And then we've got the jumble in the red. And that is stunning, isn't it? absolutely beautiful i can tell you what the real name for it is flowers in fishnets are called flower nets oh it wasn't far off no. wasn't far off oranges there's one called lucy so that the flower that one there's called lucy we've got orange oh we've got koi poloi number four. Oh, so okay so the missoni fish are koi koi carp there koi poloi Tickle my fancy is the feather. Uh, and then climbing geranium is the other one. So there you go. And it includes binding. So this is your full front of your quilt and your binding. It doesn't include the backing or the wadding, obviously. And this is the one that you're going to see. Look at the split page, 56, 66. This is the one <coughs> that you're going to see Victoria demonstrate now. Now, are you ready? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Right, okay. Go for it, girl. Go okay. for it. Okay. So, first job I did was to go through um, all the fabrics against my chart here. Yeah. And I just put a little number on each one so I can recognise which one they are because you'll need 
to identify them later when you're positioning all your squares. Yeah. Okay. Um, so it's it, this is a really straightforward one. Um, again, this is probably a beginner level. Um, what was I was going to say. So it's literally just um, joining your squares in diagonal rows with some um, setting triangles in the corner. Yeah. And you just stitch them uh, like that right, okay. okay so it's really easy there's not even any borders on it so yeah. um it's just the binding finishing it off right okay so this is that's the fabric that you will need for your binding Jumble. yeah okay right so first job you do is obviously cut out all your squares again that's really straightforward because everything's the same size yeah so for this because i didn't think i was going to be able to fit it all on here if it was full size i've just cut my squares slightly smaller oh, okay. so that will be the size of your actual squares oh, okay. and this is what i'm using today right okay right so in the instructions you basically um go through like literally these two columns of instructions so that's how easy it is so first of all you you work you cut all your squares out and keep them labeled like we did earlier yeah okay so along this list tells you so you work from the center and you work build it outwards when you're positioning it so the center piece is fabric number one so i'm going to take my fabric number one. Oh. And position it. Do you want me to bring the board there. a bit closer to you so you're yeah, not stretching? Yeah, that might be easier. Thank you. Is that enough room? Yeah, thanks. You sure? <laughs> <laughs> I'll move it out okay, again. Okay, room. <laughs> okay, so next is um, number two fabric. Brilliant. So you are literally. And the, these um, these squares are good on here because you can tell whether you're getting them. Um, accurately in a row or not even if, even when they're on the diagonal, diagonal yeah so again so you could position these on a bed or on your um, on your floor yeah sticks or well to this doesn't it hey eh? sticks well to this yeah exactly it's because flannel yeah okay so next we're going round number three so each of these go up in and um, in four each time so you'll have four of four more of each as you go up the numbers okay so this is how easy it is uh-huh okay oh there's actually more there's more now then in yeah. this one yeah so so you have one center one the next one's four the next one's eight the next one's 12 oh, the next one's 16. Right, okay. so okay so you can see it coming together already. Yeah. This would be nice for a teenager, wouldn't it, to go off to university? What do you think? Well, it depends. <laughs> when I went to university, the first time I went, when I went to Bretton Hall College, right, part of Leeds University, Barry, who lived in the room opposite me, had a duvet, and I'd never seen a duvet before. And I was like, it's a continental quilt. My nan had continental quilts, but you put them over the top of everything. Yeah. We all had sheets and blankets, and you had this, like, duvet oh, from Essex. It was like, blimey. <laughs> it's very uh, modern. I know it's A-level results they I know. Yeah. Your kid's done A-levels this year. Not old enough, John. You're not, or they're not? They're not, because I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you started late. <laughs> I did. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're on holiday at the moment in Malta. Oh, well, they're yeah. having a nice time. Yeah, they are. Okay, it must so be I'm nice because do... that means it's just you and boyfriend at home. Yeah, 10 mm -hmm. days as well. And what, what day are we on now? Day two. Oh, they've only just gone then? Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. you'll have had a row by the end of tomorrow. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> We're going on holiday for four, five days, so uh, we'll probably end up having one there. What, this week? Saturday I'll go. Yeah. Are you going to Festival of Quilts? No, not <gasps> this year. Oh. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. It's if I just what? stick these up just to give you the idea of what it looks like. Oh. Oh, oh that was a funny noise. <laughs> Where are you going on holiday then today? Mallorca. Oh, very nice. It's I'm raining main... there at the moment, isn't it? Yeah. I'm mainly looking forward to not having to cook or think of what to do for meals every day. You do what? 
every day you're like what we're we gonna have for dinner tonight i know it must be difficult because i'm on my own i could just decide oh. on the afternoon and it doesn't matter if yeah. i just fancy beans on toast or if yeah. i fancy something more ornate like yeah. egg and chips or something you know yeah and everybody wants different things yeah of somebody course doesn't do. like something and yeah my mum used to say this isn't like joe lyon's corn house you know when yeah. we were little yeah Oh, this, I'm enjoying this. Just putting it out on know, the board. I know, me too. Okay, so yeah. there you go. So you do that with the whole quilt. We're only doing it with that yeah. little bit now. So you do it with so the whole, whole quilt. quilt right. And then what you do, so then you, well, you probably cut these first off. Okay. What so are these then? Now we're going to make the little triangles. Oh, the bits go in here. between, yeah. Okay, so you take your squares that they've told you to cut the size. Yeah. And you so for the setting squares which are along the sides you have to cut these into four triangles these right. squares but it tells you what size to cut the square and everything yeah. like that doesn't it yeah okay. jacqueline says good morning john Kari from mot and now switched on for the lovely victoria Cangton. Oh, love her and her demos thank you hello uh right hang on uh, louise has asked Oh, no, about the, the sewing needle. No, exactly. And the sewing nuts are obviously feeling better. She doesn't use anything special, but I don't use it for anything else afterwards. That's for the uh, going through the paper on the F FBP. Right, okay. okay. So I've cut that into four. Yeah. Okay, and then you just position them in there. Now, these might look a bit weird because they're slightly bigger. Yeah, because they're not looking um, like... Just because that's just the way it is. Yeah, of course, yeah. Just the way it is. <laughs> So hang on, it's only red round the outside on that. Oh no, I'm thinking the other one, aren't I? I was thinking so the you, green one, yeah. you use your, um, the same as the binding fabric for these setting triangles. Very noisy yeah, out there, isn't very it? Very noisy. Someone's go out and tell them to be quiet, please. Although I can't talk because me and Wendy were being noisy earlier. No, you were in the first hour, yeah. being very loud. Sorry. But you're our <laughs> guest, you're not disturbing anyone but me, you see, which is fine. <laughs> Oh, is it Wendy or Lendo making the noise out there now? <laughs> it's not coming from there, is it? No. Yeah, okay, yeah. so just imagine... Oh, I love it. I love the fact you make it up like that. Yeah? Yeah. And it's so easy. Yeah. I think when, I, when you do anything on point, it always makes it look Yeah, now we haven't like got Y seams, don't think that's due, have no, we? No, no, no. So we're literally going to stitch them oh, oh, in rows I see. like that. Okay, so to make the corner pieces... You have um, smaller squares, right. and you cut these into two. And you cut so into two. Oh, you cut into two times. You need four, yeah. Yeah. So the reason it's like this. So are all the squares all the way through it? The squares in the middle are all the same size, are they? The squares in the middle are all the same, the same size. size. And then those are bigger triangle squares to cut for those triangles, and they're a different size. So in fact, for the whole thing, you're only cutting three size squares yeah. and cutting and some of them into, into half the yeah. triangles. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. Who was it? Something so it went to Orlando? Noise. Yeah. Yeah, it was Wendy Orlando making all that noise. <laughs> right. You've run out Do of big triangles. I've, I've got some more, but I think it might be a bit boring for people to watch me doing that all the time. <laughs> Are you bored, everyone at home? <laughs> Let's have a vote. Are you bored, with Victoria? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Let's make her date before she goes off on her holidays. <laughs> so if you're okay. not going on holiday till Saturday, mm. what are you going to festival quilts this afternoon or tomorrow? I've got so much to do. What packing? I'm just making making Waxing the most legs. of um, kids not being there to yeah. get stuff done. Right. So what you then do? Uh, let's do. Right, okay, so mm. which one, so would you take away, did you sew the diamonds on last, or the triangles on last, or did you do, So on. I would sew the triangles on last. Shh, 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 shh. go on, sorry. I'd sew the triangles on last. Right. So i just, um, so I'd take one row. Yeah. And then I would stitch them together, so again, like we did Are earlier. Are you pinning at all? No. No pinning. You can do if you want. You can do if you want. I've got some flower-headed pins here. He's desperate to get these flowers. I've been waiting for a moment when I can say pins. And no, I'm not using pins. <laughs> Ten now, they get a hundred flower-headed pins there. Yellow, white, orange, and green. Ten ninety-nine. 
They're extra long, aren't they, those as well? Anyway, 10.99. Just thought I'd bring that in. So I'm just double checking that I've got them around the right yeah, way. Yeah, please do. <laughs> you know me. Okay. Remember the machine that Victoria's using? Got a special deal up until Sunday. Have the threads arrived yet? Have we asked, has Haley sent the information about them in yet? Did you not ask about them this morning? Don't worry. But anyway, there's a special deal with the sewing machine. You get five year warranty and some threads, but I can't tell you what the threads are like. Okay, so um, then. There it is. Oh, have you sewn it? Sorry. There you go. No, that's not that machine. That one. There you go. That one. Thank you. What's the matter? Remembered? Yeah. Okay, so then what you do, so we can press each row in a different in alternate directions okay. so say that row goes that way you want that row the seams yeah, that way. you'll have a whole quilt out there on yeah. yours yeah so actually the whole quilt won't actually fit onto no this would it so no. you'd have to work it out line by line yeah as it were, so yeah. I'd, I'd go sort of like quarter yeah like work that way yeah okay so i'm going to press so i'm going to set my seam yeah and then press it that way yeah I'm going to pull that back, set the seam, press it that way. Again. Right, yeah. Okay. And then you put it back on the board. Then you put it back up. Well, you can do, or you can set it aside. Yeah. Um, right, so if I, I'm just trying to think of the best way to do this. So if I, I'll do this one now, because yeah. it's showing you how to join those squares. Yeah. So let's join those and put a corner on. Okay. Anna's low at loving your shirt. It's from next, oh, Anna. Thank you. <laughs> go and treat Anna. Anna. Go and treat yourself. It's from next. She needs a treat. She's not being very well, Anna. Aww. She's getting better now. I only bought it yesterday, so they'll still have them. You feel like what? I only bought it yesterday, so they'll still have them. Oh, they've still got them. I thought you said, I've only bought it yesterday because I feel like, and then you didn't say anything. I was wondering, oh. <laughs> It's a bit wintry. It's because all the summer comes. I, I went to buy shorts and t-shirts for my holidays and all the winter stuff's in. I couldn't get a swimsuit. So I'm going to have to literally, like, I hope the seams are good on it. Let's <gasps> put it that way. You know my, Iron, you know my sister-in-law, Julie, she um, bought a new swimsuit when she was on holiday. Luckily, she was only on holiday with Mike, her husband. And um, she put the swimsuit and she came down and she went, oh, this swimsuit really doesn't fit. At all. Went, You've got it on back to front. <laughs> <laughs> How on earth can you do well, that? Well, I don't know. I know, exactly. A couple of boobs on the back. Oh, goodness knows what was going on there. <laughs> right, so what I'm doing here yeah. is I've taken my square and I've positioned this triangle yeah. on top. Now, you need to make sure the corners butt up together. Okay, so the corner the, the, of the what, triangle. The right angle the corner. Right angle, yeah, yes, yeah. the right angle corner is the same like literally sits on top of the corner of the square yeah. so you've got this overhang yeah but you need that to make your quarter of an inch seam um seam allowance around right, the edge yeah. okay so i'm going to press that okay and then i'm going to do the same on the other side so you need a mirror image of it so i've positioned that on there like that so when i sew it it'll be like that yeah I was away when my A-level results came out. I was on the drama course on in on Anglesey. What were you doing when yours came out? I just went and collected them. Did you do all right? I didn't. Yeah, yeah, I did quite well. But I, like they say, education's wasted on the young, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Because I would have tried well, a lot harder. Yeah, and that wouldn't if I did so it again. Would I, my rubbish. <laughs> Mine were absolutely rubbish, my A levels. My O levels were brilliant, but my A levels were rubbish. Yeah. It's because I, 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 I was learning how to party. I started, that was when I started rebelling and kind of being a bit naughty, I should have And also, but the thing is, though, I also truly agree that if, imagine if we had worked really, really hard, harder, yeah. and we got A stars in everything, didn't stars in my day, and we went off to be a banker, would we be happy now? We might be rich, 
But would we be happy? <laughs> do you know what I mean? At least we're doing something we love. Yeah. Do you know exactly. what I mean? It, I just think it all works. It's, yeah. And uh, so much stress is put on those poor kids, especially now. Those poor kids are getting their O levels and their A, or they're yeah. not called O levels, but those are. At, and they think it's the end of the world if they don't get what they, they imagine they should be getting and everything. Isn't well, it? I went to university and I did event management, and oh. I'm now I'm doing this. Which but that's what Hannah's do doing her MA in event is management. She? Yeah, event management and something else, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. oh. You know what? She's getting superstars in everything. Like all her marks are the highest marks in the class and everything. She's doing ever so well. So yes, Hannah produced Hannah doing an Hannah. MA. Right. Right. So again, I'm setting the scene. I'm pressing that yeah. okay mm -hmm. now then what you do is imagine I've sewn the triangles yeah, yeah, on yeah. the corner of that so then you've plenty of time so no rush I want to show you show the quilting yeah, and the yeah, bind yeah. in yeah, you yeah. as well okay so again you're making sure you've got your seams in opposite directions yeah I'll get there in a minute okay yeah. and then you're joining them together and Butting up the seams where they meet. Okay? Yeah. So again, I'm not um, I'm not going to pin it. Um, so as you go along, just make sure that they're nesting, nestling together. What are they doing? Nestling. I keep changing what I call it. Yeah. No wonder Charlie's confused. <laughs> okay. So then you can press those, um, you can press the seams then in all the same direction if you want when yeah, you're joining the rows matter, yeah. together so i'm just going to set the scene it's funny isn't it because if you went into a fabric shop and you saw all these different caves on the shelf there's no way you'd put them all together no and yet when they do put them all together they work so beautifully yeah, together don't yeah, they? yeah exactly okay so imagine you've got your triangles on the edge there and then these will create your um allowance seam allowance so you can put your binding over yeah, the top yeah, of that yeah. so you, your squares stay whole okay so i've got now um these little ears at the top so i'm going to put my um here so i want to attach my corner so this is right. this is for the corner yeah so i'm going to trim off the ears you get them online and uh, you, they, they, you can have it delivered the next day from next <laughs> She's still talking about the blouse. <laughs> she's not. She's not well enough to go to the bus stop yet. You see. So. Oh. Oh, I can stop off on the way on the my one on the way home if you like, Anna. Okay. So I've trimmed that off. Yeah. And then I'm going to position that onto there. Now you'll have your corners overhanging here mm -hmm. and you want to make sure that they are even you don't want one little one and one big one no okay so again I'm just going to stitch a quarter of an inch across there uh -huh. mm, there's a square from your quilt this morning and it's still <laughs> just leaving the debris everywhere aren't yeah. I Mm -hmm. And then what we're going to do now is just set the seam again and press that open. Open or across? Acro outwards, because you reach your yeah. corner. Um, and then, so once you've attached all of your bits together, you've got these little ears. So I would then just go round the quilt and um, trim those off. But what you're going to end up with is a square, or yeah, a great big square, but the line's going diagonally across it. Correct, yeah. Exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you want to, um, so once you've done all that and squared it all off nicely, um, you're then going to sandwich it like we did yes. earlier. Um, and then, so I've just used this as a bit of an example. So I'm going to show you, hopefully, if I've got time, show you how to do some quilting. Got plenty and of time, got half an hour. Yeah. 
Okay, so um, this is so quilt with this quilt, you can bind it, uh, bind it. You can quilt it edge to edge. So you can literally just go. Zoop, zoop, zoop. So is I that would probably. Term, is it? Yeah, zoop, zoop, zoop. Yeah. So I would probably quilt it by going a quarter of an inch down there. Either side away of from the, the seam, seam, or just yeah. one, or just one. You could do one. Okay. Um, so you so could if you do did just quarter like inch underneath there, each seam, there, yeah. yeah. And then maybe one on each side as well. So that would give you quite a nice effect yeah, 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 without yeah. having to like double stitch it yeah. basically. Yeah. Um, so by doing it edge to edge, you haven't got to pull through any. Oh, because um, you're going to show threads. us that. Can you show us that yeah. still now? Yeah. 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 I'll give that a go. Okay. So this is where I went wrong last time when I pulled this through wrong. Oh. Okay, let's try this. So what you want to do is you need to make sure that you've got about four or so inches, four or five inches length on your thread, on your sewing machine. Then, so imagine this has got a border on it and you're going to start somewhere in here. So you're not doing the edge to edge. So you need to have your ends to pull through the back to tie them off, yeah. otherwise they're going to come, come loose. Right, so if I just go there. So then you put your needle down. Yeah. And then you increase your stitch length. I normally use like 3.2. Right. And then for this you'll need, when you quilt, you need your, I'll keep calling it a quilting foot. Yeah, or walk, yeah. Walking, walking foot. foot yeah. Or even feed foot. Yeah. To make it, all the layers go through. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is it's down in my fabric at the moment, so I'm going to lift it up. Yeah. And I'm going to pull that through. Right. And then cut it off. So I've got a good length here. Yeah. Well. Okay. So then what you do is, where's my needle? So you then, when you, so when you're on the back and you pull the back thread, yeah. It will bring up a little loop from the front. So you put your needle into the loop and then you pull that through. Right. Okay, so now that thread has disappeared off the front. Right. And is now at the back. So what I do is then do a double knot in it. Right. Okay. And then I take a needle with an open end Oh yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. Um, then I put the needle in where the knot is. Uh huh. And then I put that through the um, wadding inside, but make sure it doesn't come out the front of the quilt. Yeah. Um, and then poke it out the out the end there. So it's probably about in about an inch. Uh huh. Okay. Then you take your two pieces of thread that are out the back, and then you put your thumb there and then push the threads onto through the eye of the needle. So that's why you need this particular ne needle. Otherwise yeah. you're gonna have to thread it through, which is a bit of a pain. So make sure your loop's relatively big, then push it through. And then your knot will, if you just give it a little tiny tug, your knot will pop through into your fabric. And then you take your needle off, pull it a little bit, cut it relatively close and then it disappears back in when you've released Brilliant. it. So, so there you've got your ends tied off and nice and safe and secure inside. Fabulous. Okay. Right, before we go any further, I'm just going to recap on these. Now, I need to tell you, these are totally and utterly exclusive to us. Nobody else has got these quilts at the moment. The reason we haven't got the quilts is because they're just launching them at Festival Quilts now because they're from the, the Wales book and everything. So it's a brand new quilt. No, you can't get these anywhere else at the moment. They're totally and utterly exclusive to us. And so new, so new, that's why we haven't got the quilts here. So just, this one's your bubbly one here, 169.99, three split payments of 56.66. You get all of this gorgeous, warm, hot fabric in the pinks and the magentas and the reds. You've just, you've just seen um, 
Victoria doing a little demo on that. So you get all of those fabrics in there. 169.99. You can't get it anywhere else at all. Cannot get it anywhere else. That's 169.99 for uh, that one, which is bubbling. We also had lavender and sage, which is the same uh, same print, that uh, same pattern, but with using all the cooler fabrics like the greens and the blues and the lovely, beautiful, softer colours in there. You've got your teals, you've got your slight magenta in there, but then you mainly greens and blues in this one. Look, they're beautiful, aren't they? All of those, again, for $169.99. Three split payments for $56.66. Brand new, you can't get these anywhere else. Brand new and exclusive to us, right? And then, it's the same with the one this morning. I'll show you that one again very quickly. The one from the uh, nine o'clock show this morning. And this should, Ben shouldn't have done this. He's been told off, right? 199.99 is how much this one should be. It went, I dropped it to 179.99 until midnight tonight. Totally and utterly exclusive to us. You can't get it anywhere else. You will be able to, I imagine, eventually. But at the moment, this is totally and utterly exclusive to us. And that's why the quilts are at Festival Quilts, ready to be seen as the new launch to go with the Chip Quilts in Wales book. So just so you know, that, that if you're thinking, oh, well, I'll, I might go on, because I know what you do. You're the same as me. If you see something on the channel, you see something, you think, I'm just going to check, see, anywhere, see how much she's elsewhere. It's human nature, isn't it? Human nature, you're going to do that. You won't be able to. These are all exclusive to us. Right. So what's next then, Victoria okay. Carrington? So, um, so once you've quilted it all, so when you're quilting it, you will ha still have your excess um, wadding and backing yep. that we talked about at nine o'clock yep. um, overhang so then you need to um, trim. square it up trim it up so it's all nice around the edges yeah. okay so then you need to bind it so to do that you need to take your so you cut your strips of, of fabric is on this the, that one's actually bound in that yeah, one yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Um, so you cut your widths of fabric uh, two and a half inches wide so that's the general size that you use to bind in yeah um, and then you lay it down so your first piece is right side up then you take your second piece and you position that right side down on top okay so I normally just leave a bit of overhang and then I take a pen or a I've, I use a friction pen mm -hmm. and I draw a line from where those two start to meet there okay right yeah yeah and then I stitch along that line okay why do we do that okay so when um, when it's in a long strip you f have to fold it over so then this this seam ends up kind of going like a v-shape rather than on top of each other oh yes yeah, so making have all it all the bulky lances, so it yeah. reduces bulk yeah okay so i'm just going to stitch across there okay you can pin that if you want because it does come a bit adrift and um, i'm going to use a short stitch length for this so i'll okay. use a 1.8 again okay So then you take it and you're cutting these smaller triangles off right. and leaving a quarter of an inch from the seam line, from the stitch line. Okay. So then what you do, so before you start pressing it, I would, so then you take your bit that you've already stitched together yeah. and then you get your next piece. So just let's just pretend this end bit's the next piece and then you go again. Right. right, so you just keep <laughs> yeah, repeating yeah, yeah. that however many times the pattern tells you to cut how many lengths to cut. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then you take your, I got that in the right place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take your binding, open those seams up, mm -hmm. and press. A bit of a shoddy job of that. <laughs> okay so they're nice and flat so like we've just said when you then fold that yes you've I see. got 
that going there and that going up there so it's yeah. not bulky okay so that's and then you just need to trim off your ears and you just do that across the whole legs so you just make a really 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 long piece yeah. of, of two and a half inch wide fabric exactly yeah and then what you need to do so you take your lengths you get your wrong sides mm -hmm. and put them together and you're just gonna we're just gonna make a fold down the whole of that length oh, okay now it's best to use um, a steam iron oh you want steam now yes please john thank you i don't think there's any water in it but <laughs> okay so just make take your time make sure your edges are meeting up well yeah sorry Good. I'm just opening the water then. Oh, that's good. Because normally you have to put them under the yeah, thing no, it's and a it at an angle and go. it's all pouring down your hands and all over the wire. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Is it steaming yet? No. Not yet. It's pretty, doing it pretty well though without yeah. the steam. They're very, very popular, the so I. In fact, when Charlie came to my house, he went up to the dressing room and the iron, the iron people said, he went, have you not got the Aliso iron? <laughs> 169 99 Three split payments of 56 66 Oh no, that's the quilt. That's the quilt. Hundred sixty-nine ninety-nine. Sorry, I thought it was the iron. I was going to say that's not right for the iron. Oh, there, it's steaming now. <laughs> okay. I thought so. I thought we were juicing. That's why I was confused. The iron's one hundred fifty-five pounds, taking seven ninety-nine off the iron. If I found only for festival quilts week, only till Sunday. So, when you're putting your binding on, yeah, you ca if you're making like an heirloom quilt or entering it into a show, yes, you need to um, put your um, binding onto the. So you need to stitch it onto the back. So that's the back of a quilt, is it? So if this, let's say this is the front, right? Okay. Right. Then you put stitch your binding onto the front with the machine yeah and then you take it round to the back yeah and then you hand stitch it onto right. the back and you have to do that in competitions do you i think so yeah okay you haven't done a competition for a while no, no. never done one <laughs> um if you wanted a quicker way of doing it you could do it onto the back yeah and then bring it to the front And then you can just stitch along it with the sewing machine. Yeah. Which I do for a lot of like samples and that because it's quicker than hand stitching. Yeah, 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 some yeah. people, I really like hand stitching it onto the back, but I just don't have time. Yeah. But some people hate it, don't they? Yeah. Okay. So we'll put this on the front and do the hand sewing method. Okay. So let's say that's the centre of my quilt. Mm -hmm. I want to leave a biggish gap. So I probably leave about that size gap on a quilt of this size. Of this yeah. size. Okay. So you want some overhang. Okay, so I would start sewing sort of about here and then I'd have this loose. Yeah. Right? So. This way you'd use your flower headed pins. Yeah, you could do. Yeah. Or clips. Oh, you're not going to pin any of it then? No. Fine. Yeah. Right. So. So I'm going to stitch a quarter of an inch, just slightly under a quarter of an inch. Okay. Just um, slightly under a quarter no, of an inch. Let's oh. just say a quarter of an inch. I don't know why I said that. Yeah. <laughs> Losing me marbles. Right, and we're just going to basically stitch down. Oh, hang on. I'm probably best to show you this first before I start. That was me, sorry. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm starting here and I'm going to stitch down to where it's about a quarter of an inch away from the edge. Yeah. So 
to, to gauge that, what you need to do, so stitch down as you're getting closer. So I get about there on, on, with my needle down and then you fold back the corner diagonally like that. And then I finger press it. Right. Okay. So I know that when I get down here, as soon as I hit that crease, I've got to stop and just do a couple of little back stitches and take it off the machine. Right. Okay. But I wouldn't fold it until you get nearer to the corner. No. Um, because otherwise, if it's all kind of stretch and stuff when you're stitching it. So, okay. Okay, so I've got to that fold. Yeah. So what I'm going to do now is fold it back like that. Uh huh. I'm a bit wonky on, aren't I? And then I'm going to fold it back on itself. Right. And make sure that those, that fold there, mm -hmm. is level with the edge of the quilt. There. Right. And then all I'm going to do is start a little bit further in here, and I'm going to back stitch and then stitch forwards again. Okay. Right. So your stitches are going from when they've finished that you'll go they'll go right from the top of the quilt will they yes yeah, yeah. so i'm going to back stitch and then go forwards mm -hmm. Okay, so when I'm getting about three or four inches away from the edge, yeah. the end, I'm going to fold it diagonally again to make the crease, and then stitch down to that crease line. Mm -hmm. and do a couple of reverse stitches. It's a bit boring watching me sew all this on, but I just want to show you how to yeah, um, yeah, yeah, finish yeah, yeah, yeah. it off. Yeah. Okay, so again, I'm folding that down. So these folds will make your mitered corners on the other side. Okay. So again, I'm starting here, a quarter of an inch, stitching back and then going forwards. Mm -hmm. Ooh, a bit carried bit fast, away there. Yeah. And then just keep, as you go, just make sure your edges are nicely meeting up. Yeah. <laughs> Stop enjoying yourself. <laughs> I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So as you can see, when you pull that back. Just, so it's just there, come up randomly that thing, that pink thing now, isn't it? I thought it was when we put graphics in here. Victoria Carrington. What did it say? Just says that was you and me. Oh. So were they selling the books at Festival of Quilt then? Festival of Quilts? Which what, what? Are they selling the books at Festival of Quilts? What books? The ca cave books. I think so. Don't know. Mm -hmm. They're selling my book there. Are they? Yeah. And then they rang in a panic yesterday because they said there weren't enough photos. They blamed me for not signing enough photos, right? <laughs> and I said, no, you've got extra photos. There's enough books. There's enough photos for all the books plus extra. Anyway, then they found that the book, the photos are already inside the books. <laughs> and they went, oh, we need more. So I said, I haven't got any more of those. 
but I've got last year's, well, not last year's, three years ago, so I look much younger. And they went, oh yeah, we'll have those then, so I've got to take all those down with me when I go on Saturday. <laughs> I'm nearly there. Yeah, no, that's right. There. You've got about five minutes. Okay. Is everything you do in your life really neat? Or is it just your quilting? <laughs> <laughs> is your house immaculate? Apart from well, these trophies? It was. Oh. But, like, with children and stuff it's less so isn't it you can't keep on top of uh, keeping your house tidy when you've got kids around for six weeks can you for six weeks how old you have them <laughs> not ever <laughs> <laughs> during the six week holiday oh i see what you mean yeah right so i've yeah. started here yeah and i've ended here so right. i've got a gap in between okay then you want to just trim that off so you've got a good overlap right place mm -hmm. okay now I'm going to eyeball the middle. Yeah. So I'm going to cut him off about there. So you want to cut it that nice and straight. You can use a ruler if you want. Yeah. Um, so that's that. And then you bring this one over the top. So I am just can see where my first bit of binding is there. Because yeah. I've just lifted it up slightly. Okay. So then I'm going to take my cut off bit of binding mm -hmm. and I'm going to line that edge up with where my underneath binding is right. you, know that you can see that very well um, and then I'm going to cut that length this top one the length of that I mean okay. you could measure that at two and a half if you wanted but I just find it easier just yeah, to yeah, use yeah, that yeah, yeah. okay so you've got that and they're overlapping by two and a half inches right okay so then you take your first piece and position it down uh -huh. and then take this bit with a bigger quilt you won't have to do this because you'll have more yeah, leeway yeah. okay so then you take this piece and you position it like that oh uh, I see I'm thinking it's going to be too big it's going to be too big it's going to be too big but because you're doing it on a diagonal yeah that takes up that exactly. two and a half I've yeah. got it now so then you just want to check by just hold it like that and just check that it does look right because the amount of times I've sewn it on the wrong way and yeah, stuff. Yeah. Okay, and then we're going to just pin these together. There you are. Use your clever pins. pins. You use yours, which are navy blue, which we haven't got. <laughs> and I just kind of, the flat head ones are much better for this because it keeps the, obviously the fabric flat when you're uh -huh. drawing your line. Okay, and then I'm just going to do another one diagonally across there. Keep checking out, keep checking out. I know you're uh, enjoying Victoria's demonstration. You need to check out the, do anyone missing out? Okay. So I've got it overlapping like that. Then I take my ruler, ruler and friction pen and I'm drawing a line from where the edge of this binding strip is yeah. to the corner of that one. And then I'm just gonna stitch along that line. Mm -hmm. You might want to drop your stitch length so okay. it's a bit smaller at this point, but I won't bother. Right, take your pins out and then again just test it before, before you, you cut off, it yeah. off, otherwise you could be in tears. Okay, and then um, trim that off. So you're leaving a quarter of an inch seam. Make sure you're not trimming through the rest of your binding. Mm -hmm. You can you could do with this with scissors if you're a bit concerned about that. Yeah, I yeah. normally do. And then all I do now is just I just finger press this open. So give it a score with your nail. Mm-hmm. And then you just line that up, make sure it's nice and flat. And then where you've finished, 
and where you've started yeah. you just do a quarter of an inch again just to join those just together to brilliant so you want to make sure as well that you put, that you pull it it slightly to make sure that sits nice and flat so you don't get a um a ruckle a ru yeah that's the word So that's it on on there yeah and then just and shows then, a mitered corner before we um, yeah and then what you do is you turn it over make sure that's nice and flat yeah and um, i use by i use binding clips for this even though i haven't got many of them so just to secure it that was lucky i know <laughs> okay So that when you turn it over you've got a nice mitre on the front there so oh, yeah. all i've done there yeah. is i've pushed that fabric down yeah brought this one across yeah and then it just creates this kind of fold and then you just make sure that's nice and flat down and you stitch that down when you stitch the back of your hand stitches yeah. round you then also stitch the mitre bit down and um, well. i don't stitch up the mitre but some people do no 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 i so, saw a question um, on on, on the facebook fan page yeah, the other day, yeah yeah so then all you do is you just take your needle and thread go in through your backing fabric obviously you choose a color that um, matched obviously try and bury that i haven't done a very good job of that yeah. um, and just keep catching the edge of the binding and then the um the wadding inside the quilt make sure we're not going through yeah, onto the front the brilliant when yeah. are you next then 6th of october oh blimey that feels like forever away. i know we'll come around quick though won't it oh no of course it will yeah, Six yeah. well it's dark in the mornings now i know, oh, no, frightening. anyway lovely to see you thank, thank you, you very much you. indeed right i'm just going to recap on our exclusive to us quilts right so this one here is called bubbly this is the pink version uh, 169 three split payments of 56 uh, 50, 66 you get your instructions and then you get all this gorgeous fabric some of them I've never seen before I've never seen jumbles in that color before but look at those fabulous colors remember you can't get it anywhere else totally and utterly exclusive to us beautiful isn't it all based from the May, uh, quilts in Wales book so that we haven't got the quilt because the quilt is brand new and it's a festival of quilts being launched a festival of quilts so it's all all brand new brand new brand new brand new so that's that one we also had lavender and sage so you've got that's the same it's exact same pattern but this one's in the greens and the purples 169.99 again but look at the colors i love that geranium with the purple there all the beautiful jumbles and your other geraniums and your more jumble and your lovely little flowers there it's just a good look at that one gorgeous gorgeous kit that 169.99 56.66 on split pay i'll just remind you about the one from this morning which was your checkerboard of checkerboards which is this one here 179.99 now this one was meant to be 199.99 but uh ben took three pounds off for you for today it's beautiful at six a very very simple it's 60 pounds three times it's now 59.99 three times and then just very quickly the book tv launch of the book quilts in wales beautiful is it 25 pounds now it's not on pre-order it's literally we have it in stock you will get it as soon as soon as we take the money at midnight tonight the process will go in and yours will be start being shipped out to you straight away really really lovely book quilts in wales right don't go anywhere uh, because she'll be back in october but i'll be back in four minutes with wendy orlando with um quilts as you go so we will see you in four minutes from now well done Hello, I'm Catherine Wright from Leicestershire Craft Centre based in Market Harborough. I'm delighted to be part of the Sewing Street family. I've been sewing since the age of seven when my mum taught me to sew. 
I particularly enjoy dressmaking and all through my childhood I made my own clothes uh, including dancing costumes and my prom dresses but I also enjoy patchwork and bag making and hand stitching and embroidery and really anything textile based. The thing I particularly love about fabric and textiles and stitching is that there is always something new to try, there's always a new technique or a new skill to learn uh, and I really enjoy doing that. The top tip for new sewers is to uh, be friends with your iron. Your sewing also always looks better when it's been pressed and it's not like ironing your own clothes. It's much more, much better than that. And also to uh, build your skills up step by step. Don't launch in with the, with the wedding dress first off. You know, start with a simple dress and build your skills up and then you'll see good results right from the start and feel enthusiastic and carry on sewing. So really just have a go, have fun. It's all about having fun and enjoying it. Um, so happy sewing. Hi, it's Yvonne here. As you all know, I was born in Carrick, Fergus in Northern Ireland. And we're getting to that point in the year whenever I get to go home. From the 1st of September, the Stormount Hotel in Belfast becomes the home of Quilt Fair, which is an event that together with my friends, Margaret and Helm, we have reintroduced into the, North, into the island of Ireland. We are really looking forward to this, our second event. We have retained many of the features that you like from last year's show. We have those nice wide aisles. We have all those expert traders and our free talks and demos in our schoolhouse. In addition, this year we have added our creative workshops, which Sewing Street have so generously sponsored for us. So this year we have added in two exhibitions. One of them, Old Roots, New Shoots, is from the Irish Patchwork Society. And the other exhibition is the work from our traders. It's, it's entitled, This Is What We Do. So I really hope that I will see a lot of you there. We thank everyone for their continuing support in this venture that we have to create the best little quilt show in Ireland. Have you heard about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street? You can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app, onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Have you heard about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street? You can shop on our website sewingstreet.com and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team just call 0800 001 4433. 
And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Before we start this hour, oh, I've got a picture to show you of Festival of Quilts. There it is. So let's have a look. Who's that then? Delphine. That's Delphine in the in the in the Sewing Street Lounge. Doesn't look very busy, does it? That if you think that's rammed for first day at Festival of Quilts, normally you can't move, can you? On the first day, maybe it was just earlier on this morning. Anyway, it's nice when it's like that, isn't it? Because you can see the quilts properly and everything. Gorgeous area on the Sewing Street Lounge. Come and have a sit down. I'll be there on Saturday and Sunday. So I shall see you then. Right, Wendy's back. Now, this is out now called Quilt As You Go. Now, it's not a particular, even though we've got projects here, the, the instructions that come with the bundles aren't for a particular project. But it's to, give you in, to show you how to quilt you go and inspiration of things that you can do with the product. So what I'll do is I will show you the three bundles, first of all, and everything else I've got for sale in the hour. Then we'll just let Wendy, we'll just let her loose and she can go off and do what she wants to do. So I've got pink, first of all, the pink bundle. So what you get in the pink bundle is half a meter you get three and a half meters of fabric in total right so you get half a meter you get the antique and twacky looking uh, kiddies in there um well you get 10 pounds of this 10 pounds of this bundle uh then you get your lovely line roses and ferns then you get your strawberries in a circle then now didn't we have that one in a different colorway in the last it wasn't that oh no maybe not and then we got your old oh, pinwheels then you got your writing, freckles, sunny kisses, bubbles, grandma. 59, nine times, a plus, 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 plus. A great big panel. Hang on, let me show you this. There you go. Lovely panel there. Peep, feed, sew, pretty, bake, stitch, quack, cook, bloom, Home sweet home, so that's it. All of that there, 59.19. So a set of instructions plus three and a half meters of fabric plus a panel. It's an awful lot in there, isn't it? For 59.99. That's the pink one, right? That's the pink one. We've also got it in the red. So this one's the same fabrics, just different colorways, you see. So look, you can see you've got the, um, the flowers on like a kind of carrot what color would you call that what's the matter apricot i would say oh apricot okay. yeah carrot okay, apricot. Carrot's a bit like... then you got your pinwheels on pink then you got your flowers on your black and white then you got your writing on red then you got your strawberries on teal then you got oh that's pretty flora on there and then you got your antwacky kitties on the pale teal plus we've got the red bundle same but i'm not going to unravel the whole thing the same bundle same panel, sorry, but in the red background. There you go. Fifty-nine ninety-nine. Fifty-nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. Beautiful. Okay, that's that one. And then we also have it in the green. Again, you get the same fabrics, just different colourways. You get the writing there, strawberries, freckles, newborn puppies, bare feet porch swings i think it's that the designer's favorite things isn't it then you get the flowers on red then you get the pinwheels on white there oh that's nice flowers on that's got an essence of liberty that one isn't it flowers on your teal you've got your strawberries on carrot then you've got your flowers on red and then you've got your antwacky on white and you've got your instructions 59.99 oh and a panel and a panel with green a green, what's the matter? What's antwacky? Antique. Oh. <laughs> it's what my nan used to say. It was very antwacky, that. 
You're not from up north, you see. That's the problem. <laughs> there, yeah, there's the green one. Quite like green. I love the green. Oh, hang on. Got one of the winners from the winning block. Let's have a look at this then. There it is. So that's one of the ladies who won, is it? One of the blocks. Oh, that's Christine. I can't see it's on the little telly. Put on the big... T oh, yeah. Look, it's Christine. So, Wendy, what happened was we oh. sold the panel yes. for four ninety nine. Yes. Everybody made a block. We had hundreds of them. And then a panel of judges chose the 12, not 12 best, but just the 12 most suited, right? And um, they got put together in the crowd. And that's Christine who mess I wonder why she hasn't messaged in today. That's Christine who messages in. But which Mar one did she married make? Gary. Wait, which one did she make? Oh, that one. Oh. It's so neat, I can't Very tell you. Very neat. It's really, really mm. neat, yeah. Uh, anyway, you, you saved £10 on that bundle as well. We've got some other Wendy patterns here. We have got Cosmic Bed Runner pattern. Cosmic Bed, bed Runner. Or it could be a table runner if you wanted it to be. If you like that kind of thing. 9 99 we also have cosy nights in, if you like that kind of thing. Quilt topper. Just press the buttons and stop muttering, will you? He's been in a real witter all day today. I'm going to slap his legs at the end of the show, I'll tell you. Anyway, there we go. We've got that one there, cosy nights in quilt topper. We've also got the star lap quilt topper. She didn't bring any of these with her, you notice. You must have made them. You know why I didn't bring them. Why? Because they were in the other studio. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I, 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 as I was saying, I was thinking, why didn't I ask her this exactly. earlier? That is asking. But she did bring this one. <laughs> this is Let's Go, Let's Go Round Again. Baby, da, 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 da. let's go. Who's that? Oh. It's old anyway. It's what? It's old. Oh, it is old, thank like you. And here it is, the See, original. He started. Well, well, it's because it's your first year back. I feel like I've got a newbie on that. I'm having to be nice, that's why. Anyway, go on, oh, Didn't last. What are you trying to point out? I was going to say, that, that, because I did it for the show, I actually did it on air in my hour. That's yeah. only three by three, but it's four by four normally. Oh, okay, okay, lovely. Uh, now, you would really need some wadding to do your quilt as you go. Now, I've got 640, but what I'm going to say to you is make sure you watch tomorrow because we have a very, very, very special wadding show tomorrow. Very special wadding show. Right, and then we've got some H640. Here, uh, 9.99. That's already cut to a metre piece. It's 90 centimetres wide, already cut to a metre piece. Okay, we've got some Bonder Web. Two ninety nine. pounds and if you were watching earlier, when we used some 505 spray, I've uh, got 505 spray as well. Now, if you want the big can of 505 spray, wait till tomorrow. Wait till tomorrow. Tomorrow's big time. We've got Cindy Cloud there, there tomorrow. And Joe Carter with a new uh, soft toy. Have you had enough coffee today? I haven't had any coffee. I've given <laughs> coffee up. Have you? Completely. Yeah, I've given anything with sugar in it, I've given up. Good job I didn't offer you one of my revels then. I, oh, yeah, I don't like revels, because I'd always get the nut one. I was, uh, someone's just caught me on the floor and they said, what are you doing? I went up and looking for the toffee ones. Oh no, I like those, like, because you guys meant to get, be able to bite it just yes, enough. To just know. to take it out, to yes. then go, oh, it's the orange one, I like the orange one. Oh, that's yeah. not one, I don't want But you can't it. do that now, no. can you? It all sort of goes oh, into one. Oh, I don't one. know, I haven't bought them for years. <laughs> anyway, uh, so, 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 just tell just tell me, we've done three bundles, yes, and you have created everything you see here from one of the bundles. Oh, well, yeah, take it down, take I'm, it down. I'm going to do it. I've done it. Sorry, yeah. I've done it. So this one here, thank you very much, is um, one bundle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it is that side, but it's also reversible. Right. And I got of this one, this this bed table whatever runner. Yeah. 
and I purposely didn't do plain on the back because I wanted to show just how far this fabric goes. But also, if that's a table runner, you have Hannah around for dinner. She's bound to, to turn, turn it over, turn it over. You? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was thinking more like if you came around for dinner, I'd have to turn it over, wouldn't I? Well, no, it would be on the bed, wouldn't it? <laughs> the, the runner, would, not would you. you. Not, would, <laughs> would you not have it on the table then? No. Okay. Do you not do table runners? No. Okay. Right. But, yeah, I wanted to show how... Okay, so yeah. didn't I do it right? Um, how far the fabric goes, because you yes. get loads and loads. You get three and a half metres of fabric, and you get the... The panel. The panel, that's the one. Um, right, so the instructions came about, because going on earlier, um, that I didn't do quilts, and I didn't do FPP. Um, and I absolutely adore quilts now. But I know there are an awful lot of you out there that have made your quilt, massive quilt, and then maybe you're not quite happy with it and you don't want to spend all the money on long arm. The solution is, and it's thanks to Stuart for this, he said, well, why don't you quilt as you go? And I hadn't thought of doing that. Mm -hmm. So I've done completely like, so someone who's just made their blocks because you would have to make a box for quilt as you go. The instructions tell you all about what, uh, what sizes you need and sashing. Um, and when I did all my research, because when I do anything, I always have to know everything there is to know about it. Right. It only gave me what I would say was the traditional, which is this little section here with the quilt as you go. So it's a thin, oh, to push them together. To put them together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But me being me, I wanted a bigger one right. because I wanted it to look like sashing. Yeah. Um, so I've worked out how you do that right and i've put them in the instructions brilliant so um so what tell yeah go, go through because you've got the overhead yes. camera go through everything that's in this instructions so you know what we get so you won't actually get as i say instructions to say you need to cut it x y and z yeah, yeah, what yeah. i'm looking for and i've seen so many people have already made these is um everyone's own creativity so it will tell you like here how you can do your blocks and you don't have to have square blocks you can also have rectangular blocks or you can have big blocks or small blocks depending mm -hmm. um, and then it goes on to tell you all about um, what blocks you can use so you can just if you've got some gorgeous fabric just do a plain block mm -hmm. um, if you've got plain fabrics that you want to mix you can do a four patch and a nine patch and explains what they are pissed blocks applique blocks um, and then it goes on how to actually calculate your size of your quilt okay depending how big you make your block um, and then it tells you all about assembling the block and the great thing is you actually have a finished quilt at the end of it rather than the instructions just saying now quilt it yeah it's all done there for you Brilliant. Um, and it shows you how to, to quilt the blocks i mean i'm i'm a huge fan on this one so this one has been um echo quilted where you take your shape in the center and then you quilt round the outside of the shape echo in the shape and mm -hmm. i love that and so with this one it's exactly the same but i've done a cross hatch on that one okay now these two this one i put on the applique afterwards and because i didn't want the cross hatch going across mm -hmm. and this one i put it on first and then echoed so again it explains all about that how to put your sashing on um and how to do and i know victoria's just shown in depth how to do Binding. binding yeah um so at the end of it you will have a finished quilt that you have created yeah and that's that's what i want i don't want to say you need to cut it 12 by 12. yeah yeah of course um but this would be really really amazing for groups that are having a quilt along so the instructor can say i want you to all make a 14 inch block or a six inch block uh -huh. and then they can put them together and have a quilt or what about memory quilts mm -hmm. as your child gets older you could make it of all the clothes they've had the special clothes you wouldn't want all the clothes yeah, the special yeah, yeah. clothes so there's so many things you can do with a quilt as you mm -hmm. go um and it looks equally as good on the back as it does on the front brilliant so, so what are you going to show us what today, i'm going to show you well i've done a, a couple of shows um i can't remember the dates i do apologize i should have checked first showing you how to do this technique. So now I want to move it further. So those that have got this and just, I do say in the instructions that the most important thing of all is that you have the quilt the same, that the block the same size when you're finished. Now, the reason I've done that is because if you see in this oh, one, oh, here, in this, it's my trolley, yeah. um, in this one here, they are all exactly the same size. Right. And it means it's much easier for someone who's just beginning their journey to do that. However, 
you'll see with the one that I'm just going to finish this little sample making today, these blocks are not the same size. So we've got a, a one um, column, a two column and a three column and different size um, binding in between. And then here we've just got one big long block. Okay. So the, I just want to show that everyone that yes, ideally to make it when you're new to start with the same block, once you've got your confidence, then you can just do what you like. Mm -hmm. The only thing that you have to remember is in the instructions, I tell you to put it together in rows. There's actually nothing to stop you doing it together in columns. Okay. But we're gonna talk about rows first. So the most important thing is when you make a row, they all have to be the same height in that row. Okay. This row doesn't have to be the same height, no, 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 but no, no. everything in that row has to be the same height. Yeah. And more importantly, when you add rows on, they must equal the row before. So there is going to be a little bit of jiggling around Yeah, yeah, there. especially if you're going to do in a, <coughs> like that one there, you've got an applique, you've got a patchwork, you've got all different ones. You've got to make sure that when they all, they're all the same width and height and everything, like in the row. In the row. Yeah, in the row, in yeah. row. Or, you know, if you're working in columns, then you make sure the columns yeah, are yeah, all yeah. the same width. Yeah. Um, I find it easier to do in rows because I, 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 it's just how I work. But if some mm. people do work yeah. in columns. Yeah, yeah. But then it would just mean that their sashing would be vertical sashing, whereas mine would be horizontal working in rows. Yeah. But you could also do... Uh, you could do the square like this in rows, but then you could do the uh, you could do a border of smaller blocks to finish it all off, and that could be a column. Well, to make it in a row and turn it up that way, I suppose, yeah. wouldn't you? Yeah. The, really, you, once you've got the the actual concept of it and you've learned how to do it, then once your confidence is built, and that's what all I'm I'm only interested in building your confidence. It's yeah. your sewing journey, and once you're happy and you know what you're doing, then you can push the boundaries. But the the instructions show you the very basics. Yeah. So with this one, we're now going to put another row on. Now, what I have done, I've made the three the three sections of this row, and because I'm going to be doing just the normal standard join as you go, they are the width of this one here because it doesn't, when you put in this sashing, it doesn't change the width of your blocks. It doesn't change the width of your row. That's oh, okay. That's so, got you what you're adding, you're taking, no, no, no. So you're, what you're taking off is your seam allowance. So it ends up the same size. So it ends up the got, same yeah, size. Yeah, 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 now, I will just say that if you do this one here, it does take a bit more working out yeah, because obviously yeah. you have to allow for this sashing. But for today, I'm just going to show you the concept to do it. So what I'll do, I'll join these in the normal, well, when I say normal, yeah. the, the, the thinner one, and then I will put them together with the thicker one so Brilliant. that you can see yeah. both techniques. I'm oh, sorry, I'm getting this back down again. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I'm sorry. But I just want to show you that there are so many ways that you can create blocks. So the panels there, don't just think, oh, I, I've got to use that panel, it's in entirety. Absolutely not. This one here, I actually cut them out and stitched them back together yeah, of again. Yeah, course you would, yeah. <laughs> so you just cut the border off, there's no border there's in no border. I just cut yeah, them, yeah, yeah, I just yeah. cut them off and then I did. And this is an amazing chance to use your machine. That's what it's there for. I've done loads of decorative stitches and put a little border on and then more decorative did stitches. Did you do that green on the edge, the green from this, from, from here? Yes, and then... So you're not wasting no, anything off your you know what I either. like? I don't yeah. like to waste anything, so I thought, oh, I'll sneak a bit of the material yeah, there. Yeah. And then it ties it in because it is all colour coordinated. Yeah. Um, so that one, I've just cut up a little bit. That one, I did my pinwheel. Now, I've just shown here that maybe, and mine was, by the way, but maybe if your pinwheel's not quite exact in the middle, yeah. just put a bit of applique on mm -hmm. there. Yeah. Um, this one here was... <laughs> Um, yeah, so this one here was, I just cut out four, um, four by three off the right. panel. Um, and this time, you, you, when I made the block, and I'll show you in a minute to make the block, um, I, you need to stitch within the guidelines for the wadding you're using. Um, a lady wrote in the other day and she said it was four inches on 8020. I thought it was three and a half. I'm not sure. Right. But as long as you stitch within there, then your wadding's not going to go AWOL when you do yes, any. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. 
And so with that one, I did some decorative stitches. And yeah, some are four inches, some are ten inches. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So this just, is using wadding. wadding. This is the yeah, wadding. Yeah, yes, yeah. 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 Um, so as long as you stitch within those, and then I did, which one of the simplest was just a four, four patch. Four patch, right? Um, and I did some free motion, not free motion. I, I, I'm still trying. I'm getting better. But what I did, I found a squirrely stitch. To make it look like oh yeah, yeah 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 why not yeah, I did a little bit of cheating there yeah. um, the thing is we can't all like everything we can't all be good I at love everything it. i love it i just can't do it <laughs> I, I i just I, i'm getting better yeah and then you can utilize the fabrics so these fabrics now tie in the rest of it by cutting it into strips so that now it all balances off together this one again can i, I just start did you sew that see that one up there did you sew the strips together yes. and then did the blanket stitch yes, on top of it yes i did so this is the beauty of it because i'm going to i'll show you in a minute i create the sandwich mm -hmm. you can do what you like with the stitching and use your machine as i say it's it's your friend and don't do it on your best fabric just have a little play with the stitches um and that one i love this is one of my favorite favorite stitches yeah this one i cheated because it almost quilted itself well, yeah exactly just, why, why didn't make tiny pinwheels when yeah. you can cut the fabric out quilted to make it look but like you've done them, i yeah. followed the lines that way and that way and it looks like i've made that yeah. um this one again this time I do love a cross hatch, yeah. so it's the same as the one I run down here, but with a cross hatch. Mm -hmm. This one I just freehand and wrote love, and then appliqued on and did a little bit of, of echo stitching, and then we're back to the beginning. And then if you use the same fab, uh, the same thread on the other side, this now looks like a plain quilt. Yeah, it yeah, isn't yeah, because yeah, it's yeah, got yeah. a lot of a yeah. lot of. Um, Quilting on it. That's yes, that's the word. <laughs> um, quilting on it. Or, if you're really confident, why not use a contrast thread? Yeah. And it really stand out at you. Yeah, use my job. got threads that we had on special offer in the first hour. Ooh. You haven't got those threads. If you're watching 8 o'clock, we had a bundle of the two threads. And then we also had my latest threads, which I think somebody's made a mistake. Because I think someone said in a meeting, let's take five pounds off. And two people have done it. Oh, there they are. It's the John Scott Garden Collection. They should be £53 or 52 99 and they've reduced them to £43. I think that might be a mistake. And loads of you came in the 8 o'clock hour to got that, so please be careful. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I'll do that uh, in a minute, in a minute, in a minute. Oh, do you need to do it now, or you're oh, all right? Oh, no, I want to, I just, I just, all right, then, do it now. It's a bit of a, <laughs> a break in the flow a bit, but go on. The picture of another winner here. Who's this yeah. one, then? Sandra, that one is. Sandra, no one which one did she make? Guess which Ooh. one Sandra made? She made, oh, made oh, that no, one. No, not that one. I didn't that's get that one. It's kind of those flowers stick yeah. out from the from the quilt. Lovely. I didn't I didn't get that <coughs> one. Well Sandra. Right, okay, so come back to you. Right. So what are we gonna do? We've so, only got a half an hour left. At the most. We'll be oh, fine. No. We'll be fine. Yeah. Now, um, these are brilliant, these um, the panels because you can just make so much without with them um, and I'm just going to show you how to make your sandwich first so right. you'll get your fabric now it doesn't have to be a panel it's going to be your right side up fabric and then you place that you're going to make a sandwich so I'm just right. going to cut that to the size I want it now I like to have my wadding very slightly bigger than my top fabric so that I can see it and also as I'm quilting, it gives my machine something to start from rather yeah. than the edge of the fabric. And then you get, what are these called? An 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 <laughs> well, they look like 1940s, like little 1940s drawings, don't they? They're Victorian so pretty. Hilton. They're so, so pretty. And then you have your backing fabric, yeah. the wrong side facing up behind and again i like to have that peeping out um, you can cut it the same size as your wadding if you don't want to waste any fabric and that's it now if you have a quilt topper that some of them are massive aren't they mm. you've then got to make sure that they're pinned and they're all this now with this one i would just put a little bit of 505 on the wadding i always do the wadding yeah place that down 505 and place that down and that is your sandwich so that when you put it together your back has already been completed yes yeah now would you would you put a plain back or would you put a patterned back 
Depends what it is, what right. it's for. Um, I'd like a pattern back because mm. then you can use both sides of the quilt. And because I've got cats sleeping on my bed at the moment, oh. sometimes I have the, they <clears throat> come up with their dirty paw prints. I don't want to wash the whole quilt every time, just turn it over. No, because then that put the dirt on the other side. That's fine. That's that goes against no. the duvet then, which gets changed every few days. I know, but... But no, no, but also, the amount of time, if you've got to, if you say you've got a quilt on your bed like this, so that's me on my bed, right? So how often does that happen? You know what I mean? And if that side's lovely as well, then you've got two sides. Exactly. And because you've got the wadding in between, yep. it's the, it protects it because yep. it's nice and fluffy. Yeah. Right. Um, and so that is your sandwich. That is it. Now, you can make them as big or as small as you want. Um, how about some really nice big... Oh, is that what you do? Sorry. No, no, no. I'm just switching the steam off because it was oh. steaming. Um, yeah, you can make it nice and big and that will come together in no time. Yeah. Now, to quilt it, then that's entirely up to you. I like, I would like a cross hatch in here, so right. I just cross hatch. Or you could, like I've done here, I've done down the sides mm -hmm. in the cream with cream. So you can't really see it. It's just on a little box here that it's stitched. So it's entirely up to you. You can go crazy. Yeah, just coming in on that. You can go absolutely crazy with so yeah, you can do what you like. You really, can do can, absolutely. Yeah. And the beauty of it is that every single box can have a different quilting block, can have a different quilting technique. Yeah. Um, so it's a great chance. And I thought on the way down here in the car, because, you know. The four was, and a half hours <laughs> it took you to get here. Yeah. Um, so how about if you're just starting your quilting journey, learn a technique and keep your first one practice the technique and then keep the one that you're really happy with yeah and make a whole quilt of your firsts and then make a whole quilt of your your ones you love and then you'll be able to see mm. how well, far you've come the first question anyone asks is wait what was the first quilt you ever made and people want to see it you know what i mean yes but that way you'll because i always say you must never ever look back just to see how far you've come and that would be amazing if yeah. you've got the quilt that you made mm -hmm. and, and all your stitches are wonky and it's, it's maybe not cut right but you know you've made it yeah so that's how you would do it and then you quilt it and i do i like to do a four millimeter stitch you don't want a, a tiny stitch when you're quilting because it will pull the fabric and the stitches down so have a nice big one but don't again don't practice on the good stuff just make a sandwich and and don't just practice on a single layer you do need to make you need to copy what you're going to be sewing so yeah. make a sandwich mm -hmm. Right, now we're going to put them together. So I've got my three that equal the width here. And I'm going to do... Now what I'm, I, I say to do is cut them the size that you need. Now if these are... I've done these at eight, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I want to cut these at eight. You, you can add them first and then trim them after, but you really want them to match. So by doing that... Yeah, I haven't got a strip apology, have I? Oh! Oh, where did yeah. you come from? Oh. That was from the first hour. Lovely, time, that would do. That will do. The Stropology squared from the nine o'clock hour this morning. Oh, so I'm going to trim these the same size as my block, and that is very important. And I can't, again, tell people how big to cut theirs because I have no idea what size blocks they're yeah. going to be doing. But this fabric is just gorgeous to work with. Yeah, it's good quality, oh, it's isn't it? Definitely. Very good quality fabric. Now, I didn't, I always, always say, oh, you need to best press. I didn't press press. I didn't best press Oh, this. okay. And it's just, it's beautiful. Didn't press it full stop, did you? <laughs> I did, actually. I did. See, you started, haven't you? I knew it wouldn't last long. I knew you wouldn't be able to contain yourself, would you? I've been polite. Yeah, well, yes, you had been polite in the past tense. <laughs> right. Go on then. So now we're going to put them. So I'm only working on this one at the moment because these have already been done. Yeah. And I'm going to join that one to that one. Right. So I'm going to place, and it's all, the, it's all in the instructions. You need to cut the front double to the back. So this one has the same... It's been folded in half. Right. And so now it's the same size as the back. Now, that does mean, and I'm very aware of this, but again, this is very much a beginner's um, quilt, uh -huh. that when you fold it back over, it's going to be wider at the front than it is at the back. Now, that's intentional because then that means that when you stitch it down, the stitching sits alongside and it's going to be really neat. That was very intentional. So we're going to place 
The single layered strip, now I do have to pay attention, this is directional. Yeah. The single layered strip, right side facing up. That doesn't look like eight inches, no it is. <laughs> right, place that down right side together. And then you get your double and place the raw edge. So the fold yeah. is here and the raw edge. And again, this one I do need to take my um, orientation into consideration. And just put that on the floor. So have just, lost? No, I haven't lost, I've lost. I was just going to clip it together. Okay. And pin or clip it together. And then you're going to stitch a quarter inch seam allowance down this side okay. joining the three together right. and uh, I like to increase mine to a 2.4 because we're now working through lots of layers okay. the machine when I put it on my quarter inch stitch will automatically set it at a two okay so we've got like a step here today haven't we I feel very tall today oh, that's because that Victoria didn't have her high heels on so she needed extra height I haven't got one high at all, heels so. what are high heels <coughs> <laughs> <coughs> what are high heels so now you've not got your walking foot on then? I can just pop it down. But if you've got one that you have to attach, would you put the walking foot on? Oh? <laughs> yeah, pull the end off. Um, now, it's not essential that you have a walking okay. foot. Only, only it's asking. better that you have one because right. then, as you know, it feeds the fabric all the yeah. way nice and evenly. If you haven't got one, you'll be able to do it. Well, also um, the fact that you're only doing eight inches at the most yes, at this yes. point, it's, it's easier than if you're doing a whole quilt, isn't it? Yeah. It does make the machine a little bit noisier when I've got it engaged, yeah. but that's because it's just working. And I'm doing a quarter of an inch. So that's that first one. Yeah. <coughs> added. Now we're going to now join it to the next one. Now you need to put the right sides together like this, like that. But top mm -hmm. tip is keep this in the same orientation, but turn it over. Get this and do a little shimmy across. And that way it's going to be in the right place. Again, you want to pin it. You will have much more time. What time are we? Okay. 15 minutes you got left. Are you rushing me? I'm not rushing, I'm just telling you, because we, we have to there's, there's no way we can go because hopefully no, I know. Make it I know. There. I know. I do know. Right, I'm going to stitch that one with a quarter inch seam. Yeah, there is nothing wrong with the machine. It is just a little bit noisy when it's got its yeah. uh, dual feed. I keep getting told off for calling it a walking yeah, it's foot. A dual it's feed a, on that it's one, a dual it? yeah. feed, isn't it? So now we've joined those two together. Right. Now, what you'll see is the back is joined completely, mm -hmm. but the front hasn't quite been finished yet. Now these two should butt up to each other exactly. Yeah. And then we fold that over and press it. So give it a good press. And then we're going to stitch. And now I would pin it in place. So stitch down this edge. Uh huh. And right on the edge, like an edge stitch. Now, yeah. again, know your machine. This machine has, this foot has got a little acrylic window kind of thing. So I know that if I have that at a certain place, it will stitch for me. But again, get to know your machine. But this time I'm going to increase the stitch length to three. Right. Because we, we're going through an extra layer because we've got that folded. Of course. And I want it to run really smooth. I don't want it to be struggling at all. Now, I have stated in the instructions to sew down that side, but I like things equal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't have to, because that has now joined those two pieces together. Right. And you've got your fabric on the front and on the back. So we're That's going right. to do exactly the same for this side. So we put right side of single strip, right sides together with this. Uh -huh. And then the folded edge, making sure that I've got the orientation of 
the wording the right way up. Mm -hmm. Now, I am aware of time, so I'm not going to pin this one. I'm just going to go okay, for it. Brilliant. But please pin it at home. Can I ask, when you do a wider one like that, oh, does the washing yes. go the whole way across? It certainly does. Brilliant. See? You're, you're thinking ahead already, aren't you? No, 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 no. Yeah, it's just that I kind of, what I hate is when you see sashing yeah. and there's nothing in it. So you've got a yeah. quilted block, a quilted block, and then suddenly a floppy bit in the middle. And that's the reason that I designed this one, because that's what I found. I didn't find anywhere that said, this is what you do yeah. when you want to do wider, wider sashing. Ones, yeah, exactly. um, and I love the thinner one because it, it almost looks like a window frame, and especially if you do it in a darker colour to accentuate it. Yeah. But sometimes you do want it to be a bit wider, don't you? Well, if it be wider, but you don't want it to have that, that kind of no, nothing in between, well, just it, two layers. It wouldn't of fabric. sit right, would no. it? It would be all floppy. We couldn't have that. Well, you're, you're quilted like concertina yeah, up in it. Yeah, would, it wouldn't look yeah. nice at all, would it? Not at all. So we do exactly the same with this one. Mm -hmm. So they, they should butt together. Just press them, fold that over. I'm going to pin and stitch that down. Yeah. Now what I didn't do, which I've just realized, realized. is I didn't change my stitch length oh, back yes. down. So yeah. just be aware of your stitch length because you don't really want to be doing a big stitch to join them. So that's that row joined. Now, yeah. So that should, oh my goodness it does. But no. because this joining method doesn't change the width at all, when you do this one, yeah. then it's now the same size. This one, however, is different because we're going to be stitching this way across. I'm just trying to have a look for my, that's gonna be the wrong way. You have to make sure that you're the orientation of your fabric. Uh -huh. Now I am, I know I said I wouldn't, but I am gonna trim this one after. Right. So it doesn't matter which you do, whether you join it to that one or this one. So I'm going to place the right side Right, is this the folded one? So this now is the double width, the yep. folded one at yep. the top, and we do the single. Now you'll see that it's quite wide this time. Yeah. So we've got, that one is a single layer, and that one is our folded yep, layer. And I'm just gonna check that when I do that, that it's gonna be the right way up. So I place that on top. Now, because we're working along uh, a big length, you really, really must, as I say, don't do what I'm doing. You really must pin or clip this. Yeah. Because it, it, no matter how, how you think it won't, it will actually stretch, and we don't really want to do that. A walking foot will help because it feeds the fabric through at the same time. Oh my gosh, hasn't it gone quickly this morning? Mm -hmm. It's just flown past. Remember the instructions are available on their own. If you don't want the bundles, the instructions are available on their own. Right. Yeah. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim this one off. There he is. But I'm not going to open it out before I trim it. I'm going to trim it off folded because that's going to make it neater for me and never ever trim towards you or trim away from you. Yeah. So even if it means turning your fabric the other way. Now, as I say, you will have much more time at home to join all these up. Oh, have it was the right way. Um, so now we're going to put this one on the bottom. Right. So again, we want to put right sides together. So we turn this over and we shimmy. So these are now in the right place. Uh -huh. And I've made so many of these quilts now purely because actually by the time I finish them, they're, they're completed. I then yeah. don't have to worry. About it's, making the whole yeah, big sandwich yeah. or anything like that. And there is always going to be a place for long arm quilting. There, yeah. is, no, there is nothing as nice as having a massive, a big quilt long armed but this is just for if you want to make a quick literally quilt as you go there we go 
now. That's the back. Yeah. And that's the front. You were quite right. You can see now we've got a fat off gap here. Well, yeah, it just, it just did it then because it went yeah. like, if you and don't... And that's, that's what we'll do. Yes, yes. So now, and it is all in the instructions as to how big it needs to be. Right. So um, I think this one, I'm sure I cut it for it so that it has to be two and a half. Yeah, two and a half. But it, the, the calculations are in there telling you, it doesn't tell you every single denomination. Yes, but yeah. What but what it will say that this is what you do. Yeah. This is how you measure it. So I'm going to pop that down there. I'm going to use my mat. Are you making it so that it doesn't go into any seam allowances and it just lies flat within it's the... Straight in the middle. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you, don't, you don't want it... One, two, one, two. I'm very good at maths and I couldn't work out what 13 and two and a half was. That's okay, not good. that's good. No, yeah, no, I can't. <laughs> Four and a half hour drive home, <laughs> don't forget. <laughs> right, brilliant. And then you place this in here. Give it a jolly good press first. Yeah. So it would fit if it was if it's pressed. And did you um, uh, 505 spray it as well? Or did I, you just I, lay it in? I haven't got any here. But I, w I always, always, yeah. because we're working along quite um, quite a long length, I would always 505 it. Yeah, brilliant. Just kind of, I'll trim that off properly after. And then, when you put this down here, then it's all encased and it's quilted. Because I'm like you, I wouldn't want to see no quilting in there. No, not at all. No. no I'm really not very happy. Oh. Because... Oh no, do you not iron for people like Stuart does? Just saying. You didn't ask me to. Oh, you didn't offer, did you? No, they get paid to iron. <laughs> oh, it's been lovely being back with you. <laughs> <laughs> I have missed you. Have you? I, I, like I, a sore I have thumb. missed you. Yeah. No, I have missed you. Oh, that's very Because you are funny. You make me laugh. Oh, thank you. You do make me laugh. Just looking at you makes me laugh. Mm. <laughs> Right. What's she witching on about now? <laughs> well, I'm quite surprised we've got it done in time. We yeah. won't be getting told off, will we? Now at home you will have time to press it all and make sure it's perfect. Uh-huh. But so look at that now. When that's all pressed. Yeah, now, yeah, it's fantastic. Personally, I probably would put a little bit of quilting in there. Yes. Because although it's that's not three and a half inches, it's it is a long expanse. Yes. So yeah. I would maybe do some, I don't know, some zigzags. Yeah, yeah. So something like well, that. Well, I, I also would do it because you're going to throw it in the wash. Yeah. And if the, if the wadding comes away within there, it'll be fixed at the ends and, and everything, but it could all shrunk up inside. And there's nothing it? worse because you can never get it no, back. And, no. and even though, as I say, I would 505 this, when you put it through the wash, that's no. not going to make any no, difference. Not it's not going to hold it. No. Um, and then I'm going to make this into a wall hanging. So then I will um, bind the edges right. um, and just maybe make some tabs and then hang it up on the wall but that shows that's showing people that that have bought this that you can actually it's not just all about making a square. no exactly it's just about letting your creativity work brilliant let's have a look at the other side as well then i would trim it off it's <laughs> yeah, oh yeah no no of course you would yeah you haven't done that yet but yeah. look how but look how effective that side is as well yeah, so if you weren't making it into a quilt quilt if you want right now if you're going to make a wall hanging i wouldn't bother with all exactly. the beautiful fabric on the back i just have plain on the back exactly but the fact that it looks so lovely that if you were making that'd be lovely as like um um uh, an incubator quilt because that's oh. about the size for an incubator quilt for the charities and things like that isn't it that'd be gorgeous wouldn't but, it but yes to your point i would definitely not put good and if you're going to do that then you don't have the same fabric you have different fabric for the single strip as you do for the folded yes in the front. yes yes the folded, so, yeah. you have your pattern or your nice yeah. fabric the and single, then you just the single you will just have from your stash yeah, yeah that's the one <laughs> yeah scrap from your stash <laughs> but yes but there are so many things that you can make with it so like the reason that I like quilt as you go is when I make a row, 
if I think, oh, maybe it needs to be a bit wider, I then can add it on. Whereas when I've made the whole quilt and think, oh, I wish it was a bit bigger, yeah. I can't do that then. No. Um, so this means that you can do that afterwards. And it's it's brilliant. It is fantastic. It's brilliant. Yeah, I absolutely so, love so it. So in, in the instructions, let's just go through the instructions. Have you have you done with your demo? Because I want well, yeah, to take you wouldn't let me. You wouldn't let me bind. So no, I can, <laughs> you couldn't bind it in four minutes, could you? So <laughs> in here, in, in the instructions, <laughs> let me come over your side. Oh, can yeah, you can, do the Can you yeah. do the opening of the pages? Oh, We've only oh, got an uh, over uh, overhead yes, camera on sir. your side. Yes. Sir. But look in there. So it's telling you about your blocks first of all. It's not giving you any instructions how to make the blocks, but it's just giving you some ideas and inspirations like a plique, nine patch, four patch anything like that or a piece so you might have a, a, a your favorite block like a log cabin block that you love mm -hmm. you make the log cabin block and then you can add, uh, but then do different ones like a sample quilt be lovely it's a brilliant way to like test all your things out isn't it so do nine different blocks or whatever you want to do and then you put them all together to make a lovely sample quilt be lovely so you've got that in there yeah, then we so turn we the have page that. and as i say it'd be a really lovely idea if you do it when you're first starting your technique so when you finish then it's yes, going to yeah, exactly. be amazing but also you, it means that if you do an applique one a block one a different kinds of one if you get think oh, i hated doing that one all yeah. you had to do is make a block Imagine if you start a whole quilt and get through the first block and go, I really hate this, I don't like this. But you've got to do yeah. that block 20 times after that. Then you're stuck, aren't you? Whereas this yeah. way, you can practice all the... Like, if you get one of those, like, over 100 block books, you could just practice doing different blocks with half square triangles, with pinwheels, with um, a plique, hand turn a plique, all that sort of thing, like a sample quilt. You could try all the different things, and then you've only done one of them, haven't you? You haven't had to do a whole quilt of it. Anyway, yeah. uh, let me just go through the yes. bundles then very quickly. So which one have you got in at the moment? You've got red, 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 red. So you've got the red one in now. So what you get in the red one is you get the red panel. I'll open that out in a minute. Then you get the white floral, the green strawberries, the red writing. You get the black flowers. You get the pink, pink, pink pinwheel, the apricot drawing and the pale teal and twacky kiddies. And you get the instructions. And this is what the panel looks like. Sideways, I know, but there you go, you get the idea. That's the red one, that's the red one. We've also got it in, what colour do you like to go to next? Green next. So then you've got the green panel, same panel, but just with the green um, uh, borders. Then you get the uh, children on the white, you get the flowers on the red, you get the strawberries on the apricot, you get the flowers on the green, the pinwheels on the white, the flowers on the red, and the writing on the black. Plus the instructions, you've got £10 off, that should be 69 99 by the way. And you get all of that for your 59 99 And last but not least, you've got the pink one. So you get the instructions. Upside down. You get the instructions. You get the pink bordered panel. Then you get your pinwheels with the blue. You get the flowers, which look like fried eggs. Egg, egg and chips for tea, I think. Uh, then you've got your uh, strawberries on your red. You've got your flowers on your pale teal. You've got your children on your bubblegum pink. You've got your very Liberty-esque flowers on red. And then you've got your, your writing, your sentiments on cream. Plus your instructions, 59.99. You can get the instructions on their own. 9.99, very popular. Well, it's, it, it is brilliant because it's got everything in there that you need to know. Plus the thing about binding as well. Nine pounds and 99 pence. Now, I just need to tell you about the two sewing machines that we've got on uh, a deal going from now until Sunday. We've got the uh, one that um, Delphine and uh, Rebecca Reed have got the 720. With the threads never arrived, the pictures never arrived for the thread, so I don't know what they are, but you get a metal thread, plus you get a five-year warranty completely for free with that one. £1,799. Or there's the 780, which is one Victoria was using. That's the 359 uh, post and uh, not post and <laughs> split pay, split pay, split pay. Then there's the one that uh, that uh, Victoria was using, £2,789. Again, you get the free five-year warranty and the free thread set, Medler thread. Metla thread set with it. I can't tell you what the, the thread set is or how much it's worth, I'm afraid, because I don't know which one it is. Got another picture of Festival of Quilts, and I'll just recap this book, because then we have to go. Oh, no, I'll do the menu as well. Right, quickly, picture. Who's that one then? Oh, it's Delphine. Karen. 
On the right, carry on the right, holding it. Delphine's had read on the cell, look. Right, book from eight o'clock this morning. Very, very popular. TV launch of the K-Facet uh, Quilts in Wales book. Beautiful, beautiful. £25. It's not on pre-order. It's ready to go. It's in the warehouse, ready to be sent to you. Right, have we got tomorrow's menu? We do indeed. Now, here we go. Eight o'clock, very special. We've got William Morris, Morris Mountains quilt. Now, it's not being made. It's just a quilt kit, but it's, and it's gorgeous. It's stunning, right? Plus, we've got brand new cut to order wadding. Now, that's what I'm saying. You need to watch because we've got bamboo, we've got wool, we've got bamboo and cotton mix. All the things you've asked for, we've brought to you. And every single one of them you can buy by the half metre. Then at nine o'clock. Now, th this is annoying, right? Riley Blake Fabric with Cindy Cloak. You wouldn't know that from that that Cindy owns Riley Blake. She is Riley Blake, right? She, she's been on with me when we were sewing quarters. She's adorable, right? She's from Utah. No, 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 exactly. She, and it wasn't on the email like, that went out. So anyway, look. So back to the menu. Then we got Joe Carter. Now, Joe Carter also said on the email, didn't it, that she's a cuddly toy expert or something like that. She's a high-end designer of soft toys. Anyway, he's got a name, hasn't he? What was his name? Randy? Rudy? Can't remember now. Anyway, he's gorgeous, the red panda. You got a picture of him? No. Nope. And then 11 o'clock, uh, Cindy's back to do more fabric. And then at 12 o'clock, it'll be me on my own with fabulous fabrics, tools, tools and patterns. There's loads and loads of bundles there. Have we got their menu? <gasps> no. Okay, I've got to say thank you. I've got to say thank you to Wendy Orlando. When are you thank in you. next? Uh, 5th of September. Oh, 5th of September. Uh, you're not in, I know. I'm you're on flying. I know I you know. are. I'm flying on my holidays and Charlie moves into my house that day. Whoa. That's nice. Uh, not a friendly romantic reason. He's living in the house when I'm not there. Uh, uh, anyway, uh, thank you ever so much. It's been no, lovely to see you. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow morning at, I was going to say four o'clock then, eight o'clock tomorrow morning. Uh, make sure you check out on everything from today. It's very important because a lot of things are getting very, very limited. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Take care. Good morning, good morning everybody. Welcome to Sewing Street. I've got the old glasses on today, which is never a good sign. How are you all? Welcome to Wednesday's Sewing Street. It's lovely to have your company here bright and early. We've got a very, very, very packed day, but let's start as we mean to go on and start with our early birds. Now then, our early bird is something we all love, and that is a bit of extra for our stash. So our early bird for today is a mystery designer pack of 10 fat quarters. Now we love, love, love our mystery fat quarters. I've got 10 mystery fat quarters right here. Now remember the contents of your mystery fat quarter bundle will absolutely vary that's the point you know you get loads of different variety but they are all designer ranges love this one with all the little cat heads on there's a really cute little brown there which i think would coordinate really nicely and i'm thinking about 
Jill reps, uh, gorgeous cat, you know, fish shaped um, cat place yesterday. That great. So that's that sorted. A little bit of Janet Claire there. Very nice. That would go nicely in my stash. Of course, yours might contain different things. This is a lovely bit of Moda, lovely children's fat quarter there, a little, something for baby. Could make some lovely little maybe bibs out of that and a nice little grey coordinate. So I'd probably use those two together, do a little binding around the bibs. And it's just lovely, isn't it? When you, when you get faced with some different fat quarters, what would you do with them? How would you use them? That's a rather lovely, I think that's a little, it might be a Riley Blake. Let me have a little look. Oh no, that's a Moda, that's a Moda. That's lovely though, like that. And I'd rather like the combination of that with this Moda floral. There's a little bit of red in here and just pick up the two together. Um, beautiful, beautiful floral. Have a look at this one right here with all the hydrangeas. The blue hydrangea, that's a Miss Marple mystery, isn't it? Oh, I love a bit of Miss Marple. Oh, sleuthing, sleuthing. It's what I plan for my retirement. Um, and then in this bundle, you've got some different fabrics as well. Have a look at this. So, I mean, this is really good value. Um, this is a lovely woven plaid. Look at the size of that though. Absolutely huge piece of fabric. Now, Becky, who's our multi-skilled operator, and my goodness me, she's got the skills, um, said straight away, oh, that lovely green plaid, that always makes me think of Christmas. And I thought, gosh, do you know you're right? So I've just folded that in half, and I'm thinking a lovely Christmas stocking, maybe with a faux fur cuff on the top, some little bells, maybe a little bit of sort of woodsy bit northwards look, some pine cones glued to the side. And that's just one of your mystery fat quarters out of 10. And then the last one that you get, look, well, you might get, this is a gorgeous tapestry featuring giraffes. Great fun which would be lovely for a little bag or maybe a cushion. So loads of great value, really inspiring. Now the normal price would be 37.98, which roughly works out at about three pounds 80 per fat quarter, but it's today's early bird. So what are you gonna pay? Let's bring the price down. Come on, bring it down low. There you go, 19.99. So less than two pounds per fat quarter. That's amazing value. Now, multi-buy because you're gonna get loads of variety. This is a great way to build up your stash in such an economical way. You're looking at less than eight pounds a meter for designer fabric. We've got Moda in there. We've got some gorgeous Janet Claire in there. That's Moda as well, of course. Um, we've got that beautiful tapestry. We've got that lovely plaid. Your bundle might have those things in it. Might have completely different uh, designer fabrics in it, but they'll all be designer fat quarters. They'll all be different. You won't get any sort of like solids. It's always lovely patterned fabric. So um, why don't you drop on a multi-buy? Now, a few good mornings to say. Christine, good morning to you. She says, good morning, Stuart and the team. Best wishes from Christine in Preston. Good morning to you. Uh, Mo's got in touch. Uh, Morag, morning gorgeous. We'll need to catch up because I'm going out at 9.30, but I'm tuned in until then. No, morning to you. Jill's got in touch to say good morning, sweetie. Good morning to you, my love. Hello. Uh, good morning, sweet, from Jill. That's lovely. Uh, Anne's got in touch to say good morning, everyone. And good morning to you as well. Charlie, our director, just said good morning to you. He's a lovely boy. <laughs> Now remember, our early bird this morning is those 10 mystery fat quarters. We've got all sorts of variety in here. This is one example of what you might get. Got a lovely selection of different fat quarters. If you've never bought fat quarters before, they're approximately 18 inches by 21 inches. Although the plaid, much bigger, the uh, tapestry much bigger than those dimensions. Let me open that plaid up again. A great one to multi-buy um, because you'll get loads of variety. That's a really nice quality. Beautiful. Uh, a message this morning. 
Uh, hi, Stuart. I might have to look at this monitor, so excuse the weirdness. Hi, Stuart. Sue, my wife, is watching you. Um, uh, could you say happy birthday? Of course I will. Sue, happy birthday to you. What a special day. Happy birthday from everybody at Sewing Street. Oh, Ben, the producer, is saying happy birthday. Have a lovely day. It's the most animated I've ever heard. Him. Oh, have a lovely day. I hope there's lovely cake and lovely things to do today. You've got to treat yourself, haven't you? I have a birthday month now, so I'd highly recommend that. Yeah, it's a lovely thing to do. <laughs> so that's our early bird. Keep going through for that. Now, also, I just wanted to mention, um, we launched this yesterday. It's the goodie bag from Crafter's Companion. Now, um, Crafter's Companion have selected a range of gorgeous uh, notions and products for quilters. There's well over a hundred pounds worth of value in this goodie bag, but you're just gonna pay 49.99. Now the contents of your goodie bag will vary, but this is representative of what you might get. So there's a gorgeous stencil set. And this one features Celtic knots and borders and corner units and block units which is really rather fab for marking your quilts. Uh, then you've also got, this is a quilting guide for, you know when you, you, know, you put your free motion foot on and you actually stitch inside the guide. So it kind of gives you perfect free motion quilting patterns. This one's based around apple cores, apple cores, Ben, apple cores. Then you've got a set of four nested dies. These are for an elongated hexagon. You've also got a couple of <coughs> clamshell dies. This is for English paper piecing. So you're going to use the center one for paper, the outer one for fabric. It's gonna make your English paper piecing quicker and easier. You've got a strip roll. This one's called So Boho, which is really rather lovely kind of purples and teals and oranges and golds, beautiful. <coughs> and then a set of quilting clips, binding clips, which is really useful, bag making, binding, all kinds of sewing. Um, great value in there. The um, strip roll on its own, 17.99. The um, elongated hexagon, that's 39.99 on its own. So well over 100 pounds worth of value for 49.99. A message on my bottom. Gracious me. Uh, GM, Sensational Stuart. Oh, good morning, sorry. Good morning, Sensational Stuart. Thank you, darling. <laughs> um, Multivort today is her early bird. Looking forward to seeing what's in my bundles. Have a fab day. Love, Kim. Kim, fabulous. It's lovely, isn't it, when you get a bit of a surprise in the post and see what you get. They'll all be designer. You'll have great fun. It's a great way to build your stash. Another message. This is a good one. Oh, it's gone and it's gone. Come back. Come on. <laughs> good morning, Stuart and the team. Wish all the teachers good luck as the kids go back to school today in Scotland. What? Uh, parents give a sigh of relief, Sandra, <laughs> who's in Lanarkshire. Oh yeah, well, of course I was a teacher for many years and I do remember, you know, during, when, when we sent the kids off for the summer holidays, the parents were like, oh, and we were like, bye. <laughs> but then when everyone brings their kids back at the start of the school term, it's that sense of, excitement and relief I think it's a long time isn't it anyway good luck to all the teachers in Scotland and all the kids have a good day anyway listen we've got a very very special morning ahead let's have a look at the menu and see what's coming up uh, at 8 a.m. right now we're going to meet Rose Parr who is my fabulous friend from Canada with her brilliant book uh, called So Healthy and Happy. This is a book every single quilter and sewer needs so stay tuned. Um, then we're going to be looking at the Ultimate Liberty Bundle, gorgeous Wiltshire Shadow Bundle. Now then at 9 a.m. Kerry from Living in Loveliness is here with a beautiful star quilt and it really is sensational in two different colorways. And then at 10 a.m. my old friend Tracy Dennis is here from Owl and Sewing Cat with some fabulous new dressmaking patterns. 
Now at 11 o'clock, Kerry's back with her crowned with love quilt pattern and kit. And then at 12, we finish with Tracy Dennis. We'll have the Brother sewing machine, the FS250, and the Brother embroidery machine, Disney embroidery machine, and also Owl and Sewing Cat patterns. So a very packed morning, and of course this week we are celebrating Festival of Quilts, which starts tomorrow, but we're having our own kind of Festival of Quilts here at Sewing Street with lots of amazing offers. Now then, how do you get involved? Well, hop onto the website, www.sewingstreet.com, and then if you click on Watch Live, you'll be able to watch us live. You can send us a little message. Yes, yes, you can. <laughs> and then if you scroll down, you will see our early bird, and then you'll see two columns on the left, today's show deals. That's everything you've already seen on air. And then on the right, pre-order. Now, if you click on pre-order, you'll be able to see everything that's coming up over the course of the morning. And then you can pre-order if you'd like to shop ahead. There's money off the Aliso iron. Yes, you heard me right. We've got gorgeous fabrics. We've got threads, kits, all sorts. Absolutely beautiful. Brand new patterns from Living in Loveliness. Brand new patterns from Owl and Sewing Cat. We've got it all going on this morning and I would really recommend you jump on and have a look and see what's coming up because we have got so many fabulous new pattern launches today, um, well worth shopping ahead and making sure you get yours. We're going to have lots of sellouts today I'm sure. Now remember you only pay one postage and packing here at Sewing Street, it's 3 pounds one p and p and that's it for the rest of the day. So if you've already bought our early bird, the 10 mystery designer fat quarters, you've already paid your postage and packing for the rest of the day. Whether you buy Rose Parr's fabulous book, the ultimate Liberty bundle, or a brand new embroidery machine, you'll only pay 3 95 for the entire day. Now then, I've mentioned Rose Parr's fabulous new book. Let's meet the lady herself, Rose. Hello, ah, hello. Let me give you a hug. Yes, thank you. Oh, it's so wonderful. We've been talking about this moment for so long, Rose, mm -hmm. getting together on air. And here we are at last. Yes, I'm very excited. It is fabulous. Now, you're over for Festival of Quilts, aren't you? Tell I me what am. you're doing at Festival, first of I all. I feel like I'm doing everything there. I, I um, So I'm speaking. I have five lectures that I'm giving. I'm giving my, uh, my, my big one in the big hall, actually, the So Smart, the Ergonomics of Healthy Quilting. And then I'm giving Loving Your Long Arm, even when it doesn't love you. Uh, I'm giving quilting is my therapy which looks at I mean we all know it is but it actually looks at why and some of the other health benefits that it does for us like um, they I'm not sure what they called it I always call my other lecture machine maintenance healthy quilting from the inside out because we are the most important piece of machinery in our sewing room I like that. so it's about taking care of us I like how that. many was that was that uh, oh and then the ergonomic uh, toolbox the ergonomic sewing toolbox um, and in that I talk about um, some things that um, maybe are not quite as obvious to people that they would have in their ergonomic toolbox mm -hmm. think things like have you ever seen the attachments that you it's an extension cord but it has something that you step on it mm -hmm. to turn the lights on you right. used to see yep. them what the first yep. time I saw it was with Christmas lights yeah uh, and so I at home I have that for one of my big overhead lights because um, my the big thing in my house is I don't bend um, uh, that way and that's a whole mm -hmm. other story for people's back <laughs> health a healthy backs and that but anyway just things like that that you wouldn't normally think about having in the sewing room and uh, of course uh, everybody needs to have my book in their sewing room well I, I I absolutely do agree with you there. Now, the book that we have from Rose Park today is called So Healthy and Happy, Smart Ergonomics, Stretches and More for Makers. Now, what this book is all about, I, I love what it says on the back, quilting shouldn't be a pain in the neck. Certified health and ergonomics specialist Rose Parr shares her expertise on how to sew smarter, healthier and happier, includes stretches, recipes and tips to keep you in prime sewing form. Keep your mind sharp and your body ache free. Because your real thing goes is that every single quilter, no matter what your age, what your level of mobility, um, can enjoy pain-free quilting, sewing, 
because we all know, I know this, hours and hours hunched over a sewing machine, mm -hmm. cutting in the wrong position at the wrong height table, back ache, neck ache, shoulder ache, elbows, wrists, hands, fingers, legs. I mean, I, my whole body can end up aching like I've run a marathon and what I've done is some quilting. Mm -hmm. You believe that we should all be pain free, right? Well, and I think too, one thing, one of the reasons I started um, focusing on this more is that my mother had to stop doing everything at, it was a fairly young age, I think she was 70, let's just say, uh, because she didn't concentrate on these things over the years. Uh, and so that's always what kind of keeps me, I mean, I wake up every morning and say, what's going to hurt today, right. really? Uh, and so it's a good it, way to it, start the day. Well, you know what, you have, <laughs> and you have to think about it and you have to work at it. We can't just all assume that we're 20 years old and everything's going to be great um, and that we have to sort of pay attention to the, the way that we're doing things. And yet, the big thing is I'm, I'm a big fan of use what you have yep. uh, and a big fan of um, you, you don't need to go really buy anything to, to make it better, really. It's just, a, it's just a matter of adjusting what you have, and it's like usually that. just an inch or two that makes a big, big difference. But what we do need, Rose, mm -hmm. is your book. So I'm going to come over okay. here, and let's have a little look through it together. Can I just move you over very slightly? There oh. we go. Perfect. Mm -hmm. okay. We're very good friends. <laughs> there we go. Um, just like to point out, that's you, <laughs> and that... Who do you reckon that is? I did ask permission before I had the <laughs> illustration made. I've never looked more trim, it's wonderful. <laughs> so let's just have a look at the contents page. So ergonomics, first of all, what does that what does that mean? You know, ergonomics just means doing something comfortably and efficiently. That's mm -hmm. that's all it means. And so that's that's what we want to do. And when they Research, everything that I present is it's not just based on what works for me and that's great mm -hmm. it's based on other people's research and they've done it in manufacturing textile all, all the big um, yeah. plants and things uh, factories and they want people to be pain-free so that they're not off on in Canada we call it workman's compensation I don't mm -hmm. know what you call it mm -hmm. here um, they don't want their employees off getting insurance for it yep. and they want to get as much done in that time as possible and that's fine that's why you're in business to get those sorts of things done for us really we want to get as much done so that we can keep doing other things exactly. um, and so any of the research that I'm looking at has been has been done in those settings um, to see what height should things be at and, yeah. and that way. And so that really that's all it means is doing it comfortably and efficiently. And that's how you've broken it down, isn't it, in the book. So we start with all those fundamentals. So the first chapter after ergonomics is on cutting. So cutting 101, how to, how to create sort of perfect cutting table, our rulers, rotary cutters, cutting techniques. And I'm just going to flick to page 14 and I love this because you talk about things like the perfect height for the cutting table and how to achieve that right the uh, and I once I started standing here I thought oh I wonder if they can find me a little step stool or something because it's it's going to be impossible for me to demonstrate anything mm. because this isn't my height which is fine I can show the wrong and then we can figure out the mm -hmm. right um, and uh, almost everything that I talk about starts with that magic 90 degree ergonomic angle. And so if I come back here, you can see it. Uh, and that's where we're starting. And that's the number that ergonomists, uh, and I'm not an ergonomist, I'm, I'm certified in office ergonomics, which transfers beautifully to the sewing table. Um, but they use that number, but it's not always 90. It can be 95, it can be 100, like that. It's almost never less than 90, because then you're doing the come up over. Mm. Um, but so you're starting with that. And then depending on where we are, if we're at the cutting table, then we want to look at, okay, if this is my 90 and this is where I'm starting, what's my natural drop? What's mm. my natural drop where I come down, where I can still stay relatively, um, with good posture, relatively straight, um, that way, but it's not so far down that I have to bend down to have a look at it. Right, and, and we all so do that, don't we? I mean, I'm always working at tables that are too low, too high, and especially the, the too low, you really do end up leaning over. Yeah. So you talk about how to do all of that, don't you? And then just looking further ahead, you've got the pressing, of course, and how to create a pain-free pressing checklist. How to do your ironing sitting down. If, yeah, I mean, I iron sitting down all the time. I, re I really do. And if you've got a big stack, because for a lot of 
of us, it's actually easier to keep better posture when we're seated mm -hmm. than when we're standing. Mm -hmm. One of the worst things that um, a lot of women especially do when they're standing is they put their weight on one hip mm -hmm. like this. Mm -hmm. um, so and now. well, and um, my chiropractor told me it was from holding the baby on this hip and doing things with this, and it's a very natural stance. Mm -hmm. um, and our body likes to be even, our hips like to be even, our shoulders like to be, it likes to be even. Uh, and so when you're seated quite often you can keep better posture than when you're standing, but there's mm -hmm. there's ways to, to do it ironing when you're standing as well too. Um, and so again, when you're looking at setting up your ironing board to see what's going to be the best height for you, you're going to again start with that, okay, what's my magic 90 degree number? And mm -hmm. the easiest way really to find that is just to pretend that you're shaking someone's hand that is the exact same height as you, right? So they have the same um, torso length, the same mm -hmm. everything. And then that's where I am, I'm right there, right? And so when I'm looking at my ironing board though, I don't want that 90 degrees be, to be to the ironing board. Right. I want it to be to the top of the iron. Oh, right? okay. And so if my, if my magic... If my ironing board was here and my iron was here, this then would be... Then you're coming up over. Too much. You're coming so up over. Any, any time that we raise our arm up. So if you're right now, you're at home and, and just think if you're sitting, sitting, and of course a good posture uh, and put your one hand on your shoulder and then reach up like you're going to get something out of the cupboard and that's fine because then you come back down and everything's back down when our shoulders are down generally everything above them is a little bit happier but what happens when our ironing board is little wee bit too high mm -hmm. is we're spending half our half of our time half of our day if we're lucky half of our time like this just that little bit because we're coming up yeah. over. And so you're wondering at the end of the day, why do I have a headache? Why do I have tension? Why? Well, because you spent half your day like this, right? right? right. And somebody standing beside you couldn't even see that. They wouldn't even notice because it's so slight, mm -hmm. but it will get pinched, it will get tight, and mm -hmm. you'll wonder why at the end. And so if you take, so for me, my magic number to the floor from here is uh, 33 inches. And so if I say, okay, that's 33. Let's say that my iron, I do have the, I call it Olaso, which you laugh at the way I produce everything. But, no, no, um, it's and Anyways, the, uh, um, so let's just say it's, it's six inches. And so 33 minus six, I know that I want my ironing board to be set at 32 inches high. Mm -hmm. And that's going to give me coming out to the top of my iron, not my ironing board. But our ironing boards have a limited number of adjustments, so we might not get 32. So if you're choosing between 32 and a half or 33 and a half, then you're gonna go, uh, no, sorry, 32. If you're choosing between 31 and a half, um, oh, you know what, just wait. People at home are going, this Canadian can't do math because my, my ergonomic number is 39. Right. My iron, iron is six, which makes it 33. 33. I didn't start at 33, so okay. Um, you should have caught that. So anyway, so we're I at, can't do math at we're this at time of 30, 33. So if I'm choosing between 32 and a half or 33 and a half, I'm going to go 32 and a half. Right, go lower. A little, just that little bit, because again, it's it's low enough. You're keeping that shoulder down, mm -hmm. even if it's mm -hmm. down here, but it's not so low. You're going to have to bend in to look. You see, now, my ironing board at home is a really it's a massive ironing board, and I put it on the highest setting, and I'm not being funny it's here yeah and look at your shoulder it's there right? oh, oh absolutely and yeah. when i'm ironing i'm, I'm like this yes yeah. or like this yeah. and then i do get a shoulder yeah. but you pain. think it's normal because that's the way you do it no like you know well, that's the, thing the way is you do it i know it's too high but right. i haven't adjusted it and then i wonder why my shoulder aches and my neck aches right. and things like that but your book really breaks down and it's not overly complicated by any means no. it's talking about the things that we need to be aware of it's it's our cutting table and our wrist uh position isn't it in our shoulder it's about our pressing and our sewing. now when we talk about sewing what are your top tips for when we're sewing for pain-free sewing well the big thing is what happens a lot of times so if you if you think about your dining room table which a lot of people sew at or perhaps a desk that's kicking around the house um, if, if it was perfect to begin with then your desk is designed when you sit in your chair that your arms are going to come out at that 90 degrees to your keyboard 
that's great. But now we're adding a sewing machine on top of that. It's higher. It's going to be three to four inches higher mm -hmm. all the time. Mm -hmm. And so it's impossible that you're going to be at 90 degrees. Uh, so that's the, that's the, the trickiest Should one is when oh, you're coming up over. So it's not even the hunch with that, but what happens is that your forearm is going to be um, up against the table. Mm -hmm. Quite often your wrist is bent. Anytime that we bend our wrist, think about that the garden hose. And if you take a garden hose and put a little kink in it, then you're still getting water through there, but it's disrupted. It's, mm -hmm. it's disrupting the flow. Uh, and so I look at a lot of things and I, I don't use the terms cutting off circulation. So your hand won't be numb, it won't fall asleep or anything like that. You won't really maybe even notice it's happening, but you're just making it that much harder for everything to get through. Mm -hmm. So you, you could it could lead to a pathway to pain there. But also, it actually just tires you out overall mm -hmm. if everything's that much harder. You know, I used to teach aerobics. You You're know just what you know. A natural position, yeah. aren't you? Yeah, to come to come through. Mm -hmm. And so you either need to bring your machine down or bring your bum up, one or the other. And so whether so you've got again, so you bring the table. You down. can either bring the table, the sewing machine down to yeah. you, or bring your chair up to it right. to get in in that position. Mm -hmm. So your goal, you want to be coming out with your hands again about that 90 degrees, maybe 95, maybe 100 depending on you that's fine um, and then uh, so there's there's just air between here there's nothing digging into you or cutting mm -hmm. into you anywhere because the thing is that when we look at our time in the sewing room it, it's cumulative so we started we were pressing we had our iron too high and so we had a little pinch going on there then we went over to cut and maybe we had our cutting board too low actually and so we were stooped over when we were doing that and then we went to sew and as well we had things digging into us digging into us and so it, it all adds up and you're wondering at the end and the thing with quilt Filters, um, is that we don't know enough to stop and we don't want to stop mm. so whether you, well, you say yourself true. whether it hurts or doesn't hurt yeah. you know you just want to keep going and and it's like oh it'll all be fine later mm -hmm. well for those of us that are lucky enough to sew a lot mm -hmm. um, you know you need to think of it like you you know I always say no one would ever get in their car to drive you know around the block to the store without adjusting the seat Right? They would make sure they're in the right position and that, and they're only going a couple of miles. But yet we will, you know, sit down at the sewing machine because we just want to get going, mm. right? And and not adjust that. And then we were there for hours and mm -hmm. we're just getting more stiff and, and so more are sore. So are there any simple things that we can do? Because you mentioned about either dropping the table lower or making our chair high higher yeah. is that right well, yeah because we got to come so what up can we do cushion you got to get a cushion on your chair How simple as right that. because even a lot of the office chairs um with with the hydraulics that that lift sometimes depending on you know the, your height um you still can't get them quite high enough mm -hmm. and the other thing to really check when you're using um the office chairs is that over time the hydraulics do start to give mm -hmm. and so you sort of need to reassess because mm -hmm. that perfect setup that you did two years ago uh, may not be perfect any longer and you may if, if you know you don't yeah. need to run out and buy a new chair but sometimes you even just need to fold a quilt or something to right. put on top of just it add something, add something add as simple as that I yeah. have I have a um, um, a um, a cushion on top of mine that that adds a little bit more massage and circulation boosting and things like mm -hmm. that but uh, I think you guys might might talk about that um, in in a couple of weeks but um, just just it doesn't take much it really doesn't take mm -hmm. much at all to get it in those in those best positions I'm a big fan of any of the um, cutting systems mm -hmm. I talk about AccuQuilt simply because that's the one that I have mm -hmm. um, and I know there's lots of different that's brands it. out mm -hmm. there well and, they, and we know that you know things like that they they're they're not cheap um, I bought mine used on mm -hmm. you have Kijiji here no yeah so it's like an online Craigslist classified or whatever mm -hmm. um, and but they they have kept a lot of people being able to any of the cutting systems being able to keep cutting a lot longer than they would have now this is an interesting one rose because mm -hmm. i like this because you've got wrist friendly technique for cutting and familiar technique yes. yeah. so this does look very familiar to me and i don't know if you think this at home as well this sort of does this feel quite familiar yeah. And so I don't like to say right to and wrong. I try not to say right and wrong because what is right for 99% might not be for somebody else. Um, but, and you know, we've, and this is why when you think about your rulers, uh, and they have the ones now that have built in 
um, anti-grip spray mm -hmm. on the back. Mm -hmm. I don't have any of those, but um, you put the grips on the back. Mm -hmm. Because we've all done this, is you put the ruler down, and then with all your might, you're going to hold that thing in place. Right. And what we tend to do there, get up high on there, what we tend to do there is we put our... Um, can I stand on this? Yeah. No. We, we put our, our weight down and press, um, and then we're getting at the flat hand. Mm -hmm. um, so we're, we're disrupting the That's flow right. here. And you'll see people, if you're at a B or something, you'll see people, they'll cut and they'll shake, and yeah, they'll yeah, cut yeah. and they'll shake, and so that's why. So something as simple as putting an anti-slip grip yes. on the back of your ruler yes. can help to eliminate wrist pain, yes. elbow pain, shoulder pain. Yeah. Isn't it yeah. amazing when you start thinking about yeah. these things, you think one simple change. One simple thing. And the other thing is, w and when you have that grip that's holding it in place, you don't need as much force. Mm -hmm. So you can um, just displace all that pressure from your wrist to your fingertips. Mm -hmm. And so you can tent your hands. Mm -hmm. um, one lady that teaches kids told me that she tells them to make a spider and then walk their spider down the ruler, but whatever. Like um, that way. And that way, when you've got your hand um, tented in that position, then you can try to keep your uh, wrist neutral straight. I, I don't like to say straight because then people get locked into place, but neutral straight. So you're looking at, you've got your, your hand in position and you're holding your ruler down and this is fairly neutral straight rather than one of these, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, which, which helps. Now I do like this picture here of a man ironing not seen that very often. <laughs> and also then, throughout the book, you've got tips from quilters, uh, professional quilters. Here's even one from me. Press, don't push your iron along the seam rather than across it so it doesn't bow and look like a rainbow. Yes, yes. So they're all yeah. little uh, tips uh, scattered throughout the book. Uh, well, here's I mean, one from Jenny Doan mm -hmm. from Missouri Star Quilt Company. I know. Press to the dark side to hide I your know. seams. I know. Fabulous. Yeah, that was lovely. Fabulous. Uh, because I mean, I'm I'm well aware that I'm not. A, I don't do a lot of. I don't do almost any hand stitching, and so I have some tips in there from Joe Avery about hand mm -hmm. stitching. Mm -hmm. uh, there's there's lots of things. I have tips from different people. Um, I do long arm, but other people have other long arming. You have long arming tips in there yeah. as well. Krista Hennenberry from uh, from Canada. Um, she does a lot of retreats and a lot of different things, and so some of her tips are with regards to that. Wow. Uh, this Melissa, is an interesting one. Yes. So standing up now obviously yes. I sew standing up here mm -hmm. because of the way our studio is set out and how do you like it well you know I don't well I don't hate it that's mm -hmm. for sure um, just tell me about some of the benefits of sewing standing up so there are some people if they have a certain um, pinch nerve or, or certain conditions that it actually it bothers them to sit period and so that's why they may do it because they have to but one thing that we can do I mean these the the um, sit stand desks now mm -hmm. have they're so common now and mm -hmm. they've come down in price you can get a really decent one in Canada for like three hundred dollars um, which is a good in, a good investment mm -hmm. that you can you can sit for a while you can stand for a while the, the thing is we'll call them standing desks but they really are sit stand desks you really do need to do a bit of both yeah um, that way and uh, they, they can just, they can be nice if, if sometimes it, it's a change, it, it breaks it up that way um, to, to do it um, that way. The, and that's, so that's with the, with the handiwork again. I um, have gathered tips from other people about that and how they do it, and Stuart. Uh, how how they do it um, because it's not something not something that I do a lot yes yes so normally when I'm doing just stretching my torso when, when I, yeah I know and I keep thinking I might get taller but it hasn't happened yet and so quite often when I'm having people do that is what I will have them do is um, interlace their hands. And so, can we do so, this together? Yes. And so whenever Come I'm on, do this at home now. When, whenever I'm doing just about anything, I try to do um, um, two at once, which yep. is why I had twins because I had <laughs> two kids already, and I went, wait, I figured out what's happening. I'm not doing this all over again. So for our third child, I had twins. Two. So that was that good. was great. I always say it's a good thing I don't always do three things at once. But um, in this case, so we know that when we everybody. 
you know, people are quite familiar with the um, carpal tunnel prevention stretches, yes. the wrist forearm stretches. Um, the thing to keep in mind with this is that when you do the one for the top, uh, for a lot of people, it actually um, is painful sometimes when, so when you're doing that. So I said, like sorry, I said for the top. You're stretching the bottom with this, but it's it's hurting sometimes the top mm. so you can do prayer position um, a lot of times you'll see this one uh, where you're coming out and then you're not pulling on the hand really you're just balancing there uh, nice. because if not they yeah it does it, it so feels we could good. do this after we've had a little sewing session well, we could do the prayer position day so that's the thing is Anytime. that every time you're standing I'm a big fan of spontaneous oh, stretching oh, that's and, lovely. and that just means anytime you're waiting for the bobbin you're whatever even if you're just sitting thinking I don't know am I gonna add that border or not as you're doing that you're going to whether it's roll your shoulders but spontaneously yes. do things like that well, that's so lovely. what I was going to say is that when you're um, um, stretching the bottom by by coming up like this it's nice then to do the top stretch after mm -hmm. because it sort of puts everything back in place again mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and for years we did the top stretch where we were coming out and then down and then again just balancing like that but a lot of people will push too hard yes, on yes, themselves yes. Um, and so what you can do instead that though is you can bring it forward and make a fist and now just roll your fist forward and then you feel a really nice really stretch nice. there and because you're in control of what you're doing here then you're not going to be ramming against it yeah yeah but no, I really like that. Yeah. And it's these kind of tips that are in Rose's book, which so many of you have bought, um, that, that are just going to make sewing and quilting so much easier, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, in, in the long term, it's all about being able to quilt to wear 100. But I want to show you the um, the two in one, the three in one oh, yes. for that, the other one that we can do together. Do so it. you're going to interlace your hands in front. Do this at home now, please. And then you can do the side, I'll do the okay. front. And, and then you're going to push them away. And then that's fine. If that's where you want to go, that's fine. Mm -hmm. And if not, if you can come up over, and I oh, mean, well, tummy, tummy Tuesday. Well, and um, but the thing is, is that you, it's surprising though. A lot of people get to here, and that's as far as they yeah, go. Sure. And if that's the case, then that's fine. And so you're up here. You already got that going on. Let's add a side stretch as well. Oh. You know, so you've got the forearm happening. You've got the uh, the oh. um, lengthening, right? And then, for me personally, if I'm going to do the other side, I stop in the middle, yep. I come down, I shake it out. Yes, that's nice. Because you can start feeling it. Yes. And then regroup, come on back up, and do that. Oh, yes, that does feel good. Ooh. And do that other side. Right? But then after you've done that Ooh. and you've had your hands in that position, yep. then that's when you're going to come and counteract and do the do the down. Oh, I do like the down that. that way. I hope right? you're doing this at home and feeling the benefits. All of these exercises, all of these stretches for quilters and sewers are all to be found in Rose's amazing book, which I think every quilter, every sewer needs to have. I think it's very giftable. It's a great book to have on your shelf, but also something to give to a friend who perhaps is finding quilters quilting, sewing, making is becoming increasingly painful. There's no need for it to be painful. Is it? We want to be able to quilt to wear a hundred. Exactly. And whether you're quilting, knitting, doing your paper crafts, mm -hmm. all of these things, we're in a, you know, we spend so much of our life in the same position now yeah. with our arms forward in front of us. Whether we're reading a book, driving a car, no matter what we're doing, knitting, sewing, and everything. Yeah. Um, and so, so just it's, as relevant it's, if it's, you're a knitter, a sewer, a crochet. Uh, absolutely. Or, or the, the paper crafts, all those things you're doing. I mean, let's make it they're not it's not a healthy hobby in a lot of ways no no you know I mean even if you're out bird watching you're out walking around Nine. or something right this we can get very and like I said we're so into it we don't want to get up and move no. we, we, you know we want to just keep going now Rose, um, when you're at the end of a sewing session you recommend we shake rattle and roll am I right anytime yes and so how do we finish off our sewing session and Let's do so it now. we're just going to shake your hands and then by rattling, if you're seated, you can like stomp on the floor. And so you're rattling the floorboards. Yeah. I like Becky's doing it over Good. there. Um, or if you're standing, anything just, the rattle is fun, but anything yeah. you're doing, and then roll your shoulders. And, roll and so just shoulders. think shake, rattle, and roll. And we're gonna come back the other way. Shake, rattle, and roll. And so when you're doing, oh. your, I know, when you're doing your shoulder rolls, think about making a box. So come up, come back, come down, come up. Because then you know that you're going to visually get more of that full range of motion. Because a lot of people think they're rolling their shoulders and really they're scrunching. They're right. not rolling. Um, so and so if you tell back. yourself that, you know, um, to, to get 
through that way. Ooh, I'm so glad I wore lycra today. <laughs> Rose, Rose, I love, love, love your book. It's just absolutely crammed with tips, stretches, exercises to keep us pain-free while we craft, while we enjoy our hobbies. Uh, keep going through for that. Now we're going to take a tiny break and then when we come back, we're going to have some gorgeous liberty loveliness. So don't go anywhere. Really short break. about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street. You can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app, onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Welcome back. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling very energised. <laughs> Genuinely, though, just doing that shake, rattle, rattle and roll mm -hmm. really sort of brought some energy back mm -hmm. to my mm -hmm. saggy old body. <laughs> now then, we've come back with the most gorgeous, the ultimate Liberty Bundle. This is a huge, it is an amazing bundle of 29 half metre cuts of Liberty's Wiltshire Shadow. Um, one of my absolute favourite blender ranges. And of course, you know, this is going to work beautifully with all of your Liberty ranges, but also, actually, this is going to fit beautifully with all sorts of different fabric ranges that you might have in your stash. Mm -hmm. So let's have a little look at what you get. You're, so you're getting 14 and a half metres in total. And actually, you're saving 14.98 which is the equivalent of getting one of these meters or two of these half meters completely for free. So you've got these gorgeous, deep sort of damson and purple colors. And then this most wonderful selection of blues. I'm just gonna move this one along. So you've got kind of blueberry and slate. You've got this gorgeous kind of, I don't know, Samaritz sky, mm -hmm. uh, beautiful kind of Caribbean blue. It's a really soft, almost gray blue there. And the Wilshire shadow pattern has become a real favorite amongst quilters because it, it's there, it's a definite pattern, but it's also very soft and textual. Very subtle. It's pretty, it's isn't it? Mm -hmm. I didn't know Liberty did anything that wasn't, that they'd even did a blender. Right. Yeah. You know? Yeah, and it's been really popular. I think it's only been introduced in the last sort of year or so, 18 months, but it is absolutely gorgeous. And then you've got these lovely teal and emerald shade, mm -hmm. really good kind of kelly green, mm -hmm. or leafy green. That's a lovely soft sage. Um, and then, of course, let's have a look at the top row. So you've got your black, which I think is beautiful. Lovely sort of black and charcoal. A um, couple of lovely yellows, a kind of lemon, and then a sunshine yellow, uh, a really nice peach, and then this gorgeous soft rose pink. Gosh, there's so much is actually more fabric tucked under there. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful, isn't it? Like a sort of deep cranberry. Um, what I would think of as my favourite sort of red for Christmas, that one. Mm -hmm. Really lovely Christmas. Little berry, red. almost a bit of berry. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then beautiful. Um, of pinky red isn't it yeah yeah like a blush say not quite rosy but uh oh, well mm, mm. getting there yeah rose maybe uh very pretty lovely soft pinks there um a very very soft uh peachy cream there and then some grays to finish off some silver mm. and some pewter and a Beautiful. lovely charcoal 
think I might actually move the black down to there. There we go. So much fabric in that bundle, you're getting 29 half metre cuts. Now, this is the sort of ultimate stash builder, isn't it? So you've always got the right colours to coordinate whether you've bought the Riviera collection or whether you've bought the new Liberty Christmas collection. You'll always have something that you can coordinate uh, and blend with what, you, uh, what you're working on absolutely gorgeous really gorgeous um, we have very very limited stocks of these um, so do be quick if you'd like to get this nice little comment for you rose by the way jan's got in touch to say you know you've made me realize uh, how just how bad the arthritis in my hands and arms is mm. can get nowhere near the start position of those stretches Interesting. So if you're at that stage where you sort of you know like for example you can't stretch all the way up right. here is there any benefit of stretching oh, here, ab here absolutely but the one thing that we actually didn't um, didn't touch on especially at this time in the morning is the importance of warming up mm -hmm. and so uh, you know it doesn't have to be a formal actually go through a, an, a warm-up routine or something you know it can be just even you know getting up and going up a set of stairs or, or whatever it is and so I always kind of I always say in my lectures I'm talking out of both sides of my mouth so on the one point I want everybody to do spontaneous stretching however if you've been in one position for a long time then that's where the shake rattle and roll can really come in handy just yeah. to just to get the get the blood pumping you know if, if you think about a, an elastic band and you take an elastic band and you put it in the refrigerator take it out and do this it's going to snap it's, it's going a to metaphor break for my life rose and then so if you take that same elastic band and you put it in your hands and you warm it up and you make it nice and pliable and that and then that is what stretches um and so yes with with uh if, if you've got arthritis then you know a lot about warming up and even even staying warm yeah um when you have that and so it's really important when we're when our, when our body is one in one position for a long time yeah. we're literally not burning any calories right. sometimes which is fine it's not about you know burning calories losing weight or whatever but it's simply about staying warm sometimes yeah. and quite often you're you're getting cold and especially if you haven't eaten as well because your body's not even burning calories it's mm. not there's no furnace happening there's no right. fuel being burnt and so we we do tend to get cold yeah. simple as that when when we're seated and so and that's why when I started doing that and I got here because it's quite easy for us to do Stuart used to teach aerobics and and I've been a, a personal trainer for 17 18 years now whichever it is um, and it's easy to go oh let's all do this yeah, yeah, right yeah, yeah. where so and I a lot of people are going oh that's it but don't and, be discouraged and whatever you can manage whatever and, you can do and if you're there it, maybe next week you'll be there or there and if you're never there that's fine too yeah. our shoulders are super tight they really do get tight uh, and our chest gets very tight because yeah. again we spend our life like this yeah. driving a car reading a book knitting sewing whatever it is and so we need to we need to open up we do we do it's quite tempting isn't it when we're always in this position and we find it hard to go here to just do everything here but we need to keep on reaching forward keep on expanding your range of movement now let's just get back to liberty the ultimate stash builder the ultimate liberty bundle half the stock has gone we have got half the stock left that is all 50 percent of the stock now what we have is what we have we cannot repeat this we will not be able to make these bundles again because this once this stock is gone that uh, we will not have any more Okay, so if you want to get yourself the ultimate Wiltshire Shadow Liberty Bundle, this is the time to go for it because you've got 29 half metre cuts. That's 14 and a half metres of fabric. It's pretty good, huh? Mm -hmm. And uh, it's going to coordinate with just about everything. I would mix this with K Facets. I would mix this with Anna Maria Horner. I would mix this with um, Moda. Any fabrics at all. The, the pattern itself is lovely. It's called Wiltshire Shadow. And it's just sort of, well, to me, they look like yew berries mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and yew leaves. Um, very, very pretty design, isn't it? Oh, a little message from Patricia. Morning, Stuart. Love you from Blackpool. Loving the show. Thank you, Patricia. Uh, so that's the ultimate Liberty Bundle. Now, a couple of other things I want to mention. Uh, we love, love, love the Elisa Iron. Mm -hmm. Much more yeah. 
Jenny Doan. Um, we have the Eliso Iron, but this is unprecedented. Got a little bit of money off it. Um, not a massive saving, but it's a saving. Mm -hmm. Saving seven ninety nine. I'll take that. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That. Yeah, it's a nice half a meter or three quarters of a meter of a nice fabric. Uh, 155 pounds for the Eliso iron. Now, if you've never seen the Eliso before, what's so special about it? Well, goodness me, so many, many things. You've got a five centimeter detailer tip, so a sort of recess at the front, so that you can get right into things like pockets, pleats, uh, collars, uh, get a really, really smart press there. Um, it's got a fabulous spray function, uh, misting to uh, bust wrinkles, and it's got incredibly powerful steam as well. So if you want to um, add a blast of steam, if you want to use it vertically, so for example, I use it for refreshing curtains, um, and blinds then you can do that too um, very very easy to fill with water as well it's got a side fill tank um, and the thing we all know the Aliso for are the little legs so you pop it down you don't need to stand it up on its end it will lift itself up on little legs um, which means it's always ready for action and saving your wrist your wrist isn't having to lift and lower that's, that's a, a really that's, point. well that's my main that's that's really the only that's thing i ever really say about it <laughs> is really that because when it's here then you're not having to lift it or put it up and down because i mean it is a fairly heavy iron it does a good job so but uh, even regular irons can be quite heavy that you're going up and down so that's the whole Those thing that's such a good point the, though well because even doing that all with the time, nothing in my all hand the time, i can all feel that in my wrist the and time. then you add the weight of an iron yeah. it makes perfect yeah. sense the, that's why we need an expert well and the other thing too is that um i don't know what how you guys do it here but uh where i live our water is quite hard so we always have to use distilled water in it and this has a special the technology inside you're actually not supposed you don't use distilled water you just use tap water in it um which is do you know the story behind how this was um, i don't think i do um, so the inventor of it uh engineer and just like um a, a couple of my kids they do an end of the year product prod project um, and this was the his end of the year project okay. uh, many many years ago right. and look what happened now Amazing. i mean obviously his went really well yeah. um and uh yeah that's that's it's how that think, started it's something that's been around for a very very long time you know kind of well it is what it is an iron is an iron how mm -hmm. can you change it but actually if you're an innovator there are tweaks there are subtle things that you can do Amazing and much beloved by many of our guests here at Sewing Street and also by many of you um, who are just loving your Eliso Smart Irons. A good little saving today of £7.99. You're just going to pay £155. And we do have three split pays if you'd like to take advantage of them. If you've never used split pay before, by the way, um, there's no credit checks. Um, there's no interest to pay either. You pay exactly the same price. We simply split up the payment into two three four sometimes five payments and uh, you just pay the first payment the first split pay and then we'll send out um, the goods so um, you don't have to make all of the payments before you receive your iron yeah absolutely terrific love it nice. um, now then can I grab the bags now, mm -hmm. now Rose mm -hmm. these quilts hanging behind us um you did a sew along during lockdown didn't I you i did when when the book first came out uh you know i had great plans to do all these tours and speaking and everything uh but it came out in uh march of 2021 and so uh I, and i designed the quilt in um 20 whatever the, the november of 2020 or something like that and so it's called so grateful for 2021 uh and what it did was it represented things that we missed and that we couldn't do before uh being hugs and kisses this is Stuart's kiss block actually right here oh, I um, miss kisses. and uh and or flying we have bridgie heitland's um how do you say bridgie heitland's name here i already always tells me okay um her flying geese her no waste flying geese uh jenny Jones. so these are the tipsters from the book and uh, Joe Avery is there. Where's Melissa Marginette? Melissa Marginette has the positivity block. Gorgeous. And she also has, so this, the other one, can we show the other one that's here? The other quote that's there. Um, this one, okay. Um, so 
I did a cat in the top. Melissa did a dog. And so the dog pattern is available as well. But, um, and these ones are, of course, out of Stuart's Kyoto fabric. Is yeah, why I, I brought those them. here today. So they're going to be hanging. So, yeah, so because I couldn't do a uh, any other promotion, uh -huh. I mean, it's not really a quilting book. So I wouldn't have done a sew along necessarily. No, sure. But it's and a lovely so segue. then this, you know what, this came to me, boom, boom, boom. And it, it was really, really well received. Yeah, it yeah, was yeah, really well fab. received. There was 500 people internationally. Amazing. that did the sew along. Amazing. I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> I, I'm, 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 I didn't, I've never run a sew along before. But you brought you know? over from Canada in your suitcase, didn't you? And uh, no, I had someone else do oh, it. I had okay. friends that were coming to visit right. their mom. Thank you, Tracy and Mark. But they um, were sealed in vacuum bags. Yes. Yes. So let me just show you. We've got these vacuum bags, which are brill for storing quilts. Um, particularly, and maybe also things like, you know, sweaters and winter clothes mm -hmm. or summer clothes or whatever you want to do. Um, so these are a variety uh, pack of vacuum storage bags. You get three different sizes. You get the medium, four of the medium, which are uh, 50 centimetres by 70 centimetres. You get four large, they're 60 centimetres by 80 centimetres. And four jumbo, which are 70 centimetres by 100 centimetres. They would be perfect for quilts. And and basically you pop everything folded inside and then you can either use your vacuum cleaner to suck the air out or you get a free hand pump uh, so you can use that to suck the air out and then it's also going to guard against things like damage from moisture dirt and dust odor insects and mildew so a great way to store your quilt so that's the variety pack and we've also got a pack which is just the jumbo storage bags. Now you get 12 of the jumbo and they are um, uh, 70 centimetres by 100 centimetres. So if you've got lots of quilts that you want to store safely and effectively, uh, I would go for the 12 jumbo. Do we have the graphics for those? I've never seen them come with a pump. I've never Free hand pump. I've never seen that. Never it's seen that. good hand. Yeah. But also a really good way of storing your sweaters and uh, other clothes. Duvets, Duvets take up so much space. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Extra bedding, winter yeah. bedding, things like that. Uh, really super. Twenty four ninety nine for 12 pieces. So just over two pounds per bag. And again, they guard against things like water damage, dirt and dust, odor, insects, mildew. Um, they just space. It's just they really space. do. I've had too many quilts get damaged by damp oh. and mildew. Oh. Mm. Mm. Just, you know, it's our climate. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Great. Well, listen, we've been talking to Rose Park this hour about her fabulous book, So Healthy and Happy, uh, the ergonomics, smart ergonomics, sorry, uh, stretches and more for makers. Essentially, how to keep quilting and sewing happily and healthily and, and pain-free for as long as possible. I'm all for that. It's been absolutely fabulous to have you on the show, Rose. Thank you for coming over. And we can catch you giving your lectures at Festival of Quilts yes. all week, can't we? Yes. Look yes. forward to seeing I'm you there. there. Well, this right, has so been great fun. Great. Really enjoyed having your company. Um, thanks for joining us for the first hour. We'll see you after the break. Kerry from Living in Loveliness will be here after a short break. Hello, I'm Kerry from Living in Loveliness and I'm delighted to be part of the Sewing Street team. I'm based in Wolverhampton and I absolutely love working with fabulous fabrics. In particular, I love working with fat quarters and showing you how to get the most from your scraps. I love bringing communities of sewers together and encouraging people to sew for greater causes. Most recently, we have been sewing for our NHS and key workers. Um, I look forward to bringing you hints, tips and techniques. I'll see you soon. Have you heard about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street? You can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check
check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Have you heard about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street? You can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling the friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app, onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Ask. And sometimes to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street. You can shop on our website sewingstreet.com and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! 
Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Hi everybody, welcome back to Sewing Street. I'm so excited for this hour because I adore Kerry from Living in Lovely Nair. <laughs> She's here, hello, Kerry. I adore you too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, lovely things, I'm um, very well. Thank you. Fitness fanatic, you. I I've been following your progress. I know. I'm, I'm Sumbering and feet. swimming and acquiring and... <laughs> I can't fit it in this week though, I'm struggling to oh, fit it in. Oh, bless so, you. Uh... Well, you've been a bit busy. Look at these fabulous quilts. <laughs> First of all, the one behind Kerry, it's called Shine Bright. How spectacular is that? <laughs> That's the bright version. And then right here, oh my goodness, I am in love with this colorway. This is the autumn. It is so beautiful. It's gorgeous. Isn't it? <gasps> Absolutely lovely. What sort of level of quilter do I need to be to oh. do this piecing? Could a beginner, if they. I always think beginners should have a go. Yeah, I agree. I'm saying beginner. I'm saying. I always say when people are starting, go for the thing you really want to yeah. make. So you'll see when we do the demo, the steps actually to create the star are broken down, made super easy. So yeah, beginner. Yeah, we'll go committed beginner. beginner. Committed beginner. Committed yeah. beginner. Yes. If you're in it, you'll do <laughs> it. I love that. I love that. And the bright version too is so glorious. Now then, let me tell you what we've got on today's show because we've got kits for both of these quilts. Let's start with Bright, which is the one that's hanging behind Kerry. Now this is absolutely full of beautiful kind of spring, summer colours. Um, you've got your full pattern to make the quilt. I'll show you that in a second because it's really, really superb. And then you've got this fantastic kit of fabrics. Let me just open this up so you can see what you're getting. Wow. <laughs> this quite is a, a bit in there, big there? old chunk of fabric, my goodness me. So in terms of the amount of fabric that we've got, Kerry, um, we've got enough for all of the quilt top. Do we have enough in here for the binding? There's not quite enough for the binding. Okay. So um, you can definitely piece the little pieces for the binding and break it up. And then what I would do is use the remainder of your backing fabric. It's an 81 by 81 inch yeah. um, quilt. So you're going to need to join or have an extra wide. So use that yeah. for your binding. No problem. No problem. <laughs> yeah. You can always do a scrappy binding, can't you? This is lovely. Look at this with beautiful exotic hummingbirds and hibiscus flowers. Love that sort of jade in the background. And then this beautiful hibiscus blossom print. Then you've got that kind of softer version. That is really pretty. Yum, love that. It really was that. That, that is cool. It really was that fabric that I wanted. To mm, the I love that. And then you've got it with a cream background. That's really pretty fabric. And oh, we started with that one. That is gorgeous. So you get all of your fabrics there and it is an absolute it's like a bolt, it? <laughs> of a bundle of fabric. It really is, it really is. And then you get your full instructions as well. Now then, let me just show you on the instructions because this is, I think, the difference between, you know, a pattern being accessible for beginners or not. And what you've got in here, let me just open this up, 
are really, really detailed step by steps. So obviously you've got your written instructions, but I love all of the photography here. Do you see all of this photography so you can see very clearly the placement of the fabrics, the direction of the sewing line, how to trim and how to press. And every single step is broken down so that your patchwork will be perfect and you will be guided throughout. Really detailed. It's like a little book, isn't it? <laughs> it is. Really, really detailed. Absolutely fab. And then how, of course, to put your prop together and then ultimately the whole quilt. Fabulous. And then a welcome to living in loveliness. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Uh, the price is $189.99. Or is it? Or is it? Oh, I like this. A little price drop to celebrate Festival of Quilts. $169.99. That's amazing value. Tell me again, Kerry, the size of this quilt is? 81 by 81. 81 inches squared. That is a whopper of a quilt for $169.99. Superb value. Um, beautifully packaged as well, as always. That is a great buy. So that is our first version, which is the Brights. Now then, behind me is the autumn version, and I'm very into autumn colours. To be honest, when I... I when I knew I was on with you today, I knew you'd love this one because this is very much, very much you, isn't it? It's These really gorgeous. Fabrics. It's really gorgeous. And also as well, it's got that lovely sort of soft, it's romantic, it's yeah. gentle, and it's very nostalgic yeah. as well. It's sort of giving me Little House on the Prairie <laughs> vibes. The sort of the colours It's really funny actually, because when I was putting this together, uh, my my daughter, she's um, sixteen, so she's like, oh, mom, I'm not sure about these because I normally, you know, going for. She went, oh, I'm just, I'm not sure about these. She wants this now, and she wants to decorate a bedroom now. Oh, and... really? <laughs> yeah. Because she couldn't make the leap from the fabrics to the quilt. Yeah, and, and you know, now she's seen it. I mean, she's sitting next to me, helping me doing some pressing and different oh, things. But she's just fallen started. in love. Yeah. She's fallen in love with it, and now apparently we're redecorating to co oh, coordinate. Oh, so. Good. <laughs> I'm just not agreeing to it just yet. No, I was going to say, just give yourself <laughs> even more to do. Now, let me show you all the beautiful fabrics that you get. This is amazing. This is amazing. I love these fabrics. So beautiful. And these are all Lewis and Irene, right? They are, yeah. Just look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That lovely, really soft, vintage, almost a peachy colour, but really soft and vintage. That's gorgeous, that sort of mustard background. Lovely little ditzy floral. But it is very vintage looking, isn't oh, it? it? Is, very, yeah. And like I say, it's got that kind of little house on yeah. the prairie kind of. It really is. They're, they're just absolutely beautiful. Love that little bit of lilac in there too. And I've had these fabrics in for a while and just, to be honest, it, you know, sometimes you have fabrics and you know exactly what you're going to make yes. with them. Um, you know, originally we were just going to do one option, but these definitely needed oh, yeah. to be in this quilt, I think. Really gorgeous, really gorgeous. And again, the same price, $169.99. All the fabrics that you need to create that 81 inch square quilt. Now let me just hold that quilt back out again so that you can have a little look. Shall I get the other end? That is absolutely beautiful, isn't it? So pretty. Just gorgeous. And I love the way too how the stars interconnect. And it's actually really difficult to see where the blocks are. I love that in a quilt when everything starts to sort of join up and you get these secondary patterns. You get these squares forming here, these squares on point here, and the stars just flowing across the surface. Just think that's beautiful absolutely lovely so what are you going to go for are you going to go for the brights which is hanging behind kerry or the autumn which is hanging behind me both amazing value your daughter wants this one. <laughs> oh, i'm definitely having the bright are you going for the bright fair <laughs> enough okay 
I'll have I don't know. I feel like it depends what month of month it is. You yeah, know? that's very true. I, that I is definitely very true. change the colours that I'm drawn towards dependent upon the month and the I weather. Agree. So I today agree. we're going autumn. Definitely. <laughs> colours. It's really getting that way, isn't it? Now then, if you want to get the pattern on its own, Kerry has produced uh, that pattern. Now, love the fact, I'm just going to turn this around so you can see, love the fact that as well as all that lovely um, sort of star action going on in the quilt itself, you've also got these lovely flying geese in the outer borders in opposite corners now the full pattern amazing value 9.99 you've got everything in there all your step-by-step -step photography all of your step-by-step -step instructions to make the blocks to make the whole quilt brilliant value at 9.99 if you've got fabrics now what sort of um could you make this scrappy could you do this with fat quarters do you need larger pieces of fabric what would you recommend it depends what, um, to be honest, if you wanted to have it so your stars are sort of alternating, mm. then you're definitely going to need me to reach for these. Yeah. But you could certainly make this scrappy. I mean, if I, I would probably say, if it was me and I wanted to use up my scraps, I'd make it in a combination of mm. similar to these with the five, the five different colours. Yeah. But when I did this again, I almost see this star in the center is just one color yeah um you know and if you've got your fabrics for the cornerstone then you, you might want to use those up so yeah for me yeah. I, i'm not very good at doing random i tell myself i'm going to do random but i'm not very good at it so if you're good at random use up your fat quarters yeah, yeah. mix and match yeah i do love the way it sort of you know focuses on five fabrics five yeah. colors and really sort of showcases them but you could do a scrappy version if you wanted to uh, if you get your pattern it's 9.99 details are on screen for that now then do you want to look at the passport or do you want to go to demo yeah let's let's, let's go to demo let's go to demo kerry let's go so in the block you've actually got three different smaller blocks to make up each of these now what we've done in the pattern booklet there's a lot of information in there there's lots of steps lots of diagrams in there um, for you is we've broken it down into the three different steps so I'll start as it is in the pattern booklet mm -hmm. Um, this lime green, I just absolutely love this. Oh, it's so vibrant. It's, it's really lovely, isn't it? Mm. And what's quite nice actually about it, and you'll see in just a moment, is how the hummingbirds rest uh, on here as well. So let's make up one of these um, blocks. So on here, what we're going to do, I'm just going to double check my double check my colours, that's it. So first of all, we're going to place two, this is your D pieces, so we're going to place two of the D pieces, pattern facing towards you, and then place these teal colours on top. Now the pattern booklet, these are in a different colourway. And what we're going to do first of all is to just draw a diagonal in opposite, di in opposite directions here. So just sliding a pin through. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mind me coming over to you. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> you have that I'm intrigued. I do well I like to, I like a close look. The fabrics are so pretty and they're really different. Oh, I just fell in love with these. Mm, when I can see burst. why. They're just absolutely beautiful. So what we're going to do is we've just drawn, if you like, a V on here, and it really does help when you do both pieces at a time. Now, when you're working... You say, would you do them like that in pairs? Yes, yeah. absolutely. Um, and for each block, you're going to make eight of this particular set. Now, in the pattern, you've actually got five of one colour. So in mine behind me, I've got five of the lime and then we've got five of the pink so if we start by making this and i'll tell you what i did to make it a little bit easier because what you don't want to do is especially if you're a beginner is cut everything out and then get mixed up which mm. piece is which mm -hmm. so let's start just by sewing across so we're simply sewing across that that solid line that we've just drawn so you sew right on the line right on the line corner. that's it and the same for the second one Let me surprise. That well, I've got to trim first. Oh, okay. Just gonna... 
but you can definitely do my pressing. That would be lovely. I'll happily have a glamorous assistant today. I do like to be useful, <laughs> possibly can, Kerry. <laughs> well, you, you are certainly very useful today because we've got lots of these to do, so I will appreciate your help very much so. My, um, my friend was helping me. Uh, to make it up Chrissy and literally it was just a case of right press that one bring it back press that one bring it's amazing how it works so well I've never done yeah. that before yeah well so long as you sort of are in tune with what each yes. other needs well, isn't yes, it yeah. <laughs> yeah if I asked Craig if you, I, it wouldn't happen I'm sure he's probably watching and telling probably me off probably deliberate Kerry <laughs> Yes, I'm sure it probably is. Do you want me to press those? Yes, so to make it nice and easy, we're going yep. to press the left side up, so seams upwards, and the right sides down. Oh, okay. <gasps> Glad you told me. So this one out That's and that it. one down. That's right. Okay. No and this problem. just makes it easier when you put in these together. So why you that? Is that so that the seams nest? That's right. Great. And do you put that in your instructions? Yes. Yeah. That's the same that for one. that one. And then this one's going to go down towards the green. I always find pressing a tricky thing, really, you know, which way up and... Because um, you do want your, your seams to nest if they possibly can, oh, don't absolutely. you? Oh, absolutely. And I think that's the thing, isn't it, when you're... Would you mind pressing it when it's going No, I don't cute. mind at all. Okay. So, the next thing we're going to do... Mm -hmm. Fabulous. So let me just double check on here so I'm absolutely getting it right. Where are we? There we go. So the pink. Let me just double check. That's it. So yep. the pink onto the right and then the bright pink onto the left. And we'll do the same on here. And just having this in front of you just makes it much easier yeah. to get that V shape. And do you like to use a friction pen for this? Yeah. Absolutely. There we go. So, so when you're designing a quilt, Kerry, what's your process? How do you design your quilts? Um, how do I come up with an idea? Yeah, or how you do you like I squared do... paper or just make it and see how it goes? Or uh, Honestly, I dig around the kids' room yeah. and see what I can come across. And this, I should have bought it actually. Yeah. This one was a wax crayon, so I managed to right. doodle it all, colour it into a wax crayon. Yeah. Um, until I got the pictures right. And you know yourself when you, what I originally was going to do in the centre when I put it together, it wasn't sitting quite right. I wasn't right. particularly happy with it. So had a little bit of a change um, on that one. I can't take any credit for the diagrams because I doodle it all out mm -hmm. um, in a, I've tried doing it on the squared paper and I'm sure that would be um, very useful for Craig if I did that. Mm. But I tend to just do lots of doodles, pass it over to Craig, make up the block so he's physically got the block there yeah. to have a little look at and then leave him to work the magic with all of the, Fair all of the diagrams. So this one's still pressing down and this one pressing up, please. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> well, no. But of course, the benefit of doing them in pairs is that you know exactly which way, you know, what you're doing. And then you can just move on to the next one, can't you? I have you? to say that's really helped me with this one because, the, because you've got two different blocks and because there are so many pieces with it being such a big quilt mm, as well. Mm. Um, originally, I'd started sort of when I wrote the pattern, you do this to the left, do this to the right, and then just it just makes it easier having them sat in front of you and for doing the diagrams yeah. as well. Because it's very easy to get lost in everything, isn't it? You've got to remember which way you're pressing your seams. How about you? What's your process when you do a When I'm making a quilt, well, sometimes I sit there and do it on a computer. Yeah. I have a computer program, like sort of software for designing. Oh, I'm not very technical. Um, well, all. I'm not very technical at not all seven. either, but I've been using the same software since about the late 90s. So, you know, it has finally sunk in. <laughs> but most of the time, Kerry, if I'm honest, just I just get some fabrics, cut them up, yes. start piecing and rearranging and it kind of comes together yeah. that way you know and then I sort of start reverse engineering thinking what did I do That's how did I make yeah. this and 
some, you know, I, I'm a, I'm a bit like that too, Johnny. So I'll put things together, move it around, and then have to take it apart to yeah. sort of backtrack, if you like. I'm not very technical at all. So the, you know, I'm, I know lots of people use the, um, the software, but mm. I much prefer pen and paper. Yeah, me and too. just cutting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I like to sort of just do it and then sort of decide, well... But what I'd originally drawn on paper for this one... Yeah. Um, am I missing one of those? No, it's there. I thought I was missing a piece then. But when I put it together, it just it didn't look right. So it was a case of swapping, you know, just swapping out a couple of squares until... Mm -hmm. Because I really want, because I'd chosen this fabric originally anyway for mm. this, I really wanted that green to pop. I just fell in love with that when, mm. when this was launched. And I like the fact as well that you haven't introduced a sort of a, a solid or a background colour. You've really sort of celebrated the fabrics and it's all about these beautiful fabrics. Yeah. They're not sort of watered down in any way. No, Gorgeous. I love, I love these. I'll be really sad when it's <laughs> not available. I've made so many lovely things. You get like that with fabrics, don't yeah, you? I've made I never so want to run things. out of this. Oh, Fiona said, Stuart, iron down. You keep misting the screen up. <laughs> oh, <Sorry. yeah. laughs> That's me and the steam, getting steamy in here. Getting all excited yeah. about the fabric. Oh, it's lovely to have a new quilt kit. I really love it. It's beautiful. I've really enjoyed making this. Mm. No, it's gorgeous. And I, I you know, I, I especially love that my daughter loves it because they, they are of, a, of an age where it's hard to please sometimes, yeah. you know? Yeah. And so when they go, oh, I really want that because sometimes yeah. I say, oh, do you want me to make it? Mm, mm, mm. No. Is it branded? Yes, it is. It's, it's my brand. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, no, then. Not good enough, is it? <laughs> no. So, yeah. I've long gone that with my 17 year old. He's not interested in anything. Like so we've got a 17 year old and 16 year old and a 10 year old and a 10 year old wow yes they keep me very busy yeah yeah absolutely no wonder you like to keep fit <laughs> that's only a new thing you're gonna be able to compete <laughs> it, they are my time. drive though they are the reason i'm doing it are they yeah i want to i want to do something with them i'm yeah. too scared to say it out loud in case i'm not ready for it oh okay <laughs> intriguing <laughs> But yeah, we, you know, and especially after lockdown, we go and do activities and I'm exhausted and they're yeah. like galloping around with all this energy. Yeah. So I, want, I just want to be able to keep up with them. It's a great idea. I'm in denial that I'm not of the age to keep up with teenagers. <laughs> <laughs> so you're doing things like Zumba and swimming? Oh yeah, swimming? I love it. Yeah, swimming, Zumba. My favourite spin. Oh, do you? I never like spinning. I love it. Mm. I like it because they turn the lights out. Nobody can see you. <laughs> Nobody can see how much you're struggling at the back. I've never been very good on a bicycle. I don't know why. I've just never been oh, very I good loved at cycling. Back, back, back when I was much younger, I absolutely loved. I used to cycle to work every day. Wow. And I loved it. And I wish I could get back to that. But my work from where I live is too far. Right. <laughs> That's not going to happen. No, and taking all your samples as well. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Helen's got in touch to say, Kerry's quilts are stunning. Aren't they just? And brand new today. This is the brand new launch, isn't it? It is. Really, really stunning. But, you know, although they look quite complicated, Kerry has broken down all of the steps, so it's very achievable. Uh, Linda's got in touch to say, good morning both. Living in loveliness patterns are so easy to follow. Brilliant, oh, that's, that's great. And a message from Julie, who says, oh, Kerry, I love them both, but the autumn quilt has jumped into my basket. <laughs> I'm back in my oh, I'm back into my sick bed. So this has really cheered me up, love Julie. Oh, Julie, I'm sorry to hear that. Lovely. Oh. I'll send you a big, big hug. hug. Yeah. Big hug for Julie this Making morning. Making yourself a lovely new quilt will will make you feel a bit brighter. Definitely. Yeah. It's nice to have a new project, isn't it? And then you've got something to relax to. So all I'm doing here, every time, um, every time I'm cutting the block, I'm sewing across the line and simply just cutting a quarter inch 
past that C value. I think I jumped ahead and not mentioned that. It's and all I'm, right, Kerry. We're having a good old catch up. <laughs> there we go. So we'll repeat this on each of these. This makes up the first block. Mm -hmm. And we're repeating this four times. Yeah. How am I doing with my pressing? Oh, you're very I'm neat. You're doing a good job. You're very neat. So can I book you for the next time I need yes, a, a glamorous assistant, please? <laughs> we'll go for dinner first and then we'll have for a, a sandwich. gazillion <laughs> blocks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is the thing, isn't it? You know, but slow and steady. And of course, with this quilt, you can work on one block at a time, can't yes. you? You don't have to make all these units for the entire quilt in one go. Not at all. So, as I was saying when we first started, so what I've done in the pattern is I've given you lots of instruction what I did. So, the first time I made this, I made the block, loved the block, was really happy with it, cut everything out. And it was a bit, it was chaos because there were right. so many different pieces. So my best recommendation to you is if you've got any cellar bags or, um, you know, I don't know how you organise your um, supplies, mm. but I tend to have lots of cellar bags because of the pattern. So what I did is there's two different blocks. I've yep. broken the blocks down in the pattern. Mm -hmm. So I've said for block one, this is block one here that I'm working on with the lime. You're going to need... Uh, for example, eight of the D pieces, uh, four of the C pieces, and I've broken it down, one of the A pieces, you'll see this in there. And then what I've said in the pattern to do is to, um, where's that other little square gone? Have I lost the square? Um, there it is. And then what I've said to do is to then break them down into the nine blocks, put them into an individual bag or mm -hmm. Poly, you know, a file, that sort mm -hmm. of thing, and then work on one block at a time. Right. And then as you look at the pattern, I've then broken down each block. So the main block is made up, and it's the same for block one and block two. They're the same, just a different colour in your centre, mm -hmm. if you like. Mm -hmm. And then I've worked on one block at a time. Because I think, I think when you're making a quilt that's so big, you've got to have a method. Yeah, yeah. Um, and actually, it's nine big blocks, isn't it? Yes, yeah, so they're huge blocks as whereas well. Whereas I think sometimes we do tend to like make all the flying geese for the whole quilt. This is quite nice and it's quite easy to work yeah. on one block at a time. Absolutely. You get a nice sense of achievement. Well, you're right, because when you're working... If you're trying to do all of all of this section for each of them, you don't. I don't feel I like satisfaction. You know, mm. instant satisfaction. Yeah. So I feel like if you can make one block up, you you know you're part way there. Yeah, aren't you? absolutely. And it just you know, especially with the the beautiful fabrics. You know, when you see that, you know, I always feel like you're inspired then to go on. Oh gosh, definitely. To do more of these. And of course, those triangles that you're cutting off, we don't throw away. Oh, oh, we don't yeah. throw them away. Well, I thought when I've got some time left after finishing this, I'm mm -hmm. going to make up a cushion. At the moment, I've got a stack. Oh, lovely. I've yeah. Got a huge stack of these. But you could make a cushion or two to go with, couldn't you? Absolutely. So once you've got to this stage where you've got your, you need four for one block, mm -hmm. what I did here is I just stacked them all on top of each other. You press your seams in opposite directions. So when you come to position these, I'm very on top nervous of each about other. whether I've done that right, Kerry. That's fine. I've tried really it hard. Fabulous. There yeah, we go. Well done. There we go. Last two. There you go. You can have a big star block when we finish. Because <laughs> <laughs> you've been so. Well, I'm going to have a sit down now. I'm exhausted. <laughs> so because we've pressed the seams in opposite directions, what we're going to do next is to just rest these on top of each other. You can feel through the fabrics that they're nesting together. So I'm pinning here at the seam and the top and we'll do that for all of these. Mm -hmm. There we go. And it really is the, you know, the way you press your seams that make it work and it just... Yeah. There we go.
just keeps it nice and flat, doesn't it, if, you, if your seams are in opposition. I mean, at, at the end of the day, if you were to go wrong in terms of which way you pressed your seams, do we need to start unpicking? Not at all. So if you're putting them on top of each other at this stage and you can feel through, and you can feel when these are naturally resting together, there is absolutely nothing stopping you taking this back over to the ironing board and giving this another press oh okay just flip it the other way and just either flip it the other way or if there's not you know if it's too far to do that mm. it's not gonna you know yeah. there's only you that know us yeah yeah sometimes when i get myself sort of in a dark corner like that i'll just press the seam open yeah and it, you know it's not perhaps as less as it would be if i pressed it in opposition but it's fatter than just leaving it all on one side yeah. absolutely and you know dependent upon how you go into quilts you don't want that because you'll feel it if all mm. the rest of them. But with each step, we have um, put in there which way you're pressing your seams as well. Right. So the instructions are there if you want to, you know, press seams in opposition. Yeah, you can follow your seams, uh, follow your instructions rather. This is quite a funny message. Oh, and Pete Silver's got in touch. Obviously, talking about um, exercising and going to the gym. And they've said, I love the machines in the gym. You can get bounty bars. <laughs> what gym do you go to? There's no bounty well, bars I used in to my love gym. When we used to go swimming when we were kids. Yeah, when we went swimming. The best thing about going swimming oh, was see. the vending machine, <laughs> wasn't see. it? Having was a Kit thinking, Kat or was, a bag of crisps. Do you know what I was doing? I was trying to think, where's there like a little nook and cranny? You know, here, you can fit a chocolate bar in there. Exactly. But I was thinking, I've not seen any spaces to hide a chocolate bar. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that was the best bit. And didn't you find as well when you went swimming, especially when you were a kid, you'd get out and you You're would starving. be absolutely ravenous. Yeah. 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 I, I go late of an evening, mm. so by the time I come out, even if I've got any cravings, they're mm. like, we've, we've zedded the till. Yeah. You can't have anything. So one week I went with my son, he came swimming with me and he's like, oh, can we have this? Can we get that? Can we mm -hmm. do this? Can we do that? And uh, they've got a little cafeteria there, and they said, "Oh, I'm really sorry, it's um, it's closed." I'm like, well, that saved oh, me. Well, hasn't that's it? A shame. I'm, oh, that's a shame. <laughs> but that definitely saved me. So here, I'm just pressing the seams yep. to the right. So I'm just. Well, this is these. looking good. I'm liking this. Really makes it pop, doesn't it? This yeah, lovely yeah. green. Well, yeah, there's loads of lovely contrast between the fabrics, so you, you the, the pattern really pops. And that, that's what I love, really. I love to see. Really love to see that. And when I decided, you know, that I wanted to do a star, I just felt that it needed a really vibrant, mm. really vibrant... Um, oh, we've gone a bit okay. close there. Do you want me to... Just Would you mind? I can unpick that for you. Because no I'm problem. thinking this might make a lovely matching cushion. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Leave <laughs> so that with me. So on the next one, we've then got your A and your B pieces. So these are the same fabrics that you can see in that first block that we've just made. So we're going to place one fabric pattern facing down, and this is just a pinwheel, a nice easy pinwheel, which I absolutely love. And all we're going to do is to sew around all four of those raw edges, and then we'll cut this down into four triangles. Oh, I love this. Kurt has got in touch to say, I'm in my 50s, Stuart, but every time I swim, I'm still ravenous. <laughs> <laughs> it, Good on you. I do always, re I always remember being, it was always pickled onion crisps, I would. You know, oh, like the Space Raiders. Oh, yes. I always, we always had those when we came out to swim in. Oh, yeah, lovely. Oh, this is a nice comment from Jan who says, the quilt should be called So Very Kerry because that's what I thought when I saw the colours. Oh, that's such a lovely thing to say. <laughs> so oh, Very Kerry. It's lovely. Oh, there we go. You see, we've got our next idea. Yeah. You know what to do on the next that's show. A really nice, that's a really nice idea, actually, isn't it? To call it So Very Kerry. That's uh, a really lovely thing to say. I don't know if I can unpick the whole seam, but I have unpicked the bit. Oh, that's, that no, that's wonderful. Thank you ever so much. Um, now then, let me just grab out this autumn version for a second. I'm just going to step this away. This is in the lead. 
This is in the lead at the moment, the autumn colourway. Absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? So pretty. It's really got that sort of vintage vibe, vintage autumn. It's got that look of those lovely sort of, um, I don't know, do you remember Holly Hobby? Yes. And the dress that she wore, yes. it's that sort of lovely vintagey look, just really pretty and soft. Great, love that combination. And it illustrates as well how completely different the same quilt pattern can look uh, depending on the fabrics that you use and the colours that you use. It really does. It can totally transform a design, can't it? Absolutely. Yeah, right. And they look like, they. Do. I mean, you, you, you have to look at them to see, don't you? But they do transform the colours. Yeah, you do. Right, my lovely. Can I have oh, the things to the dark side, please? You can, you can. And while you do that, I'll show you the third block. So the third one, so this is one of the smaller blocks, is really easy to put together. Now, to get these in the right way, what we're going to do is to place all four, all four out. Then mm -hmm. we'll take one of the smaller ones and pop this just here on the inside. There we go, let's bring that across a little bit. Okay. So place it out so you can see how they're positioned first. And then what we're going to do is pop those pattern facing down and so along that raw edge. So when you do the second block, so the second one in the quilt behind me has that strawberry colour there. Mm -hmm. Something like this, you'll press the seams in the opposite direction. So for this one, we want the seams pressing towards the white. Mm -hmm. But on the strawberry, we press it towards the strawberry there. Okay. So when you put in the, the larger block together, then that's nesting those seams together as well. Gotcha. so speedy with that we'll finish this little block because this mm. is just so easy but this is what finishes that those corners there so return them back because we want to make sure we get these two pieces in the right place so along the bottom for the top row and along the top there we go for the bottom row and again we'll just sew those and press those seams to the white. Ah. Now Kerry, while you sew those, I perhaps should mention we do have another little project from Kerry, which is the Passport Clutch. Um, this is a very, very cute project. Let me show you this. Um, so you've got the gorgeous little purse now this is for the pattern and the fabric that's amazing so this is you could keep your passports in here or it could be cash and cards and bits and pieces in there that's really good and with a little magnetic fastening there love that really nicely shaped flap as well on that isn't that gorgeous really gorgeous look beautiful um so you can get the full pattern plus the bosal in our form and the fabric and the metalware that you need is that right 14.99 that's incredible that's amazing you're getting all your fabric all your metalware and your bosal in our form to make the whole passport clutch 14.99 that's amazing value that's amazing value um, and yes of course can be used for your passport but can also be used as a purse or for other things now you can also get the pattern on its own if you prefer and the details are just coming up on screen now the pattern on its own there they are 6.99 that's really good value too <laughs> brilliant 
making you happy today, Stuart. Yeah, you really are. You really are making me happy. It's a gorgeous project. Six ninety nine for that. So you just decide whether you want to get the pa the pattern on its own or get that pattern plus fabric metalware and bose linar form to make your first project. And then of course you can get more of those bits and pieces and make more uh, passport clutches. Now, if you need the metalware, we have a little pack. Um, this one has one set two of sets. two sets, two sets of magnetic fastenings brilliant two sets so that would be enough for two of the passport um clutches for just 199 brilliant price brilliant price these are the kind of thing i'd be multi buying because it's so hard sometimes to find metalware for bag making that when i do find it especially when it's at a great price i buy loads just so i've always got it in my stash now then i need to come I've, back because i'm quiet can... <laughs> come on this is my job you know that You've right. got far more important things to do over there. Far more important things. So were those things. the half square triangles? So these I are the press? half square tri they are. These are the half square <laughs> triangles that our lovely glamorous assistant pressed for us this morning. <laughs> and what we're going to do is put these out in a pinwheel as this design here. We're then bringing the top two and folding these down to the bottom. Again, those and its seams are nesting together beautifully. Now you will need to square, well you might not need to, but if you do, you need to uh, take a moment to square these up to four and a quarter inch. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and then we're going to sew along the top there. And you'll see how fast this lovely block comes together. So you sew those together with a little pinwheel for the centre of the quilt. That's it. It's a lovely pack because you're learning lots of different skills as well. You're using some different units. Really like this corner unit. Um, yes. Lots that you can do with that. That would be lovely, you know, kind of on its own as a block. You can kind of arrange those. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's a cute little block, isn't it? What are we naming that one? Oh gosh, crazy, crazy eight. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So seedy you are. Could you press those in opposite I directions can, for I can. me? <coughs> it's the naming things sometimes, isn't it? That's a difficult thing. Oh, I mean, you know, I've always said I'm ever so good at naming my quilts. You know, if it's a Union Jack, it's called Union Jack. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not I, at all sophisticated. I'm not, I'm not either. If you ask me about different fabrics, I say, oh, that's pretty pink. That's a pink, <laughs> pink, everything's a pink floral. So once we've got the star, um, the pinwheel together in a yeah. moment, you can see how this is coming together beautifully. So we've got the corners in. Just nice to see that star, isn't it? Oh, gosh, yeah. And it really comes together <laughs> quickly Excuse too. Oh, yeah, love it. Love so all it. we've got left to do is the pinwheel. That is really cool, really cool. Ever so clever. And I love the way as well, do you see how the fabrics kind of join up into that outer star? And when I first looked at Kerry's quilt, I thought, oh gosh, that looks really <coughs> complicated. Well, I suppose the maths to work it out yeah. is complicated, <laughs> but you've done all that for We've us. We've done it all for you. Yeah. yeah, all we need to do is follow your pattern. Do you want me to give it. that one final press? One final press for me, and while you do that, I'll put this row together. So to put your blocks together, you're going to sew row one, which is the top, row two and row three together. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and because they're such big blocks the quilt comes together quite quickly yes absolutely so for as we were saying right at the beginning of the hour this is a lovely i'm losing my voice now oh it's the air conditioning <laughs> is that what it is yeah yeah <laughs> yeah it's very drying we'll get <clears throat> you some water if you'd like I've, I've just got a little one here thank you But what we were saying about beginners, you know, because these blocks come together so quickly, they look beautiful. Mm. But they, you know, 
to make the quilt the size that it needs to be yeah it grows very quickly yes yes you can make a big quilt without spending years making yes. it oh it's nice when it's it comes coming together, together and really the size of this as well you know if you're you know if you're going for the pattern these huge floor cushions as well mm. or huge cushions for the garden so you know once you've got the block i was going to say once you've mastered the block but you can see just how easy it is mm. to make you know bring it together and they're all when they're broken down they're all nice easy stages yeah so let's bring that middle row together Absolutely fab. Now, <coughs> now um, Kerry, we had <coughs> author Rose Parr in this morning <coughs> with her book, um, So Healthy and Happy, Quilting. And it's all about sort of ergonomics. Oh, really? <coughs> and how to be sort of pain free when you sew. Um, and I was just curious to find out when you sew at home, do you sew standing up or sitting, sitting down? down? Do you? Yeah. <coughs> How about you? Well, mixture really. Mixture. It depends where I am and what I'm doing. But um, I found it quite interesting. Um, just had a message from a viewer, Dawn, who says, um, my hubby built me a standing desk. I sew every day and I've been back pain free since January 2021. It's also built the muscles in my legs and my gluteus maximus. Oh, I say, I need one. Um, which is a great byproduct. Happy sewing, everyone. What a fabulous and advert to well, encourage us to stand and sew. I know. I, I, the it? only place I do it is here. I've never really. Mm -hmm. Never ever stood to sew before. Rose was saying about using one of the standing sitting desks, you yeah. know, the adjustable ones, so that you can stand for a bit and sew and then drop it down yeah. and sit for a bit and just do a mixture. It's a really lovely it's idea. It's interesting, isn't yeah. it? To be honest, I spend most of the time on my feet with all the cutting and all the other different yeah. things that we do. So yeah. it probably would be yeah. in the long run much better. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, as Dawn says this morning. Build that gluteus maximus. There you go. That's now exciting. That, isn't it? <laughs> Nora's got in touch to say hi to you and Kerry. Uh, please, can you tell us the size of the double star quilt, please? Thank you, uh, Nora. So the quilt is 81. 81 by 81. Yeah, 81 inches square. Really nice, big size that, isn't it? It's going to be great on a double bed or a yes, queen bed. Yes, definitely. There we go. Right, and all there is left to do is to bring these blocks together. And we've got one done. Fantastic. So just again bringing these together in the center, yep. nesting those together. And as I mentioned, you know, the thing that I find much better for myself is breaking the quilt down into blocks, you know, yeah. working on one block at a time. Um, and following this process that we've done today. Mm. And I really found, you know, putting each block separately or, you know, pinning your letters to them, whichever mm -hmm. you, you find works for you. Yeah. But just putting them into a different, even, even a sort of clear folder would work, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Some nice messages for you, Kerry. Hilary's got in touch to say, stunning design. The fabrics for the quilts are beautiful. Love the passport clutch. Fabulous idea. You would see this straight away in your bag. And uh, Julie's got in touch to say, Kerry is doing so well. I watched her make four bags on Hobby Maker this morning and now <laughs> these quilts. You go, girl. <laughs> we can't stop yeah, they you today, me a can challenge we? this morning. Could we do all four projects in the two hours this morning? Really? Yeah. <laughs> we did, we did it. You did it? We did it. Literally just scraped through. So did you spend eight till nine just lying down? No. <laughs> I did, I did squeeze in a cup of tea though. Oh good, I'm glad to hear it. And, and you know, I had a chat with, uh, in the green room, which is, I mean, that's the lovely thing about coming in and catching up with people who you, you know, you normally wouldn't bump oh, into. Oh yeah, absolutely. Now then, this week of course is Festival of Quilts it Week, is. Kerry. Are you going to be at festival? I'm going to festival on Friday. Fantastic. How about you? 
fantastic hey there, i'm day. there every day yeah i'm on stand g74 uh, so come and say hi and also i will be on the so in the sewing street lounge i do love an exclusive lounge don't you yes. Kerry? Um, and i'll be there on friday and saturday around lunchtime um uh doing meet and greet Lovely. which is fab really good you're fun. very you're far more organized i know mine's on friday well, i'm not organized at all. i couldn't tell you what time Thank goodness for Charlie, that's all I can say. <laughs> Charlie has been an absolute miracle this week. He's been so good. Organising you. Yes, He's but of course, brilliant. if you're getting ready for festival, there's lots going on, isn't there, as well? There is, there is, yeah. And also, well, in fairness, I organised a big birthday party for him at the weekend. So, so Charlie's organising festival of quilts for me <laughs> in return. I did wonder how you were managing to squeeze being in here and, and uh, sorting yeah. everything out. I thought, oh gosh. Yeah. It's a lot oh, no, but I'm really excited. It's lovely. I'm here part of the time and then at festival as well, part of the time as well. So it's a perfect combination. And remember, if you can't get to festival of quilts, we're going to have, well, we've got people like uh, uh, Cindy Cloward from Riley Blake is going to be here this week, um, who's over from the US. We've got the brand new launch of Kay Fassett's new book, Quilts in Wales, which launches tomorrow. That's super exciting. Um, and then we've also, we're going to be doing some filming at Festival of Quilts, which we'll be able to show on Sewing Street as well. So if you're not going to Festival of Quilts, don't worry, we will bring the festival to you. How are you getting on, Kerry? We are done. Oh, Other than awesome. your final little Do you want me to do a final little press? Yes, please. Leave it with me. You stand there and look glamorous. Um, it's just a fantastic block. I love it. I love big blocks because they show off the fabrics really well, don't they? Yeah. Oh, yes, definitely. I love big blocks and I cannot lie. <laughs> Hey. The people made it I? <laughs> <laughs> I won't sing to anybody today. Oh gosh, no, we we can't we can't afford to pay the license. <laughs> I'll say at my classes, would you like me to sing in the no. <laughs> The funniest no. thing is no one ever stops me singing here. You know, as I say, you know, if you go over more than a few seconds you have to pay a pay a license, I think. But because they always say that no one would recognise what I was oh, really? singing. <laughs> <laughs> Which is rude, isn't when it? I, when my daughter was younger, she was just, I think, just as children are in awe of me, she'd be like, oh, mom. You have the most beautiful voice, Craig. Like, <laughs> don't tell to her compare that. Compare it with don't, Kerry. Well, that's what he said. <laughs> don't tell your mum that. She'll carry on. And now she's older. I say, what do you think? I, do you think I can sing? And she goes, um, um sometimes. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Look at that block, Kerry. You're an absolute lovely, marvel. Look at that. It is beautiful. I think that deserves a, a pre-recorded cheer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you hear that? We had support, did we? <laughs> <laughs> I think I was the only one who I didn't join in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're getting three cheers now. This is getting ridiculous. <laughs> is that the bells of St. Clement's? <laughs> no, it is that good day, Pope. Oh, Fantastic. Really terrific. Really terrific. Love it. Um, uh, now then, uh, so we make nine blocks. So yeah, so you've got five of the lime green ones. Mm -hmm. Well, it'll be a different colour in your pattern. And then you've got four of, I'm going to refer to them as the strawberry in mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. Now, the next thing that we've got on the quilt is we've got just um, an inner sashing. So that's yep. a nice slim sashing there. I really wanted to use the white to make it pop. So on this one, of course, we've got floral on there, but originally I designed with this fabric. And then on the outer sashing, as you mentioned earlier, I just felt it, there was some fabric left over mm. and I felt we needed to use it. Let's make some lovely um, flying geese. So we've got the flying geese and they're just in the top corner and the bottom corner as well. So just a nice <coughs> little subtle absolutely beautiful well listen don't forget to get your kit while you still can they've been very popular you can get the living in loveliness double lucky star quilt pattern in autumn details on screen that's the one that's directly behind me that has those lovely soft 
rusts and golds and a really lovely soft lilac as well that's heading towards very limited stock um, so do remember to check out your baskets we also have the brights version which is the one that Kerry has been working on today featuring that hot pink that jade that lime green details for that are on screen right now now if you want to just get the pattern on its own you can that is $9.99 and we'll bring those patterns up or those details up for you half that stock has actually gone if you want to get that and then last of all of course we've got Kerry's fabulous passport clutch kit that has sold out what about the pattern on its own that's gone to we have got a handful left pattern on screen right now 6.99 for your pattern for the passport clutch from living in loveliness kerry it's been a whistle stop <laughs> you deserve a little lie down and a, a couple of biscuits now have a hobnob on me i'll have a hobnob thanks for a great hour and i'll see you in an hour for some more pressing all right thank oh. <laughs> I Can't took wait. that one in, didn't I? Oh, you certainly <laughs> did. Subtle, cold and quiet. Love it. All right. See you in just a couple of minutes. Don't go anywhere. I'll be back with Tracy Dennis. Hi, I'm Joe Carter and I'm a soft toy designer and I quilt as well. I've been sewing for as long as I can remember. My great grandma, my nana, my mum all sewed and so it's something I grew up around. If I was to give some advice to a new sewer, somebody who wanted to try it, um, that would be to watch a few tutorials, but then to just give it a go. Um, and try not to focus on achieving the perfect end result. Instead, at first, oh, well, always focus on enjoying the process and learning a new skill. Sort of those perfect results will come in time, but developing a love for sewing, I think is a really great way to go. And a tip I've been given that I still use today is make sure you have plenty of seam rippers. It's frustrating enough if you have to remove some stitches, but then if you can't lay your hands on a seam ripper and you have to hunt around for one, that makes it doubly frustrating. Um, so yes, plenty of seam rippers would be my um, go-to tip. Hi, it's Yvonne here. As you all know, I was born in Carrick, Fergus in Northern Ireland. And we're getting to that point in the year whenever I get to go home. From the 1st of September, the Stormont Hotel in Belfast becomes the home of Quilt Fair, which is an event that together with my friends, Margaret and Helen, we have reintroduced into the, North, into the island of Ireland. We are really looking forward to this, our second event. We have retained many of the features that you like from last year's show. We have those nice wide aisles. We have all those expert traders and our free talks and demos in our schoolhouse. In addition, this year, we have added our creative workshops, which Sewing Street has so generously sponsored for us. So this year we have added in two exhibitions. One of them, Old Roots, New Shoots, is from the Irish Patchwork Society. And the other exhibition is the work from our traders. It's, it's entitled, This Is What We Do. So I really hope that I will see a lot of you there. We thank everyone for their continuing support in this venture that we have to create the best little quilt show in Ireland. heard about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street? You can shop on our website sewingstreet.com and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street in Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers 
by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. everybody welcome back to sewing street oh it's an exciting hour now we've got the fabulous tracy dennis from owl and sewing cat tracy Hello. welcome back thank you gosh now it seems like ages since you were last here but that was for the launch of owl and sewing cat here on sewing it street, was the last it? show that i did with you yeah we were doing um, some dressmaking and some crafting and we've now expanded the range so it's great so we're bringing brand new and exclusive dressmaking designs to you to see you today so that we've got a fantastic. new collection there and some uh, nautical thing craft projects so a complete wide range of different projects today absolutely for you absolutely fantastic now what i love about um, owl and sewing cat well, lots of things dressmaking pattern wise um tracy you you managed to achieve what i think is almost impossible but clearly not but you create dressmaking patterns which are absolutely beginner friendly yeah but they look so sophisticated, smart, chic, uh, aspirational. How do you do it? <laughs> so that is exactly what I want. I want everyone to be able to dress make. It's not difficult as long as we've got the right patterns, easy style. So we're going to show you how. So we've got four today. The one that I'm wearing, simple kimono, easiest thing to make. So we'll hopefully you'll get a chance to make that on the show. Then we've got our new tunic pattern here. So you can wear this as a dress tunic, which I do. I've even put little pockets in the side here. You could have it a bit shorter as a dress if you like. So this is called our Ava tunic, um, which is say brand new, new and exclusive today, this collection. Then we've got our pleat neck top here as well. So this is another one, very flat around the neck. Again, not difficult to do. And it's a long version here that we've got. So pleat it around the neck, nice open neck and as you go down it has got a little band on the bottom so you can have it as a tunic but i've also oh, camera's a bit <laughs> sorry table's a bit high to see that but we'll see it on the front of the patterns but you could also make that into a top and we put the top length as well so if you just want it as a regular little shell top to wear all these things are going to be great for this weather and the most exciting is we've got our trousers so yes i saw that because you remember the last show we did together we got a request on the show for trousers so we we've did. done a really nice everyday pair of floaty trousers nice pockets in them you can have them elasticated at the bottom if you want to or you can do them just i've done one pair as a regular tailored sort of pair of trousers as well so it's entirely up to you what you would do with those whichever style you like you could even make them shorter into shorts you could have them as your pajamas at night just nice floaty trousers because the weather's been so hot hasn't it yeah, so yeah. humid so all this is, gives you a really nice capsule wardrobe but can, there's nothing hard on there is there there's no, no fastening it's no. an elasticated waist there's no pockets to worry about no, everything that we've got well there are pockets there but, are they, are, pockets but they are easy ones easy. to do and i'll show you how and all our patterns have full instructions taking you through as well so yeah there's no zips there's no difficult tailoring to do this one just measure the elastic around your waist and if it's comfortable for you then that's the waist that you want them to be um, all of them are available in size 10 to size 28 so whatever pattern you buy it's going to be size 10 up to size 28 so you can buy them individually or we can do it as one big collection if you buy this as a new collection you're going to get all of the patterns plus you're going to get a freebie bag if I just grab it from that so you're going to save by buying it as a collection, plus you're also going to get your freebie bag. That pattern. is gorgeous. So you've got an oil cloth, nice little clips at the side, you've got press, uh, studs at the bottom so you've got feet on it. So yeah, you're going to have that as a freebie to go with that. And we have two different options. We have it as printed pattern, or we have it as a USB so you can print them at home yourself as many times as you want. Well, let me show you the bundles that we've got. So, as Tracy said, you can I mean you can buy them individually and we'll do those in a second, but the best value is to buy them as a collection. 
So you're going to get, this is the printed version. So you're going to get full size. Love this. You've got like um, a proper big envelope to keep your pattern in. So you've got your Miller trouser pattern. Very, very adaptable. Wear them long, short, elasticated bottom, uh, flat hem. You can wear, make them up as a pajama. Absolutely beautiful. Um, all of these are size 10 to 28. You've got the Ava tunic. And again, you can have that shorter, longer, really easy to adapt, but just so super chic. You've got a pleated neck tunic or top. I love this. I love those simple pleats around the neckline. Yeah, it's flattering, but it's easy to do. Just yeah. fold your fabric. Don't but it just adds but that the... lovely shape to it, doesn't yeah, it, it, as does. well? Beautiful. And then you've also got your summer kimono top. Absolutely love this. And of course, not just for summer at all, you could make this in a slightly heavier weight fabric for autumn and winter. You could embellish it, you could add beading, you could add trim, just beautiful. And then you get your box tote bag pattern. This is completely free. Now, independent dressmaking patterns, I regularly see them at 14 dollars 17 dollars 20 pounds for one pattern you are getting four dressmaking patterns that cover a really wide range of it's a capsule wardrobe mm -hmm. you've got trousers slash shorts slash three-quarter length trousers slash shorts slash pajama bottoms okay you've got your shell top you've got your kimono you've got your tunic dress there's so much in yeah. there for 49.99 you've also got a bag which is completely free now, if you prefer to um, have a, I mean, this is not hard for storage. However, if you want a USB that's got absolutely everything on, so all four dressmaking patterns plus your free bag pattern, you can get everything on a USB. Now that is super cool, I like that. I like that, I think that's a really clever idea. The price is incredible, 38.99. So less than £10 per pattern. Remember, you're getting the bag pattern for free. So I'm kind of taking that out of the equation. But less than £10 per pattern, and you've got a full size range from a size 10 to a size 28. All on USB. Now, um, Tracy, when we come to print these off, yes. talk me through the process. Okay. So the reason for doing the USB, so completely up to you whether you want the printed full scale. If you're having it full scale printed patterns like these, it's going to come on heavy duty paper. So it's ready for you just to cut out because the thing that I found frustrating is all this kind of messy tissue when you're dressmaking. You use it once, you never want to use it again, so you end up just binning it. So we want to avoid that. So either buy it like that as a printed one or you can buy, as you was saying, on the USBs and print them yourselves. So on the USB, you've got two different files. One file says instructions and one file says patterns. The instructions are all on there, take you through it step by step, photographs all the way, really, really simple instructions. You can print those off if you want, or you can just work them off the USB, put them on your laptop next to you as you go along. It's like having your own kind of tutorial, the teacher next to you really, just go through step by step. So to print the patterns, what you need is just a normal A4 printer, any kind of paper, whatever paper you want to use. Um, when you do that, just load your USB, pick up the pattern that you want to do. Say you're going to do the trouser pattern, press print, and it will tell you how many pages you're going to need to print. And then you're going to have, like this, the first page is going to be your guide. So it tells you, for example, this pattern here is a very simple one. This needed six pieces of paper, so you just load the paper in, press print, and this shows me how to tape them together where they need to go, because it's just a regular A4 paper, mm -hmm. A4 printer. Oh, so we don't need a special printer with large don't sheets of paper. Don't need a special printer. No, you can print these on any A4 printer that you've got Great. at home. So that'll be your first page, and then the other, other pages will print out like this. It's not going to use a lot of link, ink, because as you see, we've not done difficult shading or anything like that. There's actually not a lot of printing involved on them. So you print them off, and then we're going to use our guide here. I can see that five and six need to go together. So I've just folded the edge over on here, on page six. I've put those triangles on so you can match those up, line those up, and tape those together. Okay, so that'll be five and six taped together. And you continue till you've got your whole pattern. And you just use regular sticky tape? Yeah, regular tape. tape. You yeah. can use masking tape, whatever you want to use. Like if I'm using sticky tape, put it all on one side because then when you go to use the pattern again, if you want to, you can press it from the other side. Mm -hmm. But yeah, really easy. Bear in mind with dressmaking, obviously these are going to become big patterns because they need to fit us and they will include size 
10 up to size 28. So it will be quite a lot of sheets of paper, but say it's not printing much on there at all, it's going to use very, very little amount of ink. The nice thing with buying it on, as a USB is you can print these over and over again. You can print a copy for your friends. If you change shapes, so you say you want to print a size 10 and then you also want to print a size 14, you can do that. You can print it over and over again. Whereas with a paper, and obviously once you've cut it up, you know, it's mm. there ready for you to go. So it's easier in that sense, but once you've cut it up, um, it is done. So we've got those already loses like that onto your USB. Great for storage. And then we've also got the craft one that we'll go through in a minute. And with the craft one, the same thing. I find the craft one especially useful on USB because it tends to have smaller pieces. And of course, if you lose one piece, then you have to write off the whole pattern. Yeah. Whereas here, you can just reprint it again. You can do a copy for your friends, save lending her your master copy. Just print it yourself and lend to a copy. You're too generous. <laughs> I love it. Now then, we've also got a craft bundle of patterns. This is amazing. You've actually got seven different patterns in, in this one. Um, and I love this. It's kind of got a bit of a theme to it, hasn't it? A bit of a nautical seaside theme to all of these, but very, very adaptable to other things. So first, and f first up, you've got the car organizer pattern. We're going to put the details up for the whole bundle. Um, so that starts off with the car organizer pattern. I think this is great. Um, so this will tie to the back of the chair. You've got space for a uh, drink, you've got pockets, you've got elasticated pockets at the bottom as well. Tracy, you could use this for other things too, right? Yeah, so it's great maybe for the back of a chair, back of a wheelchair. You know, you can adapt it for whatever you want. Sometimes it's quite nice just to have something like that hanging on the back of your door. So when you go out in the morning, you don't forget your water bottle. You don't forget mm. to take the post to the mail on the way. Yeah. So yeah, you've got lots and lots of different pockets and details. In really there. like that. And a big pocket there. This, <laughs> this would actually be really good in a craft room or a sewing room, yeah. wouldn't it? To organise your sewing supplies. Okay. So that's one of the patterns. Then the next one, you get a quilted cushion. I think that is absolutely gorgeous your sample is so lovely too let me just grab that down so that's the freebie that you're getting with oh the this is a freebie yep so again you're going to save money by buying it as a bundle and we're going to give you a freebie which is that one that you can make this any shape or size you want to go on your garden benches outside maybe great for scrap busting using mm -hmm. up all those spare bits of fabric that you've got left over because um, it doesn't take a lot so just cut those up yeah. and, and follow the pattern that's great so that's our free pattern next up we've got the reversible apron pattern and this includes adults and children's sizes yeah so in the bundle you've actually got eight different patterns there because we normally you know sell those separately but we're yeah. going to give you the adult and the child size too yeah yeah absolutely fantastic um next up we've got the millie bag pattern so that's like a kind of messenger bag yeah so I pass it really along. like that. Yeah. yeah. So it's got a pocket on the inside, a nice big strap across it. It's it's done with a gusset, so you're maybe learning some different processes as well while making this bag. We've kind of put this collection together. All the collections make great gift ideas. So if you're thinking it's a nice thing to have, and then maybe someone might want an apron, a cushion, a bag, mm. you know, you've got those patterns to hand to make up depending on who you're gifting Fab. for. Yeah, gorgeous. Next up, you've got the Sally Shopper. I'm just going to run through these a little quickly because we'll have a proper look at these at 12 o'clock. You've got the Sally Shopper bag. You might want to go on pre-order though and just get these in advance. You've got your Beach Hut door stops. And then you've also got your nautical boat patchwork cushion. Absolutely gorgeous. You can get those as paper patterns, you can get them as USBs. But we're going to focus this hour on dressmaking. So, Tracy, yeah. what are you going to show us? So, to start with, I'm going to make the kimono that we've done wearing because it's a really quick, easy one to do. It's nice because I find it, you know, it's a flattering style, covers our upper arm. It's for these days where it's hot, you know, we don't just want to walk out in a vest top sometimes. So, you're just throwing that extra layer on, and you can wear it during the day, you can wear it in the evening, you can wear it for dog walking, it doesn't matter. It doesn't cling to your body, it's just that loose fitting shape. Um, we've increased the sizes so it now is available size 10 to size 28. So when you buy the pattern, you will get all those sizes. So, what we're going to do is cut your pattern pieces out here. Okay, this is our back panel, and then you've got a pair of front panels. So, very simple you put your two front panels like that, right sides together. Okay, let's do concentrate on this one first. So, what this seam is here is your shoulder seam. 
So we're just going to pin and stitch that. So you want like a flowy fabric, like a viscose or a lightweight jersey. You know, you could even do it in a linen if you want to. This yeah, is one of that our, would be nice. Yeah, this is one of our new linens, uh, viscose prints. And I quite like to do it in the viscose because it's so cool. Where this weather's been hot, mm. it's um, really lovely, cool thing to wear. Is viscose easy to sew, Tracy? Really easy. If you've got ever have any concerns, I mean, we have our um, website, alansewingcout.com, is full of blogs and we've done blogs to help everybody sew because if you haven't sewn before I know that it can be a bit scary when you're starting to do dressmaking but actually it's really simple to do so we've done blogs on there on how to cut fabric how to sew with viscose um, how to knit in your edges all sorts of help is there and do you just yeah get in touch if you have any questions we want you to get these patterns and enjoy them yeah yeah but I've got a regular needle in here and I'm just going to sew down that shoulder seam we've got a one centimeter seam allowance nice and easy I'm just gonna. I'm gonna do it on a large stitch length. Um, oh, you yes. do a longer stitch length. Well, I'm doing that just for the demonstration. Oh, okay. Just to make it a bit quicker and easier for everyone to see. Um, you yeah. are the queen of quick sewing, Tracy. <laughs> I've seen you many times before now, creating a whole outfit literally in like half an hour. Well, You're amazing. I am that person going. What am I going to wear tonight? Oh, <gasps> quickly need to make really some. Really do because a lot of my patterns you could make in an afternoon and wear in that evening. Oh, absolutely. Couldn't you? We used to teach Jesus classes. I mean, this would be a really nice dressmaking course that you've got here we would do this in like a six-week course so there were things that we would teach just like a half-day class to yeah. show people um we would do this as a complete beginner because there's no fiddly bits to it right so sometimes it's easier for a beginner to start somewhere like this than to do the smaller fiddly sort of soft toy things that we do this yeah. is very easy and quick to do so now i'm going to do the underarm seam so this is a seam that runs from here down so i've done this seam and now i'm just doing this one down here love the fact that the sleeves are actually part of the body of the kimono so you're not having to set in sleeves it's not extra pieces to cut out no and it just drapes then as well and that's mm. what we want that nice flattering drape and i find you know the high street and the catwalks we've seen full of kind of kimono jackets haven't we for sure um, and it's because they're easy to wear and they suit all shapes and sizes and all ages you know we've had teenagers you know make these up and then we've had you know the older generation make them as well i think it is flattering for all mm. sizes and all ages like and you say it kind of drapes without clinging yeah and sort of you know those outfits that kind of no. stick to the bits that we'd rather they didn't stick to no, we don't and it just that. kind of flows over your body nice little cover up as well if the maybe cooler evenings yeah exactly and right through you know even even it's something that you would wear at christmas mm. you know or or an evening there's no reason why you couldn't put this in a nice sequin fabric for christmas yeah so i'm just going to whiz down the side here uh, and then i can show you another version so yeah just a regular straight stitch a regular one centimeter seam allowance mm -hmm. and you're using the brother fs250 i am which ah. we'll be showing later on won't we, we will indeed we will we'll indeed um, yeah just to give you an idea so this is one so this would be one that i wear for kind of the evening you know much more evening so you let the fabric do the talking you've got a very simple style oh, that's fabulous and then you can just let the fabric drape and enjoy it the one behind me here this is the same style exactly the same style but again in this lovely fabric that's got a bit of gold so it depends whether you're going day or evening mm -hmm. you can take the style and really work really with fantastic so i'm going um, to repeat the same on the other side okay so bear with me while i do that yeah well while you do that jacqueline's just sent a message through on facebook saying how do i order so this might be a pertinent time just to remind you all how you can shop with us um, so what you need to do first and foremost you can either go to our website and order through the website or you can access our UK based um, telephone sales team um, you can do either of those so let me show you first of all here's our website www.sewingstreet.com or you can ring that number 0800 001 4433 our sales team are absolutely fantastic they're there to answer any questions you might have too um, they are really really helpful now then if you go to our website when you get there it's really easy to navigate uh, you'll see two columns um, show deals and pre-order anything that's already been on TV that day will be on show deals anything that's still to come up in later shows will be on pre-order so if you're watching it right now and it's on screen it will be there on there it is there's your two columns today's show deals and pre-order so um, you can just scroll down and you'll be able to find those owl and sewing cap patterns 
the USBs, the pattern bundles, easy peasy. But remember, if you ever need to speak to a human being, just ring our call centre, they're fab, 0800 001 4433. Tracy, you're on your yes. second one, yeah? I'm on the set. <laughs> not, not quite, not quite, but nearly. So You've I'm... got a reputation, Tracy, it's fair to say. <laughs> So yeah, we are doing quick and easy dressmaking. There mm. are no darts, there are no zips, they're just simple styles that are going to flatter and suit all shapes and sizes. And they're also things that I find don't go out of fashion. I've had these kimonos in different variations over the years and mm. I still use this pattern over and over again. Yeah. Um, so I'm just doing a straight stitch, regular needle, I'm using the viscose fabric and just doing straight one centimetre seam allowance. You will obviously want to neaten the seam allowance here, you know, as with everything you know it's good to need to know if mm -hmm. you've got an overlocker then brilliant you can overlock that overlock the edges if you've got um, something like the bottom machine that we're working on here the 250 there's an overlocking stitch hopefully we'll get a chance to show you at 12 o'clock um, but yeah there's a really nice stitch on there that you can use in fact most machines do have an overlocking stitch or overcasting stitch when you're sewing viscose do you mm. straight stitch is fine you don't need to use a stretch stitch or no because it doesn't it's got no stretch oh it's just okay. floaty it's ah, just okay. floaty fabric okay. oh gosh it's lovely so i haven't done the hemming but just to give you an idea of what it looks like in that fabric so it's a little so bit lovely. different so yeah you can make an outfit so quickly and so easily um and each one is going to look different depending on the yeah. fabric you're going to do so just to show you so you do the neatening and the other bit you've got to do is the hemming all round oops excuse me <laughs> um so to do the hem you're just going to fold your fabric under and under again and machine it so just take it like this fold it under by a centimeter and then fold it under by another centimeter you would press that all round first and be very careful where you've got a slightly curved edge here so it is going to take just a small little bit all the way around and just press it as you go and then when that's pressed you're just going to do your normal hemming stitch around that it does show you in the instructions how to do it there are photographs as well it really is very very basic instructions we take it right from the start from how to um what pieces you need to cut out but as you've seen it's simple there's two pattern pieces to this one brilliant and, and online alanandsewingcat.com will answer all your questions too so fold it under and under like that and just machine hem it round and your kimono would then be finished <laughs> now um tracy's asked um tracy uh, can you print individual sizes off on the usb yes you can print whatever sizes you want so the sizes go 10 because these aren't structured fitted garments um, which is what I like because I do find sizes can vary from time to yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so we've got size 10 to 12 and then it goes 14 to 16, 18 to 20, 22 to 24 and then 26 to 28. So two sizes within one. So yes, you can print off whatever size you want. With the USB, you can print it as many times as you want. So you can print the size 10, then you might want to print a size 14 if you're making it for friends, making pajama trousers. You don't need to cut up your original pattern. That's really cool. You can cool. just print it as many times as That's you want. That's really cool. I was wondering that myself actually. Thanks for that question, Tracy. That was a really good question to ask. So um, unlike a regular printed pattern where it's all the sizes and you cut around the size you want, you just print the size you want if you go for the USB. Yeah. Brilliant, brilliant. Um, Anne asks, hi, student Tracy. Do Owl and Sewing Cat do a pattern for the white camisole top you're wearing, Tracy? Thanks. And if oh, not, why not, Tracy? Not yet, but bear with me. <laughs> Let me try. <laughs> it is a lovely shape, though. <laughs> really Thank lovely. You. Will you do a pattern? Oh, I will try. Yes. Thank you. Yes, Good. I will add it to Excellent. my list. We've got lots that we're working on. You know, I ask. I ask. I'm, I'm, I'm here for you. <laughs> Let me just go through the patterns in the bundle just to show you what you could get. Now, first of all, I'm going to show you this is the um, let's go USB first. So this is the USB version of the dressmaking bundle. So you're getting the pattern for the summer kimono top. You also get the pattern for the pleated neck tunic uh, or top. And again, all in sizes 10 to 28. You get the Ava tunic pattern. That's a longer length, almost sort of dress length. You get the Mila trouser pattern. Again, all in sizes 10 to 28. And then you also get the box tote bag pattern completely for free. So inside the box, you've got your USB. This is your storage. This is it, okay, on your shelf in your sewing room. 
fabulous. You can print off every one of the patterns just the size that you want. You can print it off as many times as you like. If you want to print two copies of the instructions, so you can have a copy of the instructions in front of you and then my brain's trust is Charlie, so I'd hand him the pattern, so I'd be saying, okay, what do I do next? And he can read that. You can do all of these things with a USB for $38.99. You're getting five patterns, four dressmaking plus a bag pattern. Absolutely amazing. Now, if you prefer, you can get the individual printed patterns in a bundle. So you've got your, this is $49.99. So you've got your freebie, your box tote bag pattern. Then you've got your Mila trousers. You've got your Ava tunic. Love that, Tracy. Uh, you've got your pleated neck tunic top. And then you've also got your summer kimono. All printed full size, really high quality paper as well. So you cut out the pattern size that you want. You've got your full instructions there as well. Tracy, you're transformed. Just what are you wearing? Well, I think it's quite nice. I'm not, not the best model, sorry, but it's, it's nice to are. see the things on. So this is the Ava tunic. This is the new one that we were looking at earlier. So I wear it, it's a long one, so you can wear it as a dress. Again, if you want to cut it off and have it shorter, you know, maybe in the winter I might put, you know, might put a pair of jeans under it and wear it like that. Or even a long sleeve top I could wear underneath neath this too. But while this hot weather's been here, I've lived in these. So it's the same version that you see, whoops, the other side of me, mm -hmm. this one here. Okay, so it looks very, very different um, in the different fabrics again. So this one's in a cotton lawn, so you could do it in that. Or this one is in viscose, which hangs and flows. Tracy, how do you do the, the tie belt? Do you get the pattern for a tie belt? comes with the yeah, oh, comes awesome. with a pattern for a tie wow. belt. It comes with pockets as well. It's up to you. So this one I haven't got pockets in I'm wearing, but this one here I've put the pockets. So I'm including in the pattern yet. You're going to get, again, all the sizes. You get the belt, you get the, um, and, and it comes with pockets too. So a nice, easy one um, to make. Got a different neckline on this one, but quite flattering, I think, as well. Mm. Um, but yeah, I'm just looking for styles while the weather's like this that we can throw on and make it look like we've made an effort. I would wear this again, even just for a dog walk. I would wear it out for lunch. I wore it out for dinner the other day. So, you know, I can really think it's something that you can just have as an everyday thing in your wardrobe. These are really good wardrobe staples. See, so yeah, I wanted to show you that one. And then I was going to do a little demonstration on the trousers. Fab. Yeah. So just to recap again, the trousers are like this. Okay. So you've got nice pockets at the top. Okay. Nice floaty trousers, not too wide though. These ones here I've elasticated in. Um, it's up to you whether you do that or you could do it as the other pair without that and then you've just got a basic, you know, tailored trouser. These, but with an elasticated waist, which I love an elasticated waist these days. Um, so yeah, these would be your more tailored ones, uh, more going out daytime and these are just more fun ones. Um, great for pyjamas as well and shorts, as Stuart was saying earlier. So I'm going to show you just how we kind of made it. Obviously the trousers take a little bit longer, but we can do a few of the steps on that. So to do the pocket, which would be your first piece, you're going to take your pocket piece, you'd have two of those. We would cut it as a pair, so you fold your fabric in half, and that means you have a left and a right one. If you're not sure, haven't cut before, don't worry, just look at the blog on amazoncat.com. We will take you through every step, don't worry. You're going to fold that in half, and then you're going to press it down there. Okay, so that's our pocket bag, basically. And I'm going to stitch this bottom edge here. So just pop that under the machine. Stitch along one centimeter seam allowance on all of these to keep it nice and simple. We don't need a big seam allowance that's going to feel uncomfortable when you're wearing because we're not putting zips in anything and we're not putting darts. And again, these are styles that we see everywhere at the moment because mm. they're very on trend and suit all ages. Flattering, easy to wear. Exactly, that's what yeah. we want. But and elasticated so I can eat cake and not worry about Gorgeous. it. Gorgeous. Don't want to feel uncomfortable. Right, so then we've got a front and a back leg. Okay, what's important is that you make sure you've got the right panel. Obviously, when they're printed, it may, it, it's all it's on there. Front, back leg, and tells you how many is cut. So you'll see your back is always bigger on your trousers. That's to cover our bottoms. <laughs> and this is our front one, and you'll see we've got this little cut out here, which is where our pocket goes. So I'm going to take my pocket piece like this, and I'm going to line up those two diagonal lines like that some pins in and stitch down it make sure it doesn't stretch if it does stretch a bit just give it a nice press afterwards I'm cheating and not pressing today but obviously um, when you make them at home do stop and press and it will tell you in the instructions where to press mm -hmm. 
So I'm going to stitch just that line again, one centimetre seam allowance, nice and simple, keep it the same for everything. Now Jacqueline's asked, if I buy the printed versions, are they paper patterns? Well, the good news is absolutely yes. Really high quality paper patterns. So not the flimsy tissue paper that we're used to from a lot of the sort of mass market patterns. This is heavy duty, would you call it cartridge paper or yeah, not? I yeah, so. it's yeah, that because kind I really of... want people to use them over and over again. And the tissue yeah. paper, you find they use it once and it all gets so messed up. So well, yeah, you nice said exactly duty. right. You know, when you try and fold it up and put it back in the, it never goes in. It looks a mess. You think, ooh, I don't want to use that again. And you use it once and then you never touch it. Exactly. So that's why we put it all in those nice gusted envelopes because then even when it's cut out, they'll fit back in the envelope. The yep. instructions on the front, and you can see, exactly. and you've got a really nice library of patterns. That you'll yeah. be building up because that's what we want isn't it we want the resources there that we can just flick through and go right i've got the time i've got some fabric what should i make and absolutely if you've got a nice collection of fabric of yeah. patterns you can just flick through them easily whether you're doing it like that or whether you're doing it with the usb you can flick through them have a look at your collection and see when you're going shopping if you're going to the festival of quilts or you're seeing some fabric on the show here you've got all your patterns kind of lined up and you can just flick through rather than having a big bit of a mess which sometimes yeah. happens now i just need to let you know at home that there are way more of these bundles in baskets than we have um, we don't like disappointing customers but some of you are going to miss out so i urge you check out your baskets so on both the paper patterns pre-printed paper patterns and on the usb um, you do need to check out your baskets otherwise you're going to miss out i'm afraid tracy you're too popular <laughs> Naughty. Oh, well, it's a new and exclusive collection, so they can't buy the collection anywhere else, only on here. Yeah. And this is the first time we've launched it. So. Fab. So I've just done that seam here. So you would normally press that at home. And then what we're going to do is fold that pocket back into position because it's position. So it's going to sit like this. Now to hold it in place, so you would have pressed it, but I'm also going to do one line of top stitching to hold that too. Fab. So what a lovely message from Julie. Julie says, if you haven't made a garment in decades like me, these patterns are an encouragement to start again and succeed that and must be music serious Tracy it, it really is and you know my mum if you're watching hi mum she's you know dabbled in and out over the years you know she used to do a lot and then hasn't for a long time and then suddenly made these the other day and that was it she's addicted she's like yeah. what else can I make it and what yeah. other fabrics have you got oh I might make it she made the trousers into shorts because she said I just find it hard and I agree on the high street it's so hard to find a nice comfortable pair of trousers mm. that we can wear we don't want to wear jeans all the time when it's no. hot and and it's it gets harder you know the high street isn't what it is um so when you make it yourself you have these standard patterns mm. that you know flatter and suit your style your your shape and then you can make them over and over again make them look so different and enjoy the process yeah. and it's lovely when someone says oh i like your dress i like your top yeah went out friday night oh i love your dress i oh, thank you very much yeah. for that, actually i'm busy myself it's really lovely empowering thing to do it is it's beautiful and although you use a lot of patterned fabrics every single one of your styles would also look absolutely beautiful done in a solid in a plain they would yeah that kimono top can you imagine that in just a, a solid black would yep. be so beautiful so chic and smart or in like a, a bright pop of color maybe like a hot pink or a red you know if you love color but also just done in cream in tan in navy in black these are just staples that you will wear again and again and again and not just this year but for years to come absolutely and they think well i'm if we're going away even just for a weekend or you're traveling you know they just fold up into nothing yeah. these all came in a tiny little bag today take them out shake them a bit of a press and then you're ready to go and so i can put all my shoes in your suitcase then <laughs> awesome <laughs> well it saves more room in your suitcase for shopping that's what i always think <laughs> <laughs> yeah true enough and if you're going for the usb version i'm yeah. just picking up on a question from jacqueline um if you go for the usb version just remind us what kind of printer what kind of paper what kind of ink do we need anything special nothing special at all you could even be recycling your paper for it it doesn't matter it's 
it's up to you. Some people like to color code it even. You could go, right, all my trousers, I'm gonna print in pink, or all the size tens, I'm gonna pink in print in green paper, whatever you want. It really doesn't. I use the cheapest paper. A4. A4, any A4 printer will print them. They don't use a lot of ink because it's just like a dotted outline and lots of pages, you know, particularly when we do the bigger sizes, you will have some blank pages in there as well that you have to put in so that we can get back to that big sheet. Yeah. But the whole point is you can have it store it nice and easily at home like this and then go do you know what i've just bought this lovely fabric what have i got and you can just flick through the little guide on there or this is the craft one so if you're thinking of buying presents or doing some charity work mm -hmm. all of these are great little things that you can you can do and then you ah. just print them off on your normal printer now i've got to tell you the usb we've got one left how many in baskets oh <laughs> 19 in baskets okay one left 19 in baskets however what we do have and thank you for this tracy <laughs> is the possibility of extended dispatch so there's one left which you'll get and that will be dispatched straight away after the show however we can do extended extended dispatch so once this is sold out if you go for this code instead you can still buy the usb but it will be on extended dispatch and it'll be dispatched within about 10 days all right but there is one excuse me one left at the moment <laughs> but of course we've got the printed patterns as well haven't we and you can buy them individually so if there's any particular one that you want you can pick that up individually as well so what i've done on here is i've just pinned that pocket back into place so that was the piece that we folded over it's now you can check on the back and it's now laying flat so we can now see that we've got our front panel done i'm going to take the back panel i'm going to put the two right sides together as we do and I'm going to pin this and stitch all the way down so this is going to be the outside leg do make sure that you're always working on a pair um, very very simple to do that you've got one every pattern piece is labeled for you and you'll soon see because they won't marry up so we're going to do that you would take a bit more time at home and put a few more pins in here and again neaten the edges depending on what machine you're doing it on or if you're doing it on an overlocker whatever suits you for your your purpose Tracy, can I ask yes. a quick question? Yeah, go for it. If you were petite or if you were taller, yep. how easy, how would you adapt, for example, the Mila trouser pattern? Very, very easy. Okay. So trousers, obviously, we're all different heights and we all wear our trousers at different heights, you know, and I found that people, when people have been making these, in fact, when I made the samples, it varies, depends on the season and the fabric that I'm making them in as to what length I want. So with the trousers, and it is written in the instructions, we get as far as putting the elasticated waist on and then we always say to pop those trousers on put it with the shoes that you're going to be wearing it with as well and then you can get those trousers the perfect length for you so decide what length you want you might want them cropped you might want them long you might want them floaty you might want them a, you know just just have a look we've done them i'm five uh, seven and we've done them so they're long on me so they are going to cover most people but you can just measure the length just yeah. have a quick check for yourself something like the tunic top that i'm wearing again everyone's going to want it different lengths it's really easy just extend it down if you don't want to change it's got a slight curved hem on it if you don't want to do that a good trick is just to a few inches up and where it's straight just draw a line cut through that line and then just insert a piece of paper behind it, it could be anything old wallpaper is great for doing it if you're buying the printed patterns or you will have the scrap piece from the side of it insert that in say you want to add two inches and then tape it in and then you can use that as your length but yes you will then be able to make these and tailor these to your exact that's yeah, brilliant length that you want that's brilliant thank you and also just to let you know the trouser pattern on its own has sold out and i haven't mentioned and i do apologize that you can get any of these patterns individually have a look on the website um the kimono top the pleated neck tunic the ava tunic as well the trousers have sold out um the, you can't buy the individual patterns on USB, only the bundle. But if you want the paper pattern for the Ava tunic, the summer kimono, or the pleated neck uh, tunic top, just pop onto the website. Uh, Price-wise, individually, these patterns are $13.99. So brilliant price. As I say, I am very used now, Tracy, mm. to paying $17.99, 20 yeah. pounds for an independent pattern. Yeah, I know we, you know, price increases and whatever, but I really do want, we've done all the work in doing the design. I want people to be able to make them and use them as many times. So all the time we can keep at this price, we're really going to, um, but without compromising, we don't want, you know, we like that really heavy paper. We like the packaging. Mm. 
in between, I'll have a chat upstairs and see if we can add a bit more stuff for later or maybe. So Thank if you, you can't get hold of them now, maybe pop up. But when Tracy well. Dennis has a word, it just <laughs> happens. Let me tell you. Now, Tracy, may I ask you, angel policy, if I make and sell, is that allowed? We allow you to make and sell for charity. So yep. if you're doing it, because obviously, I you know, appreciate that we're bringing the patterns to you at the lowest prices that we yeah. possibly can. So in order to do that, we're hoping that you will, if you make it for charity, we love that. And the craft collection that we brought to you today, they are perfect because lots of them don't don't take a lot of fabric. Aprons, everyone loves an apron. It's a reversible one. You can make it for Christmas. You can make it for mm. Father's Day, for barbecues. Um, the patchwork cushions don't, again, take a lot of fabric. So when mm -hmm. you're making for charity, that's a really good thing to kind of kind of bear in mind. So yeah, for any of those, you can make for charity. Perfect. Thank you very much indeed. Um, Laurie asks, hi, Tracy, how many hi. meters of fabric do I need for the kimono? Um, I can shop at Festival of Quilts. Oh. I need an excuse to spend my <laughs> money. I know how you feel. So you want 1.8 metres of fabric when you do that. So, you know, a couple of metres. Um, do you say hi at Festival of Quilts? Stuart, you'll be there, won't you? I'll be there, you'll Stuart's be there. there. I'm going to be there on the brother stand. Stuart's got his own stand. So it's going to be a bit of a party, isn't it? It really so, is. Um, so, yeah, come and say hi. Um, yeah, so 1.8. 1, 1 um, all, the all the patterns, when you buy them, on the front cover that as Stuart was showing earlier, it does tell you all the things that you're going to need for that pattern so that you can then if you're doing it over and over again you'll know keep a note on your phone maybe as well if you're going out and about take a photograph of them um or take your usb with you or whatever and then you then you're always going to know because the craft ones some of those you know need strapping they might need clips they might need zips um dressmaking is a bit is a bit easier the kimono yeah. all you need is 1.8 meters fabric. you don't need yeah. anything else trousers um i'd say two and a half but if you're if you're still one of the smaller sizes, you might be able to get it out of the width of the fabric, yeah. depending on the width that you're buying. And then you're gonna need some one inch wide elastic. The uh, This one here, you just need a little bit of interface in here, lightweight interface, and other than that, it's just the fabric. So again, a couple of meters, and the same here. If I pull this one up, you might be able to see it has a oh, contrast nice. band yeah, yeah, on the I bottom like if you want to do that. Or you can have it just as a short one. And this one, we've marked it on the pattern as well. So you decide whether you want it short or long. If we get a chance, I'll pop one on later on. Really like that. So, going when back you to When you go sort of like speculative shopping, because you might buy a little bit of fabric while you're a at little, festival, might, might buy you? buy a little bit of fabric, um, yes. What would you, because I think this is a really good tip from a professional, if you're speculatively <laughs> buying fabric, yes. what's your sort of sweet spot amount that you would buy? A couple of metres. Two metres. Yeah, two metres. If you think in trousers, go two and a half, because you basically want twice the length of your leg. Right. Okay, plus you've got the pockets on this one. Two and a half of trousers, two metres will normally do, yeah. you know, kind of a top, yes. But awesome. I'm sure I will have bags full of fabric. When I'm, I'm a terrible encourager, aren't I? <laughs> Sorry. But I think that, you know, you go and you think, oh, well, how much fabric should I buy? But that's brill. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, exactly. And we've always got guides on our website as well. And some of these fabrics, this black and white one here, we have on our website too. So what we've done is we've done the outside seam that I said earlier where the pocket was. Now I've pulled the other leg pulled it over so these other seams are together so this is our inside leg seam now they obviously don't line up you know, if you're used to doing craft projects or particularly patchwork everything's flat you put one on top of the other and they line up and they're flat because we're making flat things we're dressmaking we're trying to fit a human form so the back of our trouser leg is going to be bigger than the front because we have to accommodate our bottoms so don't <laughs> worry that it's not laying flat just pull that seam over so that it marries up here and this is the overlap from the back seam and then I'm going to stitch just down here, okay, and this will make one leg. You use one centimetre seam allowance on one all your patterns? One centimetre seam allowance, yeah, and again, it is stated on the instructions. All of the patterns are kind of tested, and they're written very, very um, simply. That's why people tend to um, really like our patterns. I spent a lot of time teaching, and I know how intimidating it can be. Some of these commercial patterns, and they make it very, very difficult for, for a beginner, or quite scary even if you're going back to it, to... Um, to use there's no difficult notches on here i don't do anything like that i make it very very easy it's what we like in. yeah well, it can easy be quite and daunting. cheap exactly so do that cut that one off so that's one leg and then i did actually whiz up another leg earlier so you I've did got one made already <laughs> just so you don't have to keep seeing the same thing <laughs> So, one I made earlier, exactly the same as that. You would neaten all these edges, the instruction will tell you when to neaten it. So we've got two legs, a left and a right. If I lay them like that, we can see that they are different. Left and a right. I'm gonna turn one the right way around, like that. 
and I'm actually going to put this one inside this leg here, okay, pulling it down to the bottom. So we've got one leg completely inside the other one, mm -hmm. and that way our right sides are together. And then I just need to find the underneath seam, and we can line those seams up. So basically this is the crutch seam that runs and mm -hmm. joins the two legs together. So get your seams in line and put one pin to line up your seams i like to have the seam so i've got one seam allowance going one way one going the other and then put a pin directly in the middle and that'll line those up and do that and then i'm going to whiz this up quick question for you while yeah. you're pinning tracy leslie asks what would be the best fabric mm -hmm. for the ava tunic dress pattern um it really depends the so the one that i've got now is a viscose the one that i'm wearing the one behind is a cotton lawn, okay, so a nice fine one. Nice. But, you know, I'd probably put this in even a jersey going into winter. You know, yep. I will have something thicker for the winter months, and I'll just wear a long sleeve or three-quarter length sleeve top underneath it. So it really is kind of up to your preference. You want something that floats. I find this one was so cool last week when it was mm. really hot. I could just throw this on in. The, I don't have to think about it. Mm. Take out the wardrobe, throw it on. I think it looks like I made a bit of an effort, but I haven't really. Mm, <laughs> you know, rather than that. things that cling, you know, we don't really want jersey, clingy jersey too much in the hot days. No. Um, could you make it in like a linen union or yeah, something like that? Yeah, you could. That? that would be nice. Yeah, mm. it'd be really nice. Or even those double gauzes that are around. Yeah. Um, yeah, you just want something that that flatters and falls. You know, I like to cover my upper arms, so mm -hmm. I find this nice. I don't want to expose too much, but I want to feel cool. So that's why I've done the V-neck, just to keep it like that. Yeah. The hem on the bottom curves up slightly. So I wear it as a dress. Um, and again, you can make it longer if you wanted to. But I would even make this in a fine fabric and have it as a throw over. If you're lucky enough to be going on a holiday, sitting by the pool. Oh, almost like a sheer yeah. cover up. Yeah, 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 I like you that. You could do that too. I'm just gonna really mix. like that. Around there. So again, one centimetre seam allowance and then neaten this seam. You would afterwards put the waistband on. We won't do that today, but it's all in the instructions showing you how to do it. And it's very simple. And the nice thing is it's got an elasticated waist, but it's going to, you're going to cut the elastic to the size of you. You're actually going to measure it on yourself yeah. and make sure that it fits you so that it's comfortable. You want it tight enough, obviously, that the, that it feels okay, but you want some space that we can eat dessert and not Ooh, after feel after a Sunday dinner. It's exactly. what you want, isn't it, an elasticated exactly. waist? Can I ask Tracy, if yes. you're going to do the elasticated leg, Yes. Trouser. Yeah. Easy process. Easy process. So on all of the trousers, we've kept it the same process. So for the hem, you're going to fold it under one centimetre, and then you're going to fold it under by three centimetres, and that's the allowance that we've put on this pattern and stitch it that way because it gives a bit of weight to the trousers anyway, even if you're not putting the elastic in. But if you want to put the elastic in, so you would do the exact same thing. So you fold one centimetre and then a further three centimetres and press that and you would stitch all the way around. But with the elastic, you're just going to leave a small opening, like an inch here, a couple of centimetres, and then you thread your elastic through, pull it through and stitch it exactly the same as you would on the waistband. And there are photographs on the instructions showing you how to do that. And that just gathers that in and just, as we've seen earlier, just gives you that nice little cuff on the bottom, mm. all right? Check the length first, because everyone's different and depends what shoes you're gonna wear, or keep it as the more tailored trousers I've done here. So this is like in a linen fabric. This is the kind of thing that I'd wear to, you know, if you're going to the office in this hot weather and you want something. But you could make this in the winter, make it into, be nice for traveling again. You could put it in wool fab in um, a wool jersey fabric would be nice. Mm. Yeah. Gabardine or something like that. Where do you find all your lovely fabrics? Um, <laughs> El uh, Ellen's asked as well. Yeah. Things all, like this. I know, it's all over the place. So it's available on our website. So all of these all yeah. that we have, yeah. So we source them. It's really hard these days. It's hard to get nice fabrics at decent prices yeah, yeah, as well. Yeah. So it is a bit of a process. So I work with the design process and the finding the fabrics at the same time. Sometimes the design comes to me first. Sometimes I see a fabric and I'm like, I'm just going to buy it. I'm just yeah. going to see. Um, I'll find something. Well, it's nice to, to know you like the rest of us. Oh, yeah, we all are, aren't we? <laughs> exactly. We're all the same. Um, so yeah, that will then basically make your trousers. You do the hem in. Well, I would do the waistband first because then you can try it on. Okay, so you would do the waistband. So I sewed it all inside out and then just pulled it through. Okay, Tracy, you're the only you person I know who can make a kimono top <laughs> and a pair of trousers, and we've still got about six minutes I've to go. I've got an apron to make as well. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> Amazing, but also as well, it just gives us all hope 
doesn't it? You know, because if we're time poor, if we don't feel like we've got the skills, I think what Tracy demonstrates in buckets is that these are simple skills, these are basic skills, it's about following the instructions and if you ever need the sort of like extra tutorial or that blog post just to kind of fill you in or flesh out your knowledge, just go to their website and you can do that too. But really straightforward, easy patterns to make. Now, there is that one USB hanging on. If you want to get the USB, <coughs> you haven't missed it. You haven't missed it. If you want this, there is one left. We've got extended dispatch available as well. It's a different product code, but if you, if you want this. Now, Anne's just asked, is the USB idiot proof, meaning I can't defeat anything or delete? can't delete anything so you can't delete the information accidentally can you no you can't and if you ever had any problems like that just get in touch we are here there's me and Emma which is a tiny small business we love doing it we love seeing what you've made so send us photos if you've got any questions just email us in just pop us an email yeah. not, never a problem but it's not like a, a USB that I might save my own thing on that I can no. delete stuff off no 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 you this on and protected it and, and they're all engraved they're actually engraved with alan sewing cat they've got the collection number on there so this is the new one collection 11 we've actually got all the way one to 11 so we're bringing you different ones all the time and um, because i know lots of you are collecting it as though you would a course basically it's like this is like having your own dressmaking course that would cost you hundreds of pounds wouldn't it yeah, to yeah. come out with all these things plus you're getting the free bag so yeah keep hold of them so they're engraved and just build up your collection fantastic your, your so idiot proof Yes. Is it proof? Yes, 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 because <laughs> I'm not very good technically, so <laughs> we've made it simpler. So, far. so I've just popped on the pleat neck tunic just to show you. So this is the one that I've made. We saw it earlier with the band, but this is the top version that I've made. Again, it's my alternative to a t-shirt. T-shirts, I find in this hot weather, they can get very clingy, but even so, it's really hard to find a nice fit that suits me, I find, with a t-shirt. I find it a bit difficult. So I've done this. Again, covers the upper arms, but it's really simple. A bit like the kimono, you do the sleeve here, the seam here. Then you do the underarm seam, mm -hmm. hem the bottom and the sleeves the same way, and then you've got this neck binding. So the pleats just fold. We've got four pleats that fold into place, and then we put the binding on. But the binding's done very simply. You can even stitch at one side, hand stitch at the other if you want to, or you can machine stitch at the other side. We've done a bit of both on them. Um, yeah, so it's a nice alternative that to a t-shirt you could wear it with jeans yeah you could wear a big wide palazzo pants i'd wear it to a wedding i you know i think you can dress yeah, it yeah, up yeah. or dress it down just it's just so versatile kind of and i love the fact as well that you've got that longer length version with the band around the bottom which is really flattering um you could wear that with something like leggings couldn't exactly, you exactly yeah which mm. i have done yeah you mm. can even have it as a dress you know if you've got yeah, great yeah. legs i haven't but if you have you know you could wear that as a dress um but yeah as a top so we're talking about things that are versatile these are patterns that you will have for ages that yeah. you will hopefully yeah. make lots of different ones you like you're saying put this in the one that i'm wearing now put that in a classic black and you'd wear that in everything wouldn't of course you? you would. i mean it's just throw it on it's cool it doesn't yeah. cling it doesn't stick to you in the winter maybe you go you know bright red satin for christmas or something wow, nice. you know jazz it up but things that you can make you've got two or three hours in the afternoon oh yeah can we have a christmas capsule collection yeah, please sure. That's a good yeah idea. That yeah would be so okay we'll do it, that and i've no doubt you've already got loads of lovely christmas craft patterns <laughs> we have and we're coming back and next i think it's the next show maybe the one after is going to be our christmas special so oh, we've got yes when a is new that collection. when oh, are you in next i can't remember the date sorry oh, oh my head's a bit of a mess at the moment well, i'll just make sure i'm month, here basically. every day until then <laughs> If you look on our website, we'll we'll keep you up to date. We always put it or follow us on social media, so owlandsewingcat.com, and we've always got the dates up there for you. Fantastic. Tracy, you're a whirlwind. <laughs> Absolutely wonderful. Thank you so much you. for all the demos, all the tips, and all that inspiration as well. Uh, we're going to go to a little break. When we come back, Kerry from Living and Loveliness is back with some beautiful new projects. I'll see you in just a few minutes. Hi everyone, I'm Eval Makatamne. I'm a patchwork and quilter. And what do I do the rest of the time? The rest of the time, I actually own and try and manage village fabrics in the town of Wallingford. How did I start my sewing journey? Well, I've been sewing since as long as I can remember. I started out dressmaking with uh, my mum and my big sisters. And since then, I've tried my hand at most things. 
and have finally ended up with patchwork and quilting. And I think that's probably due to one of Elna Burns' Quilt in a Day books. Let me assure you, you don't make a quilt in a day. But it's been a passion of mine for the last 25 years and I'm still at it, so there's hope for us all. So what do I enjoy sewing? Well, I like to do a bit of most things, to be honest, but my favourite thing is anything to do with my Japanese fabrics. So as you can see, we've moved to a different part of the shop and here we are in another of my favourite corners. And I really enjoy combining the lovely Japanese fabrics with some hand stitching and um, hand quilting. So I've moved to the permanent Christmas room at my shop here and as you hopefully can tell this is quite a large shop here so most of my time is uh, involved in keeping this running successfully so i don't really have a lot of time for claims to fame so what i suppose i could say um is that my claim to fame is actually managing to manage john scott um i'm sure he'll take that the way it's meant so um Love you lots, John. My top tip is that children's colouring in books are a really valuable resource whenever you're crafting. You've got nice, clear outlines that can become templates for your applique work, or you can transfer them and use them as quilting patterns. I can't draw, but I can create lots of things using bits and pieces from things like children's colouring in books. Give it a try. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Hello my friends, welcome back to Sewing Street. I'm Stuart Hillard. It's great to have your company. We've got another fabulous hour with the marvellous Kerry from We're Living back. in Lovely. <laughs> You're back with a bang. How are you? I'm very well. How was your hour? It was lovely. I found the hobnobs, but I felt bad, so I didn't open the pack because oh. I wouldn't, I would have eaten them all. You I just think. looked at them. I looked at them. 
and marched on the spot. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> That's oh. what I should have done, but I didn't. I just Kerry, looked at them and Kerry, you've brought <laughs> us the most incredible quilt. Look at this. <laughs> this is crowned with love. Tell me about the quilt. So the quilt was originally launched earlier in the year, the design, mm -hmm. um, and it was designed for the Jubilee. So mm -hmm. we've had it on previously in Platinums. Um, and I just felt it was time to bring it back with some summertime fabrics. Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. Those yellows, those jade greens, that little bit of blue and pink in there. It's like a summer meadow in quilt form. It is really pretty. It's a lovely summary. And I really love as well the way you've kind of um, taken our eye off the block and you've actually made it look like it's a, an octagonal block with these really clever corner triangles that totally change the look. I feel like I should have just recorded that so that could be the write-up for the pattern. <laughs> I keep getting asked you to can do have that. that. You can have <laughs> I'm going to have to watch it back now. You can have it for nothing. <laughs> no, it's just a really, really beautiful design. Thank you. And level-wise, who can make this quilt? Beginners. Absolutely brilliant. I love it. What beautiful colours. Imagine that on your bed, on the spare bed. It's absolutely beautiful those fabrics are just sensational now let me grab out the kit oh lots of loveliness in here we've got let me just open this up your kits are always packaged so beautifully and there's such a lot of fabric Thank you. It's a very, he very heavy aren't they? They are very heavy. <laughs> <laughs> and I like a good weight to a kit. Me too. No, I've got plenty of fabric in there. So, of course, you've got your fabulous, super detailed, crowned with love uh, instructions to make your quilt. And, of course, those are instructions you can make again and again. You could make cushions, table runners, throw quilts, you name it. And then you've got all this gorgeous fabric. And I did wonder to carry when I was looking is this liberty it is and it is is it all liberty um the white on white yep. is um not the liberty right. but the rest is all, all of those fabrics all liberty how beautiful is this look at that gorgeous floral that is so pretty that's a summer meadow isn't it and I you know I don't want the heat to continue thank you oh, but I don't like to say that well not not so extreme though I like to be able to sleep at night Kerry but I want <laughs> endless summer do you know what I mean I do In the bedroom, I, I want the heat I want endless summer you, you want, want the heat I want the heat well no I just I, I want the, the flowers and I want that gorgeous summery feeling so of course this would work all year round and of course if you've got you know, like many of us, kind of white bedding, and that sort of neutral bedroom. This is going to look absolutely beautiful, isn't it? There's your white on white, and then look at that. But look at the design on the white on white. It's and it's so, so beautiful. beautiful. Yeah, it's so difficult to see on on air, but it's lovely kind of um, like floral bouquets on the white on white. It's really pretty. I just love white Can on white. Can you see that? I think you might be able to actually. Yeah, you, oh, I know, that's gone a bit dark. You can see that, though. That is pretty. And it works so well, actually, because when you look at the Liberty, this floral, this is one of my favourite fabrics, Kerry. I absolutely love this. The colour's this. beautiful, isn't it? Is it called it's Silhouette, Emily, Emily Silhouette? Em yeah, Emily Bell, this one. Is. Emily Bell, that's it just love that gloriously put together kit 149.99 now size wise Kerry how big is this quilt 70 by 70 70 by 70 so again a great size for a double bed quilt or a single or a twin <laughs> oh pick I'm there I'm there have we met oh I love eating outdoors just beautiful so you get all of that fabric you get your full instructions to make your crowned with love quilt it's been a very very popular design before that colorway is divine nice little message for you from Teresa who says good morning Stuart and Kerry I've got the platinum one still to make I regular regularly open the box to stare lovingly at the fabric <laughs> but can't quite make myself start cutting cut the fabric cut the fabric Cut the fabric. 
Becky Alexander France has got in touch to say, hey, hey, Kerry. <laughs> hey, hey, Becky. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely love it. Right then, so that is our quilt kit. Now we've also got, oh, go on then. As it's Festival of Quilts Week, do you know Ben, who's our producer, is so easily swayed. <laughs> Have a tenner off, 139.99 for the beautiful crowned with love quilt and what do you call this new colorway kerry i think you should name it <laughs> <laughs> because you haven't <laughs> oh i'm going to call it summer meadow summer meadow will that do that's perfect summer meadow good end of summer who wouldn't want that um now a message across the bottom beautiful quilt so tempting to make that's from charlotte <laughs> Well, it is a gorgeous quilt, isn't it? Easy piecing, large blocks, you're going to get that sense of achievement uh, and fulfilment very quickly. Now, if you would like to get the pattern on its own, we also have that available. The Crowned with Love pattern from Living in Loveliness is available. We're going to pop those details on screen. So you could make this in all kinds of different fabric, couldn't you? Oh, it looks beautiful in any colourway. But mm. I have to be honest, this is only the second colourway we've brought. So if we oh, made it? it in a different colourway, yeah. we'd love to see it. Absolutely lovely. Nine ninety nine for the full quilt kit. A quilt, a quilt pattern, sorry. Lovely. Now, make that quilt. Make the quilt. Are now. You, are you coming to oh, here we go. <laughs> here we go. I really have made a rod for my own you back, have? haven't I? I'm taking you home with me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do clothes. Oh, do I just like saying, I certainly don't do bedding. Well, my friend was helping me. I told you, didn't I? Chrissy made the quilt and she had the iron on so long. Yeah. And I said, while you're there, <laughs> would you mind doing my dress? But do you know what she said? Go on. <laughs> no. Well, actually, I say that. I was, I was around at a friend's and she was, she was very heavily pregnant and she wasn't very well with the um, pregnancy. And um, I said to her, is there anything I can do to help? And she went, oh, you couldn't iron the kids' toes for me, could you? And I went, yeah, sure. She said, it's in that cupboard. Well, you've never seen such a pile. <laughs> so I did about four hours of ironing. But, and this is weird, I absolutely loved it. Because not having kids, and also she'd got two girls. So All the little I, dresses. And, like, I don't, I don't iron children's <laughs> clothes, and I don't own iron women's clothes. So for me, ironing a pleated skirt, it was like, oh, this is a novelty. Oh, going up all these, you know. Only once, though. Only once. You know, you're saying that I've been I've done trying. It now. <laughs> I'm That's over a bit it. like my, my sister came years ago, and she said, "Will you alter the girls' trousers?" Right. And I said, "Yeah, okay then." <coughs> so she popped round. You know, I was expecting a couple of pairs. Yeah. She had the big, you know, the big, the huge bags. <laughs> Laundry bags. <laughs> Laundry bags. They got eight pairs of trousers each. She's got six girls. <laughs> and I said, "Right, <laughs> let's set the out. machine up." <laughs> So where do we start making the ground with love quilt? So very similar to the quilt that we had on in the earlier hour, mm -hmm. there are four different blocks that we're going to make. Okay. Uh, the first one, let's start with a heart actually. Oh yeah, the heart's heart. beautiful and it's nice and easy. So, so this, just to show you on the quilt, this is in the centre of the block right here. There we go, you can see that lovely heart. And of course you could pick that out with your quilting as well. Yes, maybe outline quilt, but you could actually quilt a heart right in the centre if you wanted to. If you wanted to, that's a lovely idea. You're full of lovely ideas. Lovely ideas. So, taking the two uh, main blocks into the centre from your summer meadow bundle here, we've got some little one and a half inch squares that we're just going to pop up into the corner. So the same on both sides. Mm -hmm. I love working with little tiny pieces. Do you? Yeah. I do. It's just something so satisfying. Mm. Well, especially when it's not the whole quilt as well. Yeah. You can do that little precision bit and then you can do the larger bits as well, can't you? Absolutely. I, I once like. made, it was only a table runner. It was going to be a quilt, but <laughs> then I made a block and I thought... <laughs> And there were 73 pieces and the block ones. was eight inches square, 73 pieces. Oh gosh. <laughs> so what was I thinking? That's like me, I was, I think I told you this the last time I saw you, I was going to crochet a blanket. Yes. I've got a bookmark and I'm very proud of the bookmark. I don't even read anything, so, I'm, but I'm very proud of my bookmark. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. 
<laughs> That's like my attention span for uh, crocheting. <laughs> so the first thing that we're going to do is to just <coughs> pop these into the corners. Uh, I mean, you can draw them on before or afterwards. I mm -hmm. tend to like doing this all at the same time, to be honest. Yeah. And we're just drawing point to point. And again, just use a friction pen, yeah. fabric safe pen, something like that. We're on the wrong side of the fabric, so yeah. it's absolutely fine. And then at the bottom, to create the point at the bottom of the half. Oh, big square. Big square. There we go. And again into the, you can see the heart there already. Mm, yeah, you can. But this is where the direction of the diagonal is really important. Otherwise, you yes. won't end up with a heart. You'll end up with a broken a heart. dog's face or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> But, I mean, these stitch and flip units are incredibly versatile, aren't oh, they? Oh, yeah. And I do, you know, little like the little ones, they're nice. It's it's nice to play. You said in the earlier area you like putting fabric, mm. placing them together, moving oh, yeah. them around. Um, and for me, I, I really like to get the most um, from my fabric. So, you know, these little pieces, I'm wondering where the foot's gone, <coughs> um, really do, you know, when you're playing with your shapes and designs, Oh, this is nice. Enid's got in touch. Hey, Kerry, lovely quilts, but I can't take my eyes off your cardi. Did you make it? Is there a pattern? <laughs> well, I'd like to say yes, but I just told you I couldn't even do a blanket. I did a bookmark. I could have got away with that, couldn't I? <laughs> do you know? You're I, far too honest, oh, Kerry. Oh, no, I probably could have got away with that. Um, I went shopping. I had a lovely girly day with my mum and my daughter a couple of weeks ago yeah. and I sort of wanted a cardi like this for ages. Yeah it's really cute. So my favourite colour is coral. Mm -hmm. um, so I picked it up in this colour and as I walked further into the shop they had it in coral and I was toying with the idea. So I talked myself into both colours. Of course. And then I got a little bit further and they'd got a, like a minty green one and I love a minty green. So I've got oh. Of them. I don't think I'm allowed to say where it's from. Send me an email and I'll tell <laughs> you where it's from. <laughs> oh. Now Chris has got in touch to say I have this quilt in the Jubilee colourway but I must say I love this one even more. Yes she, she, she did say actually she said can I swap? <laughs> oh and Becky Alexander Frost. Now Becky I think this is a much better name. The colours remind me of Sea Breeze. Can I change it? Not Summer Meadow. Can we call this Sea, sea Breeze? Breeze? Yes Rebecca. Yes. I Rebecca. think that's a fabulous idea. So all I'm doing is sewing along. That's the bit I find the most difficult giving things names. Rebecca will be in touch with you for your name recommendations for other things. You look deep in thought. Oh, do you know, I, I love looking at quilts and I love seeing the secondary patterns. Yeah. I just love how blocks sort of interact with one another. There's lots of different ones. Oh, there is. Do you want the little oh, trimming mat? Yes, a little please. trimming Where mat. Where did it go? I can find you one, certainly. Just a little cutting mat, please. You're too efficient, you've tied it up too fast. They certainly have. <laughs> well, I can do a little pressing first if you want. Yes. You know, please. one of the things I always do is I do a little press. There you go. I'll let you do the pressing. Oh, of course I will. <laughs> of course I will. So while you're pressing those for me, my darling, what I'm going to do is the corner blocks. So the okay. same as the um, previous quilt, there are just three blocks in this one. So let's start with one of the corners. And this is the one that I think you're referring to where you can see that secondary block in mm -hmm. here. So we've got the um, nice large half, uh, half, let's get this out, a triangle there. Mm -hmm. Then what we're going to, I love the lemon in this one. What we're going to do mm. is place one of the triangles on top, pattern facing, and then just pin through your layers. And then we're simply sewing just along that raw edge to begin with. So if I make one up so you can see how this comes together. I get you to press this for me, but yes. you can press it this way for me. I've got you a little oh, wonderful. Thank board you. now. Obviously, I've pressed those, but you can just flip them back if you. 
I won't with a little one because I do find you get a nice uh, a nice finish. Oh yeah, you sometimes leave the leave the extra fabric in yeah. the back, yeah. Right, we've tidied up so well. We're missing the rotary. No rotary cutter now. Let me <laughs> let me go off and find one for you. Don't you worry. We're too efficient today. <clears throat> we really are. And that's not something we're normally ever accused of. Oh really? Well, you know. So we're going to repeat the same step. Are you right or left-handed? Oh uh, right. Right. On the corners here. So if we do this for all of them, while we're waiting for that rotary cutter. So yellow square pattern facing towards you. One of the little white triangles on top. Pin through those layers. And then we'll sew again using a raw edge. Thank there you ever we so go. much. Jump to do a bit of trimming. Um, for if you if you're happy to trim the hearts, that yeah, would be I'll lovely. Thank for you. you. No problem. I could get used to this. Yeah, well, I'm I might surprised be accused you don't get of being Craig. No, I, I I'm surprised you don't get Craig on Stuart, the trimming and pressing. If I give Craig any more jobs, <laughs> yeah, he'll resign. Yes, <laughs> I was going to say divorce. <laughs> 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 If he's sitting at home watching, he'll be nodding. Never, he has a never. lot of jobs. He has a long list. <laughs> You've been together for such a long time, haven't you? We childhood sweethearts almost. We have. We've been together 22 years. <gasps> That's amazing. You don't even look 22. <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming here again. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just hold. Oh, did you want those left on? Or can you I? can cut I'll them off. I'll trim them off. There we go freestyling now there we go right that is your heart all trimmed up wonderful thank you so if you can press these ones for me now oh is there another job oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> i told you if you want jobs i can keep keep just towards I'm the very good at delegate you really are just towards the yellow yeah <laughs> so yes towards the yellow <clears throat> no problem well it's one way to keep me quiet <laughs> <laughs> Does that work? Really. No. <laughs> My mum taught me to knit when I was three to try oh, and keep really? me quiet. And within about six weeks, I'd learned how to knit and talk at the same time. <laughs> You're good at multitasking then. <laughs> so for your heart, what we're going to do now is to just place those on top of each other and just sew along the centre. And this makes the centre of the block. And there's the same heart features in each of those nine blocks as well. So on this one as well, you've got large blocks if you're doing this as a beginner project, the blocks are finishing at 22 inches. So you know your quilt grows yeah. very quickly indeed. <clears throat> there you go, I'm getting oh. used to it then. <laughs> so, Press the seam open. Um, yes, please. Yeah. So the second part, so with the yellow now, we've got the point at the top here. We're just going to put this into the corner and sew across and this is going to make the other half of the triangle mm -hmm. and we'll do that on all four pieces there we go we make a good team we do make a good team that heart's cute i like it there we go actually i do i do like pressing it's always, very satisfying yeah isn't it? and i always say to to my students and you know enjoy every process find a reason to enjoy it you know yeah. because if in quilt making if the only thing you like is the sewing then you're going to spend 50 percent of the time doing jobs you don't like and I don't know if that's a hobby that I would want to do, but you can enjoy, you can learn to enjoy the, pre the pressing. See, my favourite bit is the cutting. Really? Yeah. I love cutting. Tell us why. Um, I just feel, when, when we create a kit, I love sitting and working out how many you know how many kits or how many squares or how many blocks I can make from whether it's a fat quarter or mm. a bolt and I feel like it tests me and I quite like that. Mm -hmm. um, the pressing I enjoy but it's definitely the question Do that you? I enjoy. Because you've not been yeah. doing any of it. <laughs> <laughs> now can this press towards the white? Press towards the white please. Yeah. 
I should just do a little pressing. You know what makes ironing more fun? What's that? Using a beautiful iron. It's a lovely iron, isn't it? It is a gorgeous it's iron. It's the colour. The colour's fabulous. Love that buttercup yellow. And today you're making a £7.99 saving. So the Elisa wine is £155 today, which is the lowest we've ever done it. Oh, really? Today, today is the day I need to get it then. It's a fab iron. It really is, you know. Um, all irons are not built equal, are they? No, that's very true. Right, so the next thing we're going to do, this is to make, so while you're pressing those for me, we'll jump ahead to the next block. Mm -hmm. Now for the, there's four of these blocks that feature, so if you have a little look at the quilt, you've got this feature and this is the block that we're making here. So just that little, just that little section and this features four times for each block. So what we're going to do is place one of the pattern pieces and the same when I mentioned earlier, um, in fact in the previous hour, breaking your blocks down, keeping them together and then it just stops that confusion or lost pieces as mm, well because there's nothing mm. more frustrating than, you know, feeling like you're ready to put your last block together and you've lost a tiny little piece, Absolutely. namely one of these little white ones. Absolutely. So I tend to break them down into uh, individual blocks. So for this one, for this half square triangle, we're going to draw three lines on here. I think in the pattern I say solid and dotted lines, but three lines were. There we go. And just slide a pin through. Mm -hmm. I've already gone ahead and marked up the other squares. New one strike, Stuart. Pardon? Have you gone on strike? Yeah. <laughs> no, I should be back when you need me. I'm like <laughs> Nanny McPhee. You'll know as well. You'll just appear. <laughs> <laughs> when you need me but do not want me, I shall be there. That sounds like what <laughs> my children think about me. <laughs> <laughs> so for these squares, I've already marked up the rest of them. We're simply going to sew along those two outer lines. easier mm -hmm. and faster if we do some really nice easy chain piecing as well. Charlie our director just said oh chain piecing he started sewing. Has he? Oh, yeah. Why? Why did he? Yes Charlie our director has been inspired by it. Well basically I think being around sewing all the time. What, what you, what's on your sewing table? What's Charlie? on your sewing table Charlie? What's on your sewing table? He's made a cushion cover. Uh, have, you made a back, have you made a bookmark? <laughs> no, he hasn't crocheted a bookmark <laughs> just yet. We build up to that. You can't rush these things though, can you? Well, no, that bookmark took me about six months, so I know you can't rush them. <laughs> you could, get the attention span. Crochet is one thing I haven't really taken to, though. I really want to, because I love all the amigurumi and, you know, some of the yeah. crochet patterns now are incredible. Some of the Janie Crowfoot patterns are amazing. But yeah, there's just something, there's a mental block. Yes, I can appreciate that. I just love watching people do it, you know, their hands are moving, they're chatting. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. And then they've got a cardigan. I know. <laughs> we just go out and buy ours. <laughs> In all colour ways. I can make flowers. I like making oh, the little you? flowers, yeah. Well, that's good. See, look, I'm ready. I'm You're ready. ready for me. I'm not ready for you this time. Oh. So you mark the centre line and you also mark the sewing line as well, so there's a guide. That's right, just makes, just makes life much easier and then for the accuracy yeah. on there as well. So if I give you a couple of these to begin with. Yeah, of course. And if you wouldn't mind cutting down the centre for me. Yeah, I can do that. There you go. Thank, Thank you. you. Just grab some scissors. <clears throat> So do you want these sliced and diced? Yes, please. Okay. Oh, Becky Alexander Frost has said her crocheted granny squares turn into triangles. That's a skill. It certainly is. You're very skilled. <laughs> 
I once, I used to run lots of different classes, like a craft mm. class, and I was knitting, or they were trying to teach me something, I think it was knitting at the time, mm -hmm. and um, the lady who was teaching me, Sue, said... Get out. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what she wanted to say. She said, what are all the holes? And I said, they're buttonholes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, when you're knitting. And they've never, they've never forgotten it. Oh. I thought that's how you made a buttonhole. Yeah. Yeah, just dropped I had several. <laughs> oh, I think I dropped a few more than one. It's um, it's difficult because like when you're, if you learn to do these things when you're a child, you don't even remember making these mistakes. You know, it doesn't. It's not a big deal. You know, you kind of just work past it. Whereas when you're an adult, you're much more conscious it's, of whether you're yeah. doing it right or wrong. And we see that when children come to classes as well, because, you know, you ask a child to do something, they just get on and do it, where yeah. we, we're a little more reserved, aren't we? It was, absolutely, absolutely. Now, you have a fan that you need to say hello to. Um, Chris has got in touch to say, my mother-in-law, Pauline, is watching. I've been telling her about Kerry. Would love you to say hi to her, to mother-in-law Pauline. Hello, Pauline. I'm sure Chrissy will encourage you to sew. Right, so what we're going to do next, so while you're pressing those, is if we yep. make two piles for me. Okay. That would be lovely. And then what we're going to do here, it's important that this part that your white is running in a line here, this will really help to get that point for your little square. So what I do here is to place the triangle, so the lovely spearmint triangle, flat on the table and then line this up with those raw edges. Mm -hmm. There we go. And then if we pin through that center point, and just two on the edges there. And again, just using that quarter inch. And what's quite nice about this particular um, block is you can actually feel and see especially with the that beautiful sunshine yellow there mm. so you can see that coming into contact with your quarter inch and so you know you've got a lovely finish to this block and it's that on the i mean my eyes always drawn to the heart i love looking for hearts mm. uh, and smiles and things but my eye is always drawn to that that square that beautiful vibrant square there and then if we give this a little press, you can see we've got a lovely finish on there. So mm. if I go ahead and do three of the, three more of those. I really like working with the, the large blocks as well. I thought you were going to say you really like working with me. Well, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I love working with you. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, I like working with large blocks too. You get sort of, you know, lots of impact, don't you? Yes. Yeah. So I'll just pin the rest of these ones up and we can get all four of mm. those made up. So although you're working on one block, you'll work on like all the units, all the same units to start with. Yes, yes. Work through like that. The, now there's a few more pieces in the next one we're going to do. So your main blocks for this particular design, the Crane with Love design, is this corner one here where you've got that, um, that yellow star in this particular, what did Rebecca call the quilt? Uh, summer it? breeze, ocean breeze. Ocean breeze. I love that. Mm, it's gorgeous, really nice name. So See, you've I'm got very bad at naming quilts. Yeah, I'm not. I'm, it's not my forte, really. I'm better with a wax crayon doodling. <laughs> <laughs> well, one of my favourite quilts I ever made, I drew out on a napkin in a cafe. That's where the best ideas come yeah. from, though, isn't it? Well, I'd gone to go to the gym, but when I got there, I didn't really feel like it. So I went to the cafe and had a big piece of carrot cake instead. <laughs> which I found I liked more than going to the gym. So I suppose that was where the well, lot set in. Well, I can relate. I said, I'm not really a cake person. I like savoury. Yeah, oh, so I, I do. So I could say no to cake. Mm. I always, when I was younger, I always wanted to run a marathon. Did you? 
yeah. are you going to do it? I don't want to do it now, no. Oh, I, I like I went, did for, a a couple of run, I went for a couple of runs, around the, literally mm. around the block. Yeah. And my friends were like, come and run a marathon with me. I, I literally ran around, I ran lamp. I didn't even run around the block. I ran to a lamppost, <laughs> died at the next one, <laughs> had my children laughing at me, ran to the next one. But then I went running with the, a neighbour of mine. Yeah. Jogging, not running. Mm -hmm. Don't do running. Um, and she was like, I don't wear Fitbits or anything like that. And apparently our little jog was two miles, so I was really happy with myself. Oh, OK. Still a bit like when I used to say to the children on the way to the school, run to the next lamppost, just so we could get to school on time. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you know all the tricks, Kerry. Yeah. The way, the, I don't know whether you you would have ever done this as a child but we used to say to my brother when we wanted him to go and get something for us run upstairs and get such and such and we'll time you right. read a watch yeah. and he did it every time yeah, and yeah. It, what lasted for years it lasted for about a week with my son <laughs> he was like i know why you make him do yeah, this because yeah, yeah. you're lazy <laughs> right so this one yep just checking all those points if you can press the seam towards the green the green me. no problem yeah and then what i'll do is i'll go ahead and work on these now when you're making yours um i would definitely recommend squaring these up but for the time today i'm just going to clip the corners off these the measurements are all in the pattern as well mm -hmm. but taking those extra few moments really per block or per half square triangle and just trimming them to the correct size yeah will make the world a difference and it just makes life well just makes the project much more enjoyable because they'll naturally marry up so i'm going to make two piles from the two different half square triangles and then we'll look at the final little block mm -hmm. and then again we'll see this one come together yeah it's fabulous i'm loving how it comes together Right, that's all those units pressed and ready. It's lovely and crisp with the white on white as well, isn't it? It really is. Oh, I just love white on white. I keep thinking mm. I'm going to do a quilt with a navy black background. Mm -hmm. um, but I just love white on white. I'm always drawn to white on white. I really think it makes colours pop. Yeah, it does. Gorgeous. <coughs> Now then, can I just go through while I've got a second while you're doing that? We've got a gorgeous sunglasses case kit from you, Kerry. Ready and for the is, sunshine today? Oh, well, just beautiful though. Absolutely gorgeous. Let me show you this. <coughs> yeah, no, I covet this. It's lovely. Beautiful. So there's the sunglass case. It's really lovely design. A little popper there. And then there are the sunglasses, rather glamorous. Excellent, love that. That's where they are then. Yep, <laughs> found them. Nicely padded, quilted. It's really beautiful, great design. So you can get the pattern with all of the fabric that you need and the wadding as well, all included for just $12.99. What a bargain price that is. Fabulous. Fabulous. Um, if you prefer, you can just get the pattern on its own, which I've got here. Details are coming on screen. That's just $6.99. It's a great price. Lovely for gifting as well. <coughs> Excuse me. And whether you're using sunglasses, it's for sunglasses or your specs, or you might be using it for your rotary cutter. You could use it for your rotary cutter as well. Really nice gift for Christmas, that. Lovely. Really nice. That's a very good idea. Now, Teresa's asked a question. Kerry, would you cut and sew one block at a time or would you cut the whole quilt? I would cut the whole quilt. Um, the one thing to be um, aware of in this particular quilt, because of the length for the sashing, and the there is enough in this as well for the binding mm -hmm. i do recommend to cut by the length so mm -hmm. the main fabric in the kit you've got two meters in there and you need to cut it by the full length to right. get out of it so right. follow your guide through 
Um, and with every quilt, what I tend to do, again, there's a breakdown in there of which pieces go for each block, or you can have a little flick through the pattern. And because you've got nine blocks in here in total, I would then break it down into nine individual blocks, split those up into either little cellar bags, if you've got those on your patterns, or even little folders. I, I quite like working with clear folders, or you might have some vinyl bags that you've made and work on a block at a time. Mm. And mm. I just find that that um, is much better for me because life, you know, we lead a busy life and sometimes you just have to stop mid-flow um, and it's easier if you're working on one than having yeah. all the pieces scattered. Yeah. That's what works for me. I like to make myself little almost block kits. Yeah. So as you say, I'll cut all my fabrics first, make them up into individual blocks in bags and then you've just got them, you know, if you've got an hour, to, to sew you've already got your little block kit ready haven't you then yeah absolutely and I know that you know some people will want to make the whole quilt and I'm always impressed when people can just stick to doing one project mm. I, I flit I'm yeah, doing I'm different flitter. things all the time so I'm always impressed when people are um, you know they say I'm not doing anything else I've got no other projects on the go but because I flit I, it, it helps me to break things down into block by block mm -hmm. So for this one, what we're doing is we're folding one of the top, so we've got this tiny beautiful little ditzy print here, onto the top again, feeling through those fabrics to feel those nesting together, and we're going to sew just across that seam. Once we've done a selection of those, then we'll pass them over to Stuart. No. <laughs> <laughs> what am I going to do without you now? I just don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Between you and Chrissy, you've organised me. Yeah. I'm just amazed you haven't maybe even trained one of your children oh, no, they're to not. come and do the pressing. Then buy an iron? No, <laughs> that would never happen. I've trained them to do lots of things. No. 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 That's what I'm there for, apparently. <laughs> Mind you, I can't talk. My mum was always, you know, my mum always they, did. They do, they do, do <coughs> chores. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. not Mums the ironing. They everything for us. Yeah. It's quite a shock when I went off to university. Was it really? Not to be having everything done for me. Craig had everything done for Washing, him. Washing, ironing, even making my bed. You never yeah. made your bed? Oh, no, gosh. No, until I went to university. You were very spoiled. I know, I was very spoiled. <laughs> loved. You were very loved. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, I wish, I, I wish I'd have had that. But no, Craig was the same. Was he? When we, when we first got married, I'll never forget it, it was the, the funniest thing I've ever seen anybody do. And we, had a re we lived in an army quarter, so we had this huge kitchen diner. Yeah. And he dried up, and everything he dried up, he put out individually, so every bowl out individually, instead of stacking them. And it was like across the, I thought, the entire what is he kitchen. Doing? Like, we'd had like a, a, we'd cooked lots, of, I don't know, we'd had people round. I thought, and he, he had this, bowl he's watching he's gonna tell me off he had this yeah. bowl and he was like where, where where shall i put this and i was like stack it oh okay oh, oh gosh this is going to be a long journey <laughs> 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 we'd been together for five years at that point so i couldn't go oh back. gosh <laughs> it's a process isn't it it's a process yeah. <laughs> definitely so if i give you these in sets yeah yeah no problem um, would you mind pressing them in opposite directions? Oh, I've me? been pressing them open. That's okay. Sorry. Is open okay? Open's fine if you want to do open. I tend to do opposite directions, but whatever you're happy doing. Sorry. <coughs> See, what I'm trying to do is rebel so that you'll take the job away from me. <laughs> it's not going to happen. <laughs> My... What can I do to get the sack, Kerry? <laughs> Nothing. You'll never no. have the sack. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> It's good to know, eh? <laughs> You'll never get the sack. Oh, no. Please. My, uh, my son's got his uh, first girlfriend. Yeah. And he goes to her house. He leaves every morning at like 7 o'clock in the morning to get there for when she's booking up to make her breakfast in bed. Oh, no, really? Uh, hello. When, have you ever made mum breakfast in bed? Yeah, you're not his first girlfriend. Oh. So, mum, you're never in bed. You're always up early. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Well, that was a quick save. Wow, how yeah, romantic. Yeah. True, it is, it <laughs> is. <clears throat> so for Gosh. this block, once we've got these seams pressed together, what we're going to do is bring them across, making sure that the same fabrics are on the top and the bottom. And then we're sewing along this raw edge here, 
to complete that little block. And in the main block, there's four of these in total. Yeah, I can't remember Craig ever doing that for me when we first got together. You never made your breakfast in bed? Oh, when we first got here, he probably has on one Mother's Day 20 <laughs> years ago. <laughs> See ya. I bet you get breakfast in bed tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you I don't. Then when he's done the washing up, there'll be one plate, <laughs> one plate, one cup. I know, how funny. <laughs> it was the funniest thing. Aww. He did some of the bizarre things as well, but that was definitely the funniest thing. I remember having a big old chat with my sister and saying, what? who does that? <laughs> Is that even how a thing? How do you want these pressed? Um, to the right, please. To the right? So we'll make each of these ones up. Slide two pins on either side of the seam to get a nice mm -hmm. point. <coughs> and I see you've got the same fabric on the left and the same fabric on the right. That's it. And they'll be positioned in the same way on the block as gotcha. well. Gotcha. I actually think being bought breakfast in bed might be one of my worst nightmares because I'm not very good at still for a start would you end up wearing it I think I'd just get frustrated that I'm being made to sit still <laughs> I seem to always spill something do you if I have breakfast in bed I almost always spill something so I'm much better at a table <laughs> <laughs> with a bib <laughs> with a bib you could run one of those off yeah oh yeah no problem no problem so if I just repeat the same on all of these, so there's four of this one, the same as there is as the corner ones too. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so when you go to Festival of Quilts, Kerry, Festival of Quilts, what um, what is your main purpose when you go there? Is it looking at the quilts? Is it shopping? Is it meeting up friends or...? Um, a bit of a mixture really but I always I, th I think the first time I ever went I think you know I, I needed a few days to mm. just take it all in um, and have a real good look around but yeah. a, a bit of a mixture really to, and inspiration as well you yeah, know yeah. it's just there's no better place to go and I think if you you know along the way if you've lost your what's happened to the sewing machine there we go you know if you've lost your sojo it's the best place mm. to go um, and meeting up, I've arranged to meet up with lots of friends, so that will oh, be... Oh, have you? Yeah. Lovely. I always like um, meeting up with friends, like, <coughs> every few hours, yeah. we'll meet up, and then it's like, what have you found? What have you found? And it'll be like, well, have you been down this aisle? Did you see this quilt? I don't think you can like, physically see everything. No, you but... can't. And, and that's why it's good if you meet up, because everyone sees something different. Someone who's say, oh, well, I got this, you know, and it may be like some bag handles. And we're like, where did you get those? And so yeah. then as soon as we've finished a cup of tea, everybody rushes there to buy the bag handles or we'll go and see the quilt. Because you don't see everything. No. And what's going to be lovely is when we were there last year, we, we had a, a stand and it was just so busy. So literally, from the moment we went in to yeah. the moment we left, we were we were busy. Yeah. Um, so it'll actually be nice to go and have a look because we could see people walking past with the bags of beautiful uh, collections. Yes. But we never got a chance you to go and leave have a your look. Stand, no. And by the time we could, everybody'd gone home or Everything covered had sold up their stand. Yeah, well, sold <laughs> out as well. Yeah. Yeah. So for these ones, now I would recommend squaring all of these up to get your blocks to the same size. Just yeah. because of time today, I'm just going to click the corners. The measurements are in the pattern booklet as well. Mm -hmm. But if we pop this out now, you can see those beautiful colours. And as you say, once you've got your block together, that's when you really start to see mm. those secondary blocks in there as well. So let's just place this out. So thou, those fabrics, the way we twist them is so this, your deeper um, flower pattern there is facing towards the heart. Is that that's right? it. Yeah. That's right. And we've got one. I thought we lost one then. So I'll go ahead and sew these. So when you're bringing this block together, what we're going to do is to sew rows one, row two, and row three. Mm -hmm. 
then we'll press the seams. So on row one and row three, we press the seams out. And on the middle block, we're pressing the seams in. So again, they're nesting together. Instructions and received. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> and all the way through, all the way through, each time you put a block together, the recommendation of we want to press them. But I think we have our own way um, as well. So, mm -hmm. you know, things like the way we've pressed this block, you know, these seams will naturally nest together, making that a little bit easy. Did they? Did I do them the right you way? Did. Well done. Well, you know what they say, Kerry, even a broken clock is right twice a day. Oh, well. <laughs> you have some fabulous sayings. <laughs> I love that one. I love that one. It's so true, though, isn't it? You think, oh, I'm not good at this. But then just occasionally you peek. <laughs> <laughs> just occasionally. Well, I'm a great one for steam when I'm pressing. So, you know, if I've, I don't always press my seams in the right directions, Kerry, I'll be honest with you. And this is why I say, you know, it's great. Oh, it's a good day if the seams all happen to go in opposition <laughs> and everything nests. But if it doesn't, whack a bit of steam on it and press and it into submission. Well, yeah. Do you know how I know if it's a good day? Go on. The traffic lights are on the ring. <laughs> I hit two to write so many traffic lights every day. There is a sense of every achievement. Every day. And if I do, do this one particular road by yeah. our house, there is four. Yeah. If I can get at least three, mm. I know I'm going to have a good day. There is a big long road into Leeds, actually. And if you hit the lights just right, there's about seven sets of lights, one after another. And if you time it just right, they just change to green, change to green, change just as you get to them. But of course, if you time it the other way, <laughs> it's red every <laughs> single time. On your busiest day when you're yeah. in a rush. Yeah. Oh, Christy said, you two are so great together. It's lovely <laughs> watching you. <laughs> it's because we agree about so many things. Oh, yeah. <coughs> are you a great night in or a great night out? I don't know what either of those are, to be honest with you. <laughs> Someone needs a special night out. I'm just saying, everybody. <laughs> Uh, great noting in that case. Yeah. Then. Great noting. Yeah. I don't know. I think, you know, a great night out to me. No, he's actually physically making it to the gym. That's that's how bad it is. <laughs> yeah. I must admit, I prefer Squeezing a night in. Squeezing it in. Yeah. yeah. No, I like a night. I like a night in. I've always been a bit of a homebody though. Yeah. Even when I was younger, midnight, that was it. Bedtime. Oh no, I was not like that when I was younger. Were you? <laughs> that to drag All me night. out. <laughs> <laughs> Oi, you, out. <laughs> the lights are on, are you not taking yeah, a hint? Yeah. Yeah. In my younger <coughs> days, yeah. I only ever went to one nightclub and stayed until the lights went out. <laughs> oh, never again. I never wanted to see that again. Really? <laughs> you know when you're in the club, though, and all the lights go back on, you think, oh, oh, so let's get out of here. definitely time to go. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Yeah, definitely night in, if I had to choose a night, mm. a night in. We like, and playing games as well. I love playing games and jigsaw puzzles and things like that. So yeah. that's, you know, with our children. And yeah, yeah, definitely. Not that, I'm, not that I'm worried that they're going off to do their own things now, you know. So if they don't want to stay <laughs> twitch, in and do twitch. jigsaw puzzles and play <laughs> games with me, then I'm very happy. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> definitely. It's nice, isn't it? So into oh, the gosh, middle. Do you know I've been really behind? I should have been doing this, shouldn't I? <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Don't be sorry, you're absolutely fine. Look at this a little I appreciate press. your help. The one game I refuse to play, particularly Monopoly. with Charlie, is Monopoly. Yeah. yeah. That's a that's a lot. Do you know we were playing um I'm not trying to think what game it was. It just seems um, to bring out the megalomaniac <laughs> in everyone, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. It's like I'm evicting you, it's like all right, all right, calm we down, it's only a game. The stage with all things that the children went through you know buying whatever they were into there's not always a monopoly isn't there yeah yeah and we went through a stage of buying them and hiding them so that's definitely one game that i'm not a huge fan of because it just <laughs> takes so long but i was playing a, a game with my son and um my daughter and a friend the other night and it was just going on for ages you had to roll a six before you could get out right and i thought it was anybody rolls a six and then everybody can move around the board game but apparently everybody had to get a six this game went on for absolutely ages i've never been so happy that my 
jumped up on the sofa because he knocked all the pieces <laughs> off. <laughs> and my youngest son, who never gives up and always wants to win, he was like, oh, well, that's the end of that Teddy. <laughs> Teddy won. I thought, well, that was an easy end of the game because I was expecting tears of all sorts. <laughs> I love it. There we go. Fabulous. So the last thing to do now is that to bring these down. That block looks so good. There we go. Look. That block looks so good. The colours good. just work so well together. Just brilliant. Just brilliant. Um, Cecilia says this would be a good project to do to keep me occupied. Yeah, it's that kind of one block at a time, isn't it? Really absorb yourself. And this really, at this stage, is where it's lovely to see all of those points come together, mm. nest together, and then see your first block. Yeah, it's fab. This is an offer you can't say no to. Sue's got in touch to say, I currently live near Kerry, but we're moving south. She's going to have to come out, out before we leave. <laughs> I'm in, go. in. Big night out. <laughs> Big night out. Chrissy says, this is an answer to Cecilia, it would keep me occupied. It really would, and you'd have a beautiful quilt at they the end. Win-win. Really is, really is. I think that's the lovely thing about patchwork, isn't it? You can have a wonderful time making it, and then at the end, you've got this beautiful yeah. heirloom. Absolutely. That, that's what it's all about, isn't it? I remember when I first started, um, we used to have a, a tea room and a craft centre. Oh, really? Yeah. Cool. And we, you know, um, the ladies would come and cut their quilts, and there was one lady, and she was, she had difficulty seeing and using her hands, but mm. she used to come and sit in the tea room and watch what everybody did every week in utter awe of what everybody was doing. And we were just mesmerised by all the different things. And as the husband then said, "Okay, let me get this straight. I've been coming here for about three months now." So you get a big piece of fabric, <laughs> you cut it up into small pieces mm -hmm. to make a big piece. And I thought, mm -hmm. I've never ever <laughs> <laughs> thought about it like that. And then, you know, the lady said, no, what it's all about. And, you know, talked about the friendship and sharing mm. your passion and, you know, selecting your fabric, selecting mm. your pattern. Um, you know, but I think the other thing is, like you say, that satisfaction that you've made that. And yeah. it's really special. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And also, it's for me, you know, it's about it's about creating something. Yes, taking something beautiful, like all of these individual fabrics are beautiful in their own right. But then you've combined them to make something which is more beautiful yeah. than the individual elements. Absolutely. So that, for me, is is the reason for cutting it up and sewing it back are you together very romantic? again. Um, I am quite romantic. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I like. You well, have such a romantic way of talking about everything. <laughs> well, you know, there isn't enough love in the world, and if we can do something to put a little bit back in, I'm all Absolutely. for it. You know. Uh, Becky said you need to try smartphone pictionary. You use an electronic pen and draw in the air, and the phones pick up your drawing. Oh, we've got the one where you draw in the air, not on a smartphone. That's very sophisticated. That sounds very complicated to me. I don't do technology. Mm. <laughs> if the no, tape switches don't. off, it stays off. Yeah, a piece of paper and a pencil, yeah. and low tech as you get. You got three minutes. Do you think you can get that yeah. last thing sewn? No pressure. I've got to iron it as well. This beautiful, beautiful quilt. And I don't think you can ever appreciate the full beauty of something when we've got it in the studio. You need it in your own home. Um, is. You know, you've got to get it home. It is absolutely beautiful. It's a brand new colourway of Kerry's crowned with love quilt pattern. Really popular quilt pattern. And this is just such a beautiful ocean breeze colourway. Thanks for that, Bapha. $139.99. And you can have split pays if you like. Uh, there are three of them of $46.66. Um, now, Jan's asked a question. We did ask this earlier, but you might miss this. Forgot to ask earlier, Kerry, did you crochet your cardigan? <laughs> I didn't, I'm afraid I bought it. No, but you have crocheted, haven't you? I've crocheted a bookmark. A bookmark, beautiful. Oh, Jan also says quilt making is like writing a great novel in fabric. What beautiful oh, way of doing lovely. it. You're a romantic too, Jan, I think. <laughs> that's beautiful. That's a lovely way of putting it, isn't it? Did we do it? I think we did do it. I think <laughs> we did do it. You did it, definitely. You did. Oh, we've got two minutes left on the hour. There Could we have done go. It three times over. <laughs> Not 
let's just see if I there can we get go. We've got the quilt with a nice press. matching cushion there. Amazing, amazing. It's a lovely size, actually, you know, if you want some... For me, this is a great size for, you know, your garden furniture. Yeah. Huge cushion. Yeah, and a great colour, actually, for garden furniture. It would work really well, but um, just beautiful. And I've got, um, like, a white sort of enamelled bedstead. Yeah with like brass knobs and this would look just beautiful. perfect on it so beautiful look there we go finished block all made absolutely gorgeous perfection absolutely brilliant well done <laughs> Kerry thank you very much thank it's been you. lovely today and thank you for letting me be a little part of that <laughs> I really enjoyed doing that it's I lovely. really enjoyed today honestly thank you I did much. it was great thank you um okay we're going to a break we're going to a break oh Kerry thank you so much for your company this morning I will see you after in just a few minutes. For our final hour, we've got Tracy Dennis back with the Brother FS250, the embroidery machine from Brother, and also some brand new craft patterns and a brand new USB from Owl and Sewing Cat. Don't go anywhere, you won't want to miss this. Hello everyone, my name is Cara Ackerman and I'm absolutely delighted to be here at Sewing Street. Um, I actually originated from Hertfordshire, then went down to Hampshire and then it ended up in the East Midlands. I've been in the East Midlands for about 40 years now, which seems crazy. Um, but 36 of those I actually worked with DMC Creative World, um, which was wonderful. I really, really enjoyed that. And then um, I decided to go freelance and that's how I got introduced to Sewing Street. I love doing anything to do with um, textiles. So embroidery, cross stitch, patchwork, done a bit of quilting, bag making, toy making. Oh goodness, there's loads and loads of things. Um, what I love doing is just trying something new. And I think one of the tips is don't be frightened of trying something new. Um, you always learn from it. And you know, don't be scared of making mistakes either. We all learn from the mistakes that we make. Um, little bit about me that you might not know and that's a bit of a surprise um, I once went to the garden party down at Buckingham Palace the Queen's Garden Party for some work that I did with Marie Curie and I was so so lucky to go there and just a wonderful time and um, so I hope to see more of you on Sewing Street I hope to try lots of new crafts with you so see you again soon bye bye Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Have you heard about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street? You can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app, onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street fans and Yarn Lane TV fans on Facebook and click join group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there!
Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Hi, welcome back to Sewing Street. I'm Stuart Hillard. It's our final hour here on Sewing Street and we've got fabulous Tracy Dennis back with us from Owl and Sewing Cat. Hello, and also you're a brother ambassador, aren't I you? I am, yes. I'm and here to talk about machines. Yeah, yeah, and all this week at Festival of Quilts you're going to be on the brother stand, aren't you? Yes, I will be. I know you'll be there on your stand, yeah, so yeah. we'll have a bit of a party. But yes, so if anyone's got any questions, if you're buying the machines today and there's anything that you want to go over or anything you're not sure about, just come and see me on the brother stand. That's awesome. Thanks for that Tracy. Now first thing that I want to tell you about we're going to have a really really good look at both the Brother FS250 sewing machine and also the Brother embroidery machine which is fabulous in depth in this hour. If you've got any questions get them in now. Tracy is the expert and uh, we can pose your questions to her but before we go any further we have got a bundle of fabulous craft patterns from Owl and Sewing Cat that I want to share with you first of all. Now we're going to start off with the paper version Versions. So these are full size uh, paper patterns. They are printed on really heavy duty cartridge paper that you're going to be able to cut out and use again and again and again. You've got a great big envelope for storing them in which means that they're going to keep well and you're going to use them time after time. Great value. So you have got your nautical boat patchwork cushion cover pattern. You have got your beach huts doorstop patterns. Uh, next up you've got the Sally shopper bag pattern, love that, love those pictures, gorgeous. You've got the Millie bag pattern, lovely sort of messenger bag, really like that. Next up you've got the reversible apron pattern, that's in child and adult sizes, really useful one. You've got the car organiser pattern, so you've got pockets, you've got a flat pocket, you've got a pocket here for a drink, this will all go on the back of a of a, a car seat but would also work really well hung on the wall in your craft room perhaps with your craft items in it and then last of all you've got a freebie you've got the quilted cushion this is really nice quilted cushion pattern and all of that for an amazing price of 49.99 that is for the seven physical patterns these are all printed on heavy duty paper full size with instructions for each one of them and they come in these lovely sort of really thick manila envelopes with a nice little sort of uh, tied back to them so that's one option now we also have very very clever this from Owlin sewing cat a usb version of all the patterns now this you get the same seven patterns so six of the craft patterns plus that seventh pattern for the patchwork quilted cushion which is a freebie you get all of those on a USB the USB is inside this little box pop that into your computer and then you can print off the instructions for each thing you can print off the pattern and you can print off those patterns and instructions as many times as you like so you never have to worry about losing the instructions or losing the pattern 38.99 for that 
Now, Tracy, the main focus of today is about these fabulous brother sewing machines, isn't it? Yes. So where do you want to start? So we've got two machines that we need today, which is great. So you've got your regular sewing machine here. So regular, nothing regular about this machine. It does 250 different stitches, okay? You've got a whole wide range. They're not all decorative stitches because you've got lots of practical stitches in there. You've got things like your overcast and stitch, so you don't need an overlocker. You can swing the needle from the left to the middle. You've got decorative stitches. You've got lots of different buttonhole stitches. You've even got fonts. So if we lift this one at the top here, you can see on the top that we've got the letter in as well. So you can really personalize your work. Um, you've got, obviously with Brother, you're gonna get your three year warranty. We do that with all machines, which is brilliant. So you know, Brother's logo is Brother at your side and it really does feel like that when you're buying a machine like this. It's really intuitive. So all the stitching and all stitch guide is all on the machine. And there's a little flip thing, if I can feel it. Um, oh, can't find it, going it upside down. There you go. That's your reference guide there. So although it comes with a brilliant manual, if you don't want to use the manual and you just want to work off the machine, you can do that. You know what, Tracy? That's a feature I can't believe hasn't been copied by every <laughs> other know. manufacturer because it's such a clever idea, isn't it? Having that stitch guide yeah. in a flip chart. Exactly. And especially now, we, we buy products and you, you can't even, don't even get a manual with it. You have to look right. it up online. So it's so reassuring to buy a product where you've got a physical manual with it. Whether you're buying the, the embroidery or the sewing machine, you're going to get a really good physical manual with it. But also, the machine's really intuitive to thread. It's got a needle threader, built in needle threader. So if you struggle to thread, the eye of the needle I know I do the machine will do that for you it's got a drop in bobbin as well so the bobbin literally drops straight in here rather than all that underneath fiddling with bobbins and bobbin cases if you've got a machine like that it's time to upgrade they've come on so far so this mm. will really help you needle threader and drop in bob a bobbin really really helps gotta say Tracy the needle threader on the brother sewing machines is the easiest one I've ever found to yeah. use some of the other machines I find them a little complicated yeah. whereas the brother is very straightforward yeah exactly and to thread they've got the number guide on there so as long as you can count to what's the last one eight you'll be fine you'll be able to thread the machine so when I used to do a lot of t uh, teaching so before I started becoming an ambassador for, for brother I used to do a lot of teaching and I would only ever teach on brother machines only because they're so intuitive I found that people weren't didn't need to ask me questions they could find their way around when we're sewing with them it even tells us what foot we need for what job so you know it just takes all that hard work out for us that we can focus then on having the fun of in, of enjoying the sewing project that we're doing so yeah you've got a really good machine at the core of this then on top of that it's got loads of addition extras got loads of feet that have been thrown in with the machine you've got things like a hard carry case you know you don't normally get that with a machine at this price no. point got a hard carry case you've got an extension table as well so you can really make your workspace so rather than getting one of these big cabinets to put it in you've got a really nice extension table to make your working area bigger now can I drop the feed dogs you can drop the feed dogs Fabulous. drop the feed dogs on the back there is a very simple lever on here you just flick that one and the feed dogs drop very very simple drop them there push them back up and then they're ready to go again Perfect. everything has been made very simple and easy which is what I like I don't want to be getting a manual out to be sewing I just want to sew absolutely um, loads and loads of beautiful stitches there's even more than this these are just some just to give me an idea you can do twin needling with that so you've even got the fonts as well so you've got your regular here you've got your italic and then you've got your outline as well so that means that you can really personalize your work um, so maybe you're making it as a gift for somebody it's really nice to write maybe from grandma or the date that you've written it or to put the baby's name and weights things like that you can really personalize your work and of course if you're making and selling then this is going to um, really enhance what you what you do and add value to it so this is our sewing machine here fantastic machine we'll do a bit more of demonstration on it as well so you can see that going but just give you a quick idea of the embroidery machine as well because we're bringing you both today now um tracy just before mm. we go into the embroidery machine just want to mention that if you buy the sewing machine the brother fs 250 today we've actually got a little bundle of freebies that comes with it uh, i think we've got a little slide that i can show you that shows you what you'll be getting as free extras i mean as if you weren't already getting enough for 399 pounds uh, you get 
49 pounds worth of value you get a bag of toy stuffing you get two beautiful uh, printed panels exclusive printed panels you also get um, a couple of solid fabrics you get a lovely ivory and a lilac blue um, solid both Rose and Hubble fabrics included so you can get straight to some fabulous sewing and that's on top of things like the hard carry case the extension table all of the utility feet the regular feet that you'd expect with a sewing machine but then on top of that you have got things like a bias binding attaching foot you've got a fully adjustable zipper and piping foot you've got a five groove pin tuck foot a gathering foot uh, you've also got a special straight stitch foot and one of my favorites which normally any of these you would have to buy as an extra you've got a non-stick foot so if you're going to do things like bag making using oil cloth or pu or any of those sort of more difficult sort of slightly sticky fabrics you know what i mean your non-stick foot is going to make it a breeze such amazing value machine it isn't really it? is i mean if you think all those feet on their own i mean they're between you know 15 to 20 pounds per feet would not come standard with the machine no you get seven extra feet on top of the normal and it's not even mentioned in the write-up <laughs> is it it's as if they come as standard but they don't come as standard with a sewing machine no, they're they all don't. extras so much yeah, value an extension table that's gonna be another 80 pounds you know but it's coming free with this machine hard carry case yeah. as well so it's yeah. perfect if you go out and about to craft clubs it's the kind of machine that you could take with you to all of that it's my go-to machine it's the one that i will put in the back of the car when i need to tracy i've got a two thousand pound sewing machine at home that comes with a soft case yeah it doesn't come with a hard uh, case it's amazing it's amazing yeah. value and such a brilliant machine i don't know about you but i have so many people come to my classes with brother sewing machines and in particular in recent years the brother fs250 it's such a versatile machine and it's one that although it's got a good weight to it it's also portable isn't it exactly so that's why i have no problem this will be the one that i'll pick up and go out and about when i'm traveling and um, pop it in the back of the car but even with the hard carry case it means that even if i'm not going out with it even even sometimes when it's in the workshop things get dusty and you know you can put a nice hard case on it and it yeah. just prevents all that dust from getting into the machine it's a really easy one to use as well which is great just silly things as well that I really like are you know the case in the bottom here to hold all your feet how nice is that so that all the feet are all in there they're all labeled as well and when we use the machine which we'll do in a bit you'll see that it, the machine's going to tell us what foot we need for what job mm. which job as well which is so handy to be able to have that as a reference guide and i can right. easily see and make sure that i've got all my feet put them all back neatly in there so they kind of have a thought of all these things that we're that we're going to need it is the machine that will take you from you know sometimes people start you know i'm just going to do um, some repairs. I'm mm -hmm. just going to take up clothes, you know, save myself the money that way I'm going to do some alterations or I only want to do patchwork or I only want to just make it. And all of a sudden you get interested and inspired. You're like, well, actually, if I've got a machine, maybe I'm going to try this, maybe I'm going to try dressmaking, maybe I'm going to go to my first quilt class if you've never been to one before. And if you do that, this machine's going to have everything because it will drop the feed dogs. You're going to get the feet that you want to go with it. You're going to get the extension table. You know that you can buy any accessories. There are so many different feet that you well, can buy for this machine. And we'll have a good selection at the Festival of Quilts as well. So if you buy the machine today, you'll be able to have a have a quick look there but to be honest the number of feet that come with this machine makes it great yeah, value it's terrific isn't it it really is a machine that will grow with you as your skills improve your machines there ready when you decide i want to try dressmaking your machine will do it if you want to do quilting your machine will do it home decor we've got you covered now then please tell us a little bit about the embroidery machine because this is far so, territory for me yeah so this is very different okay so this machine is not a sewing machine it is an embroidery machine so it only does embroidery meaning designs like these you can then get a machine to do it now we'll show you how to do it because i know it looks like it's scary but actually this is easier to use than a sewing machine you don't have to know be able to sew to use this machine it has designs built into it okay now the really nice thing with this one is it has the disney designs in there so if you're a fan of disney you will be able to do things like that you've got mickey mouse there's winnie the pooh there are lots of princesses in there but it's also got non-disney designs too so you'll be able to do things like this design in how sweet is that just some little napkins how it's really cute. easy is that um to make you know embroidery tea towels oh, okay 
Those Oops, are big embroideries. Down. Yeah. We can do all of those on the book. You bubble. can, you can. So the the different machines um, are going to embroider different sizes. Okay, if you want to do something a bit bigger, um, so something like this one here, you know, you just do the lines, on, you just do your writing on separate lines. So you've got fonts within there as well. So if you want to do the writing bigger than what I've just shown you on your sewing machine, what you're going to need is an embroidery machine. I'm going to do it like this. So it's even done that in the metallic thread okay and that's, oh, that's lovely and the quality of the stitch is amazing how professional does that look so if you're making and selling as well or doing things for charity or doing things for your family you can then really you know imagine that with your grandson's name mm. on it or the charity that you work for or your pet's name you know it really is lovely value and sense well i think personalizing things. is a great way to add value to things you make isn't it and you think if you do charity or or commercial craft fairs um, often if you can make things which can then be personalized in situ yeah personalized things like Christmas stockings or bibs babies bibs things like that or little bags absolutely fantastic yeah and a machine like this is not too big to take out and about so it won't do your sewing but it does all your embroidery so you can focus on that so what you can be doing together brilliant combination you can be sewing on this and then this one will do the embroidery. Do embroidery first and then sit there and make because while it's embroidering, it's actually just gonna do the work for itself. You don't need to do anything, just keep an eye on it, and make sure the thread doesn't break. Apart from that, there's nothing, it doesn't even come with a foot pedal because you don't need one. The machine does all the work for you. So leave that one running while you could be working on that. So together, they're a perfect combination. You know, sometimes even, you know, things like this, just a little baby bib, okay? So that's shop bought, and then we've just added that onto it, okay? onto there so how cute is that so sometimes you don't have to be making the whole thing yourself mm, mm. so the quality of the stitching is amazing the really thing good thing if you are a disney fan you need to note that you cannot buy additional disney designs okay you have to buy a machine like this that has the disney designs built in it's not something you can buy another brand or a different machine or if you've got an older brother machine that hasn't got disney in there i'm afraid you can't add disney to that machine you have to get one with the licensed designs within it that this one has okay um, so the thing you need to think about is the hoop size okay this one here you can see the size of the hoop on there but you can do that in different stages as well if you want to go a bit bigger so this one um, would cover your Disney non-Disney and your fonts you've got all of that to go in there and it's very easy to use too so shall I talk you through the screen shall I start yeah, going that on that one yeah let's have mind. a quick look on here There's so much to cover on the show but just to give you an idea if you can see the screen can you see it there, there that's you go. perfect okay Thank you. so if we touch this screen here it'll start going it wants to just it's telling me it just wants to move the embroidery carriage just because I've literally just taken it out of the car and plugged it in it's asking if I want to recall a previous design that I was doing because it's got a memory it's actually got a better memory than me but I don't want to so I'm just going to press cancel okay and now I come to my main menu so within here we can see all the different designs there are some reference guides that we've got over there that we can have a flick through later on and show you but click on mickey mouse within there you've got those different menus so if you wanted say winnie the pooh you can flick oh. through and see oops that's all there is on that one and then you've got the mickey mouse one and then you use these arrows just to flick through you've got donald duck you've got traditional you've even got mini sewing which i love um in here we've got car Toy Story, just a variety, Nemo, of different designs. But it comes with a really good quick, quick reference guys, a guide, which you can then take out and about with you as well. Maybe you're going to someone's house and asking what they want. Maybe it's your grandchildren. You're going to embroider their jumpers for them. Okay, so that's your Disney one. And then we've got two non-Disney designs. And the other thing, as well as all these built-in designs, the other thing to remember is that this machine now has a USB port on the side. So because it's got a USB port, that means that you can download the designs yourself. There are hundreds and thousands of brother designs out there because it's such a well-known make and well-known brand. You'll find so many designs. I'm a bit of a cheapskate and I do tend to use the free ones. So also do Google free brother Christmas designs, free brother Easter designs. There'll be loads out there, whatever you're looking for. There's loads of fonts as well, aren't there? Loads they? of fonts. One of the things I think is so good about embroidery machines is the ability to write things personally things whether it's labels for your quilts personalizing stockings bunting 
bibs, bags, you name it, or you know, creating something really special like a sort of commemorative item. Yeah. Um, you can do all that, and you can download loads of free fonts, can't you? Yeah, you can. You can even get, uh, say you've got a company logo, you can get that digitised, so you need to go to a company to do that or buy software to do it so that the machine recognises that design. But yeah, you can digitise it, and then because we've got the USB port, that now means just save it to a USB stick, put it in there, and as long as it's in the brother format, the machine will recognise that and you'll be able to stitch it out to the size of the hoop that you're working with. You can't get bigger hoops in the machine, that is the size. Well, there's one that's slightly bigger, but you, it doesn't give you a bigger embroidery area. But you can do one thing and then do your writing underneath, so you mm. can move it down and around to get the different sizes. But it's coming to you at a great price as well, isn't it? This oh, one. it's incredible, <laughs> it's incredible. And I'm just sort of doing a quick bit of mental maths. And actually, the cost of the embroidery machine and the sewing machine together is still well under a thousand pounds now there are lots of basic quite basic sewing machines that are a thousand pound plus yeah. uh, there are far more embroidery machines that are well over a thousand pound than there are under a thousand pounds. Just incredible yep. value, either separately or together. Now you do get some freebies with your um, with your embroidery machine. You actually get a pack of free stabilizers <clears throat> and some fabric too. But the stabilizers you get, you get twelve different sorts of stabilizers. You're saving nineteen pound fifty seven there with those freebies. Now, Tracy, can I just ask you about stabilizers? Why are there 12 different kinds and why do I need a stabiliser? <laughs> Stabilisers are a bit like interfacing. So whenever you buy, sometimes you buy shop bought t-shirts, they've got the embroidery and there's that little bit of white behind it. Mm -hmm. What that does is it keeps your fabric stable for us, literally what it says. So you just need to put one layer of it behind here. So there are lots of different ones on the market. You want a different, the only reason you change them is depending on the type of fabric that you're using. Find one that you like. I use a general one called Stitch and Tear and I use that all the time. But mm -hmm. there are lots around. There'll be lots at the shows. There'll be lots on your website. So just find one that suits you. But yeah, a Stitch and Tear. And when you've done your design, then you can just pull that paper off mm. the back. What it does is just keep everything nice and flat and consistent um, when you're doing it. Some dissolve away, don't they? There's they actually do. some designs loaded onto your Brother embroidery machine that you stitch out on a wash away stabilizer no fabric you stitch it out on the wash away stabilizer and then when it's all stitched out you soak that in water the stabilizer disappears and literally just leaves the thread behind but what they look like then is almost like beautiful lace you can cut them out you can use them as christmas decorations or you could use them on bridal accessories so as if by magic <laughs> i have some so yeah it comes like this click this one's got a bit warm but click like that and you embroider onto it the special designs that are in there so this one i think is in that actual machine mm -hmm. you stitch that out put it in water and then it will become like that so you're left with just the threads so there's all sorts you can do jewelry, jewelry pieces there's built into this machine obviously say you can download so there's hundreds of thousands of different it's designs really that you cool. can download could you use really that as an embellishment on something yeah of course mm. yeah lots of people do you know because you have, even have things like this if you did it with a fine thread you could have it on you know a wedding dress i've seen mm. it on veils mm. um, i've seen it in cards you have Incredible. it hanging in on a card my mum did some lovely ones at christmas with them um, snowmen so that then people Beautiful. take that off and hang it on the tree so you're giving Beautiful. it as like a, a gift with a christmas card so there's all different ways that you can use the embroidery machine it's hours and hours of fun whether you're doing it on your clothing whether you're doing it in interiors which is really lovely maybe you've just decorated your bedroom and you just want to pull out a certain color from the curtains and make it into some fabric that you use on the lamp so you're kind of designing your own thing you can build up your designs with different flowers mm. around it as well and really kind of use it that way and you can also say do the um do the fonts as we were looking at earlier and because you can get the nice big lettering on there we've even had the um it's even got a big monogramming one which is perfect so maybe you want to do it on towels yeah i do a lot on towels because that's great for kind of gifts for people mm. um you can do it on the back of dressing gowns so if you've got someone who's getting married you know this machine really comes its own because you can make bunting you can make the napkins you can do the bridesmaids nice dressing gowns with the names mm. on them or initials mm. on them so yeah it's really a lovely it really takes your creativity to the next level yeah it's um, fabulous and the fact that you've got that usb port in the side of your machine means you can constantly change and update your embroidery designs tracy can i ask mm. 
the, the um, designs that are loaded yep. onto your embroidery machine <clears throat> Do I have to delete them? Do I have to give some up to free up space to download new ones? No, it, the machine has its own memory. So you can either, you put them on a USB stick and then you're going to pop that into the side. You can work it direct off the USB so it just recognises it and it will see it and it will bring up the design on the screen for you. Or if it's something you're doing all the time, say it was your company logo, your local football team, something like that, you've had it digitised, you've loaded it onto a USB, but you know you're going to be doing that time and time ago, maybe you're going to a craft fair or whatever. You can load it, you can then, in addition to having the USB, you can load it into the machine so you can save it. So the machine has its own memory as well. So you can save it in there, then you don't need to keep taking the USB with you. You can transfer it direct onto the machine. Can I accidentally delete the Disney designs? No. no. Don't, I'm don't just panic. asking because it's the kind of yeah. stupid thing that I would do. I would press the button and go, oh, where have they gone? <laughs> but I can't do that. You can't do that. No, 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 you can't. They're Great. in there, they're built in. You can't take them off the machine um, in any way. You can't stick them, take them on the USB to take them back out of the machine either and use them. You have to get a machine that's got those designs built in and you now, can't do Can that. I just ask, mm. in terms of, we always like to know what the angel policy is in terms of embroidering and then selling. Can we, can't we, are there certain circumstances? Yeah, with Disney, you cannot sell your product once you've made it. That's the same for anything, whether you're buying the fabric or anything like that. Obviously, it's a big corporation. That, you know they've been very kindly and you know allowed us to use the designs on here but you cannot sell with them you can gift them mm -hmm. um to friends or whatever uh, i think it's up to 10 times per design but you can use them and enjoy them for yourself mm -hmm. but yes you can't sell from them but the other designs you can and certainly you know the writing and the fonts and any of the other designs that are out there when you're buying you know you sometimes i might need to buy them if i'm looking for say a beach scene and it's not in the machine i'm looking for i might need to buy it in it's normally American dollars, like a few dollars, so the equivalent of two or three pounds for a design, and then that will then allow you to then make and sell. Yeah. I usually just check the policy with that. Fab. Good question here. Hi to both of you. I have this machine and love it. I'm sitting here knitting, very good, I approve, <laughs> uh, and I'm just wondering if it sews on wool. That's from Pat, who's in the West Midlands. Yes, the sewing machine. Uh, yes, let me see if I, in my magic bag, I might have a piece of wool. Oh, I've got a, like a jersey-ish one. Let's, let's do that. Yeah. So we're talking about the sewing machine. Well, we're the I mean, can we, you can we sew with the embroidery, with the um, sewing machine with wool fabrics? Yes. Can we embroider onto wool fabrics? Yes, you can. I haven't got a sample here to show. On the embroidery side, you definitely can. Obviously, that's when you look at your stabiliser. I mean, I've done wool. I did a really nice poncho and just kind of did flowers going down one side. Just Ooh, that to, sounds nice. Yeah, just to make it fun and just that bit different. Um, and I just use a regular stitch and tear behind it. The needles are going to be the same as any sewing machine needles, so you might want to change the needle for your fabric. So the thicker the fabric, the larger the size of the needle, just a regular thing that we do on all, you should be doing on all sewing machines. Yeah, and just put the stabiliser behind it. So yeah, no problem. Sewing machine again, well, your sewing machine will go through so many different layers and it will certainly go through wool. Um, if you saw the show that I did at 10 o'clock, um, we were doing a really fine viscose fabric, went through that without yeah. any problem. So yeah, I mean, these are, you know, these are machines that are going to take you on whatever your sewing journey is. I yeah. never have a problem. This is my go-to machine because I know that I might be selling sewing leather. I might be selling, sewing oil cloth. I might be dressmaking with stretch fabrics like this, fine fabrics. This machine is going to do all of that without any problem. Fab, fab. Now, um, if you, oh, let's do the message first. Sorry. Come back. Come on. Sorry. Hi, Stuart and Tracy. Do you need a specific brother USB to download designs or will anyone do? Fantastic shows this morning. Thanks from Alison in Leicestershire. Oh, thanks, Alison. Um, yeah, no, you just need a normal USB, point, uh, USB stick, anything. Any yeah. the cheapy ones they've got out there. All it's doing is transferring the design for you. It's just taking it from there to here. You can either then keep it on the machine or keep it on your USB stick. So no, and any high street Fab. USB, no problem. Awesome. Now then, I just wanted to mention, if you've bought the Brother sewing machine, this one, sorry, Brother sewing machine in the past, and you weren't able to get the darning foot or the walking foot for it, we have them in stock. Or if you're buying the sewing machine today and you're thinking, well, look, I love the sewing machine, but I want a walking foot, darning foot combo or one of those. Well, we've got you covered. Let's start with the walking foot. 
Now a walking foot, this is a Brother branded walking foot, so you know it's going to be absolutely perfect for your machine. <coughs> now, <laughs> excuse me. Now just to put the price in context, I bought a walking foot for um, one of my sewing machines at home, different make, £110. Oh. Painful, Tracy, painful. £39.99. I'd be very happy paying that for a walking <laughs> foot, actually. £39.99 for that. Um, that's your walking foot. You're going to use that for things like straight line quilting on your quilts, placemats, bags, any kind of quilting that you're going to do in straight lines. You're going to use outline quilting, quilting in the ditch. You'll use your walking foot. But you're also going to use that if you're doing things like curtain making or blinds, where maybe like on Roman blinds when you're sewing across to create your pockets and your channels, you don't want the fabric to wrinkle or tuck or fold as you're sewing. Your walking foot's going to eliminate any of that. If you're making curtains and you've put two widths of fabric, a pattern fabric together, and matched all your pattern up, if you use a regular foot when you're sewing that, the fabric will shift and your careful matching will be for nothing. Use a walking foot and you will get perfectly matched patterns. It's also brilliant if you're sewing through very thick layers. So, for example, if you're dressmaking and you're sewing maybe a coat or something like that, those thicker layers, a walking foot will really handle those layers very, very very well. So that's the Brother Walking Foot. Really, really useful for all sewing. Walking Foot sold out. Well done if you got yours. Now the other thing that we've got, which I think is also extremely useful, if not essential, is the Darning Foot or Quilting Foot. This again is Brother branded. Um, it is a closed foot, closed toe foot. So if I just hold this up so you can see, you've got this little kind of perspex ring. Okay, and you've got those little red markings, so if you want to do outline quilting, you can line up one of the lines with the outline of, say, your applique or your patchwork, and then you can quilt, and then you can line the next one up, and so on, and do echo quilting. This is the foot that you're going to use for free motion quilting, for darning, and also if you do things like um, lovely Janet Clare does a lot of applique, and then we'll kind of draw around the applique several times with a black thread to sort of outline it, the darning foot is what you'll use. You drop your feed dogs, you attach this, and you can sew in all directions. It's 17.49, it's a real essential for, for so many different applications. Yeah. Tracy, back to you. So I was just gonna show you on the front of the machine here, because I know it looks like it's got a lot on there, but we can break it down very, very easily. So. As we saw earlier, this is our stitch guide here. Okay, flip it up, flip it down, and that's going to show you all the different stitches that you can do on the machine. Other things we've got, which is brilliant. So this one here, this arrow, is our speed control. So you can set it to go whatever speed you want. Brilliant if you're doing very slow applique work, or sometimes when people do free motion, some people find it better faster, some people find it better slower. Or if you're learning, this is an ideal machine to get you going on your sewing journey, Maybe you're buying it for someone who's going off to university to study. You know, it's a great thing like that. And then if you're learning, you might want to slow the speed down. The other time that that comes in great use is we can unplug the foot control on this machine. So literally just pull the foot pedal, foot pedal out of the back, okay? And then I can press start and stop using this button here, okay? And control my speed here. So you do not need to, be, need to use the foot pedal. I find 50% of people use the foot pedal and the other 50% don't even put the foot pedal in. Mm. So, you know, sometimes I've had it where you've had a back issue, problem with the feet, and it prevents you from sewing. Well, a machine like this, it doesn't now because you can just take the foot pedal out and use your hands instead, dead easy. Yeah. So that's your speed control. You I love the speed stop. control as well. It's so useful because I'm a little heavy footed when yes, I'm sewing. I know that Tracy, I wonder if you're the same because we're Definitely. both used to sewing at high speed. Speed. And then when we do need to do kind of real precision work, yep. the speed control can actually act as a speed limiter. So if you set it, say, to the lowest setting, it doesn't matter how hard you press down on that pedal, no. it won't go any faster, will it? Exactly, which is great, particularly when you're doing, de I mean, some of the decorative stitches, it knows anyway, the machine's very clever, it just slows itself down if it shouldn't be going too fast, but it doesn't know if we're doing maybe like a satin stitch or a plique, which, as you were saying, I tend to go too fast overshoot my corner and I oh, should have done it slower so now I take the time set the speed control and then it's not going to run away with me same as if you're teaching maybe you're teaching you've got grandchildren coming around or children young children you see or beginners and you're showing them how to use the service and you haven't quite got that control either to start with so that's when that is also mm. great um, saying you can take the foot pedal out as well the other thing that's brilliant on the screen here you'll see 
we've got here, these numbers basically relate to the stitches. So you're just going to put the different number that's above the stitch, okay? And it's going to change to a different stitch for us. So 04 is going to give me this stitch. It's very simple like that to use. The other thing you might notice is at the moment it's got a J here. And that's the foot that we need. Okay, the feet pop off dead easy. And on the back of the foot, it's got the letter J engraved. Okay, also in that handy little compartment that we looked at earlier, um, all the feet are in there and held right in the front. And they've also got the letters there too for us. Okay, so you can make sure you're using the right foot. So it's going to tell us on there. The other jars, just so that you know, this is the length of our stitch. And we know that because that little over diagram is showing us it goes from small to long. So I know that that's determining the length of my stitch. And this one here, the zigzag is going from narrow to wide, shows me that it's going to control the width of my stitch. But it's preset. It's going to choose the right stitch width and length for us all the time. So if I go 61, for example, which is a decorative stitch, like that, it's already changed the length and the width of the stitch for me. Okay. The other thing, I think it's great to show, I'm going to have to turn it around to do this because I need to just sew through this fabric. So excuse me the back of the machine. So we talked about the needle threader, very easy needle threader on there, a drop in bobbin as well, which is great. So with that, you just pop the bobbin in this little hole here. You follow the arrows that are on the machine, so there's no need to get the manual out, even though it's got one. You follow it around there, there's a little blade that cuts the end off. Okay, so you can get rid of that piece. And then you're starting sewing with just the one thread, which is all you need. You no longer need to be winding the flywheel on the side. It's got a flywheel, but you don't actually need it. But it's there if you want to, to wind your thread. So you don't down. have to bring the needle up before you start sewing? No. The, and the, um, sorry, the bobbin thread up. No, you don't need to bring the bobbin thread up or drop the needle. This one here will raise the needle down or up for you, however you need it. So in theory, you don't actually need the flywheel on the side at all there's never a need to touch it but it's there if you want to they've kept it there there for you so basically it's eliminating all the things that we used to have problems with mm. personally I did, you know things that i when i speak to people and they're like oh i used to be good at sewing but i now i you know i can't thread the eye of the needle now i find the bobbin fiddly i find i have trouble with the tension they've eliminated all of that there is a tension dial on the top i have never needed to change that i've just no me neither fine fabric like I was showing like I was sewing earlier to heavyweight fabric it's gonna make no difference the machine can feel that fabric and take it through we've got one here let's try the denim so if I show you because the other thing that people want to know is you know how many layers can I go right through? so we've got two if I fold that in half uh, two oh no let's do it six times like six that. layers of six denim. layers of heavy denim I don't mm. know why you want to, but let's just let that machine I'm gonna just put it back to straight stitch dead easy on the machine to do that and just let the machine take the fabric through. I'm going to speed it up a bit. That's amazing. Yeah, now I'm not even guiding the fabric at all. Okay, just uh, not even holding it, just the machine is just taking that through. It's not struggling, it's not no. pulling, it's that same needle, it's the same machine that I was using for the viscose earlier, so we don't have to worry about that. I know we used to in the older machines, saying if you have got another those old ones it really is you know nice to upgrade you won't believe the difference mm. um, when it comes to sewing on the machine like it's, it's taking the hard work out of it you know that's going through six layers of denim so you can imagine when you're going through your quilts as well it's going to do exactly the same it's going to take and feed that fabric through especially if you go for the walking foot as well now can i ask you about what maintenance do we need to do because this is a good reminder for us all what do we need to do to keep our brother fs250 happy and sewing well, well I mean, needle is the most important thing, whether you're doing it on your sewing machine or your embroidery machine. The needle is the thing that's doing all the work. Whatever you pay for a machine, the needle's the thing going up and down through the fabric. So do change your needle. I say every six to eight hours of sewing. You know, it depends on what kind of fabric you're sewing with as well. If I'm suddenly going to do a fine Georgette top, then I'd put a fine needle in there so my fabric doesn't pull. So the needle, nine times out of 10, if you have any issues with the machine, it's the needle. Apart from that, it's just cleaning and maintaining it. You don't need to oil these machines anymore. They are self-lubricating, so there isn't really a lot of other maintenance. Oh, no oiling? No, and this bobbin bit comes off the uh, bobbin case, so you can take, take your bobbin out. This bit actually on this machine, if I pull it up, will, I've got a screwdriver on me. No, okay. Okay, but generally that bit does just pop off. Okay. And then you can just put a little brush around that. I, 
very very rarely do I ever do that maybe if I'm sewing fur fabric we've got a little hedgehog and get you end up getting a bit of fur caught around there but yeah just get it, it comes with a brush I tend to use the horsehair ones they like the artist brush they are a bit better because I find that they collect the dust the dust mm -hmm. sticks to it so do drop that around it in there but no very, so very keep your machine clean and dust free and change the needle regularly that's it yeah so put the cover on it because yeah. that's keep your feet in the compartment with the labels it's even got extra storage underneath so you can pop because you're getting those seven additional feet as well with the machine so it's got extra storage underneath to keep those comes with the hard cover case keep that on there because that's going to keep it dust free mm -hmm. for you then we have eliminated all those problems there um, for you now can i ask a um would you mind showing us how to combine elements? So mm -hmm. for example, if I wanted to write Noel, yep. um, how would I do that? On the embroidery one? Or uh, the... No, just oh, on the, on the, on the Brother Sewing okay. Machine. Let's go back to here. So what you're gonna do on here is you're gonna switch to the font here. And then we're gonna go here. And then, let's see if there's one bill in. So let me just take those back down, there and there. Okay. Right, so when you go on the top here, you've got three different fonts here. So when I press it, if I press it once, I've got number one, which is gonna give me the regular font here. If I press two, it's gonna give me the italic. And if I press three, it's gonna give me the outline. So if we go back to one, and then you just select the number that's above each letter. So if you wanted A, we're going to go 0, 1, and then we can add that here. Okay, and then we can go 0, 2, and then we add it there, and then I want to see, you see what I mean? And you just build up your design like that. Very, mm -hmm. very easy to work your way through. There's also, say the manual's got it in there, really simple yeah. to use. And that's it. Loads of YouTube videos on there as well. So yeah, so you can do the writing to personalize your thing, up to the letter style that we saw. All different utility stitches, as well as lots and lots of different decorative stitches as well on there. So it's gonna be all round great. Now, what about if I wanted to sew things like jersey really stretchy fabrics knit fabrics do i need to buy a different machine no not at all nope so on here we've got i tend to use either three or four so three is like a triple stitch so it's got three lines of stitching next to each other that gives you some stretch it's also great it looks like the lines are it looks like it's going to stitch it let me do a little bit to show you uh it looks like it's going to stitch it three different lines but it doesn't it does it on top of each other so sometimes that's really good for top stitching if I line that up sorry my hand's going in the way do a little bit what it's doing is forwards and backwards forwards and backwards all the time so when I stop sewing raise the needle lift the fit take the fabric out sorry I can't see the cut on the side <laughs> trying to do it all back to front then that will what that does is give you a really thick line of stitching. So that's great for your applique. It's also good for top stitching. Ooh, you know, yeah. you get that look, that denim look, you know, on jeans that you have sometimes. It's great, so just a much stronger one. But it also has some stretch in it. The other one that's good is the 04 here. 04. On alanstonecat.com, we have done some videos, get to know your sewing machine on mm -hmm. that, based working on this machine. So if you're buying it today, do have a look at those. Um, so you just get to know your sewing machine. And it's where I go on there and run through um, the different features of the machine. So this is a really stretchy jersey that we did one of our poncho designs in. I'm just using that regular needle again. I haven't changed the needle. You would. Uh, if you're doing like a fabric, a jersey that's going to ladder, then yes, change the needle for that. But this I know is just a regular one. I'm just going to break that thread on the cutter. Um, and then you'll see, hopefully, 